What's up, guys? We're out here at Spirit Halloween in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Let's go inside and see what awesome Halloween stuff they have. All right, Leatherface and Stilts and the Martian Warrior, as always. Let's get Leatherface going with his chainsaw. Nice and loud, too. I love that his blades move. He is the only Leatherface this year that has a moving blade. All right, Mr. Stilts with the juggling pins. Good to see you, Mr. Tall Stilts, in your purple eyes. All right, we'll go over here and see Mr. Martian Warrior again. Will he have any mist? No, not this time. He is great. $400 for the Martian. If you can find him on the floor for sale. Sometimes he's hard to find. All right, around the corner here, poor George. No, they don't have him set up. He's just in the box there for sale. But we do have our favorite clown, Slim. Let's get Slim going and say hello to him. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Sometimes these are a little touchy, but it doesn't look like he is going to work all the way. All the way. Nope, he's not going to work. Oh, well, it's good to see him anyways. We'll go on the inside and see Mr. Sitting Scarecrow and Dagger Mike. They are almost always here and pretty much always working. Maybe not this time, though. No, I guess not. That is too bad. Oh, there he goes. He's on motion. They should put something in his little basket there so that people reach in to grab it and get scared by him. And of course, Dagger Mike over here. Always good to see Dagger Mike. <laughs> oh, he's a little problematic right now, but that's okay. Good to see you, Mr. Dagger Mike. I think we have the widow over here. I heard her a minute ago. Yes, there she is, the widow. So great. One of my favorites. Good to see you, Miss Widow. We have a stack of animatronics right here. Eternal Rest, two of her. Man's Possessed Friend, the Howling Spirit. We have a Stilts right there. Some Sitting Scarecrows. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Slim, we have two of him. They do have a Mars Attacks Martian right there. Lucky Lucky. And a Shorty, what? Awesome. And they have the Straw Man and the Widow. But Shorty is so cool. I wish they would have him and Slim set up at the same time. That would be awesome. Over here, we do have the Hex Spawn. Let's go ahead and get him going. Does he have a step pad? I don't know. Maybe this is for him. No, well, maybe not. He might not be turned on. That's too bad. But we do have the Howling Spirit here. Please be turned on. What? No way. They don't have any of these turned on? That is sad. Let's see if he works. Yeah, she does, uh, she's not making any sound. Is she still gonna drop? No, her eyes light up though. Boy, what a sad store. All right, we'll go over here and see if Gordo's working. Hmm, will we get lucky? No, Gordo's not working. Let's check on Mr. Riz Reaper. No, man, what in the world is going on here? They just have this entire back area turned off. That is weird, man. They do have two Gordos for sale here, though, and the Widow in stilts again. Man's Possessed Friend, there's always a bunch of him. The Straw Man, another one of him. And we have a Black Heart. More Man's Possessed Friend, Poor George. A couple of the Poor George for sale here. Young Crouchy. All right, they got some good ones. And let's check the inflatables real quick. They do have the archways. There's Fright in the Box. You hardly ever see him anymore. The hearses, gargoyles, ghost reapers, scarecrows. They do have the small ghost face. He is $100 and sort of hard to find. And the jack-o'-lanterns, cats, and snakes. We'll say hello to our zombie babies here. We've got Devil Cherub. Got Gwen right there with her delicious pumpkin snack. 
She is great. Spider Biter Billy, Snack and Stevie, Wretched Ralphie, Revenous Ruby, Mothy Max, Chomp and Connie, and Gorious George. And there's a sleigh time here. I wonder if they have the Leatherface. Yes, they do. Leatherface and Ghostface, both of them sitting here just waiting for me to adopt them. I always check to see if they have a Glenn doll, and they do not have a Glenn doll right now. He sells out super quick. They do have the Jack in the Box Chucky statues right there. Those are super cool. And they have the Popcorn Killer Clowns and they have Leatherface. Leatherface is my favorite statue. Let's see if he'll go, yes. Super awesome. I love anything Leatherface. Speaking of Leatherface, do we have a sidestepper? Mm, yes, we do. We have a couple down there, but let's try these guys out first. Ghostface, yes. Love when he is working, and they've got Chucky. Ooh, we get to pull the tab on this one. Okay, we pulled the tab. That one's about the toughest one to pull. There he goes. Good to see you, Chucky. And they have Slim. Not working. Spiky's working, though. How awesome. And Leatherface. Please work, Leatherface. No, he is not going to work, and I do not see a tab to pull. But that one's working cool. The box is just a little messed up. He is awesome. Lots of signs here. The Bates Motel is a great one. That one lights up super good when it is working. That one must be dying. But they also have the awesome Camp Crystal Lake one right there for $30. And the Changing Chucky sign. This one is pretty popular. And I do like that a lot. And he is $20. I see the Pretty Woman Leatherface mask. How awesome. Kind of hard to find. But he is awesome. And he is $70. My favorite Leatherface mask right there. I do not see any of the rare masks. But that's okay. Okay, they have plenty of cool ones, including this droopy mask. It's like a melting face. That one is $13. And the scary teddy, I think his jaw moves. No, it does not actually, but he is furry and he is $22. Here's the creepy nighty night mask that does have the moving jaw. I love that stuff. $30 for that one. They have Laughing Jack. They've got Nozzles the Clown. Ooh, Happy Clown. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. And that's a good quality mask. It's almost like a rubber, and that one is $30. They also have Jeff the Killer here. That is also a super freaky mask. And the bald old man, also equally as freaky. And they have a whole wall of clown masks here. How awesome. They do have the ice cream clown one. I don't think he's too hard to find, but you don't see him everywhere. $50 for him. And this one looks like Leatherface got to him. It's a serial killer clown for $20. Plenty of clown masks here, and they're all pretty awesome. I like the Laughing Jack. Speaking of clowns, they have a Hugs the Clown here. Pretty cool. He is kind of hard to find. We see a lot of costumes of him, though. Let's see if he'll make some noise if we squeeze him. Yes, he does. <laughs> Very cool. All right. And looky what we have here. Oh, my gosh. The Uncle Charlie doll. He is hard to find. You never see that one. $27. Will he make noise? No, we cannot get him to make noise. He must be dead, but he is rare, rare, rare. A hot item right there. I was going to check for the step pads, but they don't even have any step pads here. And I'm also checking for the green lights. I do not see any of those. I see plenty of blue ones here, but I think that's the only color they have. We may as well go over here and check for the bobblehead costume. I have not seen him yet this year. I am not seeing him anywhere, but I do see two Lord Raven costumes down there and those are $45 a piece and this is an awesome mummy costume right here for $40 and they have the pig butcher hiding behind howling at the moon awesome they do have the camouflage marshmallow costume I've only seen one of these and it was just recently that is a pretty cool one and it is $60 and they pretty much always have the light up marshmallow masks there that is awesome it is pretty expensive though at $50 what I thought it was more expensive than that I saw one that was like $150, but that's not too bad. This is a great quality Fortnite costume. Chaos Origins for $60. That mask is super cool. I would totally dress up as that if I played Fortnite and wanted to dress up as a Fortnite character for Halloween. But they also have Grimy. He has a light up costume and some glowing things that you stick on there. That one is $45. They have plenty of the good blankets here. I love that Ghostface one with Ghostface standing in front of the moon and his masks all over the other side. And they have the 
reversible spirit Halloween throw right there. That's a popular one. Crouchy, I always love to see that one. Pretty much a blanket from every movie that you could want to watch around Halloween. Killer Clowns, Chucky. Ooh, they have a Nightcrawler blanket here. There's Michael Myers in front of the moon. I do love anything with the moon. Fully stocked on book bags. We always like to check the book bags. Killer Clowns right here. I love that one. This one's my favorite, though, the Ghostbusters, the green slime straps, and they have the Jack Skellington one. Look at that flaming pumpkin. Plenty of great ones. Michael Myers, Chucky. They are also stocked on bobbleheads. Plenty of the Baby Killer Clown ones. That one is one of my favorites. And this is also one of my favorites, and that one. And lately, we have been finding a bunch of awesome plush characters here. Ghostface, I have him. He is great. The Nightmare Harvester, he is based off of an animatronic that is not in stores. And he has his little jack-o'-lantern there. I wonder if we'll see that animatronic in the stores next year. And they have three Michael Myers. He is kind of hard to find, but I've found a lot of them lately. And they have Annabelle and, of course, a bunch of the Sams. Lately, I have enjoyed looking for Uncle Charlie costumes. I don't see any here, but I do see Hugs the Clown right there. He is $55. Look! We found a Charlie costume. These are hard to find, but I did find one just recently. If we can get them off the hook there. Look at that. $60 for him. So they have the costume and they have the plush doll over there. These are super popular and super rare. And of course, they also have Crouchy. They always have Crouchy costumes here. I do have a video reviewing that one. The shirts are all nice and organized. I love when they have them really nice and folded up real nicely. They do have some Nightcrawler shirts here. Large and medium right now. But I do not see any of the Sam. Oh, there it is the sam spirit halloween shirts those are super popular and they have a ton of them right now this one's my favorite though the purple ghost face shirt and this is what it looks like whenever it is unfolded that is a great shirt they do have the aged ghost face mask we checked the price of this at uh, halloween city i don't remember what it was but this is 17 dollars here i'll have to try to remember the prices of these and the slayer kit this one also is very popular comes with the voice changer and the knife and the gloves and the mask and that is 40 dollars everything you need for a ghost face costume Costume. Let's see if they have the Jack costume. Oh, there he is. Jack the Reaper. He is also a very popular one because everybody loves Spirit Halloween. $55 for that one. They have the Scooby Snacks crossbody bag. That is cool. I don't see that one every day. Here's a little poison pack stuck to it. We'll set that right there. This thing is pretty cool and it is $25. The baby section is fully stocked right now in this store. Inflatable babies, female baby pajamas for $40 right there, and they have some diapers and bottles and rattles, all kinds of stuff if you're going to be a baby for Halloween. And that is $10 for the diaper. And the bottle is $7. I do not see any of the deluxe proton packs, but they do have this one right here. That one is $90. I believe it is $90. Let's check here. Yes, $90. The other one is a lot bigger and lights up and everything. And they had the PKE meters. These are great. I think I definitely want to be a Ghostbuster for Halloween one of these days. Those are out of batteries. They're not going to work. They also have these ecto goggles and plenty of costumes and jackets. The costumes are about $60 a piece. And this is the one that I would need, the plus size because I am a big dude. No popcorn guns here, but we do have plenty of acid pies and some more side steppers and the cotton candy gun. That one is one of my favorite items here. And I always press the buttons on these every time I come in here, but I suppose I may as well do it again. There he is. $30 for him. Hey, they do have the Uncle Fester costume here. That one is $60, and we usually only see that one in the stores that have the rare items. He comes with a light bulb that you put in your mouth, and you can light it up. That is an awesome costume and very funny. I've never seen this color spider web before. Pink and blue and purple. Hmm, pretty cool. I usually see this one all the time. And these are $17 a piece. Somebody was telling me to keep an eye out for rainbow ones, so I suppose that's what would count as a rainbow spiderweb pack. They are fully stocked on mugs, pretty much every one you could ever want. Some of my favorites are this bloody one right here with the handprint on it. Camp Crystal Lake right there, because I love Friday the 13th. Michael Myers' jack-o'-lantern right there. This one is from Mars Attacks. That's a nice one. Killer Clowns. This one is a new one that I just saw for the first time the other day from the Amityville Horror. It has a fly on it. I love the red and the axe. That is an awesome mug. And of course, Leatherface is another one of my all-time favorites. Hey, I've never seen this before. Pennywise It Magnet Notepads. You put that on your fridge and then you can write to-do lists or grocery lists. This is the one that I would want. Friday the 13th, welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. It looks like wood. That would be a great one. $6 a piece for these. How cool. They do have plenty of the figural bag clips here. 
here. They are fully stocked on these, including the Series 2 right there. A ton of them in two different boxes. And they have the zombie babies. I have a bunch of those and they are super cool. And they have some of the pumpkin carving stencil books. I love these. This is a great one right here from Ghostface. Look at all the different stencils they have. Look at this. They even have a universal pack right there. They've got E.T., a T-Rex. Oh, they've got the time machine. Cool. The DeLorean time machine. And look at this. They even have like, it looks like movie cases or just like posters from the movies. That is awesome. And yes, they do have two exclusives, A and B, but those are all the things you can get. I didn't even know these existed. That is cool. These are $8 a piece. Everybody always wants to see the Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. They do have Glamrock Freddy, Foxy, and they have Roxanne Wolf. She's kind of a hard one to find. And right along with that goes Poppy Playtime. They have plenty of the costumes for that and these awesome masks. The eyes do light up red when they are working, just like that. Awesome. I love these costumes. And these are $60 a piece. We tried to press the buttons on these at a different store and they didn't work. So let's go ahead and pull the tabs. That will almost guarantee that these will work. Let's see this one that does not have a tab. Oh, he's not going to light up, but this one does light up. And he is super awesome. He'd look great in the dark. It is such a shame that none of these animatronics are working. That is just too bad. I know everybody comes in here and tries to activate them. So if you did come in here and try to activate them and they didn't work, go on my channel and check out my other videos. I have plenty of videos of these guys working at other stores. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Hawkinsville, Kentucky. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, we're right here at Spirit Halloween in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see where I hide a free t-shirt for you to find. Let's go inside and see what they got. All right, hello Mr. Leatherface, good to see you. Get your saw going. I love that they decided to use the Pretty Woman Leatherface mask. But the suit is actually from the second movie, so that's kind of odd. It doesn't really match the movie. He is great. $350 for him. And of course we have stilts over here, already going. Good to see you, Mr. Stilts, in your purple suit. All right, the Martian warrior. No miss today, but that is okay. He is great. Do we have Miss Widow over here? We love to see Miss Widow. They have the back area set up too. All right, Miss Widow, here we go. Yes, we love Miss Widow. She is great. $200 for her. I see Slim over there, but first let's go in here and see Dagger Mike and the Sitting Scarecrow. Scary sitting scarecrow. All right, Mr. Dagger Mike just scared somebody. We'll let him reset. Okay, we're ready for him. Go on, Mr. Dagger Mike. How oh, awesome. All right, I think I saw Mr. Straw Man over here waiting to say hello to us. Yes, there's his hand peeking out. Hello, straw man. I've been keeping these tools nice and sharp, just in case the farmer's spirit returns. I think he will be very pleased with how I've been running. Okay. And I'm sure he'll be thrilled to see you. <laughs> All right, this place is jumping. There are people everywhere enjoying the Halloween stuff. Nobody's set up right there, but we do have the Howling Spirit. And of course, Mr. Gargoyle. We do like him. Here we go, Mr. Howling Spirit. I 
I think this is supposed to be like draped over the other side or maybe the other way around because his arms look super skinny right now. Good to see you, Mr. Howling Spirit. We'll go right in here and see Mr. Blackheart, the Riz Reaper. Hello, Blackheart. Very cool. Mrs. Whisperer is here and she is whispering to us. And of course, the classic Skelly. <laughs> he is hiding in the bushes. Knock, knock, who's behind the door? Oh, he's taking a spider nap unless he's on motion. No, he's not. He is taking a little spider nap in there. We'll allow him to rest. Gordo is here. Let's see if he is working. I see him lighting up, so he probably is working. Yes. All right. And I like how he was just perfectly timed with her scream. That was great. Good to see you, sir. Okay, Miss Dolly, we love to say hello to Miss Darling Dolly. Her hair is all in her face and she is ready to go. There she goes. She almost fell over, that is too funny. That would be really scary if she fell over on us. I love her fingers, they match the tree perfectly. And look at this, we have a poor George for only $90 right now. Let's see what it says is wrong with him. Damage, no sound, step pad function not working. Hmm, if you could figure out how to fix these things, you could get some great deals. Of course, we also have some animatronics on the floor, but not right there. Those are inflatables and stuff. Here they are. We've got a stilts right there. Emmeline, I cannot believe I have not found her activating in the store yet. That is crazy. And we have Darling Dolly, a Desmodus straw man. Man's possessed friend, lots of him this year. And the Blackheart. We have to say hello to the babies. Oh, look, we've got a ghost face here. Awesome. He is $50. I totally want him. They almost always have Sam here. Spider Biter Billy there. Hello, Spider Biter Billy. Gorious George, always crawling around. Flippin' Freddy. Mothy Max with no moths on him. Sorry, Maxie. And we have a one-eyed Revenous Ruby. Oh, no. Poor girl. And we have Slay Time right there. And Wretched Ralphie. Lots and lots of sidesteppers to press buttons on. Come on, Mr. Ghostface. Yes. So happy when he works. We also have Sam right there. He is working as well. He almost always does. He must be good quality. And a Frankenstein. And because he has a clearance sticker, I wonder if he has returned with batteries in him. No, not going to work. That's too bad. But that's okay. We also have Billy Butcherson here. We don't see him every day anymore. Good to see you, Mr. Butcherson. And right down here, a spiky. Ooh, he's working too. And I see Mr. Chucky right here. I think we have to pull the tab on him. Usually it's pretty tough to pull these tabs. Yes, oh my goodness. I might need both my hands for this. Okay, there we go. We got it pulled. There he is. He is awesome. I love the side steppers. Plenty of the door covers here. I do love these. Ghost face right there. We've got killer clowns flags. Ghost face flags. Pennywise wall decor. That's a super freaky one. This is one of my favorites right here. The gremlins having a party in your house. That is awesome. And that one is $23. They're all about the same price. Chucky is another one of my favorites right here. Breaking through the glass. That is a great one. And yes, also $23. There are three statues here. We have Pennywise, he is great. Some freaky quotes and he lights up nice. And of course, Leatherface, one of my all time favorites. I love the pumpkins down there. He's stepping on a pumpkin and the skeleton. And look at that, the nice close up of his face. This is $90. Hey, look right here. We also have the Chucky one. They are so well stocked on these statues this year. This is great. 
and they are all really cool. Check out this sign. I hardly ever see this and I want it so bad. That is the Hocus Pocus house. How cool is this? $25. I might have to get this one. Look at that. I love the purple coming out of the chimney. That is great because Hocus Pocus is a classic movie. I watch it every year. And of course, I love this sign right here. The house is in the background lit up in the night. Really remind me of Halloween. They have both of the Killer Clown statues here. How cool is this? They do light up, but they're usually pretty dead right there are the lights and in the dark it would light him up really nicely that's rudy right there and what is his name that is jumbo i don't know why it's hard for me to remember their names because i love the killer clowns and they have a good selection of the bobbleheads you've got leatherface right here my personal favorite he lights up yellow and he is working michael myers right here i think he lights up red and of course we have Pennywise. They almost always have the Pennywise ones. And I think he lights up red as well. We may as well check out the masks. We always do. I see the zombie right there. That's an awesome vintage zombie mask. I wonder if they will have any of the rare ones because I've been getting lucky lately and finding some great ones. So far I don't see any, but they do have the awesome Halloween masks right there from Trick or Treat Studios. There's another one from Halloween 2. The new Mars Attacks 2023 mask right there with the moving jaw. They have the alien mask. Mask. That is a super good alien mask. I like that one a lot. Let's see how much he cost. That is $40. And there's another one up here that is green. That one is equally as cool. The only rare one that I see is the ice cream clown. And we are seeing a lot of him lately. Let me put my hand in there so we can kind of pop it out and get it nice and filled out. There we go. He is a freaky one. There's an ice cream costume that I just found the other day that is super cool. So we'll go and see if they have him over there in just a moment. I don't think I've ever seen this neon clown mask before. That is a huge mask too. How is that going to fit anyone? You almost have to have padding inside of it so that it fits you well. But that's a pretty cool one. And that one is $30. I have seen this one before with the purple hair. That one is one of my favorites and I'd love to see it under a black light. Check this out. They have both the hug and the pumpkin nester dolls that is great both of those are kind of hard to find and super popular and these are $30 each they do talk but neither of these are working and they have the butcher he's a great one as well and snorts and makes some sounds like he is swinging his little butcher chopper there I always check for the green lights and I do not see any of them I wonder why they don't sell the green ones but they do have the blue ones right there and the red ones I always look for some step pads too and they're all the same i wish they'd have some new ones those are the designs right there we will keep looking for those the only door knocker we have is the vampire i wish they would have some more of these because they are awesome and this is twenty dollars it looks like <laughs> That is my favorite quote that he does. Plenty of these hanging, scary, flying ghosts. I do love these. There's a string on the top, and you kind of string it across like two trees. And then whenever he hears any sound, he will fly back and forth and make some sounds. I do love these. I have one of them. I'd like to get the fly around bat as well and the dropping spider. Let's see how much that is. I don't remember. That is $20 for that. The fly around bat is $10. I had one of those when I was a kid. And the dropping spider is $20. Lately, we have been looking for the bobblehead costume. I have not seen it this year, and I don't think we are going to. We may have to give up looking for him. Here's a bunch of the treat bags. I do love these treat bags. This is a cool one right here, the spooky haunted house. I love that you can see the candy through the bag right there. Same thing with this one right here, the pumpkin. You can see the candy in his mouth. And same thing with the cat. I don't think you can see it. Maybe you can. You can see it through his face there, yes just like that. Let's see how much this one is. That is $10, and these totes are $10 as well. Not too bad, and these are great. They are fully stocked on all the lunch boxes. Oh, look at this, what? The Golden Girls, that is hilarious. I've never seen that before. And this one is $17. My favorite would have to be the Scooby-Doo or the Ghostface or Halloween 2 right there. And they are always fully stocked on bobbleheads. They did a great job with these this year. They do have the Killer Clown, the Exorcist, Hannibal Lecter, both of the Michael Myers, Ghostface, one of my favorites, Leatherface, another one of my favorites, and Georgie. They are always super stocked on these. I see one Monopoly board game left. That is cool. These are kind of hard to find, and they are $40 a piece and totally worth it. I did do an unboxing of this on my channel. This is too funny. Look at this. We've got little hands and feet and legs. And is that the baby head too? Oh my goodness. That is absolutely hilarious. There's even a meat cleaver on there. 
This is so funny. For $10, these are earrings. And look at this. This one's freaky too. It's got teeth on it. That is awesome. $8 for the one with the teeth. How cool. Here's some shiny ghosts right there. This one is cool. It's a uh, cauldron with some kind of purple shiny smoke coming out of it. All of these are about between $8 and $10. And they have some really cool ones. I like this right here. The old-fashioned ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns. And there's a witch. Here's some more jewelry right here. Does this spin? Eh, not really. I can make it spin, though. We've got snakes right there. Some treat bags. Those are cool. And these feel like good quality, too. They're like a metal. All the classic characters right there. Jack-o'-lanterns and ghosts. And what is over here? Smiley faces and uh, I don't know what you call those, crystals and eyes. Here's some of the bobbleheads. These are solar bobbleheads. You put them in the sun and they just keep on bobbling. There's Freddy right there. How much are these? Oh, that box is all beat up. $13 for that one. My favorite is Jason. He's a really cool one. And of course, we have Pennywise right there. As far as pop figures, I do see Colorful Jumbo right there. We almost always see him. Sam, we're starting to see a lot more of him lately. $15 for that one. And of course, we have Chuckles from Trick or Treat. And I see Billy Butcherson down here. That is an awesome one as well. I wish they carried some more characters from Hocus Pocus because I would love to have the bullies. $15 for that one. And of course, they almost always have Bibbo with Shorty in the pizza box. That is a great one as well. He is shooting the girl with the cotton candy gun. And this one is, hmm, I do not see if, oh, there it is. $40 for that one, and it has a nice background, too. They do have one of the Spirit Halloween magnets right there. I love that one. How cool. Very simple. $5 for that one, and they have one of the Camp Crystal Lake magnets. All kinds of cool ones down here, though. I've seen these plenty before. Here is Pennywise, and here is Michael Myers, but I have never seen Binks in the Cauldron. That is cool. I love Hocus Pocus. This is $8, not too bad, and it is a funny little snow globe. You could probably put that on the dash of your car, too, along with the solar bobbleheads. I always check for this because they are super popular and everybody wants one. They do have an extra large here as well, which is great. Usually it's hard to find the large sizes. The Sam Spirit Halloween shirts. I don't see any other rare ones, but we do have a Nightcrawler. I love that one. I'd totally love to buy it. They have the Ghost Face Bling mask. They have one left right now. That is a pretty cool mask. And that one is $25. And they have the Blaine ghost face knife right there, if we can get that back on. Here he is. I love that they put the blood on there. That is awesome for $13. And right over here, we have the light up ghost face knife right there. That is cool. How awesome in the night that would be. And that one is $10. And they usually have some bling costumes somewhere around here, but I don't see any here today. And I'm curious if the bling costumes are this material right here, this shiny material, because if it is, I'm totally going to buy one. Two more popcorn guns here. How awesome. Man, these are getting so common now. I love the packaging on this. This is $100. Look at all the popcorn they put on that. Here's some close-ups of it. That crank does spin and it makes some popping sounds. I cannot wait to buy him. Do they have the ice cream clown? I do not see him. Hmm, he is kind of rare. So if you do find him, grab him for sure. But they do have Hugs the Clown right there and he is $55. He's another super popular one. Slasher is a super creepy one and he is $40. And they have every Flintstones costume here right now. How cool. Fred Flintstone for 30, Betty Rubble for 40, Wilma is $40 as well, Barney for 30, and of course we have the Dino Inflatable, so you and your family can dress up as all the people from the Flintstones. Plenty of Bob Ross costumes here. You can either be Bob Ross, and there's the wig and stuff, but I think this actually does come with it. Yes, it does for $45, or you can be a painting. The baby section is full. Lately at every store we've been to, they have had all the baby stuff, bottles, rattles, diapers, all kinds of things here. It would be hilarious to see some people dressed as babies this year. If you want to do a hospital theme at your party this year, they have plenty of things to go along with that. Here's the hospital patient with the butt. That one is $25. All kinds of nurses here. Here's doctor shots. That one is $37. 
Here's some ER surgeon scrubs for 30 and lots of extras. Stethoscopes, let's see how much those ones are. That is $8. If you're gonna be a doctor, you're gonna need the head mirror and that one is $10. Here's some blood bags, those are cool. You can put any kind of drinks in there for $8 a piece. Masks, I'm sure everybody has masks laying around now. And of course they have spray blood. You gotta get everything bloody. And this is $8 for the spray blood. But of course they always have a ton of fake blood over here too. Probably around the same price. Yeah, $8 for that one. They have a uh, red mouth colorant right there, safe to put on your mouth. Glow blood, what? I've never seen that before. That one is $5. I wonder if it glows in the dark? No, it's black light, so it glows bright in black light. That would be really cool. I think I want to get some of that. You have theatrical blood spray right here, a big one of that for $9. All kinds of fake blood things here, or you can just get a big old bottle right there for $8. And of course, to go along with the blood, they have plenty of wounds here. They have big gashes in your face like Freddy got to you. Some skin flaps, that is freaky. Sightless, this was my favorite thing to see last year. That is a really creative and cool thing right there for $9. Here's a bald cap if you want to be me for Halloween, and that one is $10, or it's free just to shave your head. And if you're going to be me, you're probably going to want to get some glasses. Here's some shield glasses. Those are pretty close to what I wear for $13, or you can get some of these uh, aviators. I usually wear something like that, $10 a piece for those. And you are going to need this, the dark brown beard. That is hilarious, and that one is $8. Okay, guys, I told you I'd hide a t-shirt, so we got a t-shirt right here. We're going to hide it right back here by the Spirit Halloween flags in the very entrance and the store is right where is it right over there so we're going to put this right up here in the tree very easy to grab so if you find it go on the Facebook page and post a picture of you wearing it I would love to see that thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one What's up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween in Enfield, Connecticut. I have still not seen the new side stepper, so let's go on inside and see if they've got any. All right, we've got the widow. Oh, they have a bell on the door. That is so funny. We've got the widow right here waiting to break her neck for us. $200 for the widow. I love her so much. She's a little quiet right now, but that's okay. And she is leaning back, lean back. All right, around the corner here, we got poor George. Oh my gosh, she scared me. He's on motion activation and he just scared me so bad. I love that hair. That is so funny. I feel like he needs a hat. Somebody should put a hat on him. Okay, poor George. We'll go around the corner here and they have eternal rest. She is not working, I can already tell. <laughs> Eternally spinning her head. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look. She just kept going and going. Around the corner, they have Straw Man. He is tucked in there. Not with that hairdo. <laughs> like a mildewy blanket. I like that quote. Look at his hands. Those are pretty freaky. I do like him a lot. Thank you, Mr. Scarecrow. This is like the third store that I've been to lately and might be third store in a row that they do not have that back area set up. But I do see a couple of chainsaws. Yes, these are kind of hard to find this year. And it works. Awesome. I wonder if they have a leather face mask let's see here they have a couple of leather face masks that i am looking for that are online but they haven't had any of them in the store except for the pretty woman leather face and the regular leather face one look at this ice cream clown that is so awesome he's got a cone on his head that is awesome i've never seen this before it always makes me so happy to see things that i've never seen before and that is so cool 
Fifty dollars! What in the world? He is awesome though. Lots and lots of awesome stuff to look at over here, guys. Lots of the bobbleheads here, but look at this. They do have a crouchy figure. They have not had any of the little skelly bones figures. I have not seen any of those for sale yet, but we did get them for the 2023 grand opening. They have Hannibal Lecter, they have the gremlins, and right back here hiding, they have a leather face. I love it. And they have ghost face. Oh, look, there's another leather face. Michael Myers. They also have a plush Crouchy right here. They don't have him everywhere anymore. So he is kind of rare. They have these blow molds. These light up really good. I love those and I want it so bad. That is $22. And behind them, we have all of the zombie babies and the cats. I do love the prowling cat. Let's see how much he is. $17. That's not too bad for him. They also have the rats. Somebody called this the infected rat. That is so funny. They also have Scabs, the Chihuahua dog. And they have the hand eater Snack and Steve. And they have Gorious George, Spider Biter Billy. Yes, that's his name, Spider Biter Billy. And this guy is peeking, no, flipping Freddy. <laughs> peeking. Flippin' Freddy and Mothy Max. There are some new zombie babies, but I have not seen any of them yet. I've seen them online, though. Lots of awesome blankets, but I don't see the one that has Spirit Halloween characters on it. We'll keep our eye out for that. They do, though, have the new signs that I love. Leatherface right there. This one I've seen plenty of times, but I do love it. And this one, Chucky Good Guy sign. That one changes when you move it side to side. And, of course, the Mars Attacks pistol. It changes when you move it side to side. That one is awesome. Here is a Phantom Ghost. Does it work? No, that is too bad. We also have the Cracked Skull Zombie Groundbreaker. He is awesome with that green light. And we have the Skull Pathway Markers. Those flash a lot. And the Pumpkin Flashing Jack-O-Lanterns. They do have some of the animatronics on the floor for sale here. A bunch of the Man's Possessed Friend. We're seeing a lot of him this year. Lil Skelly Bones, Slim, Stilts. Everybody likes Stilts. He is four. No, is that correct? No, that's for Killer Clowns. He is $350, okay. Howling Spirit, they have two of him. They have the Deadly Creeper, a lot of him this year. The Widow, I haven't seen the Widow for sale on the floor a lot this year. She is $200, I think that's a good price for her. They also have a Mars Attacks Martian and two of the Grave Watcher. She is also not on the floor so much this year, but she is $80, very affordable. Check out this crazy punk mohawk that is hilarious, $25. If you were gonna get that and dress up as a punk, you would have to get some of these spiky things and the studded belts. They do have the new and improved Ghostbusters Proton Pack right there. That is super awesome. They also have the PKE meter. I love that one. And they have right here, the Ecto Goggles. Those are awesome. And I would love to dress up as a Ghostbuster for Halloween. And and I might. Look at this, not one, but two of the popcorn gun. That is so awesome. I love this thing so much. I'm totally gonna buy it at some point. We usually don't see any of these for sale, but they have two of them here. That is crazy. And they have the cotton candy gun right there. Always a favorite of mine. But one thing they don't have is the over the head masks. I am still looking for those. They have plenty of the regular costumes and these half masks right here. They have these awesome spirit Halloween pillowcases. These will be perfect to collect candy in. Look at that. I would love to get that and fill it up with a bunch of candy. $10 for him. That is not too bad. I'm sure I've seen this before, but I don't recognize it. Look at this Halloween 2 Michael Myers mask with the bloody teardrops. That is so cool. I don't know if I've ever seen this before or not. I feel like I recognize it, but then again, it seems new to me. $13, that is cool. We have to check the shirts to see if there is anything new or anything special here. I am not seeing anything that we don't see usually every time, but we are on the hunt for this. They put a picture of it up there so you know we're going to see it pretty soon here. The Sam Spirit Halloween shirt, that is awesome. Actually, what is this? A blue shirt? Oh yeah, E is for Existential Dread. Yes, I have seen that one. They have Hugs the Clown costumes here. We don't see it every time, but we see him pretty often. He is awesome, and he is $55. They do have hiding right over here the Spirit Halloween Ghost Face shirts. That is so awesome. This one is 
extra large, but it is a child size and it is $20, not too bad. I haven't looked at all the Fortnite costumes in a while. So let's check out some of those. They have the punk right there. He is very cool. And they have Zoe, the foundation, man cakes. That's a funny one. X-Lord, Drift. Wow, they actually have a bunch of these here. Party Trooper, Skull Trooper. They have the banana Peely. I would totally be Peely for Halloween if I played Fortnite that much. I played it a little bit, but not too much. They also have armored Batman Z zero and here's another drift that seems to be it but man these are awesome they have a bunch of them this year and they also have a couple of the weapons there's a regular pickaxe right there the rift edge they have the plasma spike awesome there's the inflatable pool party backpack bling and they have boogie bombs very cool. This is pretty cool. They have some light bulb necklaces. That's more of a Christmas thing, but that is very cool. And they have some binoculars. I love all the little accessories that you can use for your costumes. These are $7. Here is another cool accessory. Look at this animal claws. That is cool. They glow in the dark too. Wow. And those look like they are good quality. $13. And look at this nightmare fangs. That is freaky. Look at her. Wow. You'd have to get some latex to put that on. $10. This is the latex that you need to put it on, I believe. Flesh liquid latex. And you can do all kinds of stuff with this, like make scars and cuts and things. That is very cool. And they even have two packs with fake blood and liquid latex. Here's the live wires that we saw a lot of last year. Check this out. Oh, that is so cool. I might have to get some of these to put them in my inflatable haunted house. I could also get a handful of these scary flying ghosts too. That would be awesome to have them flying throughout the haunted house. And a few dropping spiders to scare you as you're walking in it. If you guys are into the fog machines like I am, they have a ton of accessories for them like timers and things. But look at this. They also have hoses and adapters. I definitely need one of these and I'll probably get one at some point. This way you can hook up the fog machine and then place it somewhere hidden and then have the tube leading to wherever you want the fog to go. We almost miss gutsy gwen i don't know how i didn't see her sitting here there she is that is one of the coolest zombie babies i've ever seen in my life eating the guts i see these stuffed dummy props all the time but i never really think of what to do with them you could totally get any kind of costume and put it on him and then place him wherever you'd like so it looks like somebody's sitting there and then you can jump out with your costume on to scare them one of the costumes i always would love to think about dressing up as for halloween when i was a kid is a soldier and look at this they have some awesome helmets here that is a pretty heavy duty helmet helmet and this is ten dollars that is not bad at all and you can get these bullet belts too get like two of these and strap them around your chest that would be an awesome costume ten dollars for that not bad at all they also have dog tags that is cool another costume concept i love is the astronauts these are so awesome they're about 55 dollars each i made one of these whenever i was an astronaut for halloween i took some gloves and spray painted them white they were winter gloves and then i took some boots and spray painted them white and then I had like a painter's suit that I put some tape on and stuff to make it look just like this and I even printed out the little NASA symbol and taped it to the chest and I think I did an American flag as well and they have these awesome astronaut helmets here too these are really cool let's see how much these cost these are $40 they look very cool though I also made that whenever I made my costume I think I did it with paper mache and a balloon this is funny Winnie the Pooh inflatable costume that is awesome some. And they also have a female piglet costume. There's a Winnie the Pooh female costume right there, $40, and Eeyore union suits. Here's some Catwoman gloves. Look at that, the sharp nails. That is crazy. This is $13. I don't think I've ever seen the Scooby Snacks crossbody bag. That is hilarious. I love it. Let's see how much that is. 25 doll hairs. And if you're going to be the Sanderson sisters, look at this. They have Winifred Sanderson's teeth right there. That is so funny. $7 for her teeth. Z Plays wanted me to look for the new ghost face masks. And look what we have here. That is so cool. It is aged. I love that. They did a great job with this thing. Super cool. $17 too. That is not a bad price. They also have the awesome ghost face crossbody bags. And look at these 
pins. These are sweet. You've got the ghost face right there. Another ghost face one. And this one says, killing it. Look at that. That is so cool. I love these. Ghost face is my favorite. $9. Halloween strike. Wanted to see all the Sam stuff. They have so much of it. We have these awesome Holly Ho Bar earrings. Those are awesome. Here's a Sam mask right there. That is pretty cool. I don't know if I've actually ever seen that one. $15. They also have the Sam costumes right here. That is $50. Includes the jumpsuit, gloves, and the mask. But it doesn't come with the lollipop. You'd have to get the lollipop. Here's another mask. The deluxe one. That is very cool. And the treat bag. I wonder if you can actually open that up and collect your candy in it. Probably. That would be sweet. They also have these really cool pins. Look at that. That is so awesome. $9. They have the Sam knife right here. These are collectible. That is very cool. $13 for the Sam knife. And they have a Sam union suit. That one's nice. Hooded plush union suit. You could probably wear that for your pajamas. Here's the Sam crossbody bag. That one is awesome. And they have the Holly Ho bar. I feel like that is getting hard to find. And when you open it up, it has the blade in it. $10. Eden Bailey wanted to see more of all the skeleton stuff. Off. They do have some awesome skeletons. These two are just a little bit different by color, it looks like. And they are very cool. What is up with that? Does he have LED eyes? That would be awesome. I don't see any buttons to press or anything. Wait, let's press the on button. No, he needs batteries, but that has LED eyes, and I bet they look around the room. That one is probably super cool, and he is $70. And then this one right here, let's see if he has LED eyes. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have any LED eyes or anything, but he is posable. Let's see how much he is real quick. He is $50. They have these right here. This is hilarious. It's just the skull and the spine. That is so cool. This would be awesome in a leather face setting. He is $40. They have plenty of skeleton stuff, guys. These are awesome. Look at this one. It's a star with a skeleton skull in the middle. That is awesome. So many of these will be great for a leather face setting. Here's some smaller skeletons here. This one is $20. And this one right here will be perfect just to have as a friend. He is $8. Look, there's an alien one. And his jaw moves and everything. That is awesome. He is $5. They have skeleton hands here. If you just want the hands, $8. You can put those in the ground maybe and make it look like a skeleton is crawling out of your lawn. They even have skeleton snakes. He's two-headed and they have turtles. That is a cute one. The skeleton turtle. They have octopuses octopi? I don't know. <laughs> and birds. Look at this skeleton bird. That is funny. They even have bags of bones for $18 if you want to just scatter those throughout the house. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Enfield, Connecticut. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween in Milford. I am still on the hunt for a two scoops and the new side steppers. Let's go inside and see if they got them. Okay, the widow is waiting right here. It looks like she might be broken, oh no. Oh no, she's just resetting. Somebody had just set her off. Let's get her going again. Maybe? <laughs> there she goes. I love her so much. Good to see ya, widow. All right, we'll go around the corner here and they have nothing. Hmm, that's kind of weird. I wonder what was here. Let's go around the other side and see what they got. They might have poor George over here. That's usually who they do have. Okay, poor George, do your thing. Poor George is so awesome. I love all the clown stuff. They always have a new good clown animatronic every year. All right, around the corner from poor George, they do have a straw man set up right next to the fire. You aren't afraid of little me, are you? I think I haven't seen him in the last few the stories that I've been at. I like how his arm is just about to catch fire. <laughs> Good to see you, straw man. There is a ginormous stack of animatronics here, guys. They are always so well stocked. 
two, no, four of Man's Possessed Friend. Poor George, little skelly bones. We got some dagger mics there. We don't see him for sale often. Slim, two of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I want him so bad, but I think I like Party City's version more. Though I do love the pretty woman mask on him. They also have Stilts, the Howling Spirit, the Widow, Darling Dolly, another Slim right there. They have the inflatable set up on an aisle instead of against the wall this time. Lots and lots of them, all the ones we love to see, including this one that we saw a lot of last year, the Killer Clowns inflatable. That is eight feet. I don't know if it's eight. I think it's eight feet long. I don't think it's eight feet tall, but it is very cool. They have all of our favorite masks here, including the new Martian warrior mask. And look at this. They do have nozzles, the toxic clown. I don't see him everywhere. He is $45. Wow. For that mask, that is crazy. They also have some of the Star Wars ones. This one's probably my favorite, Darth Maul. They also have Emperor Palpatine and Chewbacca. <laughs> They have the doormats here. If you guys haven't seen these, these are awesome. They did a great job with them this year. Mars Attacks, look at that. Invaders Welcome. That one is probably my favorite doormat, but we also have a few cool ones over here. Chucky, look at that. That's an awesome Chucky doormat. And look at this one. It looks like the Great with Pennywise peeking out at you. That is awesome. Let's see how much these cost. I don't think I've ever checked the price on these. $22. That's actually not a bad price. Another cool one that they have right underneath the Pennywise one is Michael Myers. Welcome. We've been expecting you. And he is right there peeking down the stairs. Check this out. They have ogre ears. That is hilarious. You could be Shrek for Halloween or you could make yourself into your version of your ogre. They do have the new and improved Ghostbusters Proton Pack. This thing is awesome. Look at that. New and improved from last year. Lots of awesome details. That is $90. It is so cool. I love the Ghostbusters. And if you're going to get that and be a Ghostbuster, Buster, you have to get the PKE meter. Oh, that one's not gonna work. That is too bad because these are so cool. Wait a minute, there's a tab. We gotta pull the tab and get them to go. PKE meter, there it goes. Look at that. That is so awesome. If I was gonna be a Ghostbusters, I would totally get that and the proton pack. And then you'd have to get the Ghostbusters jumpsuit right there. And look at this, they have one for my size, 2XL. That is too funny. You can be a large Ghostbuster. Check this out, they have some of the rare bag clips. All right, figural bag clips. These ones have all the characters from Spirit Halloween, including Cerberus, that's the one I want. They also have the Grave Watcher, that is awesome. Only a couple left right here, but they're probably gonna get more boxes of that. I've actually been seeing more of that lately. And they have the zombie babies. I got a bunch of these and I actually got the two-headed one which is a exclusive and that one is awesome look at this they do have the popcorn gun we've been seeing more of him lately it's about every maybe three or four stores that we see him now a hundred dollars for that and i want it so bad i'm probably going to end up getting it later and they also have the cotton candy gun that one is so awesome i hope i get to see a couple of killer clowns coming to trick-or-treat this year as far as the costumes they do have shorty and spiky and jumbo they have these masks but i do not see any more of the over the head masks those ones are rare to find there is one horror baby sam we see a lot of him i love ghost face and leather face but they are almost always sold out they have a couple of the zombie babies the hand eater what is his actual name snack and stevie i gotta start calling them by their actual names they have snack and stevie and Go gorious george i don't know why it's so hard for me to say that Gorious George right there. And this guy right here, what is his name? Flippin' Freddy. Plenty of bobbleheads. They always have plenty of bobbleheads, which is awesome because I love them. Halloween, Michael Myers behind the sheet. Ghost face, I love that one so much. This one is awesome. The Exorcist doing the spider crawl down the stairs. Hannibal Lecter, the Killer Clowns one. That one kind of sells out quickly, but they have plenty of them this year, so I don't think it's very hard to get him. And they have Michael Myers hiding behind the bush and we have the snow globes michael myers is one that we honestly don't see as often as the others he is so very cool and we have pennywise here and the texas chainsaw massacre i love that one he lights up yellow but that's not working right now they have one chucky doll but they do not have glenn glenn sells out very quickly and i've noticed that people are buying him and trying to resell him for more money which is a little bit unfair but oh well he is very popular they have plenty of the awesome blankets but what i 
am keeping my eye out for is the Spirit Halloween one that has the characters on it. We saw that at one of the stores we were at recently, and it is so awesome. But they do have a bunch of the great ones. They do have a Nightcrawler here. We are seeing him pretty often. Crouchy, Sam, Nightmare on Elm Street. That is an awesome one. Look, it says <laughs> Piggy. <laughs> that is too funny. I do love all of these blankets. I'm definitely going to get some by the end of the year. Check this out. If you're going to be a cowboy, they have some awesome stuff here. Western Spurs. That is hilarious. You can put spurs on any pair of shoes that you want. That is awesome. They also have a lasso bolo ties look at these cow earrings that is hilarious this is so funny look novelty eyewear with sideburns if you're gonna be elvis for halloween that is so funny they also have the elvis costume right there look at this the elvis presley cape oh my gosh man they really have some awesome elvis stuff here here's a space blaster i think we saw this last year Ooh. That is very cool. This is $13 for the Space Blaster. Look at this inflatable costume, party pooper. It looks like you're sitting on the toilet. They have a couple of the drop down spiders. I definitely want to get him and see how well he works. And they have the fly around bat. This is very cool. You hang him up and he flies around in circles. This is $10. That is not bad. And that would be an awesome addition to your spooky decorations. They always have some awesome hats here and plenty of them. Let's check out what they got. They've got the bowler hat, fedoras. These are some awesome fedoras, crowns. They have chef hats down here, deluxe captain hat. I like this one. It's a top hat that is hilarious. I love it. Maximum Moki wanted to see all the South Park stuff. They have some awesome inflatable costumes here. Eric Cartman. Here's a Kenny one. They usually have some more, but I don't see them right now. These are $60 a piece and they look awesome. They also have some really funny socks. Those are very cool. Look at Kenny on there. And then Towelie. Here's a Towelie costume. Look, he's got a cheeseburger. I don't think that is included, uh, but this is $40. Mockum Blue 2819. I think I'm saying that correctly. Wanted to see all of the superhero costumes for adults. This one is Spider-Man for $55. They also have the muscle chest Batman right here. That is $60. Here is another Batman muscle chest from Batman man versus superman that one is 60 dollars as well and we have superman down here also a muscle chest costume and this one is 55 dollars i think these count as superheroes so we have miss incredible for 55 dollars mr incredible for 60 dollars and they have frozone down here that is so awesome he is 70 dollars i wonder why such a price difference between these ones ninja turtles are technically superheroes as well we have michelangelo and there's a female dress down there and a shirt but this one is $50 that one is very cool and you can get a crossbody pizza bag too they also have the eye masks and Leonardo's katana right there and look they have Leonardo up here and another Leonardo <laughs> I thought they had one other one uh, I guess not though crazy monkey reacts wanted to see the Sonic kids costumes and so far all I see are like these jumpsuits or whatever they're called these are $50 each we have Sonic tails shadow right there and they have the plush guys right here but if you're gonna get the costume i would totally get these rings these ones aren't gonna make sound but usually they do these are so awesome they make the sounds that the rings make there we go this one works listen to that that is so cool i love it i would totally get one of these costumes and a couple of these rings and speaking of things that make sounds if you've never seen this before check this out they have plush mario things that make the sounds that go with them including the mushrooms and the turtle shells that is so awesome i love these they also have wolverine right here this one is 70 dollars wow they have a couple of these too and look they have gambit is that how you say it gambit i don't even know who that is for 80 dollars all right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Milford. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream.
up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween in North Haven, Connecticut. Let's go inside and see if they got any of the new side steppers. I haven't found any yet, but I'm not surprised that I haven't found the two scoops yet because he is an elusive clown. Let's go on in. Ooh, we are greeted by poor George this time. That's a little bit different. All right, poor George, I love his hands. Go on. And he has turned down a little bit, which is a little cool because he's usually super loud. Look at him. How awesome. He has two different colored eyes and a striped sweater. All right, poor George. Good to see you over here. The widow is waiting to break her neck. Let's see if I can break my neck with her. <laughs> I hope I got that right. That is so cool. I love the widow. Okay, Miss Widow, we're going to go around the corner here, and we've got Gordo. All right. I love when they have it set up a little bit different, so it's not always the same. What an awesome setup this year. I love that cat sound. Look at the guts. I love how they have the seeds and everything in there. They did so good with him. He is so cool. All right, Gordo. And around the corner here, we have the straw man. I feel like we're seeing a little bit less and less of him set up. Did you know that this land is cursed? I did know that. The original farmer buried his victims. You've told me many times, Mr. Scarecrow. <laughs> he is so cool. All right, Mr. Scarecrow. There are no animatronics set up back here, but they do have a lot on the floor here, including Lil Jack Carver. I have not seen him set up yet, but he is so cool, and I would love to see him. They also have a Slim, two of the Howling Spirit. I love him and want him very bad. Lil Skelly Bones, the Scary Sitting Scarecrow, and the regular one, three Eternal Rest, the Fogging Skull Pile, Stilts. They have Desmodus here, guys. He is kind of hard to find. Desmodus. Leatherface, poor George, they have a black heart there, young Crouchy, man, they have so many awesome animatronics. They also have Darling Dolly. I am totally gonna grab Darling Dolly one of these days. Let's take a look at some of the inflatables. They have all the ones that we love and enjoy, including the Killer Clowns, Happy Halloween inflatable, rats, jack-o'-lanterns, gargoyles, cats, reapers, and ghosts. Our zombie babies are here to say hello. We have Mothy Max, Gory. George. I'm learning everyone's names. What is his name again? Snack and Stevie. I don't know why that one is so hard for me to remember. They also have Gutsy Gwen, one of the coolest they have ever had. She is eating the guts out of the pumpkin. And we have this guy right here. What is his name? Spider Biter Billy. They also have a few of the cats here. This one my dad calls the secret keeping cat. They also have the Prowler and they have Scabs, the Chihuahua dog. I feel like we should get Get some of these to put in the office that would be awesome on my desk what do we have here check it out they have the vintage clown doll i don't see him ever that is awesome i love finding rare things 27 dollars for him they also have look charlie that is so cool uncle charlie doll how awesome guys he is very hard to find even harder to find than the vintage clown doll also 27 dollars. they have hugs the clown man they have everything here that is very hard to find usually. The only horror babies they have right now are Sam and Pennywise. These guys are pretty common. Always fully stocked on bobbleheads. We have Leatherface, my all-time favorite. Well, I guess the uh, clown, the killer clown right there is another one of my all-time favorites. It's kind of a tie between them and Ghostface. All of these are so awesome. They also have the Exorcist, Hannibal Lecter, Michael Myers behind the bush. We have some sidesteppers, Pennywise right there, and we have Spiky, and they're working. They also have some of our snow globes that we love so much. This one is my favorite, Leatherface. So awesome. They have Michael Myers. He's kind of hard to find. They have the Killer Clown Shorty Snow Globe. He is awesome with all the sparkly stuff in there. And he does light up, but usually these don't work. Maybe they don't have batteries in them when you first buy them. They also have our Blow Molds here. Not going to light up, but he is super awesome. He lights up like a blue color. And they have the Killer Clown right there. Here's some of the crawling hands, and they're actually in different packages than I usually see them in, which will allow us to see it a little better. Ooh, music. That is so awesome. I love that. Wow. And they have two different kinds. This one right here looks like a bloody regular hand. And that one looks more like a monster hand. I wonder if it has the same music. No, it doesn't. 
That is so funny. I've never seen these before. Check it out, guys. People are looking for these, and they are hard to find. They do have them here. The Ghost Face Plushie. He is so awesome. I just bought him at a previous store. He is $30 and hard to find. So come and get him, guys. Of course, they also have Sam, and they have Beetlejuice there, Miss Argentina, and Barbara. They have a few blankets here, but they don't have the ones I am looking for. I am keeping an eye out for more Spirit Halloween blankets that had the characters on them. I'm glad that we found it at another store because I have not seen it yet. I guess it is super rare. I should have grabbed it. Whoa, I have never seen this before. Look at that awesome ghost face sign. I love that. It has his mask. There's some blood on the ground there. The white picket fence in the house is lit up in the night behind him. That is a crazy cool sign for $20. That is not bad. And look at this right next to it. They have a Texas Chainsaw Massacre sign I've never seen before either. That is so cool. He's lifting the chainsaw up like he's going to thrash you. That is so cool. There's the van. This is from the first movie. Everything here is based on the first movie. $18 for that. And here is a third sign that I've never seen before. That is a changing Chucky sign. Wow, that is very cool. I love this. I love finding stuff we've never seen before. $20 for that as well. Oh, guys, they do have the popcorn gun here. He is getting more and more common. That is so awesome. $100. One of these days, I am going to get him. They also have the cotton candy gun here. That is so awesome. And they have a bunch of the acid pies. Look at this, guys. They do have the ghost face spirit shirts. That is so awesome. I do not see any of the Sam ones. That is too bad, but they do have this. He is kind of rare and very cool. All small sizes. If they have the Sam one, I will find him and let you know. They don't have any brand new masks that I haven't seen before, but they do have the Wacky Mole Clown mask, and they have this awesome googly eye clown, and they have the Halloween ends and this Halloween mask. Both of these are very cool, and they have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface mask. He's not at every store, honestly. I guess he's pretty popular. The video game did just come out and they have the flame fiend i love that one let's see if he works yes he does look at that that is the coolest pumpkin mask i've ever seen in my life they have a ton of these hairspray colors and i don't really ever look at them but i'm betting people are wondering how many they have what colors, and if they actually work. So they have all kinds of different colors, blues, pinks, yellows. They even have these right here that have glitter. This is gold glitter right there. These are all about $4 each, and they have so many of them, you wouldn't believe it. All kinds of different colors. Look, there's a glow-in-the-dark one. That is awesome. I'd love to give that a try. All I have is a beard, though. <laughs> These are funny. I've never seen this before. Mushroom glasses. Wow. That is actually really cool. And these are $13. Oh, my gosh, guys. I've never seen this before. Check it out. They have these plush Fall Guys backpacks. That is cool. I can't believe I haven't seen this one before. I'm surprised they don't have more of these at the stores. Let's check the price on him. That is $35 doll hairs. What in the world? Oh, my God. Gosh, it is very cool though. And they also have the orange inflatable guy with the crown. He is cool. We don't see a lot of him. We usually see blue and pink and he is $50. They have a lot of Teletubbies costumes here, guys. I used to watch this show when I was a kid. They have Lala, Tinky Winky, Poe, and Dipsy right there. These are $60 each and I love them. Guys, they have the other Nate guy kit. They have a bald cap, a black hat, and the beard. That is awesome. You can dress up as me for Halloween. Halloween. Check this out. They have some black light paint so you can paint stuff with this and when you put a black light over it, this stuff glows. That is very cool. $13 and it comes with all these colors. That is so awesome. Blue, green, yellow, orange, pink, and purple. And look, they have black light chalk too. That is so cool. So you could decorate your entire driveway and have some black lights up and that would be awesome. I am looking. Oh, look, look at this. Wow. We found some of the zombie bay bag clips. That is awesome. We bought some of these and we actually got the exclusive one. He is called Double Trouble, somebody told me. That is so awesome. These are nine, eight dollars a piece actually. These are awesome, but we are on the hunt for some more of the board games, the Spirit Halloween Monopoly board game. We found one at one of the stores we were at recently, but they are actually pretty rare. Luis Lopez actually wanted to see the prices on these. I don't know which one's Halloween 2. I know this one is not, but this is $80 for that one. And this one, I don't know which Halloween it is from, 
but that one is $70 right there. Here we go. Oh, look, it's me. Hello. This one right here, Halloween 2. This is the one he wanted to know the price on, and that one is $70. They also have these right here from Halloween 2 that is not over the head, and that is $17. A nice price compared to that. Angela Caveja wanted to see the Super Mario costumes. Here's some for females. $30 for Princess Peach, and they have this one right here. That is funny. What is his name even? Toad. That's his name for $37. Here's some more of the Mario costumes right here. They have Bowser for $40. $40. He is an awesome costume right there. They also have Mario for $35 and Luigi for $35. And they have the gloves and hat right here. That is cool. Here's just the hat with the eyes. Everybody likes that one. And they have these masks right there that just cover your face. That's a good one. And look, here's another Princess Peach right here. This one is $40. And if you're going to be Mario, you got to get these. They make the sounds and they are so awesome. All right, guys, that's for Spirit Halloween and North Haven CT. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, we're right here at Halloween City in Carmel, Indiana, like the Carmel Apple. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see where you can get a free purple shirt. The purple ones are super popular. I'm gonna hide it here for you to find, and the shirt is signed. Let's go inside and see if they got a leather face. All right, right in here, look at this. We got the little trick-or-treater right here. I don't think he's actually working. He's not on motion activation or anything, but we do have right here the animated lunging angel of death. Is he not turned on as well? Hmm, I wonder if we can get them to turn these on. Here's the lunging scarecrow right here. I wonder if these are battery operated sometimes too. Maybe they'll have these ones over here turned on right through the Kilgore Gardens. They've got the Wendigo. Look at him. He is so giant and awesome. I don't see anything plugged in. That is too bad. Everything is unplugged right now. They must still be getting set up. Look at him, the monster. He is called the seven and a half foot mad monster Marlin. I can't believe they don't have this stuff plugged in right now. Oh my gosh, look at this. All the snakes are trying to jump out at me. They're all in motion Activision. They're going nuts. That is hilarious. I see a Mad Monster Marlin right here and the Drop Down Scarecrow for sale on the floor. We do have a couple of inflatables over here for sale. We've got the Scary Black Tree right there, 12 feet tall for $150. The 9 foot Jack Skellington, the Smiling Jack O' Lantern, he is $150. The Giant Inflatable Spider right there for $120 and the Awesome Inflatable Ghost for $250. He is 20 feet tall. Plenty of the awesome masks. They always have some great ones here. And check this out. Look, they've got sloth for $25. That is too funny. How cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that mask before. Here's the Mega Frankie. He is a good one too. He has an awesome blue heart right there or something. And he is $70. Here's a Jeepers Creepers mask. We just saw one of these over at Spirit Halloween recently. This one's cool, but not as cool as the other one. This one's from Trick or Treat Studios. I think the other one was from Ruby's. And this one is $60. Here's the patient zombie. He ate through the mask. That is so cool. And this one is $42. There's another zombie right there for $85 with the entire chest piece. Here's a stranger's mask for $20. I knocked down Baphomet right here. Let's go ahead and set him right there because his hanger is broken and get a look at the stranger's mask right here. It's a nice burlap sack and this one is $20. Looks kind of cheap though. This is cool. Netflix Fear Street Skull Mask. That is cool for $60 from Trick or Treat Studio. That is awesome. Here's the Shy Guy. That's kind of a cool one. Look at that. How freaky with his mouth wide open. So wide that he's ripping his cheeks. And look at this. The Evil Santa 
Bro, that is too funny. He is all covered in blood for $20. I love the shiny gold skeletons. These are so awesome. $100 each. I totally want to get one at some point here. And here's a toilet mask. How funny is that? For $26, you can be a toilet for Halloween. Here's some wicked wings. Those are cool. And they actually open up. So I guess you, yes, they have strings on the hands. And when you move your hands, you can make the wings shoot up. That would be good for a Jeepers Creepers costume. They have a bunch of these bling masks. These are so cool and they were popular last year. Here's the glam rhinestone scary ghost face mask and the silver hockey mask from Jason. That is so cool. These are $25 a piece and they do have the age ghost face mask right there for $25 as well from ghost face lives. This is a sweet $40 pumpkin creature costume. Look at that. How creepy. I love all the vines around his body. Look at this earrings that are eyeballs. There's a green one and a blue one. That is so cool and disgusting. I love it. They even have the root of the eyeball on it for $7. That is super gross. They also have all these bloody things. Here's a bloody apron right there, a bloody sweater, a bloody dress for $32. All kinds of this bloody stuff. This is a cool Salem witch costume. All right, look at that. All nice and bloody for $40. Here's the psycho costume for $20. The nice clear vest there covered in blood and you would have to get an axe to go with that And here is probably the axe that I would use for that seven dollars. That is not a bad price, too We also have the Chucky axe right there and look at this the glam axe all covered in shiny rhinestones That is too funny for twenty five dollars plenty of body parts here. Here's a little thing full of fingers there Here's some singular fingers right there for two dollars a piece. That is totally gross thumbs and other middle fingers and things there and then of course they've got the feet and hands oh look at this is that a is that a hand in a jar i'm knocking everything over here because i'm so excited look at this the hand in a jar that is too cool for 35 dollars and here's some drink pouches these would be awesome for a halloween party you can fill these with drinks and pass them out so everybody has a nice drink in a blood pouch this is cool a crime kit i like that it comes with chalk so you can outline the body numbers for all the evidence a blood splatter and caution tape for eight dollars this is what i'm talking about i love these things the nasty food the popcorn we saw last year and i love that this one is my favorite the pizza with eyeballs fingers and worms and we've got the cookie sheet right there with eyeballs and right here is the caramel apple skull check this out behind the nasty food we have a head on a steak that is awesome i've never seen that before let's see how much he is that is $52. That is cool. They always have some great stuff for Halloween parties here. I'm definitely going to stock up on these for my party. Six balloons covered in blood for $4. That is great. And right here is a scene setter for $22. A bunch of blood on a brick wall. Eight feet high and 20 feet long. Here's some bloody straws for your Halloween party. And if you want to do a clown themed Halloween party, they have plenty of this stuff. This is an awesome backdrop roll right here here for $24. Very bloody and cool. That would look awesome in a black light. And they have the clown black light reactive door decoration right there for $15. Plenty of black light reactive clown stuff here. I love this doormat. Look at this. It says enter if you dare and it has the old fashioned scaredy cat and a jack-o-lantern. And there's one with a bunch of bones that says welcome. These are some funny alien eye headbands. Look at this. You could be an alien for Halloween with these eyes sticking up from your head for $6. This is cool. Evil pumpkin monster. Look at how big that mask is. And this is $40. That is awesome. Here's a creepy clown costume for $47. It actually has spooky sounds with it. And look at how long his arms are. And here's another clown one that haunted Jack in the Box for $50. Here's a cool swamp creature costume right there. I love that mask. And a great scary scarecrow costume. And here's the alien hunter. This is a cool one for $60. You have an alien in a cage. Look at this murder hornets. That is hilarious. For $5, you can have six murder hornets. Look at these ginormous $100 towering terror pumpkin costumes. That is crazy. I like that. I wonder if they make like a 
extension to make it look like you're taller. But that thing is huge. It comes with a character mask, hands, robe with attached hood, inflatable height extender, yes. So this thing makes you super tall and it has arm accessories, so that makes your arms longer too. How cool is that, man? And of course we have our awesome favorite decaying pumpkins for $31. I do like these a lot. Okay guys, I did say that I would hide a purple shirt here. So we are going to go right over by these nice red fall trees right here. And I'm going to stick a shirt up into the tree for you to find right there so let's try to get him to stick up here yes right there guys there he is so come and find him he is signed and waiting for you that is it for halloween city in carmel indiana thanks so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one What's up guys, we're out here at Spirit Halloween at Applewood Center in Anderson, Indiana. Let's go inside and see what they got. All right, Miss Widow is greeting us in here. This place is set up nice. <laughs> got to love her, I love that scream. All right, Miss Widow, $199 for her and the straw man is up here in the main setup right now. <laughs> Super loud you are too. You of little me, are you? Why I love this time of year. With the dead leaves all around us, and the darkness wraps around us like a mildewing blanket. Perhaps we could get acquainted while I sharpen my tools. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you, Mr. Strawman. $330 for him. Oh, we got young Crouchy here. All right. <laughs> I love when they have stuff from last year set up. $170 for him. Good to see you, young Crouchy, from 2022. All right, I love it. Thank you so much, young Crouchy. It was great to see you again. Who is around the corner here? Poor George. Yes, let's get him going. Stop spinning. There he goes. We fixed him. <laughs> Poor George. Oh no. Poor guy. Well, he must be damaged. There we go. We fixed him again. All right, good to see you, poor George. I don't think they have a back area set up, but we do have a ton of animatronics on the floor here. Howling Spirit, two of the Black Heart, Young Crouchy is here, the Mars Attacks Martian, two of him, two Leatherface. We have three Desmodus over here, two Stilts, one Darling Dolly, I love Darling Dolly. And over here, we have a bunch of the Man's Possessed Friend and Eternal Rest. Is she on sale? 50% off, wow, originally $140, that is awesome, so she is only $120 right now. And we have two Slims over here, how awesome is this? They are super well stocked, guys. Look at how many Bibbo with Shorty in the pizza box they have, there is so many of them here. They also have the Hocus Pocus Billy Butcherson, he is great. Danny with Banks right there, I love the little Banks cat in her hands. Ooh, look, we also have the Flocked Sam right there and of course we have victor and emily from corpse bride plenty of zombie babies let's go through all of their names we've got flippin freddy right here sticking his tongue out at us gorious george spider biter billy snacking stevie with his delicious hand and wretched ralphie with his delicious rat and of course we have mothy max right there check this out we have a hugs the clown down here you hardly ever see him awesome he is super cool what a great little plush there for 30 dollars and we also have the butcher and monkey chimes demonic dolly devilish desmond loving lilith and the 
decrepit haunted doll. I see a ghost face plush here. How cool. I do have him and he is super awesome. They also have a bunch of our snow globes that we love. Leatherface is my favorite. Here's a spiky sidestepper right there and he does work. I love that sidestepper. Here's a couple of the Crouchy figures. And somebody told me that Lil Skelly Bones figures are online only. That's too bad, but it's still cool. We got one at the 2023 grand opening. They have every door cover that we love. Chucky right there. The Mars Attacks Martian. A couple of the Sam ones. Ghostface right there. Breaking through the glass and ripping through the fabric. Leatherface. The Exorcist. The Gremlins. That's a great one. Both of the Pennywise door covers and wall decor right there. And Michael Myers. And these are $23 a piece. Not too bad. And they are awesome. They have both of the statues that we love as well. Michael Myers right there with his awesome jack-o'-lantern. And Ghostface with his sad jack-o'-lantern. They are fully stocked on bobbleheads. They even have the baby clear clown bobblehead in the toilet. I love that one. And look at this. They have all the inflatables right here. I love when they have stuff set up different than anywhere else wolf tree scarecrow gargoyle ghost cat rat reaper everything we love and around the corner they actually have the jack-o-lantern archways right here and the scary scarecrow archway right there jack-o-lanterns hearses there's the small ghost face that one's cool you don't see that one every day and that is a hundred dollars and they have fright in the box and the scary clown archway they have the killer clowns from outer space pjs right here i don't see those as often as i did earlier in the season they must be pretty popular they are thirty dollars a piece some more PJs that I love are the ghost face ones right here. It says chillin' killin'. Here's a Chucky one right there. Michael Myers, Jason, Pennywise, all kinds of these. They even have a Spirit Halloween set for those Spirit Halloween lovers. I see plenty of these Poppy Playtime costumes right here. These ones have your face in the mouth for $40. Kissy Missy and Huggy Wuggy. They also have the pullover right here. And this is $35. And here's the crossbody book bag that is very cool. I love that. That one is $35 as well. And here's the costumes I like. The one where it actually has his face right there and that one is $60. Right next to those, we do have some Five Nights at Freddy's costumes. Foxy, Glamrock Freddy, Montgomery Gator, that might be my favorite, and I don't see any more of them. I wish they had some more of these. All kinds of the clowns costumes. The clowns are super popular, and look at this. They do have a Crouchy the Clown costume for $70. Hugs the Clown for $45. Carver the Clown. Sinister Jester right there. That's a freaky one, and Trick or Treat Clown. I love the clown costumes they are super freaky lots of extras for these too you have voice changers the jester staff right there that is 22 dollars here's a clown knife right there some awesome weapons here the hammers are 19.99 not too bad and here's a bloody machete i always like the bloody weapons that is cool plenty of blood in there for 13 dollars and a hammer let's see how much the awesome hammer is that is 20 I love the stripes on there. And here's some more colorful clown costumes. You've got the Chaos Clown. That one is $50. And we have the Neon Clown. I like that one. I think that one might be my favorite clown costume for $50 as well. And look, I didn't notice this. The mask lights up. That would be sweet at nighttime. They have some of the Spirit Halloween jerseys right here. These are really cool. This is the kid's size. They should have some adult sizes here somewhere too. It says 31 on the back for Halloween and has Jack the Reaper. They have the sonic rings here i love these things they make sounds whenever you shake them if you're gonna be sonic you're gonna need these 30 dollars for two of them and look they even have the plush guys here's knuckles for 17 dollars we've got sonic over here and oh look here's another one shadow right there for 17 dollars as well and of course here's the tails mask that is 15 dollars and here's the sonic mask down there these are half masks so they'd be cool to wear whenever it's warm outside and plenty of costumes i love the inflatable costumes let's take a look at some of these we've got the inflatable shark that is hilarious i just watched jaws the other day 50 dollars for that one we've got dragons balloon animals i love that one a ton of the dinosaurs that is very cool here's a cow down here we've got a donkey sumo wrestlers chickens skeleton pick-me-ups and this is
this is a funny one the inflatable bull rider for $35 how funny is that they have our buddy scabs a chihuahua dog right here I haven't seen him in a little bit he is awesome and they have the prowling cat the infected rat and the secret keeping cat let's see if the live wires work just for the fun of it no and ooh, yes I love these so much how awesome is that? I really want to get a couple of these. These are $50 a piece. I'm going to need some black lights pretty soon here. So let's check the prices on some of these. We've got the black light bulb right here. That is $13. The 18 incher is $35. That might be what I need to get. And then we've got these ginormous 48 inchers for $60. And I think I might get some of these hanging LED flames as well. Later on in the season, I'll do like a uh, Spirit Halloween haul, $35 for that. And I'll show everybody what I buy for my inflatable haunted house. And then I'll show you me setting everything up. I like these body bags. Here's the burlap one. That one's awesome, covered in blood, $20 for that one. And this one's just a regular trash bag. You could easily make this at home. And that is $20 as well. Look at how many skeletons they have. This is crazy, $50 a piece for these posable skeletons and they are awesome and this one has led eyes and that is 70 dollars i wonder if our friend the kicking clown will work no let's see if this one does yes there he goes i love the kicking clown he is so funny he is so cool Let's see how much he is. He is $40. This is funny. Here's the giant grumpy baby mask right there. That is $30. I wonder what my daughter would do if she saw me wearing that. I do not see the leather face masks here. Wow, they must be sold out. That is crazy. But they do have the Halloween mask right here. That is a nice one. And they have the other Halloween mask right here. That one I think I like a little bit better. I also love the flame head mask. Please, oh yes, it is working. Look at that. At nighttime, that would be amazing. This is another freaky one, the flesh creature. Look at that ginormous mouth with nasty sharp teeth, and that is $30. I didn't see any more plush in this store, but we do have a bunch of the Beetlejuice ones. Here's Lydia with her camera. Miss Argentina. There is Beetlejuice himself right there. These are $30 a piece, I believe. $27, actually. Not too bad. And we got Adam with the eyes on his fingers. I kind of want that one. What is this called? the sandworm and Barbara with the eyes in her mouth. I love these. And here's the awesome Beetlejuice sign. I kind of want this for my office. I wish that was working because he lights up really well. And here's some Beetlejuice costumes here. This is a cool one. The wedding suit. That is $70. We also have a female Beetlejuice costume right there for $50. Dress, headband, tie, label pins, and thigh highs. Here's another one right there for $50. And the original Beetlejuice costume right here for $70. And they even have a Lydia costume up here. That one is $60 for her wedding dress and veil. And they even have green vert. Is that hairspray? Yes, green hairspray if you want to color your own hair instead of wearing a wig for $7. Check this out. I've been keeping my eye out for this. The Waldo costumes. That is $40. Has the shirt, hat, glasses, and inflatable cane. That is awesome. And they have a female one right here for $40. They do have the Jack the Reaper costume here, guys. He is super popular popular so come and get him he is $55 and one size fits most there's a couple more clown costumes over here that I love here's the slasher clown that one is super scary for $40 and this one right here the creepy clown that one is $50 I haven't seen this for a while the spear Halloween pillowcase if I was gonna go trick-or-treating I would totally get this I love using a pillowcase instead of a regular bag $10 for that how awesome and right below that they do have the ghost face spear Halloween shirts. How cool. Okay, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Anderson, Indiana. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream.
What's up guys, we're out here at Spirit Halloween in Noblesville, Indiana. Let's go inside and see what awesome Halloween stuff they have. All right, we are greeted by stilts and the straw man. We are hardly ever greeted by the straw man. Let's get him going. I love the sound of the hooing owl behind us. With the dead leaves all around us, and the darkness wraps around us like a mildew blanket. Perhaps we could get acquainted while I sharpen my tools. <laughs> $330 for the straw man. He would go great at a pumpkin patch. All right, we've got stilts over here. Juggle your pins for me, stilts. $350 for him. I love his cracking neck. Good to see you, Stilts. All right, we've got the Martian Warrior here. I love that they have him always. Let's go, Martian Warrior. Pew, 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 pew. I love the sounds that he makes. He is great. And look at that big old brain. All right, poor George is usually around the corner here. Is that him? No, it's Heckles. All right. I love that Heckles is here. Step right up. Step right up. And get your balloons and here. get your balloons Only here. And then, and once the day the circuit without a balloon. Just don't <laughs> come and knocking for refunds. <laughs> He is so awesome. He is a hilarious animatronic. What great quotes he has. All right, we've got Slim over here. He's got a wire around his neck. What in the world? All right, come on, Slim. Do, 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 do. Honk, honk. Gotta love Slim. All right, thank you, Mr. Slim. Let's go around the corner here and see. Oh, yes, we do have the widow. I love the widow. <laughs> she is so great. One of my favorites. She was online only last year, so I'm glad we get to see her in the store this year. Let's go on inside here to see Mr. Dagger Mike and the sitting scarecrow. We'll do the scarecrow first. So cool. He is a great classic, and so is Mr. Dagger Mike over here. Come on, Mr. Dagger Mike. <laughs> he is loud, too. Thank you, Mr. Ball Dagger Mike, for jumping and spooking us. And here is the graphics up here. I love the skeletons. That is so funny. He takes out his eyeball and shows it to you. How cool. They have the volume on that turned up nice and loud, too, so you can hear it. There's the green spirits. Oh, very cool. Here is a whole circle of animatronics. The Howling Spirit. We have a little Skelly Bones here. Emmeline, Young Crouchy. Young Crouchy and Skelly Bones together. How awesome. Fogging Skull Piles. Here's the Colderness. I really wish they would have her set up with fog. Ooh, 50% off for her as well. $140. What does this say? Does, doesn't work. Can't be built to completion hmm okay you can buy the extra parts to complete him 50 percent off that's a good deal and we've got two of the widow over here how great the back area is set up with the hex spawn i'm so glad we're seeing more and more of him this year we didn't see a lot of him beginning in the season there he goes so tall What an awesome tall animatronic. I love that. Cool. Okay, we've got the howling spirit right here. I love visiting Spirit Halloween. It's so fun. And of course, we've got the gargoyle right here with his red glowing eyes. Thank you, Mr. Gargoyle. We've got Darling Dolly next to the creepy tree. We have to see Darling Dolly drop down at us. She is 
is great and I love her hair. She is so cool and she is $280. Here's Gordo right here. Let's go Gordo, pop up at me. Yes. I want to carve a pumpkin just like Gordo and I'd have to put something in the middle to make him stand up like that and then hang all the guts out. He is great. All right, Mr. Riz Reaper with the girlfriend peeking above his arm. You are now mine for all time. Together, we shall roam among the living and find our next victim. All right, thank you, Mr. Blackheart. Over here, we've got the Whispering Grave Watcher. I love when they have her turned up loud so you actually can hear what she is saying. Desmodus, will you work for me? The step pad is kind of underneath the thing here, but I don't think he's working. Oh, there were skelly bones. All right, Desmodus must not be working, but that's okay. We do love to see him. Let's knock on the door and see if Mr. Spider's awake. Oh, he's already jumped out. There he is. I love the spiders. Let's see what babies they have. They do have Ghostface and Sam and plenty of zombies here. Snackin' Stevie, Mothy Max, Wretched Ralphie with his tasty rat, Ravenous Ruby over here with her delicious cockroaches. We have three of Devil Cherub here. He is very cool with the red glowing eyes. And we have Spider Biter Billy biting his spiders. Here's a sleigh time hiding underneath him. And of course we have Gorius George, we always have a bunch of him. And look, we have Gutsy Gwen. We haven't seen her in a little bit. Good to see you, Gutsy Gwen. Another one that we haven't seen in a little bit is Chompin' Connie. Here she is, Chompin' on the brain. I see a ghost face sidestepper. Will you work for me? Yes. He is so cool. Him and Leatherface are my favorites, but I don't see Leatherface here. I do see a Chucky. Will, oh, there he goes. He is a very cool sidestepper. Plenty of the talking Chuckies and greeters. And we have Ghostface inflatables over here. And we have the Leatherface statue. I do not see Glenn dolls. They sell out so quickly. Oh, look, we have a bunch of the Leatherface right here. Sweet. He is so cool. I definitely want to buy him at some point. Here's all the door covers. Somebody posted a picture of the door covers on the Facebook page, and these things are like an elastic. They fit around the door very well, and you can't even tell anything is connected to the door from the other side. So you could kind of put two on there, one on one side and one on the other. And I would probably get uh, Michael Myers and Leatherface or maybe Ghostface, but oh, there he is, the Ghostface one. Actually, this one's just the hanging wall decor. There is one with Ghostface breaking out of the glass, and that's the other one that I would really want. Here's the Chucky breaking out of the glass door cover right there. That is also an awesome one. And these are $23 a piece. Over here at the masks, I do spy a couple of awesome things. Oh my gosh. Including the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Pretty Woman Leatherface mask. I want it so bad for $70. I might get him by the end of the year because I have the regular one. And look at this you never ever ever see this from ruby's the jeepers creepers mask it is so so cool look at how shiny and gross he is this is 60 dollars. not a bad price either look at that ponytail this is crazy i never see it i'm so excited that we found it how awesome is that and a great packaging too ruby's did a great job with that awesome i also see the crouchy mask over here and look it's on clearance for 50 dollars it's usually, I think, like $60 or $70, but this one does not have the gloves with him. We also have the Toxic Nozzles Clown. Let's see if he will light up for us. No, that is too bad. Is there a tab? No. $30 on clearance. I wonder if that's why they have him on clearance. Let's see if this one works. No, wow. He must be out of batteries. They all are on clearance, actually. 
Oops, I dropped the mask. They also have a wacky mole down there. Let's see if he will light up for us. And I do see a tab, but it's already pulled. Please light up for us. No, I guess not. They must have ran out his batteries. Look at how the teeth look like candy corns. I love that. Here's the Momo mask. This one is a popular one. Look at how scary that is. I love it. Let's see how much Momo is. That is $40. A little bit pricey for me, but he is awesome. And he goes well with Jeff the Killer. They both are kind of a similar mask right there. Both of them are equally as freaky. And they have my favorite Jason mask right here. When you lift it up, it has his freaky face. I love this one so much. From Ruby's as well for $60. Ruby's does such a good job with their masks. Look at this. They have the Jabberin' Jack. I have not seen this in the store yet this year. How cool. And this is a white pumpkin version of him. How awesome. 70 minutes of custom animation. It's got a little projector in there to do his face. So his face moves and talks and tells jokes. He is an awesome pumpkin. I kind of want him. And and he is $35, not too bad. They have the awesome blow mold pumpkins here. This one looks like a purple witch. This one looks like a green witch. This one looks like a clown. And this one looks like a skull. And this one is actually a piece in the Monopoly game, the Spirit Halloween Monopoly game, that is really cool. And this one is an orange pumpkin skull. I wonder if the kicking clown is going to work. This is not the kicking clown. This is the witch, or not the witch, the uh, nurse. She is cool. She shakes and moans. She is hilarious. Look at that nasty white hair. I would like this guy to work. He usually flaps his wings and has some creepy sounds, but his batteries are always dead. They have a couple different kinds of caution tape here. These would be great just to decorate around the house. It'd be a nice touch to your Halloween decorations. This one says biohazard zone keep out. That's pretty cool for $6. And they have the warning crime scene do not cross also for $6. And these are 100 feet in length. That is a pretty good deal. If you're going to get either of these, you're probably going to want to get the body bag. That would go well with that decoration. And the body bag is $20. And it is five foot tall. So it is basically life-sized. Here's the fresh grave mound. It makes it look like you have a nice freshly dug grave right there with dirt for $15. That would go great with a graveyard setting. And they have plenty of graves somewhere around here. Check this out. They do have the chainsaws. Chainsaws are kind of hard to find, but they are awesome. I think these are like $80 a piece. I love these things so much. These are, oh no, they're actually $50 a piece. I way overestimated, but that is not a bad deal. I do not see any of the graves. That's kind of weird. They have to be somewhere around here. They usually have a whole wall full of them. Here they are right over here by the back area. Plenty of graves for your graveyard setting. There's a pet graveyard sign right there. I like this one right here. Nice and tall, says RIP and has some candles on it. This one has a crow on the top. Plenty of awesome graves here. And they have fences too. This one has skulls on it. This one has some jack-o'-lanterns on it. That's a pretty creepy one. And this is the regular bronze one. And it does have a little skull on the top. Those would be great to complete your graveyard setting. They do have the Haunted Mansion three-pack side steppers. These are a great deal. Let's see how much these actually cost. They are $100 for all three of them. And they have the Haunted Mansion snow globe right here with the dog. I love that little dog. This thing is pretty cool. I think those are bats in there. Let's shake it and see if it is. I believe it. Yes, it is bats. How cool is that? Awesome. There's a nice close up there of the dog. How hilarious is that? And this is $45. Here's the Oogie Boogie Operation game. I kind of want this one. I love Operation. I grew up playing this game. And this is $40, not too bad, and very creative. Oh, and I just noticed, look at this, he says some quotes. Ooh, I'm really scared. How awesome is that? We have a Crouchy plush here. There is only one, so come and get him. We also have Annabelle and the people from Corpse Bride. What are their names? Victor and Emily. Very cool. They have a couple of the awesome book bags, too. Here's Sam right there. This is an awesome ghost face. And Nightmare Before Christmas with the awesome jack-o'-lantern 
pattern and they have a Chucky bag. Look at this, we have another Crouchy hiding over here amongst the pillows, that is awesome. And look at this, the skeleton pillow, I love this one. He is $30. Oh look, another Crouchy. They're just kind of hiding them throughout here. This is a great Sam trick or treat fleece throw. Look at the moon behind him, I love the moon. He is holding the candy bar with the blade in it. How cool is that? He is $33. And right over here, we have the Willy Wonka blanket. And if you look at the design right there, it's the wallpaper. The snozberries taste like snozberries. And this one is $45. They do have the giant Huggy Wuggy masks. Boy, that music is loud. But I love these Huggy Wuggy masks with the red light up eyes. He's not working right now, but they have Huggy Wuggy and they have Kissy Missy back there. Plenty of ninja costumes here if you want to be a ninja for Halloween. We've got the light up skeleton ninja, ultimate ninja right there. I like that blue. Extreme lightning ninja. That's a cool one. This one is $40. $30 for that and $40 for that and they have the Apocalypse Ninja that is also a super cool freaky one for $40. Here's a Silver Mirror Ninja with mirror eyepiece right there. This one is $30. They have so many of these ninjas. Look, the Deluxe Dragon Ninja. That's also an awesome one right there for $35. I have been keeping my eye out for the Bobblehead Pumpkin costume, but I have not seen it since last year. But what I do see is Lord Raven. How cool. We never see this for $45. Based on the animatronic from 2022, we also had the light up jack-o'-lantern costume right there. That is awesome for $45. And they have the Jack the Reaper costume right there, a very popular one for $45 as well. I don't think we looked at the inflatables, but they have plenty of them. Every one that we love. You don't see these at every store. Look at this. They've got the fur mink coat if you want to be a rich person for Halloween. And they have the money jacket. I would love to have this. That's actually the whole suit right there. How awesome. For $70. Very cool. I've never seen this before. The crossbody disco ball bag. That is hilarious. $25. I wish it actually had the little mirror pieces on it, but it's still pretty cool and you get the idea. That would go well with this Disco Diva costume right here. Jumpsuit, belt, and hair piece. But look at the bag that she has. That's more of a disco ball right there. $40 for that one. Or if you're a dude, you could get the Disco Dude right there. Shirt, pants, and necklace. This shirt is super shiny and this is $50. I see the taser over here. I love this taser. If I was going to be a police officer for Halloween, I would totally get the taser. Let's see if one of these yes this one works awesome you could run around tasing people at your halloween party or if you don't want that you can get a club and go around beating people at your party or writing violations to them i love the cop stuff they've got cop mustaches badges id badge necklaces all kinds of extras for these and here's the police officer costumes 35 dollars for that jailbird right here would go well with that for 25 dollars or the escaped convict for 40. they also have a sheriff sheriff kit right here for $35. And if you're going to be the sheriff, you're going to have to go right over here to get the deluxe ranger hat or the fedora or the adventure hat. Any of these would work well with the sheriff. I would probably get the ranger hat and that one is $13, not too bad at all. And that looks like something a sheriff would wear. They also have these awesome SWAT helmets. Look at this hard plastic. I love that. Looks kind of like a welding helmet too and that one is $15 or you can get this regular army helmet right here if you want to be a soldier for Halloween I would like to do that one here or you can get this if you're going to go to a toga party this is an awesome viking helmet for $13 okay guys that's it for Spear Halloween in Noblesville Indiana thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one Ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream.
What's up guys, we're out here at Spear Halloween in Noblesville, Indiana. Watch till the end of the video to see where I hide a free t-shirt for you to find. Let's go inside and see what they got. Ooh, this is a big store. I love it. Leatherface is greeting us right here. Rev your chainsaw. I love that chainsaw, how awesome. We got a fan over there who wants to say hi. Good to see you, Leatherface. I love him so much. We've got stilts over here. Let's go, stilts. Juggle your pins for me. <laughs> I love his colors. He is so awesome. $350 for stilts. All right, we've got the Martian Warrior. Will he have any mist in him? No, not today. He is very cool though. You put the mist right in here, I believe. There's a little bit of a water area for you to dump it in. How awesome is he? Pew, 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 pew. Good to see a Martian warrior who is around the corner. Will it be the widow? Yes, it is. I love the widow. Let's break our neck with her. I love that so much. She is so great. I will have to get her at some point. Oh my gosh, she broke her neck again. It just keeps on cracking. All right, let's go over here to Slim. Good to see you, Slim. Close your popcorn bag for me. He is a little bit quiet, but we will honk his nose. Honk, honk. Old Slim. I'd love to see him and Shorty set up at the same time. I wonder if we'll see that by the end of the season. All right, around the corner here, let's see who we got. Poor George, yes, poor George, with his fiery red hair. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, poor George, in your beautiful striped sweater. All right, on the inside here, we have the scarecrow. He's got a rat in his basket. How cool. Aha, I love the scarecrow. What a classic with those red eyes. I love the rat in his basket. How cool. Okay, right behind him, we've got Dagger Mike. I love Dagger Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he is so awesome good to see you dagger mike i think we're gonna see him next year as well because he is so popular we've got some animatronics on the floor man's possessed friend stilts slim who is this around the corner emmeline i have not seen her set up yet i sure hope we get to see her at some point the widow and the black heart and eternal rest who is on sale right now for 120 dollars the back area is set up let's go mr hexbon so tall and loud. I love it. How cool is he? He would look great with some fog around him. Good to see you, Mr. Hexbon. You are super freaky and tall. All right, we've got the Howling Spirit right here for $200. I love his howling. All right, right below him, we do have the gargoyle. And I believe the gargoyle shoots fog out of his mouth. So he would be super cool when he is actually set up. I love that green light on him. We're gonna have to get some of these lights for sure. And of course we have Darling Dolly. I love Darling Dolly. She is great. 
What a great animatronic she is. And for $280, that is not too bad. Right next to the creepy tree. And of course we have Eternal Rest. She is eternally spinning her head. I haven't seen her working in a little while. I at least love to see her spin her head around and around and around. All right, Gordor over here is not working, but it is good to see him. And we'll tickle his guts for him just for a moment. And right here, the Riz Reaper. Oh, his jaw's not working. Together. Together. His arm looks broken too. <laughs> All right, right here we have the Whispering Grave Watcher. No Desmodus over here, but we do have the Straw Man. He's always good to see. Very cozy. <laughs> he is so great. I love this setup this year. And Lil Skelly Bones, the classic. Gotta love Lil Skelly Bones, a ultimate classic. Let's knock on the door and see who's behind. Yes, there he is. I love the spider. I sure hope that they make a white spider at some point. And I love the lights behind there. They did a great job with this. Good to see you, Mr. Spider. Go take a nap now. I see some plush guys here. How awesome. We have two Michael Myers for $30 each. And a young Crouchy. I do have Crouchy. He is great. We also have Annabelle. And look at this. The Nightmare Harvester with his awesome jack-o'-lantern. Very cool to see him. I wish we could see the animatronic of him though and of course we have both versions of sam oh look and there's a little skelly bones down here with this hood off how cool he's bald let's see what kind of blankets we have we do have the mars attacks martian i love that one so cool we also have the spear halloween reversible plush throw and the killer clowns that's a great one as well chucky right there pennywise and over here we've got the cheeto blanket i love cheetos michael myers up here with the moon behind him jason from friday the 13th I do love that. And look, we have Scooby-Doo. Fully stocked on lunch boxes. I love these. Here's the Halloween 2 Michael Myers one. Let's see how much these are. These are $17 a piece. Here's the Friday the 13th one with Jason on it. I definitely want that one. Look at the screaming person right there. How freaky. We've got the Chucky good guy. Killer clowns from outer space. Trick or treat. Here's an awesome Ninja Turtles one. Scooby-Doo down here. And we even have ghost face this is an awesome one as well if i went to school i would totally get one of these lunch boxes i see our good friend the gnarly bunny he is so torn up and freaky we also have the prowling cat right here how much is the prowling cat i don't remember Ooh, we almost knocked over the gnarly bunny and gave him another wound 17 dollars for that and we have the infected rat down here he is $15. Plenty of the inflatables. We always like to look and see what they have. All the ones that we love. Ghosts, gargoyles, trees, cats, scarecrows, fright in the box. They have two of him. Reapers, jack-o'-lanterns, and the archways, and they have the snake. Here's the cracked skull zombie groundbreaker with the nice green lights on him. I do like that a lot. That would be awesome to see in the dark. There he is in the ground, and this is $30. Not bad. Right above him, we have the pathway marker the bumpy spooky pumpkins right there and the regular jack-o'-lanterns right here let's see if they work yes they do how awesome and they have the skull ones up there those are white and they flash they have a bunch of the hanging zombies i do love these with the barbed wire i have one but not the barbed wire one i have this guy right here he is 50 dollars. i hung him on the back of my truck last year but i definitely want this guy he is so freaky let's see if the reaper with wings will work no that one's not gonna work i wish there was a tab or something we could pull maybe this one will work no, that is too bad. But maybe the kicking clown will work. No, I guess everybody's in here pushing all the buttons. Let's see if she works just for the fun of it. Oh, yes, she does. <laughs> she said, come have candy with me. She is a funny hanging witch. And they have monkey chimes right here. He works. How cool is that? I love this stuff. 
They have the Mars Attacks Martian new mask for 2023. These are awesome with the moving jaw. And these are $79.99. And I see right over here one of the masks that I love. The Neon Clown, I think he is called, or Blacklight Clown. What is this? UV Last Laugh. He is a freaky clown. I'd love to see that under a black light. Look at those teeth. This one would also look good under a black light. The Neon Clown. I love all the colorful masks. And look Look at this they have my favorite vintage zombie mask sometimes he is hard to find he is $13 and this one right here the vintage jolly ghost is another one of my favorites and he is $13 as well they also have the vintage witch right there and the vintage devil and the vintage clown cat and the monster and the werewolf up there oh look and they also had the vintage bunny man they are fully stocked on vintage masks right now and they are all $13 a piece they they have a bunch of the bats. I love the bats. Here's an aluminum one right there. We've got wooden ones. This one has some barbed wire on it. This one might be my favorite though with the nails in it. That is super awesome. For $22. I don't see any chainsaws anywhere, but we do have a wrench right here, a hammer, the meat cleaver, all kinds of axes, swords and stuff. They have some great weapons here for any costume that you want to do. I missed this a minute ago, the Mars Attacks Martian Warrior and the Howling Spirit hiding right back here next to the back area. We have to say hello to all of our zombie babies. Here's Devil Cherub. I haven't seen him in a little while, actually. He is awesome. We also also have Mothy Max here, snacking Stevie with his delicious hand, Ravenous Ruby with her delicious cockroaches, Wretched Ralphie with his delicious rat, Flippin' Freddy sticking his tongue out at us. Maybe he's hungry because everyone else has a snack. We've got the Ghost Face Horror Baby right here and Sam. Ghost Face and Leatherface are my favorite, but they are usually sold out pretty quickly. We've got a couple of snow globes over here as well. We've got the Mars Attacks Martian and Leatherface right there. And look what is over here here a bunch of awesome side steppers including chucky right there let's see if one of him works maybe not let's pull the tab on this guy that is a tough tab to pull i don't even know if we can get it out that is crazy it's like wrapped around the plastic in there maybe we'll try this one right here boy oh boy these are tough to pull there we go we finally got it all right Chucky is so awesome. And right behind Chucky, we have my favorite, Leatherface. Ghostface is kind of hard to find. Let's get Leatherface going. Oh no, is he not gonna work? Wait, there's a tab back here that we can pull. I love when we get to be the first person to pull tabs, but boy, some of these are hard to pull. I cannot even get it out. There it goes. Oh my goodness, they really don't want you to pull these out. Here he goes. All right. I love Leatherface so much. What a great sidestepper. No Glenn doll, but plenty of the talking Chucky dolls here. There he goes, he works. And we have the good guys box right there and the Chucky statue. And look at this, they do have the Leatherface statue. I want this so bad. He makes some awesome sounds. See if he works, yes he does. That is so awesome. They also have the Pennywise statue right here. He lights up and says some freaky quotes as well. And the popcorn statue. They have all the signs we love. Some of my favorites are the slow alien invasion sign right there. That is great. The Camp Crystal Lake sign. That is $30. Not a bad price. And here's a small Camp Crystal Lake sign right here. I don't think I've ever seen this one. For $15. A little more affordable. They do have the Megan costume right here for $60. They also have the Annabelle costume right here for $50. Here's Napoleon Dynamite. I love that one for $35. And right next to him, they do have Pedro right there. How cool. So you and a friend can be Napoleon and Pedro. And that one is $45. Here's some minion goggles. That is funny. Everybody loves the minions. This is $10. And they have the ogre ears. Here's the family video vest. I do want this because I grew up with family video. This is $30. I love 
love it so much. I used to go to family video all the time when I was a kid. And that comes with the vest and buttons and the name tag. They have a bunch of the baby stuff over here. These are hilarious. There's the inflatable baby right there. The female baby for $40. And for $40 again, the male pajama kit. He does not come with the teddy bear. You'll need your own teddy bear. And these giant rattles right here. These are hilarious for $7 a piece. And look at this. I knew they had them somewhere. The diapers. I would not do that. But somebody might think it's funny to dress up as a baby for Halloween. $10 for the diaper. Oh, look. They have bottles, too. They have pink ones and blue ones. The giant bottles are $7. They have some cool snack costumes here. Here's the Cheetos. And there's a flaming Hot Cheeto down there. I love that one. This one's $40. And that one is $40 as well. They also have chips and salsa here for $50. That's a good couple's costume. Here's Cup of Noodles for $40. And up here we have the Works Hot Dog for $37 and a Banana for $30 and a Taco for $40. I really like this one though. Look at this. It's a giant squirrel. Jumpsuit, head cover, acorns, gloves, and shoe covers for $80. This is a ginormous costume. Look at that face. That is hilarious. Another big one is this gorilla right here. The Deluxe Gorilla costume for a hundred dollars. Here's some cool costumes from my childhood. We've got Barney right there, the inflatable costume, and he is sixty dollars. There's a Teletubby costume. They usually have a bunch of them. Here's the Rugrats Reptar inflatable for eighty dollars. I love that one. I used to watch Rugrats all the time when I was a kid. A Gremlin one. That one is cool. Garfield for sixty, and Looney Tunes Tasmanian Devil. He is sixty dollars as well. I love the inflatable costumes. I'm pretty sure for one year I was Dr. Seuss thing one and two with my sister or brother for Halloween. They have plenty of these costumes here. Thing one and two jumpsuits, gloves, stick on patches, and wigs for $40 right there. That is not a bad price. Here's just the wigs alone and they have the cat in the hat costumes right there. This one is thing one through usually I think it's nine. One through nine right there. And they have plenty of other extras here including look at this, the crossbody bag with the fish. I love Monsters and I grew up with Monsters, Inc. as well. And look at this, the crossbody treat bag. This is so cool. It's the scream canister. And that actually moves, I think, maybe, I believe, yes, it does move when you move the bag and it fills up. This is so cool, man. I love Monsters, Inc. The hard hat is awesome as well. Look at that. Ooh, I spy a popcorn gun. I want this so bad. I'm totally going to buy it at some point. I want to crank that crank and hear the popcorn pop. He is $100. How awesome. And I love the packaging too. Look at the popcorn on there and the awesome colors. I don't see any Killer Clowns costumes though. How funny is that? They do have the hand puppets though. Those are cool. And these are $22 for them. And they have a couple of half masks. Shorty and Spiky right there. And Shorty's Club. If you're going to be Shorty, you're going to need the club. And that is $20. I like this Michael Myers half mask with the bleeding eyes. That is very cool. The half masks are good when it's warm outside. $13 for that. Or you can get this plain old Halloween 2 one right there with no hair. That's a pretty cool one as well. You can even customize this if you want to. And that is $17. I wonder why that one is more expensive than this one. Probably because this one is not from Trick or Treat Studios. And of course, if you're going to be Michael Myers, you're going to need a mechanics jumpsuit right there for $30. They also had the female Michael Myers jumpsuit right there for $50, and that has a little patch that says Myers. Or there's a red jumpsuit right here. Oh, look, and there's a brown one, too. I didn't even know they had a brown one. That one is $30, and this is $30 as well. Oh, look, there's a green one. What? Wow, that is crazy. I did not know they have multiple colors of these. Okay, guys, I said I would hide a t-shirt, and we're gonna hide it right now. We are in the back of the parking lot, right here in front of the Tex-Mex right there. I am going to put this in the bushes right here, nestled in. So come and find it. That's it for the Spirit Halloween in Nobles, Indiana. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.
Don't you like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. What's up guys, we're out here at Spear Halloween on State Road in Lafayette, Indiana. Let's go inside and see what they got. All right, I see Stilts and Leatherface. Always good to see them greeting us here. Here goes Stilts. Juggle your pins for me, maybe? Oh, I guess he doesn't work. That's too bad, but there is a prowling kitty down here. Leatherface, will you please work for me? Hmm, I wonder if they turned them off or if they're just not working. Hmm. Okay, I just asked him and he said that they may have turned off whenever they masked the lights earlier, so they might be turning them on right now. I think he is trying to. This one is not working. I did hear the howling spirit over there going off and slim right here. Let's see if he works too. Oh, look, his uh, bag fell off. Let's go ahead and help him get his bag back together there. There we go. Something like that. Now, I don't think they are working. No, he tried to mess with it, but for some reason their power is not working correctly. These ones over here are working though. Here's the hex bond. Let's get him going. There he goes. All right. He is so tall. I see the spider jumping over there as well. I love that. So cool. All right, the howling spirit. I love the lights on him. They are super bright. He would look great in the dark. I am tempted to buy him. All right, we've got the gargoyle here. He's not lighting up, but he is awesome and fog comes out of his mouth. Here's Darling Dolly. Maybe, hmm, there we go. She's wearing a hat. <laughs> That's cool. I like when they put hats on the animatronics. That is so funny. All right, around the corner here, we got that Riz Reaper. Look, somebody put a heart in the tree. I love when people do this funny stuff. That is so cool. All right, the Riz Reaper. Don't be afraid. Your time has come. Join me now and forever. Good to see you, Mr. Blackheart. All right, here's little Skelly Bones. There is no Desmodus here right now. Oh, little Skelly Bones must be broken. That, oh, there he goes, oh my gosh. That was too funny. No sounds or lights from him, but he is hopping. We have a cat right there that is so funny. I love when they do this funny stuff. And he is popping out of the door, Mr. Spider. I do love him so much. I see two little Jack Carver. I wish they had him set up because I have not seen him set up in the store yet. And look, they have four. They could totally set one of these up over there where Desmodus usually is. We also have Desmodus right here. What? Why don't they have him set up? Three or maybe, yes, three Emmeline, the Widow, and a Howling Spirit right here. I do want him. How much is he? He is $200. That is not a bad price for him. And... I thought we saw another one over there, but right here we do have the Hauntleys. I'd love to see this working as well. 60 minutes of talking and joking. Plenty of inflatables here. We've got the stabbing ghost face, 12 foot Pennywise, scary archway right there. The hearse, reapers, scarecrows, trees, cats, jack-o'-lanterns, rats, everything that we love to see. And look who we have over here. We have three heckles on the floor for sale. $280, that is crazy. But I'm super happy to see that they have him for sale on the floor. We also have two Leatherface right there, three stilts, two slim right here, the straw man and widow right there. How awesome. And the statues. I love when they do different things. He has some cool quotes. I love when they have different things set up around here. Look, there's wretched Ralphie with his rat. This is so cool. Here's Spider Biter Billy chilling on top of Heckles. And they did get the animatronics set up over here for us. That is awesome. Let's get poor George going. Poor George. <laughs> poor George is so awesome. And they have Leatherface chilling right next to him. How cool. On the inside, we do have Dagger Mike. He may be broken, though, because his head is turned. And look, Scab's a Chihuahua dog. Oh, he's making noise. Oh, my goodness, he does jump. That is too funny. And, of course, the sitting scarecrow. <laughs> All right, I do love him. He is one of my favorites as well. Slim, we'll get Slim going here. 
Come on, Slim, do something for me. There he goes. Maybe not. <laughs> hmm. Slim is a little bit buggy. We'll go ahead and go around him and go back to the front here to see Leatherface. Okay, Stilts and Leatherface. Let's get them going. There we go. I love the bright colors on him and the bloody pins. All right, Leatherface. I love Leatherface. He is one of my favorites for 2023. Got to love Leatherface. All right, we've got the Martian warrior with his green light behind him. He is so cool. I think they may have the widow. Oh yes, we already looked over here. They do have the widow. Let's get her breaking her neck. So awesome. Good to see you, Miss Widow. Ooh, look at this. We have a poor George right there. Man's Possessed Friend on sale for $130. And three, Mr. Punchy. Somebody during the live stream today told me that Mr. Punchy curses, and I did not know that. But I do still love him. He is a party clown. This is awesome. Here's a cheeseburger costume right here. That would be great for me. How much is he? I don't see a price on the front there. He is... Hmm, I don't see a price on him at all. Perhaps he's free. This is a funny wrestler pick-me-up. I like that one as well. There's the Super Skins Blue inflatable right there. There's a shark up here. I love the shark costume. That one is $60. There's a grandma for $45. Oh my gosh, and they have the Tiger King. They call it Mullet Man. That is hilarious for $40. My brother would like that one. Here's all the Barbie stuff. Everybody asks me about the Barbie stuff. There's a Ken box up there for $40. That's a funny one. Skating Ken right there for $60. Weird Barbie for $50. Here's the Western hat right there. Let's see how much that one is. $17. The Barbie box crossbody bag. I think that's like $20. $30 actually. That's pretty crazy. And here's the fanny pack. That's a funny bright fanny pack. And a Barbie dress right here for $30. I don't know if I've ever seen this Patrick costume for females before. That is absolutely hilarious for $40. Oh my gosh, and she's got the tights from the movie. If you like Cheetos, you're definitely gonna wanna visit this area right here. The flaming Hot Cheetos pack right there for 30. Chester Union suit for 50. And right here, my favorite, the Cheetos flaming Hot for $40. All right, they do have the popcorn gun. We see him pretty often, but he still is not at every store. So I guess you could still call him kind of rare. $100 for him, I believe. Let's double check on that because I keep saying it's 100. Yes, $100 for this. And it is super awesome. I want it so bad. Turn the crank for movie inspired popcorn effect and flashing LED lights with sound effects. Very cool. They also have the cotton candy guns right here. Those are an all time favorite favorite as well. Somebody just told me about this during my live a little bit ago. The Rob Zombie Halloween mask. That is brand new for 2023 from Trick or Treat Studios. And this is $70. Pretty pricey, but I do like his hair better than I like this one because his hairline is all pressed down. Same thing with this one, but they are cool anyways. I love the zombies masks and costumes. This one right here looks like his jaw is ripped off. Rotten zombie mask for $17. And here's a regular zombie mask right there. Probably also the same $17 actually. And here's an awesome zombie bite. Ooh, if you could figure out how to do the makeup on that, that would be really cool. And that is $6, not too bad. Here's some more zombie wounds up there. There's an undead zombie costume right there for $55. Undeadly nurse and till death do us part bride. And right down here is the till death do us part groom right there for $45. During the live, people kept asking me about vampire stuff. Here's a Victorian vampire jacket. That is an awesome quality jacket for $60. And they have plenty of other things. Press on nails right there. Here's some bloody nails. Here's a vampire vampire bite kit right there. 
That is $8. Here's some vampire hair clips. That's cool. All right. That is cool. I've never seen that before. $13 for that. And of course, they have the vampire fangs with dental adhesive. Here's some plastic vampire fangs right there if you don't like to use the adhesive. Plenty of fake blood right there. Here's a vampire costume right there for $40. They have a great selection of plush guys here. How awesome. We've got Ghostface, the Nightmare Harvester with his awesome jack-o'-lantern, a bunch of the Michael Myers, Annabelle, and Crouchy down there. How cool. Lo and behold, I found the rare blanket. Look at that. All the characters on him. Crouchy, Hugs the Clown, the Nightmare Harvester, Bubba. How cool. Ooh, I want to buy it so bad. There's two of them. $33. Should I buy it? Should I buy it? Should I buy it? I don't know. I think I'm going to carry it around just in case I decide to buy it. They also have the Ghoulies 2 blanket right there and the Reversible Spirit Halloween blanket and the Cheetos and the Nightcrawler. And over here, we have the Killer Clowns blanket and another one of my favorites, the Sheet Ghosts and the Scooby-Doo, all the great ones. I better not buy it. I better put it down. I want it so bad. I'm glad we found it, but we're not going to get it just yet. Maybe we'll find it again later on in the season during some sales. Hey, look at this. They have the pillowcases. I love the pillowcases. If I was going to go trick-or-treating, that's what I would get to collect my candy in for $10. They have a bunch of the awesome book bags. I've never seen this one before from Corpse Bride. How cool is that? They also have Michael Myers right there, another favorite of mine. I love on the back, they have the house right there with the jack-o'-lantern. Very cool. They do have the Jack the Reaper costume right here for $45, child small, four to six, and the Electro Pumpkin Reaper right there with a the light-up mask. That is a cool one. He would look awesome in the dark. $45 for him. And look at this, the Hazardous Waste Zombie. We've seen him plenty of times, but I did not know that he is black light reactive. That is awesome. Look at that. Super creepy. I'd love to see that under a black light. And they have a Lord Raven costume. I've seen a few of this lately. How awesome. $45 for that. They must be putting a bunch of these in the stores now. And what is this Mr. Smiler? Whoa. That is crazy. What a freaky costume. And he's got a knife right there, but he doesn't come with the knife. You'd have to get your own. And that is $40. Oh, here's the doll pathway markers. I do love these. They have green lights in them. That is super spooky. Check this out. We've got a vintage Wolfman doll. I have not seen this guy very much at all this year. He is awesome. Let's see if he says any quotes for us. I don't know where you squeeze. No, I guess he's not going to say anything for us, but he is $27. And they have the butcher. Maybe the butcher will say something for us. There he goes. Awesome. I love that. Let's try him one more time. No, I guess not. Too bad. I love how they have all these colorful clowns right here for us to look at. Crouchy, toxic nozzles. He lights up. Let's see if he'll work. No, that's too bad. The freaky foam clown right there. And this one right here. What is this? The double vision clown. I wonder why they call him double vision. Hmm. He is cool though for $15. And behind the freaky foam clown, they have one of my favorites, the neon purple clown. I bet all of these would look amazing under a black light. No way. Somebody was telling me about this in the live and I didn't know what they were talking about. They kept saying evil corn and look at that. That is so cool. An evil corn mask. Oh my gosh. How freaky. I love the hair too. They did amazing with this. Who made this mask? Is this Trick or Treat Studios? No. That is Spirit Halloween for $70. I love this thing, man. I am so excited to find this because I didn't even know it existed. Look at those teeth. This thing is awesome. Man, that just made my whole trip. Here's another one I've never seen before. Half bot mask. That is so cool. Oh, whoa. Look at that. That is sweet. It's kind of like a Terminator. I cannot believe this. I love this store. Look, they even have the Halloween 3 season of the witch masks. Look at that. 
That is so cool. Very bright and colorful from Trick or Treat Studios. This one is $19.99. And we've also got the pumpkin right there. Man, this store rocks. And look, they have the starving vampire. Man, they have everything that we never get to see. Smiley Stitches, another super freaky one. They have the Terrifier mask. What? They also have the Batman Returns penguin. That is so cool. I don't even know which one to use for the thumbnail. Probably the evil corn but this one is super freaky too man this store is one of the best stores i have ever been to oh my goodness another mask we've never seen before this is called evil witch eyes and look at that that is too freaky i cannot believe it that is the perfect hair to go with this and this is 50 dollars. this store has killed it i just keep finding more and more cool masks here is the jeepers creepers mask look at that how cool man we saw that a couple stores ago but he is awesome and i am not surprised that they have him here because this store has a ton of great unique masks the only thing that would top off this store is if the pumpkin light works he almost never works at any other store look at that he is super cool for 27 dollars. if he works this store gets a 10 out of 10 here we go oh my gosh he works I cannot believe it. This is the coolest store I have ever been to. I congratulate whoever is in charge of ordering all the products for this store. I don't think we've even gone through the zombie babies yet. We've got Revenous Ruby, Devil Cherub, who just tried to talk to us, but he's just flashing his red eyes. Here's Slay Time right there, Mothy Max, Flippin' Freddy sticking his tongue out, Chompin' Connie with her delicious brain, Spider Biter Billy with his delicious spiders, and we have another Wretched Ralphie down here with his delicious rat. What sidesteppers do we have here? Plenty of the ghost face. Let's see if any of these work. Yes, all right. Very cool. We also have Leatherface down here. Let's get him up here and press the button. No, he's not going to work and I don't see a tab. They must have already ran the batteries out on him. But here's another one. We'll try this guy. Please? Yes. I love Leatherface so much. We're going to put these guys right back in the bottom because they have done a great job of keeping this store nice and organized, and I do not want to ruin it. They also have the awesome Leatherface statue right there and the Chucky statue. We're seeing a lot of these lately. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween on State Road in Lafayette. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween on Lafayette. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween on State Road in Lafayette. Thank you so much for watching, and you'll see you on the next one. <laughs> I was too early on that one. I could not get that right. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. What's up guys we're over here at spirit halloween at mall plaza boulevard in monroeville pennsylvania let's go inside and see if they have a heckles the clown i heard that they were sending out replacement heads to some of the customers and stores so i'm really hopeful that we'll find one all right guys as soon as we come in here look at this they have a few things set up right in the doorway including eternal rest and i think she's working no, maybe not. Look at that. She's trying to turn her head, but that is too bad. Unfortunately, she hasn't been working at a lot of locations lately. No way, guys. They totally have Monty Monkey in here. We haven't seen him since last year. I am so surprised to see him. How cool is that? What a great throwback to 2022. Monty Monkey. He is so awesome. I love it. We've seen him for sale a couple times that I have not seen him set up this year. What a cool treat. All right, we'll move around here and go on the inside. And we've got Dagger Mike set up. Here we go, Dagger Mike. <laughs> <laughs>
There he goes. He always kind of spooks me because he is such a good and fast jump scare. And we've got the flames. We got the Mr. Scarecrow right here. He looks like he might be set up. Yes, he is. All right, very cool. And he's got his bucket, but I don't have any stickers for him. My dad probably does. Around this corner right here, they have no way. They have the exorcist. This is so cool. I can't believe they have a bunch of 2022 things set up. Her head's not spinning. That's too bad, but at least we get to see her set up. That is awesome. And I love the green and blue lights. Oh, there it goes. So cool. I'm so glad they're setting up old things. Right here, we've got Slim for $400. Let's get Slim going. Honk, honk. <laughs> I gotta honk Slim's nose every time I see him. He is so awesome. Look at those ginormous gloves. He would be terrifying in real life. I love the killer clown stuff. All right, let's see what they have around the corner here. It's poor George for $180. He is fairly affordable. I love that. I love that green light. Man, they did great with those this year. Poor George. Cut in half and still laughing. How awesome. Poor George is so loud. I love it. All right, let's go around here. They have the Riz Reaper right here. Let's get him going, Riz Reaper. Show me what you got. Your time has come. Join me now. Look at that. He is an awesome animatronic. $300 for him. He was totally kissing her. I know it. All right, guys. We've got little Skelly Bones right here. Go on, Mr. Skelly Bones. Try to spook me. There he goes. <laughs> How awesome. I love little Skelly Bones. And we have the straw man here. I am so glad that they have old things set up over there, but they also have the new things set up. Mr. Scarecrow, he is so cool. I'd love it if Corn Mazes had him set up somewhere. We've also got the Grave Watcher with her beautiful pink eyes right there and the door mechanism. Let's see Mr. Spider, knock, knock. There he goes. I love him. He is so awesome in the door mechanism this year. This place is absolutely huge, guys. Look at this. We have a whole section back here for costumes. As always, lots and lots of zombie babies, guys. Look at this. We have the hand eater, Mothy Max. We have some crawlers. We have Gutsy Gwen right there. Oh, no, she didn't work. This is the only place I've been to that that one didn't work. Let's see. There we go. Gutsy Gwen, one of my favorites. And we have Devil Cherub right here with his red eyes. He is awesome, but too quiet to hear. And we've got the Brain Eater right here. We have two of my favorite horror babies right here, Ghost Face and Leather Face. And they have this right here. I don't know what they call that statue. It's a Ghost Face statue with the sad pumpkin. That is so cool. I'm totally gonna get that this year. $45 though. They have our favorite blow molds here, Ghost Face, but none of them are lighting up. I see a couple of side steppers over here. Let's see if any of them work. Slim, there he goes. Slim is so cool. And we also have Spiky right here, but I don't think he's gonna work. That's too bad. He's awesome. Here's another one down here. Let's see if this one works. Yes, he does. All right. We got to move his arms around a little bit to get him to work, but he is super cool. There you go. Oh man, he gets get, he gets getting caught in there. There he goes. He is so cool. Let's see how much he costs. He is $33. And they have the popcorn statue. I love those lights. That is so cool. The popcorn statue is $90. This place looks fully stocked, even with the cats and the gnarly bunny and Scabs the Chihuahua dog. Here is a big old sack of animatronics, including Shorty. They've got Shorty here, you guys. And they have Mr. Punchy the Party Clown, the Deadly Creeper. We've seen a few of him 
this year. Two nozzles, the clown. They have a grim here. All right. The bog zombie. A lot of old stuff. I wonder how they got a hold of all this old stuff. Two more, Mr. Punchy. Man's possessed friend. They always have a bunch of him this year. They do have a young Crouchy right here hiding behind the fogging skull pile. And we have one stilts right there. And we have the widow. They have so many awesome old animatronics here. Look at this. Another ginormous stack of animatronics. This place is fully stocked. We have Gordo, guys. Gordo is kind of a hard one to find. I'm pretty sure he is $150. I am totally going to get him by the end of the year, I think. They also have more stilts, more deadly creeper, sitting scarecrow as always, and they have the tombstone terror. Guys, they have all of the awesome classics from last year. Two more slim, the widow. They have a straw man right here. And we have Lil Skelly Bones and Young Crouchy. How awesome is this? They are fully stocked. Eternal Rest is down there. And they have a Grave Watcher and the Riz Reaper. We have some of the spooky plush here. Decrepit Haunted Doll, Rosaline, Devilish Desmond. And we have the Butcher and Hugs the Clown. What an awesome store. They have everything in stock. The Monster Hand. This is a classic. And I remember my dad used to have one of these when I was a kid. And he used to crawl around the house all the time. They have more book bags here, guys. Somebody told me to keep an eye out for them. This is a Ninja Train book bag. We also have a Stitch book bag with the ears and Powerpuff Girls. They have the Cracked Skull Groundbreaker that glows green. And they have the Pumpkin Pathway markers that we love so much. And they totally have a Nightcrawler. I want that one so bad. They also have the regular Pumpkin Pathway markers right there and the Burning Skull Pathway markers. They do have a couple of the Poppy Playtime Huggy Wuggy costumes. $60 and look at that face. I would love to see somebody come to my house to trick-or-treat in that costume this year. They do have the Baby with Shorty in a pizza box pop figures here. This is so awesome. And it is $40. Look at that. Don't forget to put your chance in to get $15,000 from the Killer Clowns from Outer Space contest. I totally almost missed this other big stack of animatronics here, guys. Plenty of jumping spiders. Look at this. A Gordo 15% off deformed head mold. Hmm. I might have to look at that. We also have the Howling Spirit and another Widow. And that seems to be about it. Poor George right there and Lil Skelly Bones. How awesome. Let's take a look at this head and see just how deformed this is. Oh, it's taped. We can't get it open. I don't want to rip the tape open, but it is 15% off, guys. Look at this hilarious inflatable baby costume. That is too funny. I always love the props. Look at all this stuff you can make costumes with. Check it out. It's a bone if you want to be a caveman for Halloween. They also have the disappearing knife. This blade goes inside there whenever you push it against something. And they have some fake money. That is what I'm talking about. They usually have like money launchers. That's like a gun that you put the money in and it just starts shooting the money out but i don't see any this year this is awesome i've never seen this before it's a shrek costume that is hilarious it even comes with the ears that is so awesome this is an adult medium for 60 dollars michael 7361 wanted me to keep an eye out for ring master costumes for girls and boys we do have lady of the ring right here for 50 dollars and they have the ring mistress and they have the ring mistress for 40 dollars this comes with the romper and the hat and this one comes with the the jacket, attached chain top, and the mini hat. I don't see any specific ones for the boys, but they do have this twisted circus suit right here and the creepy mime. Look at that. This one is $70 and look what I just found down here. It is none other than the ringmaster jacket right there. This is $55, but it doesn't come with the hat, the cane, or the pants. But you can get the ringmaster staff right here. This is actually really heavy, a lot better quality than I thought it would be. And it has a lion on on the head for $25. And if you really wanted to get into the costume, you can get one of these little horns right here. These are some really cool ghost face socks right here. I love the purple on that. And they have the ghost face earrings that I love so much. And they have a choker. All right, guys, that is it for the Spirit Halloween in Monroeville, PA. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Do your head spin. All right, thank you guys so much. I'll see you later.
What's up guys, we are out here at Spirit Halloween at the Robinson Mall in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Let's go inside and see if they got any of the new sidesteppers. All right, we're greeted by Leatherface and Stilts and the Martian Warrior again. These ones in the mall are always awesome. Gotta love Leatherface. I gotta figure out what kind of batteries his chainsaw takes because somebody told me that the chainsaw is battery operated. It's separate from his actual plug. He is awesome, and I love it. All right, Stilts, go ahead and juggle your bowling pins for me. A lot of people are telling me to buy Stilts, and he is super tall and awesome. I don't know if I'll buy him, though, because I have nowhere tall enough to store him, and I wouldn't want to take him down. He is $350, and he is awesome. Let's check out the Martian Warrior. He's got a nice little strobe light above him. Will he have missed? I don't believe so. No, no mist this time. And I still don't know where you put the water in. I don't see anywhere to put water in unless it's right here. Look, there's like a little flap that you put water in there. He is awesome. Around the corner, they should have poor George. Yes, they do. Good old poor George. I like how they have his hands pointing towards each other this time. I kind of like that better than having his hands pointed forward. Makes him a little bit more creepy. He is awesome with his striped sweater. All right, poor George. We'll go inside here and we have Dagger Mike. Dagger Mike is popular this year. He is awesome. And I love the flames to compliment him. We've also got the sitting scarecrow over here. Got to set him off. The classic sitting scarecrow. Sometimes they have the scary one. Lots of people setting off all the animatronics. We have the straw man here instead of Slim this time. Sometimes it's nice when they change it up a little bit. The original farmer buried his victims in this very field. They say it helped to keep his He has some awesome quotes, too. Would you care to see? He is so awesome. They should have the widow set up over here. No, it's Young Crouchy. I haven't seen Young Crouchy set up since last year. That is so awesome. Let's get him going again, if you will. I love Young Crouchy. How awesome that they change it up and get some different things in here. That is so awesome. And we have seen him for sale a little bit this year as well. So you might be able to get lucky and find him. And because Slim is not here, let's go ahead and honk his nose. They do have the back area set up here. I don't know if his door is working. It's kind of ajar right now. But let's see if he works. Knock, knock. He does. There's the jumping spider. No lights this time, but he is still awesome. And we just heard... Desmodus over there going off. We'll set him off in a second. While we're waiting for them to reset, we'll go over here to Blackheart the Riz Reaper. Oh my gosh, his arm is broken. It's not going to open up. It seems like a lot of the animatronics this year are uh, kind of problematic because they get activated so often. All right, Desmodus is all ready for us. Let's do him first. Go on, Desmodus. He is so awesome. I love it. I want him badly, but I only want to buy like one from this store this year. And I think I'm going to get Darling Dolly maybe. We've got little skelly bones here. A classic. Little Skelly Bones and Young Crouchy brings me back to 2022. There's the Grave Watcher. 
How awesome. I love Desmodus. He really is the king. Lots of the inflatables, as always. Plenty of the ones we like, including a bunch of the gargoyles. They have a lot of the gargoyles here right now. That is awesome. They don't have any of the slim ones, though. They have a brand new Killer Clowns inflatable, and I don't see him very often. But look, we do have a little Skelly Bones for sale. Look at all the animatronics for sale. This is awesome. Eternal Rest, two of the Howling Spirit, Sitting Scarecrow, two Darling Dolly. We usually only see one of her for sale. We also have Emmeline. Look, they do have two young Crouchies. How awesome is that? Emmeline, Dagger Mike, poor George, Lil Jack Carver. I still haven't seen him set up and working at a store yet, which is too bad because he looks awesome. He is $170. I've never seen his motions. That is too bad. I'll keep an eye out, though. Poor George is uh, kind of hard to find for sale, but we just saw him at the last one. They also have the Blackheart and the Straw Man, and I think I already pointed him out, but stilts. I see plenty of zombie babies, but check this out. We have new sidesteppers, and I have not. Oh, wait, maybe I did get to see him. I think I saw him just a couple stores ago, but he is so awesome. There he goes. I've only seen him once before. I do love it. This one's my favorite, though, Leatherface. I love that they have a bunch of Leatherface stuff this year. We also obviously have Sam. He is almost always here. A very popular one. Let's check out what zombie babies we have and see if we can remember all the names. Snackin' Stevie, Spider Biter Billy... Uh, Devil Cherub, this guy, I cannot remember his name, that is Wretched Ralphie, I have to remember that, Wretched Ralphie, Wretched, Wretched Ralphie, Wretched Ralphie, okay, Revenous Ruby, and we have Gorious George down there, and Chompin' Connie, I believe her name is, yes, Chompin' Connie, kind of hard to remember her name for some reason. Do they have the blanket? I check every time now to see if they have the blanket. So far, I am not seeing it, nope, they do not have it, but look at this, they have the Haunted Mansion blanket that I have not seen very often with a couple of the characters on there. And I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm going to have to go see it. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And they have the plush skeleton. This thing is so awesome. I was going crazy about this when I first saw it at the beginning of the year. It is amazing. I'd love to have that and put him on like a nice comfy chair in my office. And I would have to get this pair of nice Friday the 13th Jason slippers so that I can wear them while I edit my videos in the nice cool fall weather. One bobblehead? I don't believe it. I don't see any more anywhere, but one bobblehead and it's Leatherface. If I had to choose one, it would have to be Leatherface. He is awesome. The only one here, a lonely Leatherface. And two lonely snow globes here, Leatherface and Michael Myers. He lights up yellow, but the light is not working right now. And he lights up red, I believe. Yes, he does. Man, I want these so bad. I'd love to have them on my desk. There's plenty of things here that I would love to get to put on my desk. I'm sure I've seen this before. I know I have, but this is such an awesome blend. Blanket Chucky. I love it. I'm gonna have to watch these movies whenever I get home. These are $27. And they have a couple of the good guys Chucky dolls here in the yellow boxes. These are $90. Look at that. That's pretty cool. But they do not have any of the other guy. I cannot remember his name because we don't see him very often, but everybody asks me about him and he's always sold out. They have a bunch of the awesome signs, including this one. This one is popular right now. The changing Chucky sign. How cool. This one I want very bad from Jeepers Creepers. I love Jeepers Creepers. And I think they actually have a Jeepers Creepers mask, but I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for him because I have not seen it in the store yet. I have seen it online and they have the Camp Crystal Lake sign. That is an awesome Awesome sign good quality it is wooden and it is nice good large size right there I think this is $30 yeah $30 not too bad at all speaking of the Jeepers Creepers mask let's see if we can find it I highly doubt they'll have it here but it is always fun to look Ooh, this is cool because we never see it we've been keeping an eye out for this and I've been to like 30 stores and still haven't found one uh, $60 for the all over the head slim mask they usually have a shorty one too, but I am not seeing it, but it's very cool to see him. You never see this anymore. Other than him, I do not see any other new masks, but that was a treat. It's nice to see that. And here's another treat, the butcher. I love the butcher. He makes some awesome sounds. It's a little too loud in here to hear him right now. You can kind of hear him snorting, but they also have monkey chimes and somebody told me about his button recently. Look at that. 
That is so awesome. I love it. I didn't know he did that until about a week ago. They also have Eerie Emma, Decrepit Haunted Doll, Devilish Desmond, and Loving Lilith down there. They do have the Jack the Reaper costume here. I'm seeing less and less of him. I think he is super popular. He is $55 and super awesome. And check this out. They do have some more of the Over the Head Slim masks. That is so cool. I can't believe we don't ever see him, but there's four of them here. That is awesome, but no shorty masks except for this half one. That's not shorty. What? He tricked me. It's jumbo. There is no shorty masks. That's kind of crazy. Reynami Ortega wanted to see a bunch of the Chucky stuff, so they have plenty here, including this mask. $22 for this awesome half mask. I like the half masks because whenever you're trick-or-treating in a hot area, if it's like a warmer day, those work a lot better than having an over-the-head mask. It's a lot cooler. They have an awesome Chucky hat right here for $20. I really like the blue with the blood stains on that. They have this Tiffany necklace. I don't see this every time, but that is super cool where's the price on that hmm no price or barcode on that that's kind of odd they also have these awesome crossbody bags the chucky knife i always think those are awesome twenty dollars plenty of the chucky weapons here axes this one would be my favorite if i was chucky i would get the hammer and that is thirteen dollars i love it here's a nice little chucky knife there too and that one is eight dollars all this Chucky stuff is pretty awesome. They have makeup kits. And look, here's a Chucky wig for $20. They have the female Chucky costume there for $50. I'm not seeing, though, the girlfriend. Oh, there she is. Premium Tiffany wig. That one is $20 as well. And here's the uh, Chucky female wig right there for $27. I'm kind of surprised I don't see a Tiffany costume, though. And here's some awesome good guys sweaters. I actually really like that. I would totally get that and wear that in the winter. That is $40. How awesome. And here's another one. Here's a hoodie. I love hoodies. That is really cool. Look at that. You got Chucky on the sleeve along with some weapons and toys and things. That's very cool. This is $45. Stegger Jeremy wanted to see Killer Clown stuff for under 50. We did just look at the Killer Clown stuff, but let's check out some of the prices. This is a $20 half mask. That one is pretty cool. We also have Jumbo right here. Really surprised that they don't have Shorty. This one is also $20. The costumes are about $50. There's a female Shorty costume right there for 50 and Spiky for 60 actually. So that is not under 50 These over-the-head masks, I think they were, yeah, $60 a piece. So that's not under $50. But they usually have more things at the other stores, like the Acid Pies. And here is the hand puppets. Those are $22, which is not too bad, and they are awesome. Matthew's World wanted to see Trick or Treat Sam stuff. They have plenty here. This is probably one of my favorite things, the treat bag. They also have the Holly Hobar right there with the blade in it. That is awesome. A nice sign right there. Some very cool pins. Here's the wall decor. That one is cool. Look at that. You got Sam with the Trick or Treat bag. I love the jack-o'-lanterns around there. Here's his lollipop. That is $13. Here's a female Sam hooded dress right there for $40 and the Sam costume for $50. And that is actually a really good costume. That goes over your whole head. Here's a nice collectible costume knife right there with Sam. Very cool. This one is $13. And he also wanted to see the ghost face aged mask and knife. There was an aged mask over here, but somebody must have picked it up. It is very popular. They do have the bling mask right there, the chrome mask, and they do have this knife right here. This is the collectible knife. That one is awesome. That's a huge knife. I love ghost faces, bloody face on that one. And this is $18. Look at this. They are all sold out of t-shirts that is crazy the shirts are super popular this year and i don't even see the picture oh there it is the sam one we have found that one before but i love to keep an eye out for it because it is so cool obviously it is not here everybody is buying up the t-shirts all right guys that's it for the spirit halloween over here at the mall robinson in pittsburgh pennsylvania this place is jumping now that we are getting closer and closer to halloween it is getting super popular here thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one
like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. What's up guys? We are over here at Spirit Halloween in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. I'm still on the hunt for a two scoops or Heckles the Clown. Let's go inside and see if they got him. All right, right away we've got Stilts. Oh, he's on Motion Activision. Very cool. I love Stilts. I don't know what those bowling pins are about. I wish I had a little bit of a backstory on him. Maybe on the back of the box, they will have some information on why he has some bowling pins in his hands. Okay, we've got Leatherface right here. Let's go, Leatherface. There he goes. He's holding his chainsaw a little bit lower than he usually does today. <laughs> I do love Leatherface and I want him so bad. I also want a couple of these creepy trees. Okay, we'll go right on in here to the main setup. The widow right here waiting for us to break her neck. There she goes. Love the widow. What a great animatronic. We'll go right around here and we've got Dagger Mike waiting on us. Hello, Mr. Dagger Mike. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of already jumped up. He must be kind of damaged. Let's go around here to Mr. Scarecrow. $180 for him this year. He is so awesome. I do love the scary scarecrow. Okay, I saw Slim over here just a second ago. Let's get him going. Slim and his bag of popcorn. What the? The sound stopped. I wonder if he's broken. Let's try it again. Yeah, I guess so. That's too bad. He was opening his popcorn bag one too many times. We'll have to do the honk, honk, honk. Okay, we've got the howling spirit right here. He's already going. I kind of like when he's a little bit louder so you can hear his howling, but he is great. I love him. Great lights on him. We have a couple of good ones. Look, they have everything here that is so awesome. All right, eternal rest. Come on, eternal rest. Please work this time. Maybe not. She is not working. That is too bad. She has broken at almost every location. Oh, there she goes turning her head once. Oh, well. Gordo. I love Gordo. He is a little quiet whenever he starts up, so you can never tell if he's working, but there he goes popping up to say hello. Good to see you, Gordo. We'll go over here to the Riz Reaper and his girlfriend. Come on, Riz Reaper, tell me what you got. He is so quiet. He actually doesn't have anything to say right now. That's crazy. He's speechless because he's so in love. There he goes. He's saying some stuff. All of these are a little bit glitchy right now. We've got the Grave Watcher right here. Gotta love the Grave Watcher, but she's too quiet to hear. I'm sure if you had her at home, you could hear her perfectly fine. Here's Lil Skelly Bones. All right, Lil Skelly Bones, you're a classic. Don't let us down. There he goes. Oh my gosh. He actually spooked me. I didn't think he was going to work. Desmodus, I can already tell, is not working. Okay, Desmodus, we'll go over here to the door mechanism. Knock, knock. Who's in there? The jumping spider. <laughs> I love when they have his arms up in the air like he's going to grab you as he jumps out. The lights are awesome. The spiders, everything about this I love. And of course, we missed Darling Dolly over here because she hides so well in the trees. One of these has to set her off. I think it's this one. There she goes. There she is. She is so funny. Her hair is always so wild. I love her. I'm totally going to get her in a couple of these trees and then hide her between them because her fingers look like the tree and she is very tall, so she very easily hides in between them. They have plenty of jumping spiders here and we have a whole stack of animatronics right here. Two Leatherface, two of Stilts, two Slim Jim, a bunch of the scary sitting scarecrow. Here's the one from last year. They have a party clown, Mr. Punchy, Dagger Mike. It looks like they have three of him and he is $170. They have three of the Widow. Guys, they have so many animatronics this year and a bunch of man's possessed friend as always. Lots of bobbleheads here, guys. Michael Myers behind the bush and the sheet. And we have scraps. Bagwell bobblehead. Hannibal Lecter. I like that one even more every time I see it. And the Exorcist doing a spider crawl. And my personal favorite, other than the Killer Clowns one, Leatherface. The game is coming out in just a few days, guys. They have plenty of horror babies. Go 
ghost face is my favorite and they have a bunch of him and they have my other favorite leather face right there leather face is big this year they have a ton of regular zombie babies they've got gorious george the crawler and the brain eater that's all they have but they have a ton of them look at all the awesome goodies here's the killer clowns bobbleheads right there and we have snow globes mars attacks let's press the button on him and see if he works that one does work he is super loud and super cool he's got shiny stars in there and we have pennywise that lights up blue and has some red sparkles and michael myers who lights up red and has red things flying around him they have rudy here let's see if he works yes he does i love the colors on that in the dark that would look so good they are so stocked here you guys look at all these blow molds this is my favorite it's not a blow mold it's more of like a cast but i love that sad pumpkin look at that let's see how much this costs 45 dollars. that is the coolest thing i've ever seen that might be my favorite thing from this year here's the regular light up ghost face blow molds another one of my favorites 22 dollars. and we have the killer clown from outer space with the cotton candy cocoon they have chucky dolls the regular chucky right there and we have tiffany right here but i do not oh wait i do see glenn check it out they have a glenn these are selling out very quickly somebody told me that as soon as they get in the stores they are sold they have the camp crystal lake sign this is wooden this is such a good quality and i want it so bad 30 dollars. that's a lot cheaper than you can buy it online anywhere else there is a whole other stack of animatronics here guys we have three of desmodus i want him so bad one howling spirit darling dolly the straw man they have two darling dollies here guys there's a gordo for sale guys these are kind of hard to find this year 150 dollars, a great price for gordo and we have eternal rest fogging skull pile two of the riz reaper and little skelly bones lots of inflatables as always everyone that we like to see including the snakes and the ghosts i want to get a bunch of ghosts and just fill my lawn with them look at that freaky witch that is crazy i do remember seeing this because her nose looks like it comes off for some reason but there is no button she just hangs there and looks cool they do have the party ghost right here i love this one i wish one of these would work maybe there's a tab we can pull yes there is Okay, let's get her lit up. There she is. Look at those colors. I love that. And with a fog machine, those colors would just fill the room. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Three foot hanging tattered girl. She doesn't do anything, but she is freaky. Look at that. She doesn't have any eyes. This is another hanging prop that I don't know if I've ever seen before. Look at that. That is a really good looking skull. Look what they have hiding back here. Oh my gosh, it's Devil Cherub. There he goes. Look at how his entire head lights up instead of just the eyes. They have lots of door knockers here guys we're gonna set them all off at the same time oh my gosh That is hilarious. Everyone's going to hate me in here. For the plush characters, they have Jack Skellington. He is $27. They have Beetlejuice, Lydia, Sally. Say hi. Make sure to like and subscribe. That's right. Awesome. Thank you. See ya. I just met a couple fans over there. They are so awesome. I love meeting people, guys. If you ever see me, come say hi. They also have Cousin It here for $27. They have my favorite Jason Voorhees mask. There he is. So freaky. And they have my favorite Jason Voorhees regular hockey mask there. That that one is so cool. They also have the over-the-head Freddy Krueger mask. That's another favorite one. I love all the over-the-head masks. They have the ghost stuff. I love this stuff. Look at that. It says boo. It's just a sign for $13. And they have my favorite plush skeleton. I love this thing so much. I swear I'm going to get him this year. $35. And if you haven't seen this sign before, look at that. Michael Myers and Lori in the style of the old farmer's picture. No Fall Guys costumes yet, guys, but it's coming soon. Look at this. They have a clearance section and check it out for the cheetah girl they do have a cheetah thing here and they have a couple of Fortnite female costumes here guys on clearance how awesome i don't know that i've ever seen this before look at this light up devil tongue that is crazy let's pull the tab and see what he does oh there it goes look at that that is so funny i have seen that before i do remember that last year and eclipse 25 wanted to see the toxic clown nozzles we gotta pull the tab so we can see him light up there you go eclipse 25 they also have the wacky mole mask and they have the jesus mask and look at this i thought they got rid of these the over the head slim masks all we need now is shorty he is 60 dollars, guys john john 9111 wanted to see all the new t 
t-shirts for 2023. I don't remember what all they had last year, but I'll try to point out all the new stuff. Stab Your It, that's one of my favorites right there. Is this a scary movie? That's another one of my favorites. The Terrifier, that is a new one for 2023, I believe. And this one, another favorite. They have so many awesome t-shirts, guys. Michael Myers in the form of the Scream painting. There is a Ghostface Movie Club t-shirt right there. And I Can't Hold My Liquor. I don't know if that one is a new one or not. Sometimes we see t-shirts down here that are not on the main display up here, but I don't see any right now that I don't see up on the display. They do have the Jack the Reaper costume. This is super popular this year, you guys. We're gonna see a ton of him for Halloween. Scream Films 34 wanted to see the Pennywise costumes. Here's a nice one right there. That one is actually maybe one of my favorites. They have this mask, but I don't see the over-the-head mask. If they have one, I don't know if they do. This is another very cool one. That is $60, and this one is also $60. They also have the Georgie raincoat costume right there. That one is $50. And they have the Pennywise female costume right there. That's a pretty cool one for $90. And they have this cosmetic kit that you can do your own Pennywise makeup. Look at these cool, cute little cat earrings with jack-o'-lanterns on them. That is so funny for $8. And here's another one with a cat on top of the jack-o'-lantern and a little witch broom and the number 31 for Halloween for $10. And there's even a tiny witch hat that is so funny. Speaking of earrings, look at these ghost face earrings. They have the knives and ghost faces mask for $13. Look at this. It's a glow-in-the-dark skeleton. That is awesome. They have so many bag clips, but they do not have the animatronic ones. That is too bad. We are on the hunt, but they do have the killer clowns from outer space bag clips, and I want a bunch of those. Okay, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Guys, we're out here at Spirit Halloween in Algany County, Pennsylvania. Let's go inside and see if they've got Heckles the Clown. We are greeted by Leatherface and Stilts as always. Let's go, Leatherface. Oh, he's a little bit quiet right now. I would love to get him and dress him up as the 2022 version because I have the 2022 mask. He is so awesome. Somebody told me you could take the mask off and I imagine you could try to work around and get some clothes on him. I'd probably go to Goodwill and collect some clothes and then cut off the back of him so I can put it around on him. He is so awesome. All right, Stilts, juggle your bowling pins for me. A whole stack of animatronics right here. Ooh, and I see Reagan. We'll go through those in just a minute. All right, thank you, Stilts. I love his colorful face. We'll go around the corner here and see the Martian Warrior. I love the Martian Warrior. I wonder if he will have any steam or whatever you call that, mist. I love that. No mist today though. And I think you put the water in right there in order to get the mist. All right, we'll go around the corner here. Poor George, yes, poor George. Bottomless George, somebody keeps calling him. I liked the last store they had his hands facing inward. I like that better. Love his fiery hair. What an awesome clown. Speaking of clowns, we do have Slim over here waiting to open his bag of popcorn for us. Or close it, rather. <laughs> I love his messed up teeth. Honk, honk. We always gotta honk his nose. Slim is awesome and for $400. All right, I wonder if they have the widow over here. Yes, they do. I love the widow. Her neck is kind of already broken. I love that blue light, man. I love that. I wonder if you can get the lights here. I'll have to go look at the lights and see if they have any. Oh my gosh, <laughs> her head went back up and then broke again. All right, Widow, we'll go on the inside here. We've got Dagger Mike and the Sitting Scarecrow. 
Come on, Dagger Mike. <laughs> there he goes. How awesome. I do love Dagger Mike, and I kind of want him. Oh my gosh, is his shoes messed up? <laughs> it looks like his legs are broken a little bit. All right, Sitting Scarecrow. Is this a scary one? I think it is. Yes, it is. I love that, his red eyes. I definitely want to get some of these flames to hang in my office. Okay, let's check out what animatronics they have over here. I see Man's Possessed Friend, lots of him this year. Slim, Eternal Rest, the Cauldroness. Man, I wish they would set her up so I could actually see her activating, because she is awesome, or looks awesome. Dagger Mike right there, he is $170, super awesome. The Straw Man, more Man's Possessed Friend, and the Widow. We're seeing her more often now, that is great. Young Crouchy, we've seen him at the past few stores. My love when they have stuff from the previous year. Stilts, ooh, they have a hex spawn. Very cool, maybe they'll have one set up in the back. We'll have to see. They also have Slim right here and Reagan the Exorcist. We haven't seen her for sale this year, I don't think. I see a lot of awesome plush over there, but first let's go through this stack. More man's possessed friend. We have a Martian warrior, that is so awesome. We see him kind of often, but he's also a little bit hard to find. Another widow and Emily. I'm seeing Emmeline for sale a lot recently. Two of them. Wow, that is cool. And look at this. They do have the hex spawn set up. They're about to put him off right now. There he goes. He is so awesome and tall. I love it. What a great animatronic. Somebody mentioned to me that he says something about a graveyard. I just heard him say it. And it is a little weird because if you just take him out of this whole setting, he's not in a graveyard anymore so it kind of doesn't fit, but he is super tall and I love that. We also have the howling ghost right here. Let's get him going. He's another one of my favorites. I love anything with ghosts. He is so cool, I love it. And in the dark, you won't be able to see this whole base right there, so it'll just look like he is hanging and floating. All right, we've got Darling Dolly over here. We have to pay a visit to her. She is another one of my favorites. So many awesome animatronics this year. There she goes. How great, I love it. And her eyes turn red when she jumps down to scare you. Right here we have the eternal rest and she is never working. Her head will eternally spin. We also have Gordo over here. Let's see if he works. He is nice and lit up right now. Somebody must have just set him off. Oh, there he goes. He must stay lit the whole time until you set him off. Yes, I love him so much. We actually haven't seen him a lot lately, but he is great. All right, we've got Blackheart right here. Show me your girlfriend, Blackheart. He is super quiet right now, but his hood looks good. I love Blackheart, and I love how he moves his arm to hide the girl. We also have the Whispering Grave Watcher here with her beautiful purplish red eyes and King Bat Desmodus. Please work. Yes. Oh, man. He is so awesome. I love those wings. What a great animatronic. An awesome jump scare. And we have a classic, Lil Skelly Bones. <laughs> I love little Skelly Bones. And we have the jumping spider here in the door. We'll do a little knock to get him com to come out again. Yay! <laughs> I love that so much. That green light looks awesome. How cool. I really hope they come out with a white spider at some point. Let's set the hex fun off one more time now that we're up close to him. There he goes, that is so awesome. How great, that is so cool. And he is just a play on Mr. Dark. It's the same mechanism. We have some animatronics right here. We have the Blackheart, we have Darling Dolly, another Blackheart, and we have Desmodus, guys. Desmodus here for sale. I don't see him every time. There's usually at least one whenever he is here. I hardly ever see two at the same time. 
and we have two howling spirits. We have some inflatables on the floor here and some on the wall there. Ghostface lunging with a knife. We have a fright in the box. We do not see him hardly ever anymore. Killer Clown's inflatable, Scary Clown archway, Jack-o'-lantern archway. There's the Pennywise one. We hardly ever see him. And I do not see the new Killer Clowns from Outer Space inflatable, but they still have all the other ones that we love to see. There's another Pennywise right there, too. I saw this from across the room. They do have the Pretty Woman Leatherface mask. That one is kind of hard to find now. I think he is selling out now that the video game is out. Everybody loves it. And they also have the regular one right behind him. Awesome. So they have both kinds of the masks here. And if you're wondering, these are $70. Totally worth it. I love this one. This one I think I like better than the regular one. And I did buy the regular one, so eventually we'll get this one. They have the Martian Warrior mask right there. That's brand new for 2023. And the Saw mask. Wow, are they really stocked on masks, guys. They must have just opened up because they have so many. I'm not seeing any brand new ones, but look, they have the zombie ones. I love the zombie mask. Let's try to pull this guy down and get a closer look at his face. That is so freaky and detailed. Look. I love how you can see the teeth through his cheek. That is so awesome. Here's another one right here. That is so cool. Look at his eyes. They look very dead and his teeth are nasty. They have the half mask Chucky mask, but look at this right behind that. We have this ginormous Chucky mask right here. That thing would be so huge on your head, but he is very cool. And they have plenty of the clown masks here, including this cheeseburger clown. I love this one. Look at him. He is so big and his teeth are crazy. We also have this guy right here, the freaky foam one. That is actually a foam mask. That's a half mask too. Wow, I didn't know that. And they have the neon ones. This one's pretty creepy. Look at this. He has a little hat. That is cool. <laughs> I like that one. They have supportive mother witch here. And look, I found the button. It's right there on her wrist. Last time I couldn't find it. You can't really hear her because it is too loud in here. But she says some funny quotes. Quotes that make you think that she cares for you rather than wants to cook you in a cauldron. Lots of hanging body parts and things. I'm totally going to get a bunch of these to decorate my room and maybe my inflatable haunted house to look like Leatherface's lair. Look at that leg. That is hilarious. This is $17. Not too bad for a leg. And we also have hands and feet. That is so funny. And look at this. We have brains. I love the brains. And these are squishy too. That is $10. And here's a heart. That's also squishy. I love it. That is very cool. Very freaky for $10 as well. This store is pretty big too. And I love the lighting in here. Look at all the zombie babies we have. So well stocked this year. Snackin' Stevie, Revenous Ruby, Flippin' Freddy, Mothy Max, who is missing a couple of moths. We have Devil Cherub right here. Let's see if he'll, uh, his eyes will light up for us. No, that one's not going to work. Yes, that one will work for us. Very cool. And they have Gorius George, Spider Biter Billy. I love his eyes. Those are so creepy. What's this guy's name? I can never remember this guy's name. It is Wretched Ralphie. I'm going to have to remember that. And look at this. They have the new one. I'm pretty sure this is new for 2023. That is Slay Time. That is so cool. Look at the sharp fingernails on that purple baby. All right. We have a bunch of the new side steppers. No leather face, but we do have Spiky. And we have Pennywise, and we have Chucky. Oh my gosh, they're all working. And we have Sam. Oh, Sam, Sam. Oh, and we have Ghostface. That is so awesome. I love when they're all working. Chucky is honestly very cool. Check this out. They have a money jacket. That is hilarious. I know they have plenty of pimp stuff here, but I have never seen that. Look at this awesome purple pimp suit. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, they have fur coats too. That is so cool. This one's a beer one. And look at this cheetah stuff. Somebody was asking me about cheetah stuff and there you go. A whole cheetah suit. Does this come with the pants too? That is crazy. An entire money suit. I kind of want that. That's $70. How cool is that? And here's a disco suit up here. These are absolutely hilarious. Is this, this is American flag one. I thought it was Waldo for a minute and pineapples. And that one's like a tie dye suit. These are so cool. I've never seen these before. They have all of the awesome statue guys. This is so cool. We've got the Chucky one. I can't hear if they're working. This one's working. Yep. He makes some sounds and we have the killer clowns right there that lights up 
and we have Pennywise down here. He is really cool. We saw him for the first time about a week ago. And the Leatherface statue. I wish he would light up, but he does make some awesome sounds. And we have lots of goodies here, guys. All the snow globes that we love, Michael Myers, Pennywise, and my favorite, Leatherface. These are so awesome. And of course, we have the Mars Attacks Martian. This one sells out pretty quickly. You don't see him every time now. And we have our blow molds. They always have a good stock of the blow molds for us. Here's some more animatronics I missed a minute ago. We've got a poor George here. He's kind of hard to find on the floor for sale. Another cauldronous and the scary sitting scarecrow and man's possessed friend again. This is what I'm excited about. Check out how many of the plush guys they have that we love. Ghostface, we have him. Crouchy, we also have him. And I want Michael Myers. At some point, I will buy him. There is one here. I guarantee he will be sold out by the time I finish filming. And we have Annabelle. And of course, lots and lots of our bobbleheads. We have the Skibby Dibby Toilet Killer Clowns. And we have Sam Lollipop Stab. Bagwell, Wallypop, Georgie, Ghostface, Michael Myers behind the bush, and Leatherface, one of my personal favorites. Man, they are so well stocked. Check out all the book bags, guys. This is awesome. Here's a Scooby-Doo one. That is cool. I don't know if I've seen that one yet before, but that is really cool. Friday the 13th, Jason, I love the mask. We have Nightmare on Elm Street with a big old slash in it. We have Chucky over here. What's the zipper on Chucky? Oh, is this a regular one? Oh man, I wish they would have like the knife as the zipper. But look, the Ghostbusters. That one's my favorite with the green slime straps. Super awesome. And look, I've never seen this one before either. It's SpongeBob, that is so cool. You got the pineapple. Do they have our blanket? I do not see it so far. Man, I cannot believe that. We have only seen that blanket once. If you don't know what blanket I'm looking for, it's a Spirit Halloween blanket that has a bunch of the characters and animatronics on it, and I've only seen it once. But look at this. We have plenty of the little plush guys. We've got Pennywise, Jason, Freddy right there. We have the Cerberus three-headed dog. This is very cool. They have a lot of cool stuff here. Here's a uh, skeleton kitty. That is awesome. There's Stitch. I'm trying to keep my eye out for some more of the uh, pumpkin carving booklets here. I've only seen them at like two stores but I want them because I'm planning on doing some pumpkin carving soon on live. So I'm keeping an eye out for them. If I find them, I will grab one. Oh my gosh, here's an Elmo candy collector. My daughter would like that because she started to take a liking to Elmo. That is so cool. This is, hmm, I don't see a price on him. Oh, $13, not too bad. They have the Sonic masks here. Tails right there and the regular Sonic mask. And these are... $15 a piece. These are actually pretty popular because Sonic is a really popular movie and video game. I was playing Sonic when I was a kid. Look, they also have the coins. I love these. They make sounds. I love that so much. And they have the Mario hat with the eyes and the half masks of Mario and Luigi. I don't think I've ever seen this SpongeBob Union suit before. That is hilarious. I don't know how I missed these. These are new and we're seeing them a little bit more often now. There's the clown pumpkin, super freaky. And the two witch ones, green and purple. I like these a lot. And check it out. They have chainsaws. These are hard to find this year. That one's not going to work unless we pull the tab. Let's pull the tab on him. There he goes. I have one of these and they are so awesome. I bought this and the leather face mask. But one thing I'm looking for is a hammer. I have not found a good hammer for my leather face costume. So I'm going to keep looking for that one. Lots of good knives, swords, cleavers, all kinds of stuff, but they don't have any good hammers. This one is very similar. It's a nice size, but it needs to look more like this sledgehammer right there. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween on McKnight Road. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you at the next one.
What's up guys, we are over here at Spirit Halloween at Mill Creek Mall in Erie, PA. I am on the hunt for a two scoops, and I'd also like to see if we can find a Heckles the Clown. All right guys, let's go inside and see what they got. This place looks awesome, and the malls always have good stuff. All right guys, this place is jumping. We are greeted by Leatherface again. I love Leatherface, he is so awesome. All right, let's go over here. We've got stilts with his bowling pins. I'm not sure what his bowling pins are all about. He doesn't have any bowling balls and he is not making any sound right now. Let's move on over here. They do have the Martian. He is so awesome. Let's get him going. At the last store, it seemed like they had some fog set up in him, but this one doesn't look like it. He is so awesome. I love the sounds he makes from the movie. What an awesome animatronic, you guys. The Mars Attacks Martian. I love it. I love that dome on his head. We've got the widow set up right here. She is putting her neck back together, but we're about to make her break it again. Here she goes. There it goes. I love her so much. I am really tempted to buy her. At $200, she is fairly affordable for such an awesome animatronic. We'll move on over here. On the inside, we've got the Scarecrow and Dagger Mike again. Let's go, Dagger Mike. <laughs> there he goes. I love him. The flames complement him very well. We're going to go over here. Let's look up here. We haven't looked up here in a while. You can see spirits floating around. That is so awesome. I love it. That is crazy. Okay, we've got the sitting scarecrow. What a classic. So glad they redid him this year. Around the corner, we got poor George again. Here he goes. Poor George is so cool. I love his striped sweater. The best time to wear a striped sweater is at Spirit Halloween. He is so awesome. What a great one. $180. He's also pretty affordable for how awesome he is. Okay, we've got Slim. We have to pay our respects to Slim. Let's get him going. There he is, opening his bag of popcorn. Honk, honk. I gotta honk his nose every time we see him. He is so cool. I want Shorty and Slim for my collection. The Killer Clowns video game is coming out very soon and I cannot wait. I want it so bad. We have a couple of animatronics here. They've got Emmeline. We have a poor George. The Howling Spirit. I want the Howling Spirit so bad. He is $200 and they have a Desmodus here, guys. We don't get to see that one too often for sale. As always, we have a bunch of Man Possessed Friend. Nozzles the Clown. We have a Straw Man right there and we have two Slims. And of course, we have a whole stack of the scary sitting scarecrow. Look, we got two of them. This is the one from last year and this is the one from this year. Both of them are awesome. Plenty of our favorite inflatables. Ghosts, cats, rats, reapers, haunted trees. One of my favorite ghost face lunging. The 20 foot snake. I will blow him up one of these days. Fright in the box and the killer clowns. They have plenty of the zombie babies. Every store is fully stocked. The spider eater, Mothy Max. Look, they have a burrito baby. I've only seen a couple of him this year. And they have the brain eater right here. She is awesome. We have a rat eater. We've seen a couple of him, but not a whole lot. And they have devil cherub and the cockroach eater. And my favorite, Gutsy Gwen. Gutsy Gwen is so awesome. Guys, this is another huge store. Look at this place. We have horror babies. They've got Sam, as always, and one of my favorites, Leatherface, but no ghost face. They do, though, have the ghost face light up figures. These things are super awesome. And they have the killer clown, but none of them are lighting up. We have a few sidesteppers here. Frankenstein never usually works. We've got Billy Butcherson. We saw him a lot last year. There he goes. He is an awesome sidestepper. I'm glad they got him back out this year. We've also got some spiky sidesteppers. I'm glad they are working. Sometimes they don't. He would be great to be crawling around on the floor. And they've also got Slim. 
How awesome, I want them both. They have our snow globes here. Michael Myers, he's probably one of my favorites. And they have leather face right here. He lights up yellow. I can't wait to see that in the dark. And we have Pennywise. They also have some of the Crouchy figures. These were given out last year at the grand opening. Check this out. They have the six foot hanging ghost. She's got party colored eyes. Look at that. I love it. That is so awesome. Let's see how much she is. $37. Not too bad for a party ghost. And look at this. They have hugs the clown, the plush. That is awesome. We don't see a lot of him this year. They also have the creepy baby doll. That's another one we don't get to see a lot of. That is actually really cool and creepy. But monkey chimes will always be my favorite. Look at this. They also have pumpkin nester hiding right down here behind something. Maybe somebody's trying to hide him and keep him for later. And we also have the butcher. We have a couple of fogging skull piles right here. And they also have tombstone terror from last year. We don't see him everywhere now. He's kind of rare this year. 120 they are actively setting up this area right now, so we're missing some, but we do have the Grave Watcher, the Whispering Grave Watcher. We also have the Gargoyle, and we've got little Skelly Bones. There he goes. He is such a good jump scare. Good to see a little Skelly Bones over here. We have Eternal Rest. I wonder if she's working good. She might not be on at all. Nothing is going to set her off. Oh, well, we'll move on. And we have the door mechanism. Knock, knock. There's the jumping spider. No lights today, but he is super cool. And I'm glad they have a brown one in there. Usually they have a black one. This is something I have to buy. I want it so bad. I only see it every once in a long, long while. The Creep from Creepshow Mask, $70 for him. It's a little steep, but I love it so much. Look at how freaky. Oh my gosh, I want him. They have two of them here. That's kind of a rare one that you'd almost never see. I think we even only saw him once last year. They also have one of my favorite zombie masks here. That one is super freaky. And we have the Wicked Scarecrow. Somebody was asking for the Crouchy masks. Look at this. They have a Crouchy mask here, and it comes with the gloves as well. Come and get them. And we also have Nozzles, the toxic clown. We got to pull the tab on him. All right, let's press the button and see his eyes light up. Oh, that one's not going to work. That is too bad. And of course, we have the Martian warrior mask with the moving jaw. He is so awesome. How much is he? I don't know if we ever checked the price on him. $80. That is awesome. They also have the regular Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask from Trick or Treat Studios. And we have Trick or Treat Studios Pretty Woman Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask. And that one is super freaky. That's the mask that they use on the animatronic. For the person that was looking for the Viking stuff last video, they have the Viking sheet shields here. I would totally get a shield if I was going to be a Viking, and that is $17. Not a bad price at all. And they have the Viking axe for $20. Crowns right there. Swords. This is probably the one that I would get. That is so cool for $20. And they have these awesome helmets. I would probably get that if I was going to be a Viking. And look at this. This you put on your shoulder, I believe. It is a pet dragon. Look at this. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. It's a striped hooded plush union suit from Gremlins. That is so cool. Cool. and they have the regular ones. Wanted to see the Jack the Reaper costume. They do have him here. One size fits all, and that mask is awesome. It is not a cheap mask. It is 3D. Look at that. That is so cool. I'm glad they did a great job with him. And they have the Pig Butcher costume. Somebody was asking me about him. One size fits most as well, and he is $50, and Jack the Reaper is $55. Check it out. They have my favorite Jason Voorhees mask. Look at this. I love that. So freaky. This mask is $59. And they have the black Jason Voorhees machete. That one is sweet. I really want to be Jason for Halloween one of these years. We have another small selection of killer clown stuff, including the acid pie and one of the blasters. That one might be my favorite, even though I love the popcorn gun. We almost never see him. I don't know if I've ever seen this crossbody bag before. It's a kitty. We have shirts here, guys. There's some that are not up on this, so let's check them out. First of all, look at this. They do have the Spirit Halloween with ghost face, and they have a 2X. That's what I would fit, but I'm not going to grab it right now. I also see they have some Nightcrawler shirts hiding down there. They have some of the Handmade by Robots, Micro Charm vinyl figures, Leatherface right there. 
there, probably my favorite. But another favorite of mine is Ghostface. He looks so awesome. They're so small and cute. And look, they have Shorty. They also have some of the Killer Clowns from Outer Space figural bag clips. I want them, but I'm not going to buy any right now. And they have the little snow globes that I love. Jason, Chucky, and Freddy. I love all this stuff up here in the aisles whenever you go to pay for something. They have so many things that would trick me into buying them. Check out these pens, knives, and axes. There's another knife. This one's one of my favorites. The zombie biting the leg. They have a few of our favorite lasers here. And the meowing kitty cats. Check it out. They also have the Spirit Halloween canvas tote. That would be great to collect candy in. As well as this one right here. Look at that. It's a jack-o'-lantern and you can see the candy in his mouth. No Five Nights at Freddy's costumes or Poppy Playtime costumes here just yet, but they are still setting things up. Look at this. They have a Dr. Seuss the Grinch inflatable costume. That's hilarious. And you don't see this one every time. The inflatable circus clown. I do like that one a lot. He's so colorful. This is child size and one size fits it's most. This is another personal favorite. Inflatable ghoul pick me up. He's a purple ghoul. That one is $50. They have a wacky mole costume here and they also have a crouchy costume here, guys. Here is a Jack the Reaper child size costume right here. 12 to 14 and he is $45. I love this. It's like a big cluster of intestines or a brain. It says it's intestines. That is freaky. And this is cool. I haven't really paid attention to this area too much this year, but look at this hand. It's a severed hand on a rope. They have a good handful of the scary flying ghosts. I have one of these and they are super awesome. You just string it up across the room and when someone walks by, he flies back and forth and howls. And look at this, the dropping spider. I don't see that one a lot. You hang him up somewhere and then when he's activated, he drops down to spook someone. He is $20. Also have the creepy crimson girl in the swing and swinging witches and empty soul girl in the swing. Let's go ahead and see how much these are. These are $80 and we see these pretty often. Okay, <laughs> guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween and Eerie PA. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys? We are over here at Spirit Halloween in Tarentum, PA. I am hoping that they have a Heckles the Clown since they are fixing his face lately. Let's go inside and see if they got him. All right, I don't see a Heckles the Clown, but I do see Leatherface right here. Let's get him going. Get your chainsaw roaring. He is nice and loud right now, but his saw is not spinning. That's too bad. That's okay. <laughs> she said there is no batteries in it, so he must take batteries in the saw separately. That's pretty cool. And we've got stilts over here. Let's get stilts going. There he goes. His head is so large. I love the blue accent lights that they got going on down there. Stilts with his bowling pins. Covered in blood, super freaky. Let's move on over here to the Scarecrow Man. $330 for the Straw Man. You aren't afraid of little me, are you? A little bit, Why Straw Man. this time of year, with the dead leaves all around us, and the darkness wraps around us like a mildewy blanket. Like a mildewy Perhaps blanket, how gross. I sharpen my tools. <laughs> <laughs> All right, straw man, let's go over here and see who they got set up around the corner. It's none other than the widow. Come on, widow. Oh, I love it. I love when she breaks her neck. That is so awesome. Let's go inside. They also have Dagger Mike right here, right next to the flames. <laughs> there he goes. He hit the flame. <laughs> That is so awesome. Good to see you, Dagger Mike. We've got the sitting scarecrow right there. We'll get him in a second, but we do have Slim right here. All right, Slim, do your thing. There he goes. Honk, honk. 
<laughs> I gotta honk his nose every time I see him. Slim Jim and his bag of popcorn. I feel like he should open his bag a little more. So far, a lot of them that I've seen, he doesn't open his bag until after he does his little laugh. There he goes, just like that. All right, we'll go around the corner. Poor George is set up. There's one face, and he has another face right behind it. Let's go, poor George. I wonder if you could attach his head turned around so you see that scary, sad face on the other side first instead of the other one with the smile. He is super freaky, and I love his orange hair. Good old poor George. Poor George, he was cut in half. I wonder how that happened. Okay, we'll go see Sitting Scarecrow. Sitting Scarecrow is a favorite. There he goes. I love that. That is the scary Sitting Scarecrow. Last year's wasn't as freaky as this one. We have a lot of cool things set up over here, guys, and lots of animatronics to go through on the floor as well. Here is Eternal Rest. I wonder if she will work. Maybe not. She is not going off. Oh, well, there's the spooky tree that we want so bad right next to Darling Dolly. Let's get Darling Dolly going. There she is. I think she might be my favorite this year. I wanted Gordo to be my favorite, but she is just so awesome. And I love her. Let's move her along here. Gordo. I love Gordo, too. And he is affordable, guys. Look at that pumpkin. <laughs> there he goes. The guts are my favorite. Man, it's a tie between him and Darling Dolly. Man, I love these trees. Okay, guys, we got the door mechanism. Let's see how fast Mr. Spider jumps out. There he goes. That was a good one. That one was a good one. It gives you enough time to get around the corner in front of the door, and then he jumps out to spook you. The jumping spider. All right, let's move right over here to Mr. Skellybones. There he goes. There he is. We love skelly bones. We have Desmodus here. Please, oh, please work. Please, 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 please. There he goes. Yes. I am so happy that he is working right now. We do not get to see him working very often. That wingspan is crazy. I love Desmodus. They have so many good animatronics between uh, Darling Dolly, Gordo, and Desmodus, and I love the hanging ghost right there. I don't know which one is my favorite. We also have the Riz Reaper, but he doesn't look like he is set up right now. He's just sitting here showing off his girlfriend. Let's go ahead and get a shot of the howling ghost right here. Do they have an activating? Yes, they do. Activating pad. There he goes. Ooh. What an awesome ghost. I love the ghost stuff, man. I just, I want everything that they have this year. All right, let's go ahead and look at all of the animatronics they have on the floor. They have two Riz Reaper, one Eternal Rest, two Man's Possessed Friend right there, the Scary Sitting Scarecrow and Fogging Skull Piles, and they have two Mr. Punchy, a third Mr. Punchy over here, and they have a young Crouchy, Deadly Creeper. They have a couple of the Widow. Some more Deadly Creeper. I'm glad we get to see a lot of him this year. And we have a Darling Dolly here. How awesome, guys. They have so much stuff. We have a plethora of zombie babies here, guys. How awesome. We have Devil Cherub right here. Let's see if he works. Yes, there he goes with his red eyes. We have the Hand Eater, Mothy Max, the Crawling Zombie Baby. We have another Devil Cherub. We have the Spider Eater here. And we have Gutsy Gwen, another favorite of mine. <laughs> they have lots of the Blow Molds, and they have the Leatherface Snow Globe. I love that, and I want to see it at dark so bad. Plenty of inflatables, guys. They are always fully stocked with inflatables. Look at how many ghosts they have. Reapers, cats, wolves, gargoyles. The Wolfman, we don't get to see him all too often this year, and he is $50. We have some scarecrows hiding back here. Let's see how much he is, because he is very cool. 
$50 as well. Haunted Trees, Fright in the Box, my favorite Lunging Ghost Face, the 20 Foot Snakes, and the Jack O' Lantern Archways. And they have the Killer Clowns and the regular Scary Clown Archway. What in the world is this? I have never seen this before. Maybe in the previous years, but I don't think so. That is freaky. It's a two headed cat dog. That is so awesome. And it looks like he's been stitched together. I've never seen this before. And I don't even see a price on him. That is awesome and unique. I love finding things that I've never seen before. Or look at him sitting up there. I'd love to have that on my desk. In addition to him, we have the prowling cats right there and the secret keeping cats, my dad would call them, and the gnarly bunny. They have party pumpkins, but both of the buttons are broken and inside of the box. One of my favorite weapons that they have is this baseball bat with nails in it that looks so cool. Every time I see the weapons, I want to make a movie with them. $22 for that. And they have the aluminum bat right here. I imagine it's the same price. No, it's actually $2 cheaper. They have a ton of little hats here. Look at this. They have tiaras, mini witch hats. There's a black one. Here's a mini spider top hat, pumpkin mini top hat, gothic mini top hat, and this one would probably be my favorite. Look at that. The black mini top hat. I would love to have that and walk around wearing it. They have Teletubbies costumes. I used to watch Teletubbies when I was a kid. Right here they have Tinky Winky, Poe, Lala, and Dipsy. These are so cool and they are $50 each. If you are going to be a pirate, they have every everything you need, including the awesome and hilarious giant parrot. Look at that. You put him on your shoulder and you would have to get one of these awesome swords. Look at that. I'm a swashbuckler. And of course they have the hooks that you put on your hand. Those are six dollars. They have the Pirates of the Caribbean medallions. Those are so cool. And they have eye patches, one gold tooth. I love it for four dollars. And they have an eye patch right there. I like that one better than that one. I don't think that we pointed out these ones. We also have two stilts and Mr. Punchy and a Slim Jim right there. They do have some of the awesome cotton candy guns. Please let one of them work. I love these right there. That is so awesome. I'm totally going to get one of these by the end of the year. $30, not a bad price for him. None of the big popcorn guns though, but they do have the acid pies and those are $25. They also have the hand puppets, but no over the head masks. That's too bad. I'm going to keep looking for them. You guys crack me up with these profile names. Lil Mexican Boy wanted me to check out all the Halloween stuff. They have this awesome mask that I think is my favorite and they have this one. Look at his nose. There we go. That one is very cool as well. This one doesn't have any hair and it just goes over your face in case it's too hot to wear one of these. And they have the awesome pullover. I really like that one. The sleeve says the night he came home. And look at the pumpkin on the back. Trick or treat or die. They also have this awesome Halloween 2 knife. Look at that. Double sided. Super cool for $13. And they have these little bags here. I always thought these are awesome. It's in the shape of a knife with his face on it. Frog Dude wanted to see the Freddy Krueger stuff. Look at this. They have my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street 4 mask. That is the best mask I've ever seen in my life. And they have these awesome Freddy Krueger. Kruger Deluxe Gloves. These are $20. Not too bad. It comes with one glove. They also have these masks if it's too hot to wear the over-the-head one. That is a nice one, and it is $17. And look at this hat. I might have to buy this hat just to finish off the year wearing this hat. That is $27. How awesome is that? They also have some really cool socks, a makeup kit, and they have some of the female costumes here. These are about $40 a piece, give or take. This is hilarious. Check out this Barbie sweater. I've never seen that before. It comes with glasses too. That is $40. That is hilarious. And if you got that, you would have to get this little fanny pack that is so funny. And here is a Barbie dress for $30. They do have some of the hand made by robots, micro charm vinyl figures, Pennywise, Annabelle Shorty, which is one of my favorites, and my all-time favorite, Pretty Woman Leatherface. They have the solar bobbleheads here. This one is my favorite. Friday the 13th, Jason, and they have Freddy Krueger right here, and Pennywise, and they have the regular bobbleheads, Michael Myers behind the bush, Georgie, Bagwell and Lollipop Stab. And right here, they do have some of the Freddy Krueger sweaters right there. That is awesome. Some rips and tears on him. This one is a size large. And let's figure out the price on that. This is... 
$27, so you can get the entire costume pretty much here. One thing that I am not seeing very much at all this year are chainsaws. It is so hard to find a chainsaw right now. All right, guys, that is it for Spirit Halloween in Torrentum, PA. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, we're right here at Spirit Halloween on Quinn Drive in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm still looking for two scoops. Let's go inside and see if they got them. Okay, we are greeted by Leatherface here. I love Leatherface. He is so awesome. Let's get him going again. He might be on motion, maybe, maybe not. There he goes. I love the Leatherface animatronic. He is so awesome. And somebody told me that I could take off the mask and replace it. I wonder if that's true because that would be pretty cool. I have a couple of masks that I could put on him. We've got Stilts right here. Come on, Stilts, juggle for me. He's pretty quiet. I love him. He is awesome. And sometimes his nose is messed up, but it looks pretty good right now. Nice nose, Stilts. All right, around the corner here, we have the Martian Warrior. I love the Martian Warrior. He usually has some steam or whatever coming out of here. I don't think he has it right now, though. I think you have to fill this with water somewhere, but I'm not sure where you would put the water to make that happen. He is awesome. All right, we'll go around the corner here. They should have the Widow. Yes, they do. The Widow is one of my favorites. Let's get her going to crack her neck. I love it, and she is set up nice and loud. I love when they have her turned up loud. The Widow is awesome. Let's go inside and see what we got in here. Dagger Mike, and look at his body all twisted up. That is hilarious. <laughs> he still works even though he's all twisted up i wonder why he's all twisted up the sitting scarecrow always a classic let's get him going <laughs> that was actually pretty quick sometimes it takes a second after you step on the pad for him to jump up but that one was super quick the scary sitting scarecrow i wonder if they have poor george yes they do Georgie. What a cool clown he is. I love that striped sweater. I hope they continue to do this with the lights because I really like those lights. All right, poor George. We do have our favorite clown over here, Slim. Slim Jim. Gotta honk his nose. He's got like a foam ball in there. I can feel it. <laughs> he is awesome. I just watched Killer Clowns the other day. Okay, Slim, we'll go over here. We have a whole setup over here. The Howling Ghost, one of my favorites. He may be on motion unless this is him right here. Yes, it is. I love the Howling Ghost. I'm really considering getting him. I keep thinking that I want to get Darling Dolly, but the Howling Ghost is awesome. So we may have to reconsider. They also have the gargoyle here, but he's almost never set up and on. 
but his eyes glow red and he does have fog that comes out of his mouth. He's just not ever set up in the store. And I think that's because these are cardboard and sometimes they leave the fog on and it damages the cardboard. Darling Dolly over here, she is awesome. I love her. And somebody pointed out to me that her eyes are blue right now, but I think they turn red when she jumps at you unless that was a mistake the last time I was here. Let's see, she's resetting herself right now. You wanna go ahead and step on it? There she goes. All right, yes, she does turn red. When she gets evil, her eyes turn red and she jumps at you. I love the fingers. They match the creepy tree perfectly. Around the corner, we have the door. I wonder if the spider is gonna work in there. Knock, knock. There she is. Ooh, and I already see Desmodus jumping up. He works perfectly. I love when they have the arms up in the air like he is about to jump out and grab you. He is awesome. What a classic. Okay, Mr. Jumping Spider, thank you very much. We have the Whispering Grave Watcher here. You can never hear what she is saying, but I'm excited to set off Desmodus. He is slowly setting himself back up. We do have Mr. Skellybones here. Classic. Let's get him going. He is all ready to go. I love it. He is so awesome. That wingspan is awesome and he jumps up super quickly. The only thing I would change about him is how slow he resets himself. Thank you very much, King Bat. We also have, oh, I want to call him, I want to call him the double R, but I can't. A lot of people don't like when I call him that. We've got Blackheart. Together, we shall roam among the living and find our next victim. <laughs> he is awesome. I love it. Okay, we have a couple of animatronics on the floor for sale here. Blackheart, Grave Watcher, Scary Sing, Scarecrow, Man's Possessed Friend. We've seen a lot of this year. They have two of him right now. That might be it. I'm not seeing any more. Sometimes they have them hidden around here, though. But we do have a lot of inflatables. They're always well stocked on inflatables, and that is awesome because I love them. Rats, cats, reapers. We have the snakes. I really want to see him set up 20 feet long. That is huge. This guy's got to be pretty tall, too, because for that to be 20 feet long, he's got to be at least five foot tall. A bunch of the ghosts. I love this. We saw him set up at a store recently, and he is awesome. $50 for the eight foot ghosts. We also had the haunted tree, jack-o'-lanterns, everything we love. They even have the scarecrow, wolves, and they have ghost face, both of them. We hardly ever see this one for sale, honestly. He's kind of hard to find, and he is $100. Plenty of zombie babies here, but look at this. We have some horror babies here, including Leatherface. He is my all-time favorite, and I'm going to get him at some point. We also have my other all-time favorite, Ghostface. He is awesome. Sam is almost always here, but we still do love to see him. Let's go through and see if we remember everybody's names here. They have so many of them. Okay, Flippin' Freddy, Snackin' Stevie, Spider Biter Billy. Uh, this is, of course, Gutsy Gwen. I always like to press the button on her. She is awesome. Eating the pumpkin guts. Mothy Max, uh, Revenous Ruby. I believe that's what her name is. Let's check here. Yes, Revenous Ruby. Oh, man, I can't believe... I can't... <laughs> Wretched Ralphie, that's what it is. Wretched Ralphie, I have to remember that. And this one is Gorious George. Yes, Gorious George and the Brain. That one's munching something. I know her name is actually like Chompin' Chani. Chompin' Connie, I can never get that correct. Chompin' Connie, yes, I love it. Man, they have so many of them here. Every store I go to. Let's see what goodies we have here. Ooh, I love 25% off. What for? I wonder why. He works. The light is on, 25% off ghost face statue. I wonder why. Maybe just because he's a return. Oh, you know what? <laughs> he doesn't have his knife. That's why he's 25% off. But the light still works. So you could totally replace that knife and make one yourself. And of course we have the blow molds. I love the Killer Clowns blow molds. They're not working with the lights anymore because people come in here and press the buttons so often. 
There's one with the knife. Around the corner from them, we have some side steppers, some more blow molds. Annabelle, I have to watch the Annabelle movie. I've never seen it yet. Look at those eyes. That's probably a good movie. I'm gonna have to watch it. But we also have these side steppers and none of them are working. That's too bad. Oh, look, there's a ghost face one. I love this. I love the blow molds. I'm totally gonna get some of these later. Speaking of ghost face, they also have the ghost face wreath. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, the wreath. Look at that. Lights around here, a little bit of lights here, and a knife. He is very cool. And look what I just spotted. Hey, they got a double cherub, but this is what I'm looking at. Chucky, he is so awesome. I love that one. That is such a good sidestepper. And I've actually only seen bits and pieces of the movies with Chucky, so I'm going to have to watch them all over again. Three, uh, 30, <laughs> three. $33 for him. He is awesome. And look at how many Chucky dolls they have. That is crazy. So many of them. Let's press the button on all of them just for fun. They all work, it looks like. Oh, no, those two aren't working, but these two are. I love it. He is very cool. Look at that eye. That is sweet. Now, oh, look, two more. Whoa. Now, the one thing I don't see very often is his friend. I can't remember his name. Uh, but he is hard to find and people love him. Look, two more sidesteppers, guys. Some killer clown statues there. Here's the Michael Myers statue. I love that one. This pumpkin always lights up super bright. And of course, the killer clown statues. This one is a little bit hard to find. Rudy, he is very cool and I love that popcorn gun. Look at this, I missed an entire stack of animatronics. Sitting scarecrow, scary sitting scarecrow. They have the straw man. Hmm, I just noticed that he is not set up here. That's weird. They also have the widow. The widow is kind of hard to find in the box for sale. $200 for her, and she is one of my favorites. We also have, ooh, another straw man, Lil Skelly Bones. He is very hard to find this year, $170 for him. I feel like I saw him a little bit more often in the beginning, and people are probably buying him up, and then they have more man's possessed friend. They have our favorite friends that we love to see, Scabs the Chihuahua Dog. I love him so much. I might end up getting him later on in the year. He is $25, not too bad. We also have the Gnarly Bunny. He is awesome too, all torn up with all these wounds on him. And we have the Secret Keeping Cat, my dad calls him, and the Prowling Cat. I think this cat's my favorite. I don't know why. I love his green eyes though. Lots of the spiders. I do love the spiders. These live wires are awesome. Please work. No, that one's not gonna work. Oh, that's too bad. Is there a tab we can pull? No, I don't see one. That is too bad because I love the live wires. We saw these a lot last year because they were part of the setup, but I might have to get some of these and put them in the inflatable haunted house this year. Lots of the pathway markers. We've got the spooky bumpy pumpkin ones, the regular pumpkin ones, creepy skulls. Those flash a lot. And they have the Michael Myers ones right here. I'm actually not seeing these as much this year as we did last year. He is very cool. And these are $30 for this one. How much are these ones? These are $35, not too bad. I think this one is my favorite, but I also really like these jack-o'-lanterns. Plenty and plenty of all the hanging props here, and these are awesome. This guy is kind of beat up right now. You kind of kind of have to fold his head up to see him. Let's see if the button works. Look at that, just barely hanging off. Oh, it does work. That's like the party, the party ghost. I don't know what you'd call him. I wish you could kind of get his head a little more in front of us. Let's see if we can fix that up. Okay, we kind of got his head fixed a little bit so we could see a little better. There it is. I love that. The party ghoul or whatever you want to call him. Let's see what he's actually called. 74 inch hanging ghost and he is $37. I actually really like him. We also have the shaking clown. Is he going to work? Yes, he's very cool. He kicks his feet. That is so funny. That is very cool. I do like that. We have some door knockers here. We've got the vampire and the devil. <laughs> oh my gosh. Very hectic to have both of them on. They are very cool though. And those are, ooh, this one's on clearance for 1997. 
but I don't see any damage on him. That's pretty cool. Also on clearance, so 20 bucks for these guys right now. Oh, check it out. They have the Pretty Woman Leatherface mask. I've been looking for this. He sells out pretty quickly, I think, and this is $70. I'm going to wait to buy him, but at some point I will, because I think that's my favorite Leatherface mask from this year. I love it very much. I'm playing the video game a lot lately. They also have the Mars Attacks Martian Warrior. He is awesome as well. He has a moving jaw. I kind of wish that they would have some more new masks every year, but they do have all the ones that we love to see every year. This one is super freaky, Laughing Jack. Plenty of awesome masks that you can use for a costume. I am not seeing Jack the Reaper here in costume form, but I do see the Pig Butcher. He is kind of hard to find and pretty popular. He is $40. I actually found a Pig Butcher animatronic for sale on Facebook Marketplace recently. They also have the Crouchy costume right there for $70, and they have Hugs the Clown for $45. Do they have the blanket that we are looking for? I am not seeing it so far. That is too bad, man. We've only found one of them. It's a Spirit Halloween blanket. There's a Spirit Halloween blanket that's reversible, but they have another one that has all the awesome characters and animatronics on it, and I am really keeping my eye out for him. This one is very cool too, though, and that is $33. This is probably my favorite ghost face one with all the ghost face masks and ghost face standing right in front of the moon. I love that. They have a bunch of the awesome book bags, and look at this. I love this crossbody treat bag from Monsters, Inc. It looks just like the Scream canister. How in the world did I miss another stack of animatronics? Two more Widows, the Howling Spirit. He's kind of hard to find. Emmeline is very hard to find, and I've never seen her set up in the store working yet. $280 for her. Stilts, he is awesome. I love stilts. We have a Slim Jim right there. Darling Dolly, they have a Darling Dolly for sale here. Another Widow right here. Did I already point that one out? I may have. And Mars Attacks, Martian Warrior. Poor George, we hardly ever see him him for sale. He is $180, and they also have Eternal Rest. She almost always is broken in this store, but I bet at home she would work good. Lots and lots of bobbleheads. Look at how stocked they are in bobbleheads. I see the clown in the toilet down there, Michael Myers, Ghostface. I love this one. I want it so bad. I may even get this one. And they have Leatherface, another one of my favorites. Super awesome. Here's Michael Myers hiding behind the sheet, and the Exorcist doing a spider crawl. All the awesome ones that we love. And check it out they do have a ton of the poppy playtime costumes here guys sometimes we show up and they don't have hardly any at all they are very popular huggy wuggy kissy missy these ones are my favorite but they also have these ones right here where your face is in the mouth and they have these really cool jackets right here if you want something that's just kind of simple they have a couple of the bibbo with shorty in the pizza box pop figures here but what i'm looking for is some more of the special figures that we got for the grand opening i got little skelly bones at the grand opening and since then then I have not seen any of him in the store, but I have seen Crouchy, and right now I am not seeing him anywhere at all. That's kind of surprising. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween on Quinn Drive in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. What's up guys we were out here at spirit halloween in west mifflin pennsylvania let's go inside and see what awesome halloween stuff they have all right we've got the widow right here go on widow break your neck <laughs> i love the widow she is so awesome thank you miss widow let's go over here to the straw man ezekiel miller wanted me to shout him out the next time i saw scarecrow or dagger mike and right now we have Mr. Scarecrow, so shout out to Ezekiel Miller. I think he will be very pleased with how I've been running things. He is so cool. Look at his hands. Okay, we'll move around here and go over and see if poor George is here for us. He is poor George. Go on, poor George. Poor 
George is so cool. What an awesome animatronic. I love how loud he is. Some animatronics are really quiet. He is nice and loud. And look right over here. We've got Gordo set up. How awesome. I haven't seen Gordo set up in the main area. There he goes. There he is. There's even a cat sound. That is so awesome. I didn't know there was a cat sound behind him. Thank you, Gordo. We'll go over here. Oh no, they do not have the back area. This is too small of a store, but that's okay. We have a lot of cool things to look at. Before we look at anything else, they have a Desmodus, Lil Skelly Bones, the Howling Spirit, Man's Possessed Friend, two of him, and they have a Stilts and Darling Dolly and Dagger Mike. They have everything we want. We have lots of zombie babies. Redneck Julius wanted me to shout him out whenever I see Gutsy Gwen. Let's get her started there she goes and she works at almost every location we go to as well i love gutsy gwen she is eating the guts of the pumpkin we also have this guy right here mothy e. max but where are his moths he must be on clearance because they took all of his moths off we also have a couple of spider eaters look at this another mothy e. max without his moths i guess he's just max now and we have some crawler babies and two of the hand eaters they are so awesome his name is snackin stevie there's a couple of tiny terrors horror babies here leatherface right Right there my favorite and sam he's almost at every store we go to only two snow globes here pennywise and the chainsaw massacre lots of door covers though michael myers ghost face mars attacks chucky they have chucky they have sam at the door with his trick-or-treat bag here's a pennywise one that i have never seen before look at that i don't see a price oh 23 dollars that is cool and they have the gremlins door cover and look at this i never seen this flag before dairy is calling that is pennywise that is pretty cool i do love these flags my other favorite flag is right here the melting ghost face they do have some of the blow molds they have sam right there and they have ghost face i love that one and at the last store we were at we did find a full over the head mask so we are on the hunt for those we found swim last time and right now we are looking for shorty they do have the jack the reaper costume here guys 50 five dollars one size fits most they also have our favorite bobbleheads here guys the texas chainsaw massacre ghost face michael myers behind the bush sam lollipop stab bobblehead georgie bagwell bobblehead hannibal lecter the exorcist and scraps i don't remember who said it but somebody told me to look out for these backpacks these are actually really cool look at the jack-o-lanterns on there and the scaredy cats that is so awesome and the zipper has a little bat on it that is really really cool i actually like these backpacks these cost 30 dollars each and they are awesome they have a lot of coming soon signs here so they are still stocking up but they do have an awesome selection already here's a bald old man mask and look at the nose that is so funny that makes it even more creepy here are some monster hands somebody was asking me about monster hands before and they have them right there and skeleton hands and werewolf hands ghostly ghoul mask that is freaky here is the other old man mask, the I Heart Bingo one. That one is hilarious. Let's take a look at some of these weapons. We haven't looked at them this much this year yet. We have this knife right here. I like that one. That is cool. $13. Here is the bleeding knife right there. That is $7. An awesome axe. Axes are always my favorite for the Halloween weapons. Another one of my favorites is this wrench right there. $13 for him. They have sledgehammers here for $20. And they have crowbars here for $10. I would totally be Harry or Marv from Home Alone if I got one of these. This one is really cool. I like it a lot. I like it even more every time I see it. $13 for the clear machete with blood stains on it. That is so unique. Right here we have more bloody blades and swords. And over here we have a bloody axe. That one is awesome. And they have the meat cleaver. Check out this Harry Potter plush owl. That is so cool. $27 for him look at this guys they have the animated faceless specter we haven't seen him since last year i'm not seeing a button though maybe this one has it oh look at this he started going off he is so awesome 
I wish we could find a button on this guy because I remember the sounds that he makes, but I don't want to cut that cord. They do have a few inflatables here. Lots of ghosts, reapers, gargoyles, cats, rats, and the jack-o'-lantern archway and the stacks of jack-o'-lanterns. I don't look at the tombstones all too often, but I actually really like them. This is probably my favorite one, the 21-inch pumpkin tombstone. I love how they have moss on the bricks. That is $10. Very good price. This might be another one of my favorites right here with the moss r.i.p 21 inch skull face tombstone and he is ten dollars as well these are very well priced they have the prowling cats and the secret keeping cats my dad would call him and they have scabs the chihuahua dog they also have the child size jack the reaper costume he is popular this year and he is 45 dollars and they have the spider-man costumes here is the regular spider-man costume and they have the miles morales costume Star Wars The Mandalorian is another popular one this year. We have this one with the muscle chest, and we have Darth Vader, my favorite. We saw these at a store that we were at just recently. Look at these. They are the coins from Sonic, and they make the sounds when you move them. They also have all of the plush Sonic dolls. And in case you want to be one of them for Halloween, they have lots of these suits, tails, shadow, and Sonic. We do have a couple of the Fall Guys costumes here. We have the pink one, but that is the only one I see. I like this. I'm a big video gamer with Call of Duty, and they have all of these costumes here that are basically Call of Duty costumes, including this ghillie suit. That one is awesome. $45 for the awesome ghillie suit. They do have the Poppy Playtime Huggy Wuggy costumes here, guys. $59, child size medium, 8 to 10. Look at this. They have minion goggles. That's awesome. Someone told me to keep my eye out for these miraculous ladybug costumes and the miraculous cat noir costumes. They have them here. And they have toddler size ghost face costumes right there. 5T, 6T for $20. This is funny. Look at this little necklace that has a jar with some mushrooms inside. I really like all the lanyards and I never take the chance to look at them. Look at this Friday the 13th. I love that Jason mask. And they have some Michael Myers ones. This one's cool because it has the orange on it. And we have the Krusty Krab. Look at that. That is awesome. And here is a Chucky lanyard right there. That is so cool. All of these are really cool, and they're about $7 each. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. What is up guys? We are over here at Spirit Halloween in Wexford, PA. Let's go inside and see if they have a two scoops or a heckles the clown. We are greeted by the Martian warrior guys. That is so awesome. There's not a lot of stores that have him set up in this main area. Let's get him going. So awesome. I think you hook up a fog machine and he shoots it out of the tip of the gun and then the blue light there lights up the fog. What an awesome animatronic, guys. I'm so excited that they got him this year. Look at that brain. He is so cool, and I love the sounds that he makes. Okay, let's go on inside here. And of course, we have Dagger Mike ready to get going. <laughs> Mike. I love you, Dagger Mike. Let's move on to the Scarecrow. Let's get him going. He might be on motion activision, or maybe he's just not set up because he is not. There he goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he spooked me. That is so funny. Gotta love the flames. Okay, let's go out here. I think they have, yes, the Widow. Come on, Widow. Break your neck for me. I love it. One of my favorites of all time. I might have to get her. My wife wants her as well this year. We've got Slim right around the corner with his bag of popcorn. Come on, Slim. Show me what you got. Honk, honk. <laughs> we have to honk his nose every time we see him. Slim Jim. 
I love him. He is so awesome with his bag of popcorn. All right, we'll go around the corner here to poor George. They always have poor George set up. He's a little quieter at this location, which is a little bit pleasant because he's usually super loud. Very cool. There's his creepy hands. There's a good look at his other face. What an awesome animatronic. All right, I see some stuff set up right back here and they have a bunch of animatronics on the floor that we'll go through in a minute. They have Gordo here. Let's get Gordo going. He is so awesome. What an awesome gourd. And there he goes, revealing all of his guts. I love it. They even have the seeds in there. Here is the Howling Ghost, another favorite. They have so many good ones this year. that the lights are so awesome we have the gargoyle here but oh yeah he is set up and the bell tolling is from him i thought it was from the ghost at the last door but that is totally from the gargoyle with the glowing red eyes all right we've got straw man over here but is his head twisted what in the world let's see if he works he does if you're looking for somewhere safe you can hide in oh my gosh he broke his neck just like the widow look at that <laughs> He is super loud right now, too. That is so crazy. All right, we'll move on for him and go over to the Riz Reaper. Here he goes. Show me your girlfriend, Mr. Reaper. I love that they have him turned up because he is usually a bit quiet. But that is awesome. That proves to me that he does have a good volume and you will be able to hear him if you buy him. They have a spooky tree right here and right next to it they have the Grave Watcher. She whispers. <laughs> I can barely hear her. Here's the little skelly bones. He looks a little chunky right now. Big skelly bones. Big skelly belly right there. <laughs> <laughs> Big skelly belly. He is so awesome. All right, we have the door mechanism. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's the dumping spider. He is so cool. No lights this time, but he's still awesome. We have a lot of good stuff to look at over here, guys. Look at this. We have Ghost Face Baby and Leather Face Baby. I want them both so bad. We also have Devil Cherub sitting here. Let's see if he works. That one's not going to work. And that one does. Look at his red eyes. He is so awesome. We also have the brain eater right there. And we have the hand eater, Gorious George right there. And we have, what else? Mothy Max and of course, Gutsy Gwen. Always a number one for me. Look at that gourd, and she is digging her hand in there to eat the guts. Lots and lots of good stuff. Look, they have the mask. I haven't been seeing this lately, honestly. Maybe they're selling out the Light Up Jason mask, and they have our blow molds. I love this one, but none of them are going to light up for me. That's too bad, but we do have uh, Mr. Jumbo right here with the cotton candy cocoon, and we have Annabelle. Maybe she will light up. No, none of them are going to light up. People must be pressing the buttons here a lot. They do have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre snow globes, and they have Pennywise. And, of course, another favorite of mine. This is so cool. It is the statue of Ghostface, and the pumpkin lights up. I love that sad pumpkin. That is so cool. And check it out. Right beneath him, we do have a Pennywise sidestep. <laughs> We haven't seen him since last year. There he goes. He works. Uh, Sam usually works too, but he's not going to work. They do have the same statue though with the light. They have the popcorn statue here. He lights up super good. And they have some Chucky dolls right here, but I don't see Gwen anywhere. Supposedly Gwen does sell out very quickly. Around the corner, they do have the Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake signs. They are wooden and super good quality. And they also have the Mars Attacks changing laser pistol sign. Another great one that I think I'm gonna put in my office. And this sign is 
$20, not too bad. Check it out, they have Billy Butcherson's head here. I haven't seen him since last year. I'm so glad they still have him. They have lots of animatronics, guys. Look, they have the Howling Spirit, Scary Sitting Scarecrow. They have a Stilts. They have a Straw Man and Eternal Rest and a little Skelly Bones right here. Plenty of the inflatables. They are not short on inflatables this year, including my favorite, the Lunging Ghost Face. They have the Hanging Barbara and the Hanging Adam here. Here. I haven't seen those very often. Look at the eyes on his hands. They also have the plush version of Barbara, but I do not see the plush version of Adam. Oh, there he is right there. Yes, they do have him. How awesome. He is... $27. More animatronics here, guys. Poor George. More sitting scarecrow. Man's possessed friend. And they have a slim right over here for $400. I don't see any of the over-the-head masks, but what I do see is this. The Holy Grail. The Killer Clown's popcorn gun. Oh my goodness. I want it so bad. Every time I see it, my heart gets going. Look at the popcorn. They did good on the packaging. They did so good and I want them so bad. They also have the cotton candy guns. Let's see if it works. Yes. I love it. Let's see how much this one is again. $30. He is $100. So for $130, you can get both of them. I want it so bad. Check out this hat. It says, have a killer day. They have the solar bobbleheads. This is the one that I want to put in the front of my truck. Jason, they also have Pennywise and they have Freddy Krueger. They have bobbleheads, all the ones we love. The baby killer clown. They have scraps, Leatherface, Michael Myers behind the bush, but no sheet. And they have a ghost face hiding right back there look at what i found it's the skeleton all unwrapped i love it look at that i can't even fit him in the whole screen that is so cool and i want him so bad oh my gosh he is so awesome if you are a halloween fanatic you need this but i don't need him that bad right now because i can't afford him maybe later speaking of plush stuff they do have the blankets they have the call me ghost face and they have trick-or-treat blankets and halloween michael myers with the moon behind him and the regular ghost face blanket it. They have lots of the pillows here too, guys. Pennywise, Violet. This one is hilarious. Look at that. And they have Jason. This one would be my favorite. I might get him this year. Let's see how much he is. $30. They have Spirit Halloween shirts here, guys. I haven't seen these too often yet. They have a bunch of them here, and these ones are long sleeve. I think I would like the long sleeve one best. And they have the jersey. This one was kind of rare last year, and it is super cool, guys. The number 31 on the back for Halloween. They have the Mi Hoi Mi Nyoi hat. That is so cool. He is $17. I want it. They also have the hanging white reaper. She's not going to work. Let's see if this one does. Oh, that's too bad. She is super cool. We have plush dolls, devilish Desmond, loving Lilith, decrepit haunted doll. They do have pumpkin nester. People have been looking for him this year and he is right here, guys. Come and get him. And they have my favorite, the monkey chimes. If you guys like Cheetos, they have the Cheetos stuff. This is hilarious. Look at this. You can be a flaming hot Cheeto for Halloween for the price of $40. They also have this cheetah costume, Chester Cheetah, for $50. And they have the socks and the awesome hat. I actually do want that one. And that is $20. There's a couple items on the clearance aisle right here. We've got the Zoe and we have the prom queen. They have a lot of these couples union suits. Let's check a couple of them out. They have the cows. That one would fit me very well. And they have the lions, shark pandas, tigers, and bears. Oh my. And they have the monkeys and giraffes. And it seems like all of these are about $40 a piece. I always thought that these were hilarious. All of these spirit branded pimp costumes here. Here is a Casanova robe. The purple pimp costume that's hilarious with the cheetah stuff. Disco dude and the gold pimp. Look at the money jacket. That is hilarious. And they have tons of bling to go with it. They have these bling veneers, fake money, Money, the pimp sunglasses and chains. This is hilarious. They have Peter Pan costumes. It would be so funny if somebody could talk their husband into being Peter Pan and then the wife can be Tinkerbell. Check it out. They have a big mystery machine pillow. That is so funny. I've probably seen it before, but I don't remember. That is so cool. I love Scooby-Doo. $30. And they have Scooby-Doo pillows. <laughs> they do have the Jack the Reaper costume here, you guys. This is the adult size and 
it is one size fits most. This is an awesome costume. I've seen multiple people wearing it already this year and it is super awesome and worth the money. They have a whole little box here of the Handmade by Robots Micro Charm vinyl figures, Leatherface, Annabelle, and Shorty, look at that. Here's a little thing full of buttons. These are actually pretty cool. You've got Scooby-Doo, Deadpool right there, The Lost Boys, whoa, that one's awesome. Binks, that's cool. Killer Clown Smatter Space, oh my gosh, I want that one. This is so cool. I should totally get a bunch of these to put on my hat. Here's a Michael Myers one that says hi. And they have my favorite treat bag. Look at that, it's a cat and you can see the candy in his mouth. And look at this one, I like the old fashioned stuff that is totally something that I love. They have Ninja Turtle stuff. I don't see the shell, but they do have this whole big pack of eye masks and the pizza piece crossbody bag. Somebody was asking me about the tarot cards and look at this, a big pack of shiny deluxe tarot cards right there. This is $15 and it actually looks super cool. All right, guys, that is it for Spirit Halloween in Wexford, PA. They had a lot of awesome stuff here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. What's up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween in Brighton, Michigan. I hear they have a ghost face sidestepper now. I am on the hunt for him. Let's go inside and see if they got him. Stilts and Leatherface are waiting to greet us here. Leatherface is holding his saw so low. There he goes. <laughs> I love Leatherface. I cannot wait to play the video game. We are on the hunt for more chainsaws. They are kind of hard to find this year. All right, Leatherface, we've got stilts right here waiting to juggle his pins for us. He is so tall. I love his little hat too, that's funny. I love his face, the bright colors on him are awesome. All right, we'll go around the corner here. Waiting around the corner is the widow. She is waiting to break her neck for us. There she goes. Oh my gosh, she almost broke her head off. I love the widow. All right, widow, we'll go around the corner here. We have some things inside. We've got the sitting scarecrow as always. Let's get him going. Come on, sitting scarecrow. There he goes. The scary sitting scarecrow. Right behind him, we always have Dagger Mike. I imagine Dagger Mike and sitting scarecrow are good friends, always being next to each other. There he goes. Man, I love those blue lights and the flames. I should totally decorate my office with those. Around the corner here, I know I saw Slim waiting on us. Here's Slim. All right, buddy, let's go. Maybe? You kind of have to step on the pad a little extra. Maybe not, he's not working, that's too bad. We'll still honk his nose anyways. Honk, and around the corner we should have poor George. Yes, we do. Poor George is so great. Look at that face and the bloody teeth. Poor George is so cool. Love the colors, green, purple, and black and his orange fiery hair. Over here, we have a whole stack of animatronics we're gonna go through in just a minute. They have the Mars Attacks Martian, but they do have a lot of stuff set up over here that I want to get going first, including whatever this guy's name is. I keep forgetting the Hanging Ghost or something like that. The Howling Spirit, that's what he's called. And look at him, he's broken, oh no. His arm is broken, look at that, it's so limp. That is too bad. A lot of these seem to get damaged this year. We also have the Gargoyle. The fogging gargoyle. I imagine some fog comes out of his mouth, maybe. Around the corner from him, we do have Darling Dolly and Eternal Rest, always eternally spinning her head. She never quite works correctly. But let's see if Darling Dolly's set up. Yes, she is. Come on, Darling Dolly, spook me. 
I love Darling Dolly. I might get her by the end of the year, including a uh, spooky tree because I love how she just kind of blends in with it. All right, right around the corner, we have Gordo waiting for us. King Gord, let's go. There he goes, love that cat sound and the guts. All right, the Riz Reaper is waiting to show me his girlfriend. Come on, Riz Reaper. There he goes. I love how loud he is whenever they turn him up. And his jaw is working really good right now. He's opening his mouth super wide. $300 for Blackheart. All right, Blackheart, we're going to go over here. We've got Desmodus. Please, please, please work Desmodus. Yes, I love it. His eyes aren't lighting up, but he does throw his wings up in the air. He is so awesome. I want him and Darling Dolly. We also have the Grave Watcher. She is whispering at us. I do not know what she says. I'll have to listen to her one of these days. The door mechanism. We're going to see how this is timed. There he goes. The timing is always a little bit off, but that's okay. He is super awesome, and I love the brown spider. You know what would be cool is they had a white spider. All right, we have a whole stack of animatronics here. Look at this. We've got two of the Widow, two of the Blackheart, Young Crouchy, Leatherface. We have a sandworm right there. Eternal Rest, Nozzles the Clown, another sandworm, some little Jack Carver. I have not seen him set up and operating yet. How much is he? $170. I want to see him set up so bad. They also have Fogging Skull Pile, another Leatherface. I'm so glad they have a bunch of him this year. Stilts. And that seems to be it. Man, oh no, they have a howling spirit. They have a couple of them. He is so awesome. $200, I want him too. And back over here at this stack, we have Man's Possessed Friend. Lots of him this year. Last year, I feel like he was kind of hard to find. We have some scary sitting scarecrows and the regular sitting scarecrow from last year. Two straw men and one Emmeline. I have not seen her working yet either. And I really want to because she looks super cool. And I've seen her jump mechanism online and it is super awesome. Two of the Mars Attacks Martian. I love the packaging on that, the yellow and red. It really pops out. I always look at all the inflatables right after the animatronics and they have plenty of them, including that ghost. We saw that ghost at the last store and he is super awesome and super tall and I love his face. I'd also love to set up the coffin. Look at him, how tall is he? 5.7 foot, so he is actually really cool. I'd love to see him blown up. And they also have the skeleton, I do not see the skeleton all too often and he is $50. That is not too bad. He's eight feet tall. That is a tall skeleton. Man, I would love to see that blown up. Always a lot of zombie babies here. Look at this. We've got Devil Cherub. Let's see if he works. There he goes. I love those glowing red eyes and in the dark, his entire face lights up red. We also have the hand eater, Mothy Max. He is always missing some moths. I wonder if in the packaging they break off. And then we've got the brain eater and we have a crawler over here and the spider eater. What is his name? He is Spider Biter Billy, $45. A couple of horror babies over here. We've got Pennywise and Sam as always. I kind of want to find Leatherface again. I want to buy him so bad. They have these Chucky dolls, but I don't see the other guy, Gwen, I think his name is. I don't see him a lot and he is kind of rare and supposedly he sells out very quickly. Over here, we do have the Michael Myers sitting statue right there. Look at that pumpkin. That is so awesome. At night, that would look really cool. And and look around the corner here. We have sidesteppers, a whole bunch of them. Let's see if they work. We've got Spikey. Yes, he's working. We also have Sam. Let's see if he goes. Yes, there's a Sam working. And we also have Pennywise. He's working as well. You gotta kind of move his arms a little bit, but there he goes. He is working. And they have Billy Butcherson. We saw Billy Butcherson a lot last year. Oh, that one's not gonna work. Let's see if another one works here. We gotta get him going. Come on, Billy, I wanna see you step to the side. <laughs> there he goes, Billy Butcherson with his red lighting up eyes. Look at that wild hair on him. I am looking for the ghost face sidestepper. I want that one. They have both of the Killer Clown statues right here. They both light up and they are super cool. 
I can't get this one to light up. Oh my gosh, the button is broke off. Lots and lots of signs here, and they have a bunch of good ones this year too. Check it out. We've got the Martian pistol, and it changes when you move it side to side. And they have the Haddonfield Have a Knife Day. I love it. Look at that pumpkin. We've also got one of my favorites right here, Slow Alien Invasion Area. It looks like it was melted with the blaster and shot up with bullets. And they have this Camp Crystal Lake one, and they have that one. That one is my favorite. Super good quality. It's wooden. I love it. Guys, I don't know if they don't have air conditioning in here or something, but I am burning up. This is the hottest store I've ever been inside. I love to look at all the masks. Let's check out some of the cool ones. I love the zombie ones. Look at that. So freaky. They also have this guy down here, the Wicked Scarecrow. He is another super freaky mask. They also have Jesus, the Holy Man. And they do have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask. Pretty woman. Look at that. That is honestly the best look one I've seen so far. They push his hair up and his face is not deformed at all. It is super creepy even just holding this. I'm getting spooked just holding him. Let's get rid of him. The ghost face mask is always one of my favorites. I love it. $13 too. That's a nice affordable mask that is always popular. And we have the Jason Voorhees hockey mask. They've got the Mars Attacks Martian. Look at how wide his mouth is open. He's about to eat a cheeseburger. They have my favorite Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th mask right here. Whenever you open up the mask, you can see his freaky face. Look at that. I love it. That's my favorite one. And this is $60. And look right over here at what I found. It's a chainsaw. These are hard to find this year. It's working, sort of. The blade is supposed to be going. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, it's not working 100%, but it is super cool, and I would totally get that. $50, you'd have to get that and the Leatherface mask. I'll have to keep an eye out, though, for, like, a suit or some kind of a butcher costume. So speaking of the weapons, I love these. The bat with the nails in it. Let's see how much that is. $22. Look at that. That is so freaky. And they're soft. They're not going to hurt you if it touches anything. Um, and you can totally use that as a costume safely. Some more of the weapons that I like are these axes. Look at this one. It looks all worn down. That makes it even more creepy. That one is $15. And we have some awesome knives here. And right behind those, we do have a bunch of swords. I love the swords. Look at that. If you were going to be like a knight or something, that would be perfect. $17. That is an awesome sword. I don't know what the baby head is all about, but look at this staff. That's actually kind of heavy wow look at that look at that creepy face that is crazy 25 dollars, and that's this is like a heavy staff i see something behind this sword right here that i think is super cool look at this a gold sword i love anything gold that is super cool 19.99 for him they also have the machete this clear machete i like this a lot kind of unique it is clear with some blood stains on it for $13. And they have these sledgehammers. These are actually popular. Look at that. I would love it. I would love to have it. $20. I always want to make a movie every time I see these weapons. They have some of our plush dolls. Hugs the Clown, Devilish Desmond, Decrepit Haunted Doll, Monkey Chimes. He's my favorite. I love to chime his little chimes. Another thing that I love is these crawling monster hands. My dad used to have one of these when I was a kid, and it would crawl around the house all all the time you hit the button and he crawls around your house it actually works really well too and that is thirty dollars they do have a ton of the awesome bobbleheads they have the baby killer clown georgie sam lollipop stab bagwell scraps ghost face we don't see that one a whole lot i think he probably sells out pretty quickly and he is forty dollars and they also have the texas chainsaw massacre and look at this they have a crouchy plush guys we're seeing more of these lately he is thirty dollars i have one of these and they are super awesome i've probably seen this before but i don't really remember it look at this awesome monsters ink blanket monsters ink was my childhood I love it. It's got all the doors on it and everything. I don't see any new pop figures, but they do have the Sanderson sisters and they have the colorful jumbo. Let's look at some of these things. I don't really look at them all too often. We've got a couple of cockroach magnets. That's cool. I didn't even know those existed. 
five dollars you can put those on your fridge that would be really awesome here's some mini hairy spiders oh my gosh that is cool four dollars for those they also have severed fingers eyeballs all the rings and black spiders they also have a little bag of bones here teeth more eyes baby all heads what Oh my gosh, that is cool. $6 for those. These are super ball eyeballs. They're bouncy balls. Syringe pens. They have all kinds of awesome stuff that you can put in party favor bags if you're going to have a Halloween party. Look at this squishy mouse. They call it squishy mouse. That is too funny. $6 for the squishy mouse. Let's see how squishy he is. Wow. He actually feels like he has like sand in him or something. Anna Cooper was looking for a mummy costume. And let me tell you, this has been one of the hardest costumes to find almost nobody has it and look at that it is a pretty awesome costume includes the shirt pants and mask for $40 and this one is a large 12 to 14 child size this is honestly kind of rare it is over here at the Halloween store in Brighton in addition to the mummy they do have Jack the Reaper child size medium 8 to 10 for $45 and look at this is that Momo no Jeff the killer that's what his name is he is a freaky costume for $40 $40. Our kid is looking for clown costumes. We have a ton here, guys, including the Wacky Mole Clown. They have the Wacky Mole Clown costume. $60 for that. We also have the Zombie Clown. And look at this one. Clown Capture. I would totally get that one. It looks like a clown has grabbed you. And this one is $55. Big Top Terror. This is a cool, colorful one. Look at the purple on him. And he is $40. Here's another very colorful one. Neon Clown. Look at the swirls on his suit. That's a super cool one with the green hair. And they have the Hugs the Clown costume. You don't see that one every time now. This one is... $45, and look at the gloves on that. I do like that. That is super freaky. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Brighton, Michigan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys we are over here at spirit halloween in canton michigan we are on the search for lil jack carver or heckles the clown because they've been fixing his face lately all right guys let's go inside and see if they got him all right we're greeted by leatherface and stilts again let's get leatherface going first there he goes he's a little quiet right now but he is still awesome i love him his movements are super good too 330 dollars for leatherface and we've got stilts right over here. He is a juggling clown. I love the colors they chose for his face. He is super awesome and super tall. Stilts the juggling clown. Okay, we'll go past stilts here. They don't have anything set up here, but there is a spider. Check it out. A nice little spider. There was some blue lights to accent him. Let's see if they have the widow set up. They do. The Widow is one of my favorites. Crack your neck. There she goes. I love her. I love the lights, man. They did such a great job this year. We've got Mr. Scarecrow in here, ready to scare us. Come on, Mr. Scarecrow. He is so cool. If you turned him up, he would be super scary when somebody goes to grab the candy. All right, we've got Dagger Mike right here. Come on, Dagger Mike, show me what you got. He's leaning his head up against the pillar there. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> he is so cool. I wonder why they have him just facing the pillar. And we have another Lil Jack Carver, the Riz Reaper. We have some fogging skull piles and eternal rest. I think she would work if you brought her home. She's usually broken in the store, but she'd probably work if you took her home and took care of her. We also have the straw man right here, and they have a darling dolly. And check this out, the 36-inch Reaper. That is so cool. He's a greeting Reaper, and he has a candy bag. They also have a little skelly bones. Check it out. Damage. 
damage. So missing one foot, one eye, but still functions 25% off. And here is another greeter. Look at this animated doll greeter. I wonder if the button will work. Let's press it and see what happens. Look, she's got a spider on her chest. That's so funny. No, it's not going to work. That's too bad. But look how freaky she is. She has one eye. Aside from the animatronics, they have plenty of the inflatables, guys, including the lunging ghost face and the scarecrow archways right there. They also have lots of the hanging props here, including Mr. Ghost Face. I love that one. Lights up nice and blue. That is the perfect Halloween color. This guy is awesome. I have one of the hanging zombies, but I want this guy so bad. Look at how freaky that is. I love when it's all nice and shiny. It looks like the blood is fresh. And we have hanging Sam. We've got this guy, which usually flaps his wings and says some things. Yes. He is super funny. I love him. We saw him last year. They've also got the pumpkin. He lights up on the inside and the vintage hanging devil. If you want to be me for Halloween, they do have bald caps. And if you got that to be me, you would need some facial hair, but I do not see. Oh, here it is. Yes. Oh my gosh. The dark brown beard. That one would be very close to mine. $8. That would be so funny if somebody dressed up as me for Halloween. Here's another stack of animatronics being guarded by the red eyed spider. That is so funny. More Riz Reaper, Sitting Scarecrow, The Widow, a Slim. They have a Slim here and they have another Emmeline, always the jumping spiders and another little jack carver there they do have some horror babies here they have pennywise and my favorite ghost face i want leather face but they don't have him here but they do have the leather face door covers these are super awesome and i want one for my office they also have the ghost face melting mask flag and some of my other favorite wall decors look at that ghost face breaking through the door michael myers standing at your front door and chucky this one is another one of my favorites look at that he is breaking through the window check out these awesome knives 18 dollars each this is a ghost face one and michael myers that is so cool they also have a ton and i mean a ton of zombie babies they have the spider eater right there look at his eyes those are super freaky they've also got the hand eater and the rat eater and they have gutsy gwen let's see if she works there she goes and they have devil cherub let's see if he works as well yes he does these are so awesome guys mothy max is here as well iron stone fold plays wanted me to check out the fall guys costumes and look guys they have a ton here they have the chicken inflatable that one is super cool this one we usually see a lot of pink with the crown but look at this spooky doodles that is so cool man they have a ton of these here guys and they have the blue one with the crown that one might be my favorite or the chicken and these are 60 dollars a piece i don't think i've ever seen these before check these out they're little small hanging things here is a zombie and he looks awesome they also have this hanging reaper and the hanging pumpkin that one might be my favorite. And these are $15. That is not too bad. Guys, I have been looking for this. They have a chainsaw. I heard it from across the store and I had to come running and look for it. I think he works because I heard him earlier. Let's get him going. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is so cool. $50, guys. That is perfect for the leather face costume. And they do have the mask. Look at that. You can get the leather face mask and the chainsaw that is so sweet they have snow globes here we've got michael myers with the red stuff floating around and he lights up but that one's not working there we go the red light texas chainsaw massacre that one is my absolute favorite he lights up yellow i would love to see it at dark and they have pennywise here he is also a super cool one with the blue light and look they do have some sam side steppers i hope one of them works no i guess not that's too bad this is awesome i love this michael myers statue right here with the light up pumpkin that is so cool and the light is super bright they also have a ghost face one but i don't see him here check this out guys they are still setting stuff out including this inflatable fall guys skeleton that is so cool i'm so glad we're seeing more of those lately this is hilarious look at this dino inflatable from the flintstones oh my gosh i've never seen that before and i don't see a price on him but i imagine he is probably 60 or 70 dollars like the rest i I do not see any Jack the Reaper costumes here today, but that one is a hot item. We will keep our eye out. Wait a minute. Look at this. He totally skipped my eyes. That is so funny. But look, adult size, 
$55, one size fits most. He is a very popular one this year. They have zombie hands, guys. Somebody keeps asking me about the monster hands. They do have zombie hands right there and awesome zombie masks and zombie costumes. Josh Barber wanted me to keep my eye out for Killer Clowns costumes. I think he said he was gonna be Jumbo for Halloween. So right here is the Jumbo costume. It includes the jumpsuit, collar, and the half mask. And they also have Spiky and Shorty right there. These costumes are $60 each. I don't see any of the over-the-head masks. Those are the ones that I like, but these are cool anyways, because if it is too hot, that would not be too bad to wear in the heat. They have the Slayer kit in stock, guys. They have gloves, knife, voice changer, and the mask. That is a great kit if you want to be Ghostface for Halloween. $40 for that. And if you're going to get that, you would have to get a robe. And there are plenty of costumes here that have robes in them, but I don't see any that are just the robe without the mask. They have lots of the Spirit Halloween shirts here, guys. So far, I'm not seeing any of the special ones that have Sam from Trick or Treat on the front, but let's look over here if they have any. No, I am not seeing it. Wait a minute, what is this? <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh, I have never, ever, ever seen this before. It says, put on a happy face, and it's Leatherface. I almost thought that it was going to be the Spirit Halloween logo with Leatherface instead of Jack the Reaper, but nope, it is just Leatherface, and I do not see any of the special Spirit Halloween shirts here. But I do see a bunch of the Soul bobbleheads including one of my favorites friday the 13th jason he is super cool and he would be great in my truck they also have pennywise and nightmare on elm street freddy krueger and they have a bunch of these figures here pop figure bibbo with shorty in a pizza box those are super cool and they have the crouchy figure i believe they gave this out at the grand opening of 2022 and this year they gave out lil skelly bones i have him at home and there's supposed to be some more coming out soon so we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. Lots of figural bag clips, but I am looking for the animatronic ones, and so far I do not see any of them, and I haven't seen any of them at any of the stores yet. But I do see these little mini snow globes, and these are awesome. I think they're $8. Yeah, $8 a piece. There's Michael Myers. Here is Freddy Krueger right there, and they have Jason. I love these too. These would be great on my truck as well. I don't look at the treat buckets all too often, and I don't know why, because I love them. Look at this purple one with the pumpkin face. This blue is almost my favorite color blue, but they also have this dark blue one right here. And of course, they have the candy corn buckets. Here's a little ghost one. That one is awesome. The ghost one is $4. That is not bad at all. And they have plenty of these cinch treat bags. These are really cool. Look at that jack-o'-lantern. I love it. And the cat where you can see the candy in his mouth. And they have the bloody cinch treat bag. That one is really cool as well. These are $10 a piece. Lots and lots of bobbleheads. They are always stocked on these this year. They've got the killer clown. They have Georgie, Bagwell, Michael Myers behind the bush, but no sheet, and ghost face. Look at that one. So awesome. And they have Leatherface and Silence of the Lambs Hannibal Lecter. Oh my gosh, guys, check it out. They have a little skelly bones. I wanted to get him last year and I didn't because I got Crouchy instead. $30 for him. I've seen him a couple times. I don't know if I've ever seen any Crouchies this year yet. But check this out. They have plush slippers. Friday the 13th Jason masks right there. We've got SpongeBob SquarePants with Patrick. That is so funny. Scooby Doo, Stitch, and here's some Nightmare Before Christmas slippers. Perfect for whenever you're watching a spooky movie in the cold, cold night of Halloween. I am seeing more and more book bags at each store I go to. Look at this Sam book bag that is cool with a lollipop zipper. All right, guys, that is it for Spirit Halloween in Canton, Michigan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. What's up, guys? We are over here at the Spirit Halloween in Lansing, Michigan. I am still on the hunt for a two scoops, but I also want to find the ghost face side steppers. Let's go inside and see if they got what we want. Leatherface is waiting to greet us with his awesome yellow chainsaw. 
I love that chainsaw and I love that mask. He is so awesome. $350 for him. I might have to get him by the end of the year because I love him. Here is Stilts with his purple eyes and yellow teeth. Juggle for me, Stilts. I love that little hat he's got on. You can actually hear his neck cracking too when it spins. I didn't know it did that. We've got the Martian warrior over here ready to shoot. And I like how they have his gun pointing outwards instead of to the side. I like that a lot. I wonder if he's gonna have the mist. I do not see any mists right now, but he is super cool. The Martian Warrior. I'm gonna have to watch that movie when I get home. All right, guys, we're gonna go around the corner here. We should have poor George. We do, let's go poor George. $180 for him. And he is super awesome and always super loud. Gotta love poor George. All right, around the corner, we do have Mr. Slim. Go on, Mr. Slim, close your popcorn bag for us, and we're gonna have to honk, honk your nose. Boy, I really want Slim and Shorty. <laughs> I love the sounds he makes. They did a great job with him. All right, we'll go around the corner here. They usually have the Widow. Yes, they do. The Widow is so awesome. Break your neck, girl. There she goes. She is one of my favorites of all time. She is so great. All right, we'll go on inside here, and we always have what in the world? We've got Dagger Mike, but he is all turned around. Let's see if he works. <laughs> Seems like it. <laughs> there he goes. He does work. He's just turning to see us. That is too funny. We also have the sitting scarecrow as always. Go on, sitting scarecrow. Spook me. There he is. I love those red glowing eyes. The scary sitting scarecrow is better than the regular one in my opinion. And he is $109. I see a couple things right here. We've got the scary sitting scarecrow and man's possessed friend. Always a bunch of jumping spiders for $50 each. I wish they had a white one. They should totally make a white one. We have the whole setup back here, but look at this door. Man, this door got messed up. Let's see if the spider still works. No, he doesn't work at all. That is too bad. He must have busted through the door too fast. Desmodus is over here, but let's get a look at Lil Skelly Bones first. He is so awesome. And it's funny because everything else gets damaged this year from getting used too much, but Lil Skelly Bones always stays strong. We got the Grave Watcher whispering at us. Who knows what secrets the Grave Watcher keeps? Desmodus, please work. Yes, all right. I love Desmodus. He is one of the coolest animatronics I've ever seen. That wingspan is so awesome. The only thing I don't like about him is how long he takes to like reset himself after going off. He just takes a long, long time. This whole thing has to go down before he's ready to go again. Thank you very much, Desmodus. We're gonna go over here to the Riz Reaper Blackheart. Your time has come. Join me now and forever. We will own the night. All right. He is so cool. Right behind him, we do have Darling Dolly. And her hair looks very good. She must have just gotten back from a hairdo. so awesome man i love darling dolly she is 280 dollars and she is amazing she is so creepy we also have our good pal gordo here king gordo somebody had a crown on him before at one of the other stores they should totally put it on one of the other ones here whenever he's working he would probably throw the crown off his head whenever he popped up i love you gordo all right let's see if eternal rest is working she's usually broken but she looks kind of good right now 
No, I guess not. She's not going to work. She must be damaged. That is too bad. This is like the most troublesome animatronic that they've ever had. I've never seen this animatronic before. That's a funny one. We do also have the fogging gargoyle here. I feel like he doesn't get as much love as he deserves. He is super cool with the red eyes. And I believe fog comes out of his mouth and he is super cool. Right behind him, we do have all of the zombie babies, the spider eaters, Mothy Max, the crawler, the hand eater. I love him more and more every time I see him. Look at these eyes on him. That is so creepy. We also have Gutsy Gwen. She is so cool. Eating the guts out of the gourd. How gross. They have our favorite horror babies here. Ghostface, so awesome. He is $50 and we also have Sam <gasps> and we also have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He is getting more and more rare each day. I'm starting to see him less and less because everybody's buying him up. They have some of the Crouchy figures here. They gave these away at the grand opening of 2022, I believe. And look at this, more spooky figures to come. I'm still waiting for the new ones to come out. They do have little skelly bones. I got that one at the grand opening this year. They also have the Halloween statue here. That is so awesome. And I would love to see it in the dark. And I love how they continued the knife throughout the whole pumpkin in there. They didn't just make it stop right there. It actually goes through the entire pumpkin on the inside. And look at what we have around the corner here. We do have the ghost face statue with the sad pumpkin. I love that. I would love to have both of these. They would fit perfectly on my desk. They are also fully stocked on all of these awesome things. Look at the snow globes. These are so cool. My favorite one is Leatherface. He lights up yellow. And they also have the light up killer clowns right here. None of those are working right now. There's Rudy. Rudy's kind of hard to find sometimes. And they have the ghost face. He lights up a nice blue. None of those are working though. We have sidesteppers. Please work, Spiky. Yes, let's get his arms moved a little bit. There you go. Come on, Spiky. Do your little sidestep. Oh well. Oh man, I really want to see him sidestep. He's one of my favorites. Come on, Spikey. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, well. All right, we got the Frankenstein. He almost never works. And we have Sam and we have Lydia. None of them are working. And if you guys are curious, this costs $33. Look at this big, beautiful stack of animatronics. Jack Carver, we have a little Skelly Bones. We haven't seen him too much this year. $170. We also have the Straw Man, the Fogging Skull Pile. They have a Darling Dolly here, you guys. They also have the Martian Warrior. That is the coolest pack packaging I've ever seen for any animatronics. They also have stilts. They also have Leatherface, one of my favorites, and the Howling Spirit. I totally want him too. And they have Emmeline and Slim. Guys, they are so well stocked this year. They are always stocked on the inflatables. I don't see anything new here, but they have everything we usually look at and love. They have both Leatherface masks here. This one's getting hard to find, honestly. And he is $70 from Trick or Treat Studios, the regular leather face mask they also have the pretty woman leather face mask that one is probably my favorite but i don't know man it is a tie they do have the butcher plush here guys he's kind of a rare one too and he's super awesome look at that meat cleaver he's got they have the momo mask that one is super freaky he is 40 dollars what they also have monster hands like skeleton evil and werewolf they also have the ghost face masks there's me hello and they have look at this the chrome one that is so cool the regular one and this one lights up up. Yes, the red light up mouth. Check this out. I don't know if I've seen this one before. House of a Thousand Corpses. Look at that. Freaky. $70 for that one. That's some nasty hair. I always love this one. The Jack-O-Lantern. That is super creepy. And it's not an over-the-head mask, so it's cool to wear if it's too hot outside. $17 for that one. I don't usually look at all the black light stuff all too often, so let's check it out. They have all these big black lights right here they also have little strobe lights they have colored light bulbs here they have orange and purple string lights look at these little pumpkin string lights let's see if that works if that will stay up i do not want him to fall <laughs> no he's not going to work maybe the one behind it will Ooh, there he goes he's already going that is awesome we also have this ghostly girl wow i actually like that look at this i bet she floats around and moves and stuff 
That would be spooky against your house. That's $30. We have spiders, more spiders, ghosts. I love that. Look at those ghosts. They also have peeping peepers. That is so cool. You put these eyes in your bush and then they light up in the bush like something is watching you. And of course they have the fog machines and look at this. It's got a skeleton laying on top of the fog machine. That is funny. And of course, lots of fog juice for the fog machine, including this. Look, they have a green one that says low lying fog juice. That one would be really cool. So the fog kind of like creeps along the ground and they have some fog timers which is actually really nice i might need one of those and they have the mist maker with led i think you put that in like a punch bowl and it'll create some mist in your punch i haven't seen this one since last year the seed eater 40 dollars. that's actually a super creepy costume look at the fingers and the hair they also have the light up jack-o-lantern i really like that robe and they have the harvester they do have the huggy wuggy costumes here look at this one i love it. I saw somebody wearing this online and let me tell you guys, this is an awesome costume. Definitely worth the money. $60 for that one. And then they have these like hooded jumpsuits there where your face is in the mouth. That one's funny for $40. And they have the Poppy Playtime Huggy Wuggy Hooded Sweatshirt. That one is awesome too. You could wear that one all year round. For the girl who is looking for the animal costumes, they do have Shimmer Fox Bunny Lavender Owl. That's a funny one. And they have Pretty Kitty. These are all about $40, give or take. I don't often look at all of the toddler and infant costumes. Let's take a look at some of the cool ones. This one would have to be my favorite, the toddler ghost face costume. They also have Gizmo, Stay Puffed Man. That's a funny one. And look at this. They do have Tiffany from Chucky. That's a cool one. $45 for that one. $20 for the ghost face, though. That's affordable. They also have toddler Spider-Man and Batman and they have the Hulk and look at this how funny it's an Elvis baby costume here's a couple of really cool dinosaur costumes dinosaurs are really popular and here is a super cute pumpkin bunting that is an awesome one twenty dollars i don't see any new pop figures yet we're keeping an eye out but they do have all of our awesome solar bobbleheads my favorite is jason check this out carve a scene pumpkin kit and it is some skeletons that are locked inside of the pumpkin prison that is too cool this is ten dollars and speaking of pumpkin carving stuff look at this halloween 2 pumpkin carving kit it tells you how to do all these pictures here there's michael myers face michael myers his entire body there the skeleton face the knife this is cool you can even carve the entire halloween logo wow that is so awesome and this book is six dollars that is affordable look at how the pumpkins look after you carve them oh my gosh look at the blood splatter on that one i love it they also have a nightmare before christmas one right here uh, look at those wow these are really cool and oh my gosh look at that they have a ghost face one I might have to get these because I'm going to be doing a lot of pumpkins this year. That is so cool. They have a lot of cool designs on that one. And one more down here, Pumpkin Masters Contest winners. All kinds of awesome, spooky designs. They have some very cool patches here. Look at this one. They have knives here. That one says killing it. And there's a meat cleaver right there with blood on it. This one is a ghost and it says stay spooky. That's pretty cool. There's a jack-o'-lantern too. These are awesome look at this one it's a zombie one hands eyes mouths oh my gosh look at the pink ghost on there that is cool we also have some awesome keychains here ouija board there's chucky and his girl frankenstein right there friday the 13th look at that one that is so cool we also got killer clowns oh my gosh there's clownzilla how awesome we don't get to see him a lot i wish they would make an animatronic of him it would have to be really tall they also have the shining stitch and this one is from Beetlejuice, the handbook for the recently deceased, and it's got Adam and his girl on there. Let's get a good look at those. Oh my gosh, look at her, the eyes and the mouth, and there's Adam. They also have a Sam one with the Holly Ho bar with the blade in it, and they have Michael Myers, of course. Look at the pumpkin. What in the world is this mask? Look at that. It's from Universal Monsters. Do they have a name on him? Mummy. 
That's pretty cool. It's a mummy mask. I honestly don't see a lot of mummy stuff lately. Oh my goodness, they have it. They have the popcorn gun. We are seeing a little bit more and more of this. We don't see them at every store. It's about one out of every five stores that we see it. Mm, I want it so bad. Look at the buttons. I wonder if anything happens when you press the button right there. This is a $100 totally worth it i want it so bad i will probably buy it later on and they have the cotton candy gun one of my favorites that is so cool this is like my favorite stuff to see at spirit halloween looky 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 what we have we have the colorful masks oh my gosh they have blue they have purple what else do they got is that it blue and purple yes oh my goodness guys we've not seen these ever i have not even seen these last year metallic ghost face colorful masks that is an awesome blue color right there these are seven $17. How cool, guys. I see some Spirit Halloween shirts over here. Let's see if they have any of the Sam hidden in here. No, it doesn't look like it, but they have plenty of these ones, and they are awesome. Pega Gator Gal wanted to see anything that has moths. Here's an awesome mug with a moth on it. That one is $17. They also have this right here. I don't even know what that is. Just some kind of wall decor. Man, that is heavy. That's got a moth with a skull on it. $30. Devil eyes wanted me to take a look at all the friday the 13th stuff we have plenty of it look at this shirt i don't know if i've ever seen this before that is super cool camp crystal lake enjoy nature and look it's got jason on the boat that is so cool i've never seen that before how much is this this is 30 dollars. i like that shirt a lot they also have this one look at that a button up that is so cool we also have the jersey that was a popular one last year and they have my awesome favorite favorite mask. I love that one. They also have Jason Voorhees machete right there. That is $13. Not a bad price for the machete. They also have this one that has the mask with it. That is a good deal, so you don't have to buy them separately. And this is $25. They also have these hats for the counselor. I think it would be really cool to be a counselor for Halloween. Friday the 13th, Jason Mask Prop Replica. That is a super good quality mask right there. It even says this is not a toy. And that one is $45. They also have all the costumes for the counselors here and the female Jason Voorhees dress. All right, guys, that's everything at the Spirit Halloween in Lansing, Michigan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. What's up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween on Grasha Avenue in Roseville, Michigan. Let's go inside and see if they got a Jack Carver set up. All right, we've got the regular stilts and Leatherface set up here. We're gonna do Leatherface first because I love him so much. He's holding his chainsaw a little low right now. But that's okay, he still makes the sounds. This chainsaw takes batteries separate from the entire setup, I believe. All right, let's look at stilts here. The juggling clown with his bloody bowling pins. He is super quiet right now. <laughs> you can hear his neck creaking as it spins. He is awesome and super tall. All right, we've got the Martian warrior over here. He has mist that comes out of the tip of his gun. Let's get it going. He is nice and loud, I love it. I wonder if any mist will come out. Oh, uh, no mist right now, but he is still super cool. All right, let's go in here. I believe they're going to have, yes, they've got Dagger Mike. Oh, look, the one flame is not working. He's on motion activation. He's already jumped up, though. <laughs> oh, well, all right, we've got the sitting scarecrow over here. Let's get him going. There he goes. I love the sitting scarecrow. He is a classic around the corner here. They do have the widow. Let's get her going. Break your neck, widow. 
There she goes. A little bit quiet, but I do love her when she breaks her neck. Of course, we've got Slim over here. Let's get Slim going. Opening his bag of popcorn. Honk. I love Slim. He is so awesome. I'd love to have him and Shorty. Killer Clowns is one of my favorite spooky movies to watch. Over here, I believe they have poor George waiting on us to operate him. Here he goes. No, maybe he's not going to work. There he goes. He is cut in half and still laughing. I love that orange fiery hair he's got. And his striped sweater. Poor George is super awesome. $180 for him. Here is a whole stack of animatronics. They've got some stuff over there that we'll check out in just a minute. We've got Slim and two of Mr. Punchy the Party Clown. Two, three of Nozzles, actually. That is awesome. And they have a Betty Sharp here, you guys. That is so cool. We haven't seen Betty Sharp in a long, long time, and she is $170. Over here, we have Eternal Rest and her eternally spinning head. She never quite it works right but we also have darling dolly it looks like she might be broken look at her neck let's see if she works though nope she is not going to work at all that's too bad but they also have our good friend gordo he is also not working that is just too bad i can't believe everything is getting damaged this year look at her she just went off she was broken and then she went and went ahead and didn't scare me that is so funny her neck is all stuck out that is weird. We've also got the Riz Reaper here. Show me your girlfriend, Riz Reaper. He is nice and loud. Super creepy. I love him. He is awesome. Black heart. Okay, over here we've got the Grave Watcher and little Skelly Bones, and I wonder if he is working. Desmodus. Maybe not. Let's hit this right here and see who it is. That's little Skelly Bones. There he goes. Little Skelly Bones is a beloved classic now. I wish that Desmodus was working. They have so many animatronics that are damaged this year. Here is Mr. Strawman hiding within the creepy tree. Like a mildewy blanket that is so gross. He is awesome. Okay, and then we've got the door mechanism. I wonder how it's going to work. Use knocker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he didn't even jump out. He must be sleeping. We have a bunch more animatronics for sale over here, guys. Look at this. We have a Reagan. We haven't seen Reagan for sale yet this year, I don't think. She is $280. They do have a Desmodus. Two man's possessed friend. Here's an Emmeline, guys. How awesome. And we've got little Skelly Bones. We have like three Betty Sharp right here. So they have four total in this store. We've got two of the Widow and some Fogging Skull Piles and a young crowd. Ouchy. Of course, they have plenty of inflatables here, guys. They've got plenty of the ghost face lunging. We have all the archways that we like, including the jack-o'-lantern archway. That one is one of my favorites. Reapers, ghosts, coffins. We don't get to see the coffin all too much this year. Cats, rats, and the stack of jack-o'-lanterns and gargoyles and the spooky tree. And they also have a couple of the fright in the box here. Look at this. This is funny. We have all these decorations here, but this one right here caught my eye because it says help and then it also says do not enter which one is it they have both iron maiden masks here and they are actually really cool and these cost 70 dollars each they also have the star wars darth maul i love darth maul he's one of my favorite star wars characters this is one of my favorites from last year the king of crows look at how absolutely freaky that is oh my gosh that would be terrifying in a cornfield they also have another star wars one right here emperor palpatine and they have the Martian warrior new mask with the moving jaw. That one is super cool. New for 2023 for $80. And check out this ghostly ghoul mask. That one is super cool. Look at that. How freaky. That one is $15. Not a bad price. I also see over here that we do have the Crouchy set and look at this. They've got the cheeseburger oversized clown. He ate one too many cheeseburgers at the fair. Look at this wolf mask. I've seen plenty of wolf masks. 
I don't know if I've seen this one before. Look at his tongue. That is so funny. He's got a moving jaw, and I actually think that is my favorite wolf mask that I have ever seen at Spirit Halloween. And he is $60. They have the Chucky greeters here, and they have the Tiffany doll and the regular Chucky doll right there. This is an awesome pair, guys. Check this out. We're seeing less and less of these, I think, because they are selling out. This is the ghost face light up blow mold. He's not working, but he is really cool. And they have the snow globes that we love so much. Leatherface. He is my favorite. Speaking of ghost face, they have my favorite horror baby ghost face right here with the knife. That is so awesome. Check it out. They have a hugs the clown doll. We don't get to see him a lot. That is so funny. I haven't gotten to hear what he says yet. They also have the decrepit haunted doll and eerie Emma, and they have one butcher. They never seem to be sold out of the zombie babies anymore, guys. They have plenty here. The spider eater, the hand eater, devil cherub right there with the red glowing eyes, and they have some crawlers, brain eaters, and mothy max. Plenty of Beetlejuice stuff here. They actually have some awesome Beetlejuice selections, including this plus snake look at that this one does not unroll but they do have these ones right here that do unroll they're a little bit shorter but still super cool and we have some lydia side steppers look at her she is awesome we saw a lot of her last year and they have the plush lydia right here and the plush adam with the finger eyes we also have beetlejuice in plush form and they've got these right here the hanging adam decorations he is super awesome 70 dollars for him i'm sure i've seen this before but i haven't really taken a good look at it they have beetlejuice monopoly let's get a better look at the back of that to see what it looks like this looks super cool wow look at all the tokens on there Tombstones, handbooks, wedding dress, skeleton key. This thing is sweet. I love the board games. They have all my favorite ghost stuff. Look at this awesome ghost mug. I love it. Here's some candle holders right there with bat holes on him. And look at this. I've seen people making their own versions of these. It says no feet. They have lots and lots of the skeleton plush guys. Look at that. I love him. He is so awesome. 30 bucks for him. And they are fully stocked on all the blankets and pillows this is crazy they have not been short of many items this year always super stocked here are a couple more book bags look at this the powerpuff girls and i believe this one yes this is from harry potter it says gryffindor it's a nice leather backpack moonshine michael wanted to see all the purge masks look at this one that one's probably my favorite it says kiss me written in blood that one is 25 dollars. and we also have this one right here that is a super freaky one this one is also $25, and we have one more right up there. I imagine that it is the same $25. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is also something that you would see on The Purge. Just Nolan has been relentlessly begging me to check out the Haunted Mansion stuff. They have a lot of good stuff here. Check this out. What even is this? It's some kind of glass mug or something. And look at the face on that. We also have these snow globes right here. They must do something. I don't see any buttons though. So I'm not sure exactly what she does. They have a couple of the busts. And look at these masks. Here's Phineas. Blacklight Reactive. That is awesome. Gus. And they have Ezra. These are actually really cool. I have yet to see the movie, but I'm going to watch it very soon. They also have Here Lies Good Old Fred Tombstones here. These are new and improved, and they have the Door Knocker. That is a super long animated door knocker, so I'm not going to listen to the whole thing, but it is awesome. I love the blue lights on there. Here's some more Haunted Mansion stuff right here. There is a hanging bat decor. I don't know if you put that on your door or just on the wall. And they've also got these awesome gargoyle candle holders. That is pretty freaky. Angel Kaveja 769 She wanted to see the Super Mario costumes. They have the gloves right there. Luigi and Mario. So maybe this comes with a hat as well. Yes, it does. Includes gloves and the hat. And we've got the Luigi costume right here for $50. The Mario costume right here for $50. 
$50 as well. And they even have Bowser and Yoshi. That is hilarious. I like the Bowser one. This one is $80 and it has a shell. The shell is inflatable. How cool. Guys, look at this. They have a Mr. Potato Head inflatable costume. That is awesome. $80 for him. I love it. They have a couple of the Killer Clowns costumes here. No over the head masks, but they do have this blaster, the cotton candy gun. I love that one. They don't have the big one though. We're still on the hunt for him. Guys, they are fully stocked on t-shirts here and check this out. They do have the special Spirit Halloween with ghost face, extra large, extra, extra large. Oh my gosh. That one I might have to get. That one would be my size. Let's check how much this costs. $24. I want that so bad. I'm so tempted. I don't see any of the animatronic figural bag clips, but what I do see over here is the killer clowns ones i love those and i want them so bad one of these days i might have to get a couple of them look you can get the ice cream truck as an exclusive here's some more awesome candy totes look at this we've got batman that is so funny and we also have Spider-Man. That one would be one of my favorites. This one is $13. LOL bit is over your body. Wanted to see some Five Nights at Freddy's costumes and they have some that I haven't seen before. We've got Freddy, Roxanne Wolf. That's a new one. And this one is $45. They also have Foxy, Glamrock Freddy, and that seems to be it. But those are super cool. We're going to keep our eye out for some new ones. They do have some of the new Fall Guys costumes here, guys. They are getting these everywhere now. Chicken Inflatable the pink with the crown and the blue with the crown. I am looking for mummy costumes and honestly I have not seen any which is really weird but they do have my favorite ghost the dark sea creature right there. He is $40. And they have the Jack the Reaper costume. That one is very popular this year. He is $45 child size small four to six. Listen to this. You can hear the creature growling behind us. That is super creepy. All right, guys, that is it for Spirit Halloween in Roseville, Michigan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween on Hall Road in Shelby Township, Michigan. I have yet to find a Lil' Jack Carver set up in the store. Let's go inside and see if they got him. All right, we are greeted by the Martian warrior here. I don't get to see him front and center all too often. I love that laser gun. And if you get him right, he does have some mist that comes out of the end of the gun there. He is super awesome. All right, let's go around here. We should have poor George. No, we don't. Wow. We have Gordo. He's working. <laughs> there he goes. Gordo is so awesome. My dad just recently bought him, and I am so jealous. On the other side here, we do have Slim waiting on us. He is holding open his bag of popcorn. I will never get tired of seeing him honk honk. Look at that crazy hair. Slim is so awesome. On the inside here, we do have Dagger Mike and the Sitting Scarecrow. Wow, it's the regular Sitting Scarecrow too, instead of the scary one. Good to see him. We've got Dagger Mike right here. Let's go, Dagger Mike. <laughs> There he is. What an awesome jump he is. He is super fast. Right out here, we do have the widow waiting on us to break her neck. I 
I love her. She is so awesome. Look at this ginormous stack of animatronics. I love it. We have Leatherface, Darling Dolly right here. We do have two Slims over there. We've got Man's Possessed Friend, two of him it looks like, maybe even more, three. We have three Eternal Rest right here and a Sitting Scarecrow and a Straw Man. Okay, guys, over here they have a lot of things set up. Let's go ahead and get Mr. Jumping Spider jumping out of his door. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. There he is, sleeping. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he tried to get me. That was too funny. I wish he would have actually spooked me, but I was ready, Mr. Spider. All right, over here we do have little Skelly Bones waiting on us. Go ahead, little Skelly Bones. There he is. He's an awesome jump scare, too. Wow, he is so fast. And we have the Grave Watcher. She is whispering at us. Now they've got Desmodus, and I know he is working. I saw him a moment ago. He is so awesome. Look at that wingspan. I love it. He is such a great animatronic. I love Desmodus. And, of course, we have Blackheart, the Riz Reaper. Go on, Blackheart. I'm glad that his hood is back a little bit so you can get to see his entire skull. And find our next victim. Your next victim. <laughs> All right, good to see you, Mr. Riz Reaper. Plenty of inflatables. Look, they have two widows back here, and they have the 12-foot Pennywise. I feel like we're going to see a lot of him in the coming weeks. That is awesome. They also have the cats, rats, wolves, hearse, scarecrow, reapers, and ghosts. A little birdie told me around the corner they had a bunch of sitting scarecrows. We had the regular one and the scary one. That is so awesome. We saw a couple of these at the last store we were at. Look at this. This is so awesome. A very nice, affordable hanging prop. $15 for this awesome hanging pumpkin. Check out this creepy skeletal bat mask with a moving jaw. That is crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that before. He is $20. Plenty of these awesome decorations here. I want to get a ton of these to use for my inflatable haunted house like this one right here, the bloody shredded curtain. I also like the two-tone shredded fabric right there. They got some spiders on it. Here is a bloody body bag and I would definitely need to get some of the wicked webbing spider webs right there to hang up on the inflatable haunted house $15 and I like this one too the purple freaky fabric that's cool plenty of zombie babies as always they have all the ones we want Revenous Ruby with the cockroaches the crawler zombies devil cherub right there he's on motion activision the hand eater the brain eater and they even have Quetzi Gwen down here yes there she goes I love Gutsy Gwen. And they have some of our horror babies here. They've got Ghostface with his bloody knife and Sam with the lollipop. They have some of the killer clowns from outer space. Popcorn clown statues that light up. He is super cool. I would love to have that on my desk. These are some awesome pictures. This one is my favorite. Look at that. This is a play off of the classic farmhouse picture with Michael Myers and Lori. Lots of plush things here and some more over there. We've got Sam, Miss Argentina. We have Adam's family cousin It and what is her name? Wednesday Adam. That's what her name is. And over here we have the plush skeleton. We have green Oogie Boogie with the red dice. I love those. SpongeBob Zero, I think his name is from Nightmare Before Christmas. And my favorite, the Jason mask. In case you were wondering, these pillows are $30. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have never seen this before, and it is one of the coolest blankets I've ever seen in my life. Pumpkin head. What? I have never seen that before. I don't even know. It says a grim fairy tale. Is that a movie? I have never seen that before. The myth, the legend. What in the world? $27. That is crazy. They also have the Silence of the Lambs plush throw. I don't know if I've seen that one either. It has the moth on it. And look at this. Another one I have never seen before in my life. Ghoulies 2 throw blanket. That is amazing. How have I never seen this before? I love finding stuff that we have never seen before. He is crawling out of the toilet. I don't know if I've even ever seen this movie. Ghoulies, what? Here's another book bag. All of the book bags are very cool this year. Look at that, Jack Skellington. These tins and lunch boxes are awesome. Look at this, Shaggy and Scooby right there. Friday the 13th, Jason, that one's one of my favorites. 
almost dropped it. <laughs> Not this time. And E.T., another one of my favorites. Look at that. That is so cool. They do have the Jack of the Reaper costume, child medium, 8 to 10. And they have the Pig Butcher, child small medium, 4 to 10. They also have the Spider-Man costumes here, guys. Here's the regular one right here. And the Miles Morales. Inflatable turkey. That one is absolutely hilarious. That one is $50. I love it. They also have the shark, the inflatable ghoul. They have the Ninja Turtle stuff here. Look at this, the turtle shell. That one is awesome. It just makes me want to be a Ninja Turtle for Halloween. Here is the ghillie suit. That one is one of my favorites as well. $45. And that is a very awesome ghillie suit. Vampire teeth. That is so awesome. But look at this. Chrome vampire teeth. That is hilarious. And here are some blood capsules. These are cool. You put it in your mouth and bite it and blood runs down your mouth. And look at this. I've never seen it before. Demon blood. You put it under your eyes. That is really cool. Check it out. They do have the fake money and they have the money shooter, which comes with fake money. That is so cool. I was looking for these. This is $20. You put the money in there and then it shoots money all throughout the room. How awesome. Freddy and friends wanted me to take a look at the Dead by Daylight Devil Face Ghost Face Mask. That thing is super cool. Let's see how much it costs. $17. Not too bad. They also have the chrome mask. And look at this ghost face jacket. That is pretty cool. And I always love to look at these earrings. I'm going to have to get some of those for my wife. Look at that. Super cool. His mask and his knife. And this is a voice changer that goes perfectly with these costumes. I have this one. It works really well. And it is $13. This is a super cool pullover. Look at that orange and black jack-o'-lantern face. They also have this right here, the jersey for Spirit Halloween. It has the number 31 in the back for Halloween. I do not see any of the special Spirit Halloween shirts that have ghost face or... Oh my gosh, what? That is so funny. I totally just moved this one and found a ghost face one. They have one small size right here hidden in between the other shirts. The other one we are looking for has Sam right here from Trick or Treat instead of Jack the Reaper. We're going to keep our eyes out for that one. Some of these window clings and stickers are awesome. Look at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre gel clings right here. You've got Leatherface, Grandpa, some of the weapons including the chainsaw. That is so sweet. Look, there's even a bloody hook. Here's the Halloween Resurrection one right there. That is awesome. Look at the jack-o'-lantern with the knife in it. And this one right here is awesome. Support Halloween. That is cool. I might have to get that for my truck. $5 for that one. They also have the Chucky magnet. Look at that one. No more Mr. Good Guy. That's cool. Five bucks. This is too funny. I love the movie cars and they totally have a Lightning McQueen trick or treat bag. That is awesome. $17 for him. And look at this cute dinosaur candy grabber. That is so hilarious. I love it. In case you guys are wondering, they do have toddler size ghost face costumes here. $20 for a 3T, 4T. They also have bluey costumes here. Look at those. That is hilarious. And they have little plush blueys. That's cool. $11 for a plush bluey. Luis Lopez wanted to see the Halloween masks right here is the 1978 one. I believe that's the 1978 one. It looks super cool. And this one is $70. And the other one he wanted to see is the Halloween 2 mask right there. He he has the hole in his neck. I believe that is from the sewing needle and he is $70. But this one would have to be my favorite. Look at that. I don't know which one this is from, but it is super cool. $70 for that as well from Trick or Treat Studios. I don't press the button on this all too often, but he is awesome and definitely worth the button press. Purple eyes. Some of these eyes aren't working though, but I love that purple color. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween and... All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Shelby Township on Hall Road. Thank you so much for watching. Darn it. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween on Hall Road in Shelby Township, Michigan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Everybody likes ice cream. What's up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween in Wyandotte, Michigan. I am on the hunt for a two scoops, but I'd also like to see Lil Jack Carver. I have not gotten to see him yet this year. Let's go inside and see if they got him. Oh my gosh, guys, this is already awesome. Look at this, they have the inflatable ghost set up. Let's check him out. He is so cool. Want to sign me, donate $10. I might have to do that. Check it out. We got all these names here. A bunch of people signed it. That is so awesome. What a cool ghost too. He is pretty tall. I can't even reach the top of him. Okay, right behind him in the main setup, they do have stilts. Let's get stilts going. Look at those purple eyes. Stilts is so awesome and tall. He is $350. Somebody told me that he has these pins because he's a juggling clown. I think that makes a lot of sense. But look at his nose. His nose is always just a little bit deformed. We also have Leatherface over here. I wonder if he has batteries in his chainsaw. The video game just came out and I cannot wait to play it. Check it out. I love that chainsaw. I know a few people are going to be Leatherface for Halloween this year. We have to keep an eye out for some chainsaws because I have not seen a ton of them for sale this year. How awesome, I love Leatherface. All right, Leatherface, we're gonna go right over here and we've got the Mars Martian. How awesome, we don't see him everywhere. He is super cool, let's get him going. Somebody told me he has, yes, look at that. He's got mist coming out, it's not fog. I have been told time and time again that, that is mist and not fog. And it looks super cool, I do like it a lot. He is super awesome. All right, we'll move on from him. I wonder if they have the widow set up over here. They do, here she is. Look, somebody braided her hair. That is so funny. All right, widow with your new hairdo. <laughs> I love the widow. I love that breaking sound. It is so cool. Thank you, Miss Widow. Let's move on over here to Slim. I love Slim. There he goes. Slim is so awesome. I want to get him and Shorty. Honk, honk. So awesome. I wish he would open up his popcorn bag a little more, though. He always opens it after he does his little laugh. Here he goes. There we go. Open up your bag of popcorn, Slim. Okay, we'll go over here. They should have... Yes, they do have him. Poor George. Let's go, poor George. Maybe not. He's not working. There he goes. <laughs> I love that smiling face on poor George. Very cool. Okay, poor George, we're gonna go in here. We got the sitting scarecrow ready. Let's see if he's working right now. There he is. Gotta love the scary sitting scarecrow with the flames. I love those flames. We also have Dagger Mike right here. Let's get him going. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Dagger Mike is so cool. All right. We have a lot of awesome things set up over here. Number one is him, the howling spirit. He is super awesome. I love the howling spirit. A lot of people don't like him. I don't know why, because I love him. Look at this tattered little clothing he's got on there. I don't know what you call that, a sheet? <laughs> he is super awesome. Somebody told me he is a fogging gargoyle. So he does fog and his eyes light up red, but he's not on right now. Oh no, we're gonna see if eternal rest works. Please work good. Oh my gosh, she just scared the crap out of me. That is so funny. I thought it was eternal rest, but it's not. It is totally darling Dolly set up. We'll do her one more time because we missed her. She spooked me. I was waiting for her to go off and she went off. Okay, we'll do her again once she winds down. There she goes. Let's get her going again. And she is super good right now. Look at that hair. Did they cut her hair? 
I don't know if they cut her hair or just moved it off to the side. I'll have to pay attention and see if her hair is like that at other stores, but I like it. Okay, we'll move around the creepy tree here and we've got Gordo waiting on us to set him off. Here we go, Gordo. My dad bought Gordo recently. There he goes. I love the scary cat sound. He is so awesome. Love the guts. Okay, we'll move around here. We've got the Riz Reaper. Okay, Riz Reaper, reveal your girlfriend to me. Don't be afraid. Your time has come. Join the Riz Reaper, he is so awesome. But his jaw is not working right now. All right, Riz Reaper, we'll move right on over here. We've got little Skelly Bones. I am so glad they have him set up. Oh, look. Everybody's setting off right now. <laughs> All three of them are setting off right now. That is so funny. I love this so much. All right, we'll go check out the spider in the door mechanism. Knock, knock. There he goes. That was a good one too. The timing was pretty good, but the doors aren't opening all the way. Oh well. I love the colors and I love the spiders. Okay, we'll move along from all the animatronics and see if we can find any for sale on the floor. I think I saw some around the corner here. Yes, here we go. We've got young Crouchy right there. They have Emmeline, you guys. We do not see Emmeline hardly ever at all. And she is $280. We also have a Stilts right there. And look, they have the Howling Spirit. I want him so bad. We have Darling Dolly here, guys. They have got a lot of animatronics for sale this year. Howling Spirit. I want it so bad. They have two of him. Eternal Rest. They have a Desmodus for sale and the Party Clown. I love Mr. Punchy and all of his party colors. I don't remember how much he costs. Let's try to figure that out. He is $280 and he is awesome. Here is another full stack of animatronics, guys. More Young Crouchy. Straw Man. They've got two of him. Desmodus again. Another Crouchy. Another Mr. Punchy. Nozzles the Clown, guys. They have Nozzles the Clown here. Another stilts another stilts man this is awesome they have so many for sale right now as always they have plenty of zombie babies here guys check it out they do have devil cherub right here with his red glowing eyes they have the spider eater the hand eater and they have the crawling zombie babies and the rat eater i think he might be one of my favorites and they've got mothy max with only one moth on his head i just opened up a bunch of the zombie baby bag clips and i got the hand eater and the rat eater the only horror babies they have right here are sam they always have a bunch of him they also have a few of the goodies that we like to see over here the snow globe with pennywise right there and he lights up blue that is super cool they also have slim right here he's not lighting up right now and they have annabelle that's a pretty cool one they also also have the Friday the 13th light up mask. This one is one of my favorites and I want it so bad. And they also have Pennywise. I don't see that one in every store. And they have the wreaths. I do like these a lot. Look at that. Killer clowns with shorty and popcorn. I love the popcorn. They also have ghost face with his knife. And they have the Texas chainsaw masker with the Bones. Look at that. That is so cool. And it's got his family photos on it. That is so awesome. Here's an awesome sign that says Boo. My favorite blanket right here. A bunch of sheet ghosts on that. And they have the reversible ghost right here. I love this. He is plush and you can reverse him and make him go from that to this right here. How spooky is that? I also love these plastic ghost plates. I might have to get some of those. Those are $12.99. And look at this. I love finding snow globes that we never seen before this is from nightmare before christmas look at that it's got jack skellington burning in there and a bunch of the characters including santa that is so cool i have never seen this before lock shock and barrel inside the tub that is so cool let's see if it lights up Okay, that's not gonna work, but it is super cool. I've never seen that before. Here's some book bags that we've never seen before, and I love them so much. Look at this ghost face book bag. That is sweet. He is $60. Wow. And we have this Killer Clowns from Outer Space book bag. That one is my all-time absolute favorite. Look at that. I love the colors, and it's got the popcorn clowns right there, and the blaster, and it's got some popcorn on it. This one should be around the same price, $60. That is crazy. Here's a good guys one with Chucky. Look at that. That is so awesome, man. I love these Ghostbusters. 
that one, oh man, that's a tie right there because I love Ghostbusters. And that is an awesome one. Look at the green straps, like the Slimer slime. That is so sweet. I love this. I don't know which one is my favorite now. Plenty of bobbleheads. They have had a lot of bobbleheads this year. Leatherface. I want it so bad. This is $40 and is so cool. I think you can get him in some of the horror boxes that you can subscribe to. So I'm not going to buy him yet. I might get a horror box in the future. They also have Sam Lollipop Sab. And they have Scraps Bagwell. And the Killer Clown's Baby Clown. He is so awesome in the toilet. And we have Georgie. I don't think I've ever seen this before. A Spongebob costume for dogs. That is absolutely hilarious. $25. Here's another small stack right here of a bunch of man's possessed friend and the scary sitting scarecrow. Check out these shirts, guys. E is for existential dread. That is hilarious. But look at this. Crouchy and the Nightcrawler. Lots of good sizes. We've got mediums large. There's an extra large Crouchy right there. Here's some Spirit Halloween shirts right here, all kinds of sizes. But I'm not seeing any of the ones that have Sam. They do have one that has Sam instead of the Reaper right there. I'm going to keep my eye out for that. They have Sam pop figures here. We are used to seeing Bibbo with Shorty in the pizza box, but they have Sam here, $15. And what is this Cerberus plush? That is so awesome. I have never seen that before. This is $17. That is unique. I can't believe I've never seen that before. That is so funny. Cerberus, the three-headed dog plush. And right next to him is Pennywise. And what is this guy? I don't even know what you call him, the Plague Doctor. That is crazy. How funny. And they have some more plush right here. Look at this. What an awesome plush with his glove. Cute ducks wanted me to look at all of these plastic cups and they have some awesome one, guys. Look at this. Every day is Halloween. The Goonies, that is a cool one. Look at this Friday the 13th one. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh, is this what I think it is? What's eating you? Yes, that is so sweet. I have never seen that before. That is a Jeepers Creepers cup and it is so awesome. Here's a Michael Myers one right there. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. They've got a couple of these. That is so cool. $3 for that one. And look at this one, the black with the red shiny stuff. That is sweet. Also $3. And here is a super cool Pennywise one. I love all the cups. I definitely want to get a cup collection. A few more cups over here. We've got the Cheetos cup. Look at that. I love it. $11 for that one. And we have Silence of the Lambs right there. And Caution, Exorcism in Progress. These are awesome. Speaking of cups, they have all kinds of the awesome mugs that we love. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's a Leatherface mug. I have never seen this before and I want it so bad. The Leatherface video game just came out and I am crazy about it. $17 for that. How awesome. And look at this Chucky cup. It is red see-through and it says wanna play with Chucky right there. $13. That's an awesome mug. This one is one of my favorites right here from Halloween. I love that with a knife sticking in it. And another great one is this one right here from Halloween. The blood dripping on the cup and Michael Myers face. That one is ten dollars big boy amy 5984 wanted to see all the blankets they have plenty of awesome ones here including the night crawler that one is one of my favorites let's check the price on that that is $33. Not too bad for a Nightcrawler blanket. They also have this awesome Halloween Michael Myers one with the moon behind him. I love the moon. Over here, they have the Cheetos blanket. Frankenstein. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. That is cool. Ghostface and Killer Clowns from Outer Space. If you're getting a blanket, you have to get some of the pillows. Look at all the awesome pillows they have. This one's one of my favorites. Friday the 13th, Jason Mask. That is so awesome and bouncy and soft. And they have one of my favorite pillows right here. Look at this. It's the skeleton. I love that they have him unwrapped so I can see him in all his glory. He is so cool. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Wyandotte, Michigan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream.
What's up guys, we're out here at Spirit Halloween in Chesterfield, Missouri. A little birdie told me that Heckle's a clown is in here. Let's go inside and say hello to him. I see the Martian warrior in here. We have to say hello to him first. Heckle's might be around the corner here. Ooh, they got the mist going. I haven't seen the mist going in a long time. How awesome, I love that. Not a lot of stores get the mist going. That is too cool. And I love that blue light too that lights up the mist. Thank you, Mr. Martian Warrior. We'll go around the corner here. Is it Heckles? Yes, it is. Heckles is so funny. I love him. Oh, he's on motion too. A little bit quiet. He is so awesome. And I love the light up balloon he's got making faces. It's funny that he just sits here crying before he says anything. What an awesome animatronic. Let's even get him going again. I haven't gotten to see him very much. There's his motion thing. There we go. Step right up. Step right up. Don't ask why. <laughs> he is so great. Gotta love Heckles. I love that they fixed him. Let's go around the corner here and see another clown we love, Slim. Hello, Slim. He's a little quiet as well, but that's okay. Honk. I always like to honk his nose. I love that shiny bag. Glitter on there. All right, let's go in here. And we've got the sitting scarecrow, the regular one. Oh, he might be on motion, actually. Let's see here. Can I grab your leaf? Yes. All right. Jumps up to scare you when you try to steal his leaf. All right. Thank you, Mr. Scarecrow. Always good to see you. And of course, Mr. Dagger Mike here. <laughs> cool. <laughs> he is so loud and fast. I love it. Good to see you, buddy. I hope they have him next year, too, because he is an awesome classic. Let's look up here at all the specters and ghouls. That is awesome. Ooh, you can hear it real nice, too. Very cool. I hope it looks good on camera. Because it looks a little bit choppy on my end. They should have the skeletons next on here. No, the bats. All right. I don't look up here very often. There he is, the Reaper. Very cool. All right. Let's go see if they have the back area set up. On the way back here, I do see a young Crouchy, Emmeline, a few young Crouchy, actually. Slim, a bunch of little Jack Carver. All right. Very cool. And we have the Widow, and we have Nozzles the Clown, and the Straw Man, and Eternal Rest. And right here, we have the Howling Spirit, a couple of him, the Deadly Creeper, the Colderness, and Desmodus. And is there anything else? Another Stilts right there. And I do see the back area set up right over there, but let's take a look at the zombie babies real quick. We have Devilish Desmond. Let's see if we can get him going. Sometimes he doesn't work. There he goes. He is kind of quiet, but that's okay. Flippin' Freddy, of course, Snackin' Stevie, Slay Time, Wretched Ralphie, Spider Biter Billy, Mothy Max, Revenous Ruby right there with her beautiful red eyes, Gorious George, and Chompin' Connie. I love all the zombie babies. Let's go over here and get these guys going. I see a lot of awesome goodies over here to look at. Ooh, another stack of animatronics. Two Leatherface, some more stilts right there, and more Young Crouchy and Straw Man. Let's knock on the door and see Mr. Spider. There he is. Ah! I love the spider. He is so great. Little Skelly Bones already jumped up. We'll let him reset. The Whispering Grave Watcher. It'd be cool if you got a bunch of fog and then had her standing in the fog. She would just barely pop above the fog if you could get the fog to be low lying. And of course, our King Bat. Oh, there goes little Skelly Bones. <laughs> 
All right, Mr. King Bat, say hello. Yes, I love when he works. Sometimes he does not work because he jumps up so hard and fast that he breaks pretty often. But I am so happy that we have found plenty of him working lately. And of course, Blackheart. Hello, Blackheart. Soon you will forget everything. Your life, your past. You will stay with me for the rest of eternity. All right, a great Reaper animatronic right there for $300. I see the scary corn mask already over there peeking out at us. Yes, he is so awesome. I love it. Look at how freaky that is. I go nuts every time I see this mask because they did such a great job with it. The hair looks amazing. That is awesome. We also have the lab rat here. How gross. Another great freaky mask right there. The green alien. We do see that one a little bit, but not always. The starving vampire is up here as well. It seems like if they're gonna have some rare masks, they're pretty much going to have all of them. And right here is the Jeepers Creepers mask. That is the best Jeepers Creepers mask I've ever seen in my life. And that is $60, super gross, super awesome. And if you're gonna be Jeepers Creepers, that's what you're gonna want. And we have the Leatherface mask right here. I do have this one. I don't see the Pretty Woman Leatherface mask, but that's okay. They have plenty of other awesome masks here. They have a bunch of the crawling hands here. This one is my favorite, the bloody one. They there he goes. And you can get these to play music too. What an awesome prop right there. He is 30 bucks, I think. Yeah, $30. Not too bad for a crawling zombie hand. There's both of them going. That is too funny. And we have this one right here, the walking zombie hand. Let's see if we can get him going. Yes. I love the music on that. That is so cool. And there he is silently walking too. Sometimes the music is a little bit loud. And they have the toe tappers. Sometimes these work. Ooh, we got it to work. Some funny sounds. Awesome, I love that. Let's see how much he is. Ooh, clearance for $35, not too bad. A pumpkin nester doll, how cool. And also we have Monkey Chimes and the Butcher, we love them. What is this hat? I've never seen this hat before. The Vintage Witch Hat, hmm. It's like a burlap hat. And this is $15. I don't know that I've ever seen a witch wearing this, but that's pretty cool. And speaking of hats, they have plenty of hats here for whatever costume you could need. They've got awesome top hats, crowns. These cowboy hats right here have some drink dispensers so you can put like Coca-Cola's in there. And they have plenty of other ones, cowboy hats, more witch which hats over there. Here's the Jabberin' Jack. My dad bought one of these and recently did a review on him. He has a whole video where you can see the entire animation for this, 70 minutes long, and it has every single quote. So go check that out on my dad's channel if you'd like to see what he does. Let's check out some of these decorations here. These are very cool. We've got the preserved moss. That is a great one. You can put this on any animatronic or any prop. Right there, they have it with a skeleton in a bucket or something. And this is $13. It is a great touch to your Halloween decorations. They have shredded curtains right here. I wonder if they have some vines. We'll have to see. There's black freaky fabric, two-tone shredded fabric right there. That's also a good one. Spider webs, some more spider webs. I do not see any vines, but I wish they did. They have body bags, though, and a camouflage netting. And what is this thing right here? Let's see. Oh, it's a coffin. Cool. A collapsible coffin. Just for the fun of it, let's look through the step pads and see if they have any of the different ones. It doesn't look like they do. I wish they did. I wish they would order uh, some of the ones that we've never seen before. Because in the back here, you can see right there the smashed pumpkin and the blood and the spider. I want the smashed pumpkin. I would totally get that. So every time you want to activate one of your animatronics, you have to step on the pumpkin. All of our cats and friends are here. The secret keeping cat, my dad calls him. The prowling cat cat that one is my favorite and we have the bunny and we have the infected rat hey i didn't notice this a moment ago they have a chainsaw how awesome let's see if he works sometimes they do and sometimes they don't they seem to be pretty fragile oh yes it does work i love these this is 50 dollars 
That is a great touch if you're going to be Leatherface. I have the mask and this chainsaw, so I am going to be Leatherface for Halloween. But the apron I had to buy offline because none of the stores have any of the aprons or costumes in the store. I see plenty of inflatables over here, plenty of the things that we love, including the 12-foot Pennywise. You don't see that every day. Here's a pumpkin string light already flashing to show you what he looks like. That is pretty cool. And these are $20. And they also have eyeballs. Pretty cool. Ooh, turn around for me, eyeball. I can't get him to turn around, but let's press the button and see if he lights up. No, I guess he must be dead. That's okay. The eyeballs are cool. I think I would get the eyeballs. And speaking of eyeballs, they do have these eyeballs right here. We can pull a tab on it and press the button and see if he will light up for us. Let's get that going. There we go. All right. That lights up really good. So you put this in the bush and then it looks like some eyes are peeking out at you from the bush. Ooh, look at that one. I like that one. They got purple ones right there. And this is $20 for three sets of eyeballs. Let's see what color lights they have. They do have the blue one and they have the red one. I have not found the green one anywhere yet, but I'm going to keep my eye out. Ooh, there's the purple one. Awesome. I'm going to keep my eye out for the green one because I think I want the green one. And of course, here's the hanging floor flames for $35 a piece that we see up front there every time. Those are great. I must look for the bobblehead costume here and I do not see it, but we do have the electro pumpkin right there and the deadly bear. That's another very cool costume. Lord Raven. We're seeing a lot of Lord Raven lately. Here's the undead zombie. I like that one with the light up head mask. Mr. Smiler is another creepy one. Look at that. He is cool for $40. And here's Laughing Jack. Wow. There's a mask over there that looks exactly like that. But this is what? On clearance for $10? Originally 45 Oh, I suppose maybe, uh, hmm, I don't know. It looks like the costume's in there. I wonder why it's on sale for $10. What a deal. Somebody at my latest live stream kept asking me about Power Rangers costumes, and this is $35, the first one I've ever seen here at Spirit Halloween. Dino Fury with the muscles. And right down here, we have another one from Dino Fury as well. This is the Blue Ranger, and this one is $35 as well. Pretty cool to finally see these. Here's the Free Hugs cactus costume that is hilarious for $35. You don't see that one every time. Lots of Fortnite costumes here. Look at this scratch. I've never seen that one before. He is $50. They have Bright Bomber down here for $50. It seems kind of hard to find female costumes here, so it's good that we saw one there. They also have Fade, Drift, Skull Trooper, X-Lord, Peely. There's Zoe, another female one on clearance for $25, and Punk down there. Grimy is one of my favorites, though. I like Grimy because he is light up and has some glowing attachments. They do have the hot dog costume here. I like that one. That is $40. If I was going to be a fall guy for Halloween, I would totally get the hot dog. Anime stuff is pretty popular. They have a ton of Naruto stuff here. Itachi Anubu. I don't know if I'm going to say these correctly at all. Here's the Aang light up mask, but that one is not going to work and there's no tab. He is on clearance for $15. And right here we have the Tobi mask. They have the Naruto headbands, all kinds of stuff. Here's a Dragon Ball Z tail. What in the the world. I wonder who that's supposed to be for. Five dollars on clearance. They have an Ang costume, Sokka, Ichago's Shish, Shiha, Kuso, Sure, Zenitsu. <laughs> I can't even say these. Tanjiro training robe right here from Demon Slayer. Kakashi costume right there. They have a lot of this stuff. But look right here, a Dragon Ball Z Deluxe Scouter. That's pretty cool. Let's see if this button makes it do anything. Ooh, it does. It makes some sounds and lights up. Pretty cool. This is $20, and I do not see this very often. If I was going to be Sam for Halloween, I would get this costume right here. That is a great one for $40. What a good quality costume. And right over here, you can find all the extras for Sam. Here's a treat bag. That is totally what I would collect my candy in. $13 for that. The Holly Ho bar right there that has a blade when you take the piece of the chocolate bar off. They also have his lollipop right here. This is the one that lights up. Let's see if it will work. Yes, awesome. That is very cool. Sam would be an awesome Halloween costume if you like the movie. If you want to be Jason, this is the mask that you want. I love this one. You lift up the mask to see his freaky face. From Ruby's, this is $60. Check this out. They do have a full over-the-head slim mask right there. That is awesome. You never see these. I've only found them a couple times this year. They also have Shorty's Club right there, the hand puppets, and a few costumes. And right 
over here they have two of the popcorn guns how awesome is that they are a lot more common now so if you want them they are pretty easy to find now and these ones are almost always here if you like pennywise they have plenty of pennywise costumes here this is a great one from the original it that is a super awesome pennywise costume for 60 dollars. here's the mask right there from ruby's ruby's always does such a great job 60 dollars for that one and if i was going to be georgie and my friend was going to be pennywise i would totally get this georgie right here that is the most creepy georgie costume ever for 50 dollars. check this out they have an uncle charlie costume these are hard to find 60 bucks a piece does he come with the bucket yes he does he comes with the bucket somebody should go to my dad's house for trick-or-treat dressed up as uncle charlie to get some stickers in the bucket they also have hugs the clown right there and Crouchy the Clown. And look right here, they have a wacky mole too. They have all the cool ones. Oh my gosh, this is funny. Somebody ripped the mouth on the Halloween mask, but it makes it look super creepy. Like he just dropped his jaw. That is so funny. Let's see if this is on clearance right now. No, it's $70 originally, but I bet you they would give you a great deal because it is ripped. And then you could do like a uh, reimagining of this, rip that off, maybe burn it or something and make it look really cool. And they have the Rob Zombie new Halloween mask trick-or-treat studios this is brand new for 2023 and that is $70 I am not a huge fan of Suicide Squad but they have plenty of stuff here if you do like it right here is the Harley Quinn mask and is on clearance for $5 here's the Birds of Prey costume right there that is on clearance for $20 plenty of stuff on clearance here right now they also have the inflatable mallet from Harley Quinn Harley Quinn goggles right there all kinds of Harley Quinn stuff even the bats here's some more of the anime stuff if you're into that they have Deku right there that's a pretty cool one i don't know any of these characters though and they have some naruto weapons here kakashi anubu sword and sazuki sword i hope i'm saying these correctly and here is the blue spirit mask right there i think they usually have a pumpkin one but i don't see it here right now let's check the prices on the swords this is 17 dollars sazuki's is 20 dollars not too bad and this one is 17 dollars and here's a naruto wig right there that's pretty cool if you're gonna be naruto Naruto, that's probably what you would want in addition to the naruto costume right here for fifty dollars they do have the monsters inc scream canisters right there i love these you can put treats in there and they have the hard hats from monsters inc i love that one here's the giant scooby-doo mask i love this thing that is so cool if i was gonna be scooby-doo i'd get this for forty dollars look at this they do have the walkie talkie please let one of these work i would love to see what it does yes oh my gosh I do remember this from last year. It says some quotes from the movies. This is awesome. That is so awesome. This is $25. I do remember it from last year, but I only recently started to see it. And there is the life-size proton pack. And there's the older one. This one is new and improved. Let's see how much he is. That is $250. What in the world? And that one is about $90. That one obviously is cooler, but that one is cheaper. Check it out. Over here in the clearance section, they have the Rex costume. Let's see how much he is. $30 on clearance. There's an Overwatch costume down there, Borderlands, Bioshock Little Sister for $20, and right here is the pumpkin one I was talking about earlier, Sora's Halloween Town headpiece, and that is $13. I have not paid a visit to the Sidesteppers yet, and they have so many good ones. Here is Leatherface, my favorite. So cool. I kind of wish they would have some more characters from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like Chop Shop, maybe. Here's Ghostface. Oh, that one doesn't work. This one has a tab pulled. Sweet. And, of course, we have Spiky right here. Not working, but that's okay. Usually, we find a bunch of them that do work. There's Chucky. Another one of my favorites. He is a great one. And these are... $33 a piece. Check this out right next to the awesome ghost face sign that I do love. Look at that. I love the houses on there. They do have the trick or treat flaming pumpkin. I have not seen that this year and that is $60. And we have the Chucky Jack in the Box statue right there. Nice and loud and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. 
That is an awesome one. That one is my favorite statue out of all of them. And right here we have the Pennywise statue. His are really short. But they're still pretty cool. They do have the inflatable frog costume. That is a super funny one that we just saw for the first time the other day. $60 for that one. And there's the corn. I do want the corn one. And check this out. They have the Arctic Yeti. How awesome. It seems like when a store has the rare stuff, they have a bunch of it. $100 for the Arctic Yeti costume. All right. They are fully stocked on the awesome plush that we love. Look at this. We've got a Crouchy, Michael Myers, Ghostface, and the Nightmare Harvester. I love when they have all the cool ones. What's up guys, right here at Spear Halloween in Creevecore, Missouri. Let's go inside and see if they got a little Jack Carver set up. Ooh, I like how they had this store set up. This looks nice and big, wow. All right, right here we got the main area with the Martian warrior. Will he have any steam? What is this guy chilling on his hand? That is hilarious. I love that they have him turned up nice and loud. No steam though. Very cool. All right. I do love to see him around the corner here. Let's see. It is the widow. I love the widow. <laughs> that scream was so loud. She is great. I love when her volume is up super loud. All right, Mr. <laughs> Slim. We have to pay our respects to Mr. Slim. Ooh, 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 ooh. He is tall. Love that fiery red hair. Honk, honk. Does anyone else honk his nose? Let me know in the comments if you honk his nose when you see him. All right, Mr. Slim, it is great to see you. Let's go around the corner here. Who do we have? A uh, Mr. Poor George who ate his own legs. I imagine that's why his mouth is all bloody. Where else would his legs go? is great. I love that laughing. <laughs> that is hysterical. All right, we've got the scary sitting scarecrow in here. I believe that's a scary one. Is he on motion or is he... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Good to see him. I like the scary version of him. The regular version is cool too, but I love the scary version. All right, Mr. Dagger Mike. Good to see you, Dagger Mike. Do something for me. <laughs> <laughs> he is great he kind of reminds me of johnny punk good to see you buddy all right let's go over here and see what they got i do see a whole stack of animatronics here and there's probably some on the other side of the store because i don't see any more over here we've got mr slim mr stilts and mr texas chainsaw massacre leatherface i love how different this store is set up they've got this area over here and then a whole area over here as well they have the pretty woman leatherface mask i love it so good to see him and this is 70 dollars from trick-or-treat studios they did such a good job with that i always have to point him out and look at this we have some chainsaws these are kind of hard to find and they have three four of them oh my gosh and they were
the only thing I would do to make these better is to make it to where whenever you pull the trigger, it revs the chainsaw. But instead, it just revs on its own, and that's okay because these are still very cool. I have one of these, and I'm totally going to paint it yellow just like Leatherface's chainsaw. I do not see any of the rare masks here, but what I do see right over here is the new Halloween mask right there. That's an awesome one. They also have our Martian warrior right there, and they have the aged ghost face mask over here. Usually, they have him with the costumes. Kind of cool to see him over here with the rest of the masks. $17. Perhaps he got lonely. This is a freaky grandma mask right there. That is so funny. I would hate to see that in the middle of the night, and that is $30. Not too bad. Here's another grandma one, and here's the grandpa one. I heart bingo. That is a freaky one as well. You and your friend could dress up as grandma and grandpa. This one is $50. That's pretty pricey for a mask. They have lots of the inflatable costumes here. Let's go through some of them. We have the dinosaurs, dragons, wavy arm guys. These super skins are pretty cool. It's pretty plain, but they are funny. If you've ever seen anyone wearing them, they are super funny. And this one lights up. How awesome. They also have the inflatable balloon animal, rubber chickens, donkeys, cows. There's the circus clown and sumo wrestlers, the bull rider. That is a funny one. $35 for him. Inflatable skeleton pick me up. They have all kinds of this stuff. Here's an adventures costume that I've never seen before. Loki for $35. Somebody at my latest premiere just told me they wanted to see the Marvel stuff. They also have Iron Man and Spider-Man. And right here they have the hammer. This one is... $17, not too bad. And we also have Thor's axe right there. That's cool. Let's see how much that one is. He is $20. Here are the Call of Duty inspired costumes right here. I totally want a ghillie suit. I have always wanted one ever since I was a kid. And that is $45. This is Skull Commando, but he's basically like Ghost. And he is $50. I have seen the Lightning McQueen costumes before, but I've never seen the Mater costume. How cool. $45 for that one. And here's a Hot Wheels one that I've never seen before either. That is awesome. That is $45 as well. We have to say hello to all the zombie babies. Snack and Steve right here enjoying his hand. Moffy Max, Devil Chera, Gorius George. Right here we have a Gutsy Gwen. She's getting kind of hard to find now. Everybody must be buying her up. She's eating the guts. I ate some pumpkin guts during a live stream recently and it was absolutely disgusting. She is... $70. Spider Biter Billy flipping Freddy right there. And I believe that's everyone. Nope. We also have Wretched Ralphie and Chompin' Connie. Chompin' on a brain. They have a ghost face and they have a few of the Michael Myers. Michael Myers isn't too hard to find anymore. They must be getting pretty stocked on him as we get later into the season. $30 for him. And they have the Nightmare Harvester. And look at all the little guys they have here. How awesome. We've got Freddy. He's one of my favorites. The ghost back there. Baby Yoda. That is hilarious. Plenty of these. And I love how they have all this organized. This is a very nice and neat organized store here. Plenty of bobbleheads. I missed these a second ago. Leatherface, my favorite. Both of the Michael Myers ones. And of course, Hannibal Lecter. And both of the Sams. And look, they also have the Killer Clown Baby right there. That one's getting kind of hard to find too. I think everybody's buying that one up. Here's a couple more animatronics on the floor. Man's Possessed Friend, Blackheart. There's two of him. Eternal Rest. And we have a couple of Straw Man over here. Awesome. All of the shirts are nice and and neat and organized and they do have the sam spirit halloween shirts and they're extra large usually it's kind of hard to find the bigger sizes so it's cool that they do have them they have the ghost face bling mask i actually haven't seen this in a little while he is 25 dollars. i wonder if he is so popular that everybody's buying him up as well and i love this shiny suit he's got on i wish they had a full costume of the shiny suit but they do not which is kind of surprising because that is from the original movie i believe oh wow this is cool look at this Michael Myers magnet. It looks like a photo of Michael Myers from inside the closet. That is hilarious. $5 a piece. I love that. I would totally put that on my truck. And right over here, they have the Michael Myers pumpkin carving stencils. These are great. I like the knife with the blood splatter on there. This is awesome. These are $6 a piece. And I love how they have this store organized. They have all the Michael Myers stuff right here in one spot. I've never seen an Uncle Fester costume here before. $60 for that. Comes with the jacket color and the light bulb. That is hilarious. That is an awesome touch that they added to this costume. This guy is $6. 
$60. That would be a hilarious costume to wear. And they have my favorite Jason mask here. Super awesome. And I see a popcorn gun. How cool. We're seeing at least one every other store now. That is awesome. And of course, plenty of the cotton candy guns. We always have to set him off. Do they have the Charlie costume? I do not see it anywhere, but they do have Hugs the Clown. We just recently saw the Charlie costume, so I'm really hoping that we see it a little bit more often now. And they have plenty of the clown weapons and extras here look at all these weapons the sledgehammers bats there's a bat with a saw blade in it the giant scissors one of my favorites and here's a little horn that was funny i like the sound he makes that is six dollars for the funny little horn i would totally get that if i was going to be a clown for halloween this is too funny they have a whole chucky set up here took one of these dummies and set him up in one of the chucky costumes just to show you what you can do with these dummies and that is awesome he even has the knife they have some of the crawling hands here the bloody one is my favorite and the walking zombie right here is pretty cool too i love how they just start moving and i touch them oh my gosh we set off all of them at the same time that is hilarious. These things are crazy. They have plenty of these little blow molds too. They've got the clown right there, the purple witch, the green witch, and this guy right here who is actually a playing piece in the Spirit Halloween Monopoly. $15 for that. And right over here, they have the skulls. And oh look, they have the orange skull too. Awesome. I like that one because he actually looks like a pumpkin. And they've got this right here. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. A skull with some bloody teeth. And look at how well stocked they are on signs. This place is awesome. I wonder if they just opened that one's my favorite 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 and this one is my favorite all right they have a ghost face baby here it is getting hard to find the ghost face and the leather face tiny terrors this store is so cool look at this they set up a skeleton and put a gas mask on him and he's got a little monkey skeleton on his shoulder how funny is that they have been super well stocked Do they have a glen no they do not plenty of the good guys though and plenty of our favorite statues including Leatherface, my all-time favorite. These talking Chucky dolls are super popular right now. And he is great. He works super good. And I love the packaging too. This is $90. Look at the tears in the box. That is great. They did an awesome job with that. Here are some strobe lights that are pretty cool. Look at these. There's different colors of them and a whole list right here. Blue, red, green, purple, and orange. We're going to try some of these. This one's purple. Ooh, very cool. This one is blue. Sweet. Here's a green one right here. I like how they have them all organized. Green right there. Here's an orange. All right. And red. Very cool. If I was going to get one of these, though, I'd probably get maybe the blue one. I do like the blue, but the purple is also super awesome. And these are, let's see, $11 a piece. We must check and see if they have any new step pads. I do not see any new ones, but I always love to check because they have some new ones on the back of this packaging here. I really wish they would have some new ones in the store, though. Now, this is cool. I've never seen an apron here, and here they are. They're just plain white, so you can do it whatever you want to it and this is ten dollars you could totally get this and covered in blood so it could be like part of a leatherface costume but you could also get this and then get the chef hat which we'll check and see if they have in a moment and then you could be a chef for halloween and if you get this little knife here you can put it in your head as if you were a mad chef and you stabbed yourself eight dollars for the knife in the head plenty of the tiny hats here these are so funny here's a mini witch hat right there and another one there's a spider top hat gothic one that one is red a nice orange and black one that's good halloween colors and the regular one right here this is the one that i would get for whatever costume i would use it for and this one is ten dollars here's something in the 80s section that i've never seen before look at these earrings they look like cassette tapes that is too funny for eight dollars and i don't think i've ever seen the male 80s aerobics workout kit forty dollars for that one that is too funny we've looked at these a few times but i do love them so much the astronaut costumes that is a cool one to dress up for halloween 55 dollars for that one they have female versions blue versions down there and plenty of helmets let's see how much the helmets are i think they're like 30 bucks yeah 40 dollars actually they do have some tasers let's see if he works no that one's not gonna work yes all right, I like that. Taser is very cool for $10 if you're going to be a police officer for Halloween. I don't usually look at the Rick and Morty stuff all too often, but they do have plenty. They have the Rick Sanchez costume right there, Pickle Rick. Here's that Rick half mask right there. Let's see how much that is. That is $13. And they have the portal guns right here. That one's not going to work. Ooh. 
Wow, that's cool. I've never seen this show before, but that is pretty cool. $17 for that one. And a toy laser gun right here. All right, sweet. Let's check how much that one is. That one is $17. If you like Harley Quinn, they have plenty of Harley Quinn costumes here. They have the wigs. They have these awesome jackets, the pants. And look at this. This is a crossbody bag I've never seen before. It's actually called a wristlet. And that is $30. And it looks like her hammer. I wish they had the exact costume that the newswomen wore in Hubie Halloween. Here's the Rudy statue. We haven't seen Rudy in a long, long time. Let's press the button, see if he works. No, he does not. He must be dead, but that's pretty cool to see him again. And let's see how much he is. I think he was like, oh, $40. What in the world? We'll go ahead and put him right back there. Punam Punam wanted to see the devil costumes. Here is Baphomet. He is $55. And the face is actually pretty torn up. I've never really looked at this before. Super freaky eyes, too. I suppose this one would count as a devil costume. It's the devil face from Dead by Daylight. $50 for that one. They do have a devil mask right here, and that is $20. And they have some red horns right here for $10, and some black ones right there. And here's some devil wings that I have never seen before. Check these out. Red and black, and kind of shiny and torn up, and those are $17. And we have two devil costumes down here. This one right here is $35, and this one right here is the devilish demon with the light-up mask, and that one is $55. And this one actually comes with the pitchfork, so you don't need to buy a weapon to go with him. And right down here is the devil cape. It just comes with the cape. You have to get everything else separate. And that one is $45. Dean wanted to see the bloody ghost face with the bloody knife, and I do not see the bleeding ghost face yet, but we'll look on the other side. Right here is the bling knife right there. That is bloody. And we have the bloody blade right here. This might be what he was talking about. This is $7 and it is pretty nice lots of blood in there and right over here in the other ghost face section they do have the bleeding ghost face mask i really wish we could squeeze the thing to make the blood go right here in the store so we could see it 20 dollars for that it comes with a heart that you squeeze and that's what makes the blood drip down his face and it looks just like that super cool a classic i had one of these when i was a kid and i love it and look right here they have all three of the games together operation oogie boogie monopoly beetlejuice and monopoly spirit that one is kind of rare so it's cool that they have him here now this is cool i don't know if i've ever found this before the spirit halloween regular lanyard and it comes with the jack keychain right there that is cool my lanyard is getting damaged and falling apart so i may have to get this to replace him and here's another cool thing up here that i don't think i've found before awesome it's the killer clowns clownzilla that is sweet he is $11. Oh, look at this. They even have Spikey right there with his balloon animal search dog. How cool is that? I wish they would make an animatronic of him, but they would have to make him really tall. And here's the ghost face keychain. These are cool. I love ghost face. He is such a classic character. And this one is $11. And look, there's a spirit Halloween keychain right there. Very cool. I love these gel window clings. Look at this. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. All the awesome characters. Even the chainsaw and the van and the hitchhiker i love these so much they also have a ghost face one right there let's see what's on the back of that one Ooh, more ghost face the melting ghost face that's an awesome one these are so cool michael myers right there some bugs all right guys that's it for spirit halloween and creve core thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one What's up guys right here at spirit halloween in o'fallon missouri let's go inside and see what awesome halloween stuff they have all right a little bit different this time we have the straw man greeting us right in the door hello straw man did you know that this land is cursed the original farmer buried he's a little bit quiet but he is great good to see him and stilts right here juggling his bowling pins
It is hot in here. It's hot in Topeka. Good to see you, Stilts. You are awesome. And the Martian Warrior, as always. He is always here. In the beginning of the season, it was hard to find him, but now he's always here. No mist, though. All right, I hear the hooing owl behind us. Who is over here? It is poor George. And I only just recently noticed that his happy face does not have any blood on it, but his sad face does have blood on the teeth. All right, poor George is super cool. On the inside, we do have Dagger Mike and the Sitting Scarecrow. They are always here. <laughs> Good to see you, Dagger Mike. Always so happy and laughing. The Sitting Scarecrow, a classic. $109 for him. And I do like the scary version better than I like the regular version, but they're both awesome. On the other side here, we should have the Widow. Yes, we do. She is always right here for us. <laughs> I do love her. All right, let's go over here to see Slim. We love Slim. I wish Shorty would be set up with him one of these days, but so far out of like 40 stores that I've been to, over 40 stores, I believe, he has not been here with Shorty. If you love killer clowns, you will have to get him. This is a pretty big store here, and they do have the Hexpawn and the Howling Spirit. We'll go ahead and let him reset himself while we check out the Howling Spirit and see his awesome colors. Good to see him. He is great. They also have the gargoyle there. He is almost always there, but never shooting out fog. I wish they would operate all these with the fog. All right, Mr. Hexbun. Whoa, he is so great. So tall. I love that quote. That is so funny. All right, let's knock on the door. We usually wait until the end to knock on the door. Hello. Oh, wow, he must be taking a little spider nap. And they are $50 right now on sale, the jumping spiders. All right, Mr. Skellybones. Hello, Mr. Skellybones. Is he going to work? Maybe not, he may be broken. And it looks like Mrs. Oh, there she goes. Great. I love her colorful eyes. The Riz Reaper, his arm is totally broken right now, but let's get him going anyways. If he will work, he may not. No, he is not working. Oh well, look at him reaching out here. He does have a hand. I was wondering if he did or not. Always lots of inflatables here, and they have three snakes, rats, cats, scarecrow archways, jack-lantern archways, everything we love to see, including the scarecrow. We're seeing a lot of him now. Darling Dolly and Eternal Rest here. Darling Dolly, I love her. Let's get her going. Love you, darling Dolly, in your cracked up face. She is great, and I sure wish that Eternal Rest would work. I wonder how they messed it up to where she would just spin her head over and over again. Oh well. All right, we'll go over here. We got lots and lots of zombie babies. Wretched Ralphie right there with his delicious rat snack. Devilish Desmond, Gorious George, Spider Biter Billy, Revenous Ruby, and I thought I saw someone else. I know we do have Gutsy Gwen right here. She's getting hard to find. 
snacking on the guts in the pumpkin. Oh, we do have sleigh time here and Chompin' Connie. There are a few animatronics on the floor. Oh, I see Heckles over there. $70 for eternal rest because she is broken. Nozzles the Clown. It is nice to see him back. Two Heckles the Clown for sale right here. Let's see how much he is. I don't remember how much he is. $280. How awesome. I'm so glad they fixed him. And we have stilts. And we have a slim right here. And we have the straw man and a bunch of the young Krauty. How cool. And over here we have three, no, four little Jack Carver. I'm glad we're seeing more of him now. Emmeline. And of course the sitting scarecrow atop of a bunch of the ghost face inflatables. All right. I already see some masks that I would love to see. The terrifier right there. How cool. He is $70. We do not see him very often, so it is nice to see him. Him. We do have a leather face mask and right down here from Ruby's we have the Batman Returns penguin mask right there. You never see that. How cool. This is only the second time we found him for $60. Here's a clown mask we've never seen before. Dummy crackling clown mask. How funny. I love seeing stuff that we've never seen before. Let's see what other masks they have here. I wonder if they have the corn. <gasps> they do. All right. I love the corn mask. He is so awesome. Yes. Look at that. He is so freaky. I love the teeth. They did a great job with this. Look at that hair. That is perfect, man. I love it. I think I might get this at some point. $70 for the evil corn mask. And right above him, we also have the evil witch eyes. That is a super freaky one as well. I am so glad that some stores are breaking out stuff that you never see. And look right here. We have the rat. Somebody posted a picture of this on one of the Facebook pages recently. His name is the lab rat. Look at that. Look at his eye. How gross. Oh my gosh. And he's got some kind of bolt in his head too. $60 for the disgusting lab rat. I've never seen the burlap bloody goat mask before. That's an interesting one. And that one is $20. And they have the starving vampire right here. This is awesome. It seems like a few stores every once in a while have a bunch of the rare masks. And it seems like if they have one, they have a bunch. But the one mask I do not see here is the Leatherface Pretty Woman mask. But oh well, they do have a bunch of really cool ones. Plenty of the statues here. Look at this. Michael Myers with his jack-o'-lantern. Trick-or-treat Sam with his. And another trick-or-treat Sam right here. Ooh. That one lights up really nice. Everybody wants the Glenn dolls, but they are always sold out. So whenever he is in the store, you have to grab him very fast. Here is the awesome Pennywise statue right there. That is super cool. And of course, we almost always have the talking Chucky dolls. He is great. Let's see how much he is. People have been asking me about that. He is $90. All the signs that we love are here. This is great. The Mars Attacks Martian Changing Laser right there. That's a great one. I love the Bee Eating You Jeepers Creepers sign right there. And the Bates Motel I do not see as often as I'd like to anymore. And where's the button? There it is. Here we go. Let's see if he lights up. No, he might be dead because there is no tab, but that is okay. This is an awesome sign. At the previous stores, I haven't been able to get this to work. Let's see if it does work. Yes, it does. Look at that. Awesome. I love the Beetlejuice sign. I'm really tempted to get that one for my office. And look at this. They have the mug handbook for the recently deceased. That is a great mug. $10. I'm totally going to watch Beetlejuice when I get home. And here's the handbook for recently deceased box right here. I'm pretty sure you can just kind of put anything in there. Let's just open it up and see. There we go. Yes, there's plenty of room in there to hide some things. I love these little ghostly mugs here. I totally want to get a mug collection. Maybe this year I'll start it. $10 for the awesome ghost mug right there. They also have plates, serving trays right there, and some more awesome cups down here. I like this one. It's like a tumbler. Sweet. That is $11. They have the Nightmare Before Christmas snow globes right here. These are very cool with Jack burning in there. That is awesome. And I love the little characters down here. They also have Scary Teddy, and I kind of want him. He is awesome. And he is $27. Plenty of other snow globes here. We've got Pennywise, Michael Myers, and Leatherface right there. I see plenty of the Crouchy figures right here. I wish they would bring little skelly bones into the store but he is online only they have the disco suit right there that's a funny one and the fur mink 
coat if you want to be a rich person for Halloween. No way, I've never seen this before and this is absolutely hilarious. Oh my goodness, it is heavy too. Ugh. Jeez, I can barely lift it with this one hand. The Arctic Yeti. That is too funny. He is a hundred dollars and that is an awesome suit. I love this. Here's another one I don't think I've ever seen before. The traffic light for $40. That's a cool one. And look at this. We've got a foam finger. How cool. I love finding stuff we've never seen before. And this store has a bunch of stuff. And look at this on the back of it. It says how's number two feel. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Another one I've never seen before. The inflatable frog that is so funny this one is sixty dollars here's a clearance section with tons of stuff man i don't even know why it's on clearance though we've got the fortnite drift my hero academia deku right there i think that's how you say that birds of prey we have some bags here from dino ranch i think that's a kid's show some more fortnite costumes down here some more my hero stuff and a yellow jackets costume down there i'm not sure what tv show that is and look at this they have some ang masks maybe the these ones aren't lighting up and that's why they're on clearance but that is awesome usually the clearance section is not very full plenty of scarecrow things here they have the happy scarecrow right there and look at this one cornfield cutie here's the scary scarecrow i like that one a lot and right down here we have the scarecrow burlap hood that is super freaky and that is 25 dollars. i would hate to see that in a cornfield and i always say this if you're going to be a scarecrow you're gonna have to get a black crow for your shoulder if i was a scarecrow Crow, though i would get like 10 of these and cover myself in crows this is funny it's like a vacationer section right here we've got the luau hat wristbands flower clips coconut bras that is hilarious i've never seen this before that is ten dollars for the coconut bra a whole luau kit right there for 25 dollars and the male version right there for 20 dollars and they even have a luau grass skirt i don't see this very often but it is super cool the buddy the elf costume i love it so much much jacket pants belt hat and shoe covers but you have to bring your own syrup seventy dollars for that oh and they have the he-man one right there how sweet that is eighty dollars my dad grew up watching he-man oh sweet look at this kim possible costumes you got kim possible right here and shigo i think that's how you say it that is awesome i grew up watching kim possible if somebody's gonna dress up as kim possible you have to get some kind of naked mole rat to put in the little pocket what in the world i've never seen this before either a rex inflatable costume how cool 80 dollars. that would be so funny i would love to dress up as rex for halloween i love it and of course you'd have to have somebody dress up as woody right there for 37 dollars, and jesse for 55 and they have buzz lightyear for 50 here's the mad scientist costume that one you do not see every day for 55 dollars, and he has light up goggles that is awesome oh and check it out he does come with the syringe how cool oh boy they do have a popcorn gun here how awesome and they have the cotton candy gun i love the cotton candy gun and they have the acid pie man this store has everything they did a great job of organizing this store too look at this you have all the halloween masks together in one spot this is the new rob zombie halloween mask from trick-or-treat studios that is a great one we also have halloween ends from trick-or-treat studios as well and another halloween mask from trick-or-treat studios they do so good with their masks and look at this one i love the witch and the skull from halloween 3 season of the witch and they have the pumpkin man this store is so stocked on awesome things speaking of awesome things they do have the dead by daylight and the chrome and the aged ghost face mask here and they have this one from dead by daylight viper and this awesome pullover right here i love the ghost face stuff that is a great artwork hoodie right there i love the blood splatters these are some seriously cool pins as well well, look at those i love this so much this store is great nine dollars for this and look at this all of their shirts are so nicely organized they did a great job of being super clean and nice here they do have the sam shirt right there and my favorite purple ghost face one right there this is awesome they are so nice and organized in here i've never seen this clown costume before the patriotic clown how cool is that look at how freaky his face is i love the red white and blue stuff this is hmm let's see the price on here this is a little bit folded up it is oh boy it broke off 50 dollars not too bad that's a cool one they also have the chrome clown the creepy clown freak show hugs the clown carver wacky mole man they have all the awesome ones what in the world 
I have never seen this one before and I love it. Ice Cream Clown, this is $60. Look at the brain, that is awesome. Ice Cream, Psycho Sunday, Deadly Delight, Rum Brazen, Chocolate, Chocolate, that is hilarious. Cake Battered and Shocky Road. This is an awesome costume that I've never seen before. I also love the bloody gloves on that. This is exactly why I always check every single section when I come into these stores because sometimes you find stuff tucked in that you've never seen before and you would not expect to see something new in this area usually. Killer Clown is also super freaky for $50. Look at the gash in his head. I see a Leatherface sidestepper down here, but we also have Sam, Chucky, and Frank. Frankenstein. Usually these don't, what? Usually these don't work. Look at that. How cool. I think this might be the first store this year that had a working Frankenstein sidestepper. That is awesome. Let's see how much he is. $23 on clearance. Are they all on clearance? That is awesome. How cool. And that's a long animation too. I did not know he lasted that long. And of course they got Chucky right here. Good to see you Chucky. How cool is he? These are so great. I love the side steppers. Sam as well. He is always a classic to see. And of course, my all-time favorite, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let's get him going. Yes. I love Leatherface. He is so cool. I always look forward to the side steppers every year. I would love if they made new ones every single year. The only one I don't see here is Ghostface. We'll keep an eye out though. They are very stocked on all the door covers and flags here. I love this Ghostface melting flag right there. That one's cool. I should totally hang this in front of my house. $23 for that one. I also love the Ghostface ripping through the fabric and him breaking through the glass right there. The Exorcist one is also super awesome. This one is one of my favorites. Leatherface slamming the door and they have the Mars Attacks door cover right there and they have the Gremlins and they have Chucky. They have everything here. I'm gonna have to pick like two of these for my office door. I'm just not sure which ones I'm gonna get. I was thinking Leatherface but I'm really thinking maybe Ghostface right there and maybe Chucky or the Gremlins. The Gremlins is a great one though. So maybe I'll get that and Ghostface. I don't know. What do you guys think? This is so funny. I've never seen this before. Look at this skeleton fish. That is hilarious. Let's see how much he is. $20 for the skeleton fish with a moving jaw. Hey, check it out. They do have the pathway marker doll heads. I love those. That spooky green is so awesome. I also love the spooky green on the zombie groundbreaker right there. And of course they have some more pathways. The jack-o'-lantern right there. And I never press the button on this. I don't know why, but he is super cool. Nice, pretty purple on that one. What's up guys, right here at Spirit Halloween in Kirkwood, Missouri. Let's go inside and see what awesome Halloween stuff they have. Hello, Mr. Leatherface. Very good to see you. I love Leatherface. Let's get him going. I wish they would have made a Leatherface 2 animatronic. That would have been really cool. Have him with his hands up in the air and swinging the chainsaw back and forth. That would be hilarious. All right, we've got stilts. Good to see you stilts in your big purple eyes. Spinning his head around with the cracking sounds and everything. Good to see you, Mr. Stilts. The straw man. I have been seeing less and less of Mr. Straw Man lately. Ooh, nice and loud, too. You aren't afraid of little me, are you? A little Why bit. I love this time of year with the dead leaves all around us and the darkness wraps around us like a mildewing blanket. Perhaps we That's probably my favorite quote from him. 
<laughs> All right, thank you so much, Mr. Strawman. Your yellow eyes over here. We have a young Grouchy. How cool is this? I love when they have him out. And I love that green light on him. Young Crouchy is so awesome. 2022 was such a great year for Spirit Halloween. Thank you, Mr. Young Crouchy. We love seeing you. And of course, we've got another clown here, Mr. Slim. He is great. Gotta love Slim. Thank you, Mr. Slim. Let's go around here and see who we got. Poor George. Yes, poor George. Man, I love these lights. And they are super awesome. They work very well. I think I'm definitely going to get some of these lights for my office. Because I have been thinking about mood lighting and what kind of lights I need. And I think those would work perfectly. He is super awesome and super loud. They have the back area set up. Oh my goodness, look what they have here. It's the Colderness. I have been waiting to see her set up and I did not think we would see this. How great is she? She is so awesome. So when you actually have her set up all the way, you will have a fog machine. Let's see if we can get her going. There she goes. She'll have a fog machine in here and the fog will be bubbling up and coming out of the cauldron. She even pours her little thing in there. That is so cool. She is great. I want her so bad. And what great sounds too. They made her super creepy. I am stoked right now. $280 for the awesome Coldrenness. She is totally worth it. All right, Mr. Howling Spirit. I hear you howling over here for me. It is very good to see you. He must be on motion. Let's get see if we can get him going again. There we go. He is great. All right, and of course we have the gargoyle, but he is not working right now. We'll move our way on over here. We'll see the uh, Gordo in just a minute here, but let's knock on the door and say hello to our good friend, Mr. Spider. Knock, knock. Yes. What an awesome store this is. He works perfectly. Good to see you, Mr. Spider. All right, little skelly belly over here. Let's get him going. I love him. Such a classic. Please, Mr. Desmodus King Bat, please work. Yay! No. <laughs> I thought he was going to work, but I guess not. That's okay. He breaks very easily. And the Whispering Grave Watcher, look at those eyes. Those are some pretty eyes. I love the sounds that Desmodus makes. All right, Mr. Blackheart, let's get him going. He is great. His jaw's not working. Your life, your past, you will stay with me for the rest of eternity. All right, good to see you, Mr. Blackheart. We'll go right back over here. I see a bunch of animatronics on the floor over here. We've got three Blackheart. There's the Colderness. Ooh, I want her. I might even have to buy her because she was so awesome. Sitting Scarecrow, two of the Howling Spirit. Here's a Gordo for sale, guys. The ever elusive Gordo. He is hard to find for sale on the floor. Heck spawn right there. There's a straw man. And right over here, we have Darling Dolly. I see two of her. And what is this big old box? Another Heck spawn. How cool. Man's possessed friend, as always. Here's another Colderness right here. Let's look at the picture on the side. Look at her face. That is crazy. 
What a great animatronic she is. And we have a few of the Deadly Creeper. Let's check again and see if we can find the bobblehead costume. I do not see it so far. No, he is not here. He is elusive. Who knows if he even is sold anymore. Plenty of skeleton costumes though. Here's a glow in the dark skeleton for $35. A different one right here for $35 as well. X-ray skeleton with a light up mask. That's a cool one for $45. Here is a third glow in the dark skeleton right there for $40. They're all a little bit different, the glow-in-the-dark skeletons. And, of course, they have skeleton gloves here. Let's see how much those are. $7 for the skeleton gloves and a skeleton mask right here. And that one is $13. Ooh, and here's a skeleton zombie right here. Awesome. He is $40. I love zombies. Do they have the 12-foot killer clown inflatable? They do not. But they do have this one right here. We see that one pretty often. And some jack-o'-lantern archways. They do have the 12 foot Pennywise right there and Ghostface and the snake and the hearse and the ghosts and the gargoyles and the jack-o'-lanterns and the reapers and the cats and the rats. Here's this guy right here. He hasn't worked in a while. Let's see if he does. No, he does not. Oh, well, it's good to see him anyways. Wait a minute now. We forgot Gordo. We got to do Gordo. Let's go over here and get him going. Hello, Gordo. He is working. I can hear him. He's making some sounds. Pop up for me, buddy. There you go. All right, good to see Gordo. I'd love to carve a pumpkin just like him. Hello, zombie babies. Good to see you all. We've got Gorius George right there. Wretched Ralphie with his rats. Flippin' Freddy. Here's another gutsy Gwen. It's getting hard to find her, but this is the second one we've seen today. All right. Munchin' Connie. Is that her name? It's Chompin' Connie. Why do I forget that so often? We also have Slay Time, Spider Biter Billy, and Snackin' Stevie. And look at how many size steppers there are. So many of them. Billy Butcherson, Pennywise, Ghostface. Look at how many of them are working. This is awesome. A Sam. He's working as well. Leatherface. Oh, he broke the cycle. There's a working one though right there. I love the sidesteppers. No Glendall. He is selling out quickly. They do have the Texas Chainsaw and the Pennywise statues and the Hauntly things. I wonder if we will come across a store that has this set up. I would love to see that. No Leatherface Tiny Terrors, but we do have the Devil Chab right there, and we have some Sams. He is pretty much always here. Check it out. We do have a Pretty Woman Leatherface mask. Hard to find and super awesome. And we have a Terrifier mask. That one is also hard to find and super awesome. Them, and he is $70 from Trick or Treat Studios. They did a great job with that mask. They have so many light up masks here. Look at all these things. Let's push some buttons. The red one, that one's not lighting up so well. The blue one, that one has to be my favorite. He lights up so well and so pretty. $20 for that one. Here's the purple one. That one lights up pretty good as well. Green and purple. Ooh, we might have to pull a tab on that. Yes, I love when we get to pull the tabs. Let's go ahead and check the colors on him. Super nice. I love that. I like when they have the black behind the colors because it really makes the colors pop. And right here we have the white and red L-wire mask, but that one is not working. Let's try this one right above him. No, that one's not working as well, but there is a tab that we get to pull. Let's go ahead and do it. Bing! All right, let's press the button on him and see how he looks. Ooh, all right, very cool. I love all these light-up masks. Here's one right here that I don't think I've ever seen before, the L-Wire Priest mask. Let's go ahead and press the button on him. Ooh, all right. The light-up masks must be pretty popular for them to have so many in stock. Another thing they always have in stock are the clown masks. They have so many of these. Here's the Wild Eyes Clown. Of course, they have Crouchy. He comes with gloves. That is an awesome one. Ooh, look at this. The L-Wire Jokes on You Clown. I don't think we've ever seen that one before. Let's go ahead and prop him up and try him out. But first, we get to pull the tab. Here we go. Bing! Pull the tab on that one. Let's press the button. Here we go. Oh, wow, it's already lighting up. Look at that. That is very cool. In the dark, that would look super sweet. And, of course, we also have the cheeseburger clown. I love him. He ate one too many cheeseburgers. And we had the freaky foam and the toxic clown. And they have the wacky mole. And while we're on the topic of clowns, let's check out all the clown costumes costumes they have because those are some of the most popular costumes they have. Wait a minute, the crazy clown mask. I don't think I've ever seen that one before either. Let's see if he will light up for us. There's no tab. 
No, that one must be dead. And that one must be dead as well. Unless we can pull a tab. Nope, it's already pulled. But he must just be dead. Oh well, it's still cool to see them anyways. So we have the Crouchy costume down there. Neon Clown, Circus Clown right here. Cursed, Sinister, Twisted Circus suit right there. That's a clown. Chaos Clown, the Chrome Clown, all kinds of these. They have Hugs the Clown, Carver the Clown, Trick or Treat Clown right there. There's the Capture Clown. That one is one of my favorites for $55. Here is the Dark Mad Hatter. He is also a clown for $40. Here is a female Neon Clown costume for $50. And a female Neon Carnival Clown costume for $70. Killer Clown, that's a good one right there for $50. And they have the Slasher Clown, another freaky one for $40. And of course, the Killer Clowns. They have a bunch of the half masks here. All three, Jumbo, Spiky, and Shorty. And they have the Shorty female costume, the regular Shorty, the Spiky, and the Jumbo for $60. And look right over here. We have two of the popcorn guns. How awesome. And a Spiky sidestepper right here. And the Acid Pies. How awesome. They do have the Uncle Fester costume right here for $60. We just saw him for the first time at the last store. And they have the Halloween Rob Zombie mask that's a new one and they have the regular halloween 2 and the halloween 1 mask and while we're still looking at masks we got the age ghost face the viper face from dead by daylight the devil face from dead by daylight and the chrome mask and the light up mask and we may as well keep it going with the mask we've got trick-or-treat masks here the devil unmasked sam skeleton clown jason right there with the machete from ruby's and another one from ruby's my favorite jason Voorhees mask right there and the nightmare on elm street 4 mask right there that is a good one and another one from ruby Ruby's right here, the Pennywise It Mask. He is awesome. I don't give these enough attention. They have plenty of robes and capes here. Let's take a look at some of these. Black hooded dress right there for $30. Black velvet hooded cape right there for $22. Purple velvet hooded cape right there for $22. A red satin cape. That would be good for a little red riding hood costume. Here's a burgundy velvet hooded cape. That one is a good looking one for $22. Burgundy lace cap. They have all these regular black hooded capes here. A red color cape right there. Plenty of these. You can use these for ghost face costumes or dracula costumes anything you want they even have emerald green that's a nice one for 22 dollars lots of x-men costumes here they have rogue for 70 wolverine for 70 storm for 60 and gambit down there pirates are great costumes for halloween i love all the pirate stuff and plenty of it here regal rebel for 50 pirate pillager for 40 there's another pirate kit right there for 25 another one right here for 27 I do like that one. And plenty of extras too. Here's the deluxe pirate boot tops for $20. And of course we have headbands, mustaches and goatees, tattoos. Here's a pirate goblet. If you're going to a Halloween party and you dress as a pirate, you're gonna need the goblet to walk around with your drink in. That is $20. Not too bad. Here is a pirate gold tooth. It actually looks more silver, but it is a gold tooth and that one is $4. Eye patches, earrings, everything you could ever need for a pirate costume, including the swords. And here is the medallion pirate pirate necklace that reminds me of pirates of the caribbean and that is eight dollars this is an awesome pirate hat right here and they even have mini hats and hooks for your hand they have everything here i've never seen the female boxer costume before that is fifty dollars comes with the robe shorts and the golden gloves i love the golden gloves here's another one with a pink robe how cool and that one is twenty five dollars and it says knockout on the back they do have the elvis section here sometimes they do not have it this is a great deluxe elvis this suit right there comes with a jumpsuit scarf belt and look at that awesome costume covered in sequins and this is $80 look at that that is so fancy and of course they have the Elvis glasses with the sideburns that would really finish your Elvis costume right there especially if you got the wig and the scarves no wonder these are so awesome they're made by rubies they do have my favorite inflatable corn costume right down there but they also have the squirrel the gorilla the Oktoberfest piggyback that is a fun one and all the inflatable costumes that we love oh look they have the foam finger too Hal's number two field on the back that is hilarious these are what i need look at this the billy the hillbilly for 40 dollars gone fishing for 35 delivery man for 40 and the fireman kit i wouldn't even need to buy these because i have a ton of fishing stuff at home but maybe my wife would appreciate if i dressed up as the firefighter that is 40 dollars and i don't think i would look too much like that guy if i wore it hey check this out they have spirit halloween skeleton crew shirts here that is cool all right i never knew these even existed it has the nice big jack on the back there that is awesome they always have plenty of wings if you want to be an 
angel or something. There's some red wings right there if you're going to be a devil and plenty of extras for that. And here's all the angel extras here. They have halos, they have chokers, rings, all kinds of stuff. And if you're going to a color-coded party, they have plenty of things for that as well. All kinds of tutus and dresses and body suits of different colors. Beanies, which are on sale for $5 a piece right now. Different colored masks, bows, gloves, bandanas, all kinds of stuff if you're going to a color-coded party. They even have these shiny shorts right here. That would be funny to wear. Look at these ones all covered in shiny rhinestones. And now that I see this, I would totally do a gold color-coded party and everyone would dress up in shiny gold stuff. So if I did that, somebody would have to spray paint their hair with this gold right here and then get the shiny gold to go over top. That would be awesome. And if I did that, I would totally get the gold crown because I am the king of Halloween for $10. Not too bad. Hey, look, they have the demonic baby here. Look at that. She is super freaky. Oh, her eyes light up too and she makes some sounds. That is awesome. I don't know if I've ever squeezed her before. $30. Whoa. The creepy laughing, that is so awesome. They also have the butcher, monkey chimes, decrepit haunted, devilish, and eerie Emma. And here is the six foot hanging party ghost. Will any of them work? No. Are there any tabs that we can pull? Yes, look at this. We'll pull the tab and be the first ones to press the button. Yes, I love the colors on that. He would go great at a Halloween party. Here's some red creepy pathway markers with bats. Do they light up? They do, but it's not going to work. Ooh, that one works. Look at that. Is that a skull in the background? I don't even know what that is. There's some kind of creepy picture behind it. Maybe it's ghosts, but that is awesome. I've never pressed a button on that before. And that is $35. I have not found the green lights yet, but we do have red right there and purple. Purple is a nice one. I am keeping my eye out for the green ones because I never see them. I have never seen this before. I haven't even looked at the marshmallow stuff this year, I don't think. But look at this, the camo camouflage jumpsuit for marshmallow with the camouflage mask that is cool for $60 this thing must be ultra rare because I have never seen it before and I've been to like 50 spirit Halloweens and of course they have the skeleton version right there he is cool and there is the vampire version right there that is also a cool one that I don't know if I've seen before that one has some graffiti on it and we have the regular one and here is a treat bucket too that I've never seen before how cool is this stuff wait a minute what is this he lights up too. Let's press the button. Please, 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 please work. $22. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Wow. That is sweet. I've never seen it before. And this one lights up as well. This one is a mask. Let's see here. Wow. That is very cool. Why have I not looked at this stuff lately? And this one is $130. That is crazy. When I was looking at all the clown stuff, I did not see all these awesome kid size costumes here for females. We've got the carnival clown, circus misfit, twisted clown right there, dark vintage clown, sinister clown, horror Harley Quinn. They have plenty of these and lots of extra. There's the makeup right there, a couple of weapons, some boot covers right there, fishing net gloves, and treat bags. And here's a cool one right here, Deadly Dolly. Look at that. Comes with a dress, attached belt, bow headband, lace gloves, ruffle, and knee-high socks. It does not come with the little bunny. That is too bad. You'll have to make your own bunny by just getting a stuffed animal at, like, Goodwill or something and then destroying it. There are so many cute baby costumes. I don't know how I'm going to choose one for my daughter. I know my favorite one at the moment is the Baby Boo, but she is too old for this one right now. This is $22 and it's for zero to six months and she's about a year old. I am so sad that she is not small enough for that anymore. And she's not quite big enough yet to be ghost face for $20. Too small to be a baby boo, too big to be a ghost face. What is she going to dress up as? Perhaps a flamingo ride along for $40. Let's check out the Colderness one more time before we head out because she is so awesome. I love her movements. The lights are perfect. And when she has fog in there, I bet it would look super amazing. Take a look at her creepy face. She is actually pretty scary. And I love when she laughs and gets super loud. That is so awesome. She is my favorite witch ever. I think I might buy her. All right, guys, it's it for Spirit Halloween in Kirkwood, Missouri. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Don't you like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. What's up guys, right here at Spirit Halloween in St. Peter's, Missouri. Let's go inside and see what cool stuff they have. Ooh, hello, Mr. Martian Warrior. Good to see you. Let's get him going. No mist. It's been a while since we've seen some mist. Love that big brain of his and the green for his face. $400 for Mr. Martian Warrior. And if you like the Mars Attacks movie, you have to get him. All right, the widow over here. Hello, Miss Widow. I love to say hello to you. <laughs> I love that cracking sound so much. They did a great job with her. So glad she is here. $200 and she was online only last year. All right, Slim. I love you, Slim, and your shiny bag of popcorn. Let's get him going. Ooh, 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 ooh. We have to honk his nose. Honk, honk. <laughs> he would be super scary in real life. Do we have poor George over here? Yes, we do. Hello, poor George. How could you be laughing so much after being cut in half? And I wonder why his mouth is bloody. What has he been eating? Maybe he ate his own legs. That would be hilarious. Poor George ate his own legs. All right, in here we do have Dagger Mike and the Sitting Scarecrow. Let's go, Dagger Mike. Dagger Mike and the Scarecrow must be good friends after seeing each other so much. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. All right, Mr. Scarecrow. A hundred dollars for Mr. Scarecrow. And it's the classic one. He is great. I might have to get him and put him on my porch. Look at how many plush they have. Oh my goodness, there's so many. And look, we have a little skelly bones and the skeleton I love so much. The Nightmare Harvester, Michael Myers, and Ghostface. They have so many of the awesome ones and they have a ton of the Nightmare Harvester right now. So glad to see him more often now. Lots of goodies over here. They are fully stocked on bobbleheads, including Leatherface and Ghostface, two of my favorites. They have three of the Pennywise statues down there. I don't see a Leatherface one though. Plenty of Chuckies, but no Glens. We always look for the rare stuff. Here's Michael Myers with his awesome jack-o'-lantern. I love it. I'm totally going to carve a jack-o'-lantern just like his this year. Ooh, we have my favorite sidesteppers. Ghost face and leather face. The two faces I love to see. I sure hope they continue to make new ones every year because I love the side steppers. I always look forward to them. And look at this. We do have some killer clowns. Let's see if any of them work, please. Oh, yes, he's going to work. Let's move his arms a little bit. Sometimes you have to move their arms a little bit to get them working good. But he's just moving the one arm. That is hilarious. Let's see if this guy works, please. Yes, he does. Move that arm. There we go. The Killer Clowns are so great. One of my favorite movies. Let's see if they have any snow globes, and they sure do. They have a bunch of them here. Leatherface, Mars Attacks Martian. Of course, they have Pennywise. They almost always do. And Michael Myers. They have lots of good blankets here. My favorites are the Reversible Spirit Halloween blanket right there. And the Leatherface blanket, of course. You know I love everything Leatherface. And we have the Nightcrawler right there. And another Killer Clowns blanket right here. That's a great one. And Michael Michael Myers in front of the moon. I love anything with the moon as well. Oh, they've got Crouchy too. Hey, look at this. They do have the back area set up. I didn't even think they did. Here we go, Mr. Riz Reaper the Blackheart. No moving jaw this time. Your life, your past, you will stay with me for the rest of eternity. All right, super cool. And he is tall. $300 for him. And of course, the Whispering Grave Watcher. 
the graveyard of fog. She is super creepy. And of course, Desmodus, please work Mr. King Bat. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Yes! <laughs> it's always a good day when we find a working Desmodus. I do love him. If I did get him, I would totally get some fur and actually cover this in fur. That would make him even more creepy. And of course, Mr. Skellybones stabbing his eye with the brick. Yes. Always good to see Mr. Skellybones. The door is already open, but we'll go ahead and knock and see if he gets activated. No, he must be taking a little spider nap. Oh wait, unless this will set him off. Yes! <laughs> we woke him up from his nap. I love that. I kind of like how they have these vines coming out of the door. That must be their way of fixing the problem of the broken doors if they're not working. They just make some vines come out of it and look like the vines open the doors. I do like that. Good to see you, Mr. Spider. Thank you so much for jumping at us. And right behind that area, we do have a ton of animatronics. Look at these big stacks right here. Lil Jack Carver. I'm so glad we got to see him working. Straw Man. Mars Attacks Martian right there. Eternal Rest. Ooh, we got a Nozzles the Clown. Young Crouchy, Little Skelly Bones, Darling Dolly right there, two of the Howling Spirit. I do want him. I've been thinking about buying him this year. He is $200, which is not a bad price for a great animatronic. And of course, we have two Leatherface. And right over here, we have the Blackheart, Emmeline. I still have not seen her working, which is crazy because I've visited over 40 stores now. Little Jack Carver, another one of him. Straw Man, we have three stilts right here. That is awesome. Do we have some? Something over here as well. Ooh, the Hexbon. I hardly ever see him for sale. We have two of him. And look, they have a Gordo. Gordo is very hard to find. If you're looking for him, here he is. Come and get him before somebody else does. I get so excited when I see the masks because there are so many awesome ones this year. I wonder if they have the scary corn mask. He is hard to find, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's not here. And so far, I do not see him, but they do have a lot of awesome masks here. Maybe they'll have the Leatherface one too. I don't know. He sells out pretty quickly as well and i am not seeing him hmm not a surprise because he is hard to find and very popular so everybody is always buying him but they do have the awesome jack-o-lantern mask right here that's a great one i love anything with pumpkins and all the vintage masks those are also very cool here's the cartoon cat that is a funny and freaky one. Ooh, look at this squid game mask I've probably seen that before, but let's check the price on it. That is $15. Everybody loves Squid Games. And I see right here, they do have the Mars Attack. Oh, deck, check it out. They have both of the Leatherface masks right here hiding. Oh, and I see something that I want right behind those. We'll look at them in just a moment. But right here is the Pretty Woman Leatherface mask. That one is one of my favorites for 2023. So glad they have it. I didn't think they would. They've got the regular ones right here, but we're going to move those and get right back here to Mr. Creep Show. I really want to buy that. I want the creep show mask, but I also want the animatronic. So I'm going to have to decide which one I want to buy if I buy one of them. Oh, look, it's a half mask, too. I didn't even know that a half mask existed for him. I suppose this hood, though, you can kind of pull over the back of the mask. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but you pull that hood over the back of the mask, and then it doesn't look so much like a half mask. But he is awesome. I love creep show. That is one of my favorite things to watch during Halloween. This is $70 from Trick or Treat Studios, and what a great mask. You do not see that one every day, hardly at all even. Let's take a look at the wigs. They have a ton of wigs for whatever costume you could think of. Pretty much any hairdo that you would ever need is here, and I am bald, so I would fit pretty much every single one of these. This is funny. Here's the Garth wig. I like that because I love Wayne's World. That is a funny movie. They've also got the 70s man with the mustache right there for $20. Here's a wizard for for $25. Girls Night Out, that is hilarious for $20. That's kind of like Chippendale. Heavy Metal Rocker right there. E equals MC squared, that is so funny. $25 for that one. So many great wigs here. You could come up with whatever costume you could think of with these wigs. Sometimes I like to look at the stuff and then come up with a costume as I'm looking at the stuff based on what I have available to me. And here's the inflatables right next to the wigs. Tons of ghosts. I love the ghosts. I wonder why they're not selling out. Jack O'Lantern's Reaper. The haunted trees, the snakes, scarecrows, lots of scarecrows this year, rats, her.
purses, the ghost face one we love, the killer clowns inflatable right there, and I haven't seen the new killer clowns inflatable in quite a while. We'll have to keep an eye out for that one. He is 12 feet tall. Ooh, here's something we don't see every day. The pumpkin nester doll. He is great. He's kind of popular and hard to find. Let's see if we can get him to make some noise for us. Oh, he's super quiet. He does make noise, but he is very quiet right now. And of course, we have the butcher. We're seeing a lot more of him lately. And monkey chimes, one of my favorites. Decrepit haunted doll, devilish Desmond, eerie Emma, and loving Lilith. Here's the scary flying ghost. I have one of these and they work super good. So if you're thinking about getting this, definitely do it. $20, you hang up the string across the room and then based on sound, he will go back and forth. So if you make a loud noise, he'll start flying around the room. I usually like to put on the TV so he just keeps going back and forth over and over again. And this is something that I don't have, but I do want the fly around bat. I think when I was a kid, I had one of these. $10 for that, you hang him up on the middle of the ceiling and then he will fly around in a circle. That is absolutely hilarious and i'd love to have it i'd also like to have the dropping spider please mr reaper with wings will you work for me yes we have not seen him working in so long i love the sounds he makes what a cool, awesome prop. He is 55 doll hairs. What in the world? Maybe the faceless animated specter will work for us too. Ooh, yes. I love that. They're the same sound. <laughs> I love it. I love that screaming and he is awesome. Look at that movement. Super freaky. Let's see how much he is. $40, a little bit cheaper than him, but still a lot of doll hairs. And just because we had such good luck with them, I wonder if these two people will work. Let's hit the buttons on these screaming nurse. Yes, she does work. Shaking and shaking and shaking. Some funny quotes on her, and this tube makes me think there's some blood that pumps through, but I don't think it does. Maybe that's just what she is tied up by. Let's see if this guy works, please. Oh, that button is totally broke. Oh, well, well, we'll try this guy just for the fun of it. No, okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, wait, I think he is working. Let's see here. He's not kicking his feet, but he is talking. He is funny. He kicks his feet and makes some funny quotes. We'll go ahead and keep going here. Will the clown work? Nope, clown's not gonna work. And this guy just lights up. And the witch, she says some funny quotes. Ooh, she works. <laughs> she says some funny quotes, but none of them are really, like, hostile or anything. They're all nice. She says she made something for you, and then she says something about eating candy. Let's try one more quote by her. She says, I'm a good witch. Have some candy. She's a nice witch. Very nice to see you, witch. Plenty of the pathway markers here. How awesome. They've got the bumpy, spooky pumpkins. Please work. Yes. Super freaky, and they have the jack-o'-lanterns. That one's not gonna work. That one will, though. Awesome. And they have the flaming ones. I haven't seen those in a while. And, of course, the white ones, my favorites. Super awesome. I'd love to see those in the dark. Here's some zombie arm pathway markers, too. I don't know if I've ever pressed the button on this, so let's do it just for the fun of it. Ooh, that is cool. Flashing and shocking lanterns on zombie arms. That is pretty cool. And this is $35, not too bad. Speaking of shocking, they do have live wires here. They don't have them at every store, but they are awesome and super cool. I love that. Sometimes when I'm walking around the store, I hear these going off and I hear kids like pretending to be shocked. I think that's hilarious. The kids love these. And check this out. If you guys are wondering, they do have the six volt DC adapters. These are $15. Sometimes you break your adapter or you lose it. They do have replacements here at the store. And look at this. They also have battery adapters here. No more outlets or extension cords. So you can get this for $20 and you don't have to use an extension cord. You can just use batteries. I think I will get some of these at some point because I'm going to do an inflatable haunted house and I don't want to be running a bunch of cords everywhere because everybody will be tripping on them. And we saw these yesterday, I believe, the Extreme Haunted FX box. That is so cool. Pounding on the door. 27 sounds. That is really cool. And these are a good price too at $17. A great thing for a haunted house or scary trick-or-treat theme. Sometimes people ask me about the step pads. At Sphere Halloween, they have two here. They have the green one right there that says step here. And they have a red one that says step right up. That would go great with a clown animatronic. And that is $7. And look, 
they have more but i've never seen these in the store there's a smashed pumpkin that would be a cool one bloody bloody footprints and a spider i would love to see the smashed pumpkin somewhere We'll keep our eye out, but I highly doubt we're going to find one in the store. They do have the infected rat. He is too cool. And, of course, the gnarly bunny. And Scabs, the chihuahua dog. He's cool, too. All torn up. You can see his bones. How freaky is that? And they have the prowling cat and the secret keeping cat, my dad calls him. Let's check out these fog timers, because I think I might have to get one for my haunted house. Compatible with most fog machines. Automatic time control or manual control. Hmm. I'll have to look at this and see what kind of controls they actually do have. $22. Duration, interval. Ooh, all right. Yes, I definitely will have to get one of these so that whenever I have my haunted house, I won't have to mess with the fog machine. And I'll probably end up getting a fog hose and adapter too so I can just kind of run this wherever I want in the haunted house and keep the fog machine off to the side so nobody's tripping over it. Stay tuned for a video on the haunted house because I'd like to do a video of setting it up, maybe a live stream, I don't know, and I'd like to do a live stream from the inside of the haunted house so you guys can see people go through and get scared. Check this out, we are seeing more and more of these, the Lord Raven costume, how cool, $45 with a light up mask, it is awesome that they have a lot of them this year. I've been seeing them more and more often but when I am not seeing is the bobblehead costume the bobblehead pumpkin i saw him last year once or twice and i haven't seen him since they do have the pig butcher though i think these light up costumes here are hilarious i've seen a group of kids go around in these while trick-or-treating in a different neighborhood at night over at my uncle's house and they are so funny i would love to see a gang of these people running around my neighborhood look at the smiley face on that this is 45 dollars and a great costume for a group of friends in the nighttime you can not see the black you can only see the light and right now i see red blue and the smiley face green i don't see any other colors here's the inflatable rubber chicken costume somebody at the live stream was asking me if they had it they do for 50 dollars. sometimes they don't have him though he's kind of hard to find this is the one we did see during the live stream though the white chicken for 50 dollars. they almost always have that one lots of fall guys costumes here guys come and get them they have a bunch of the chickens they have the yeetus hammer spooky doodles the orange inflatable the pink one and right here i used to think this was the blue costume but it's actually just an accessory kit that comes with the crown and the tail and then you have to buy one of these costumes to go with it this kit is hmm twenty dollars and then the costumes are fifty dollars oh this one's sixty he must be popular i guess the chicken is sixty two oh well so sixty dollars for the big ones and fifty dollars for the regular ones sixty dollars for mr skelly as well i suppose Jeez, and forty for this guy hmm kind of weird how they decide the prices on these they have so many chucky things here chucky is a great costume here's the costumes right here for forty dollars each they even have a female one right there for forty dollars Here's the half mask. That is a great quality half mask for $22. And the hammer, that might be my favorite Chucky weapon, for $13. And right over here, they also have the ruler. That's a great one, all covered in blood. Let's see how much the ruler is. That is $10, not too bad. I hope you guys like when I check the prices, because I check the price on pretty much everything. They also have Chucky's ax right there, the knives, and here's some awesome Chucky sweaters right there. That is very cool for $37. They do have the Roxanne Wolf Five Nights at Freddy's costume. That one is kind of hard to find, and she is $45. And of course, they have Foxy and Glamrock Freddy and the regular Freddy. Ooh. Ooh, and they also have Montgomery Gator. They have all the Five Nights at Freddy's costumes here, but I hope they make some more for next year. I don't know how I skipped past the zombie babies. Let's see if we can name them all. Spider Biter Billy. Oh, look, he's got a spider on his foot that probably tickles. <laughs> Slay Time right there. Chompin' Connie with her brain. Mothy Max. We haven't seen him in a little bit. Devilish Desmond. Snackin' Stevie with his delicious hand. Wretched Ralphie with his delicious rat. And of course, we have Gorious George down here. They always have a ton of Gorious George. Okay, guys, that's what we're Halloween in St. Peter's, Missouri. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ice cream? Everybody.
Everybody likes ice cream. What's up guys? There is a full moon on a spooky fall night and we are out here at Spirit Halloween in Fenton. Let's go inside and see what awesome Halloween stuff they got. I like how they have this store set up already. Leatherface right here to greet us. Hello, Leatherface. I love his grunting. He is great. I wish they had some Leatherface costumes here, though. I've never seen them yet. And, of course, we have Stilts with his big purple eyes. Come on, Stilts, juggle for me. Good to see him, even though he is a little bit quiet. Of course, we have the Martian warrior over here. We have to get him activated. I wonder if he has any mist in his gun. No, no mist right now, but that's okay. That green light in his helmet is awesome. $400 for the Martian warrior. Let's go around the corner here. Ooh, it's poor George. No heckles today. He's missing an eye. Look. <laughs> That is too bad. After he ate his legs, he was still hungry, so he ate his eye. And I love that fiery orange red hair. He is great. Good to see you, Mr. Poor George, and your loud laughing. Of course, we have Slim over here with his red hair. Let's get him going. Oh my goodness. We have to hit it again. Let's see here. No, he is not going to work. That is too bad. But look at all the shininess on him. He is great. All right, do we have the widow around the corner here? Yes, we do. Miss Widow with her beautiful black hair. Break your neck for me, girl. All right. I love her. I just met a fan today that said that she scares him, and I totally understand because she is freaky. All right, Mr. Sitting Scarecrow, can you jump at me? Yes. He is great. I love the scary version of him, and he goes perfect with the flames. And, of course, Mr. Dagger Mike, we have to say hello to him. Hello, Dagger Mike. <laughs> All right. Good to see you, Mr. Dagger Mike. I love the skeletons up here. They are hilarious. He drops his eyeball. That is great. Very cool. All right, they do have the back area set up here. Mr. Howling Spirit is here to say hello. Hello, Mr. Howling Spirit. He is super cool. A lot of people didn't like him, but I love him. And of course, the gargoyle. He is not working. Oh, he is. The bell tolls and fog comes out of his mouth when he is fully set up, so he is awesome. All right, I do see Darling Dolly over there. We'll have to say hello to her. Look at this. They have a Desmodus on sale for $114 because he cannot reset. I wonder if you could fix that somehow. Over here, we have Mr. Gordo. Good to see a Gordo pop up at me and scare me. There he goes. Yes. I love him so much. What a great pumpkin animatronic he is. And of course we have Blackheart over here. We must say hello to Mr. Blackheart and his girlfriend. Your time has come. Nice and loud. I like Join that so we can hear his quotes. And forever. Thank you so much, Mr. Blackheart. You are amazing. And of course, darling Dolly. Look at her in all her glory. She is great. Jump out and scare me, says Dolly. There she goes. She is so awesome. And her hair looks super shiny right now. She must have just got back from the spa. All right, we've got the Whispering Grave Watcher. We always have to say hello to her. She is great, but she is not working right now. And of course, Mr. Skelly Belly over here. Good to see you, Mr. Skelly Belly. We'd love to say hello to you. Yes. 
He is great. Jumps up super fast and scares you very well. Let's see if Mr. Spider's taking a nap. Knock, 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 knock. He must be taking a nap in there. Oh, well, we'll let him sleep. We'll take a look at the animatronics on the floor. Straw man, too young, crouchy, and a widow back there. Too slim, leather face, stilts. We have two of him. And over here, I see another straw man and three eternal rest. And of course, as always, the man's possessed friend. But no Colderness, and the Colderness is awesome. We just saw her earlier today for the first time ever operating. They do have a Sam, Spider Biter Billy, Sleigh Time, Snack and Stevie, Revenous Ruby, Mothy Max, Wretched Ralphie with his rat, Flippin' Freddy, Chompin' Connie, and Devil Cherub right there. Sidesteppers, sidesteppers, I love sidesteppers. I love to see these guys, and they are awesome. They all work almost all the time. Chucky right there, Leatherface, look at this. How great, they are all working. I love that. And they have plenty of Ghostface right there. So if you want him, he is fully stocked for you. They are also fully stocked on the Ghostface blow molds right here. Let's see if this one will light up for us. No, let's try this one right here. They are all pretty much dead. Everybody loves to press the buttons on these. Annabelle is lighting up though. And we have the Killer Clown and Sam. Plenty of statues too. The Ghostface is my favorite with his sad pumpkin. We'll see if he lights up. Yes, he does. I have to carve a pumpkin that looks like that. And of course we have Michael Myers. I will also carve his pumpkin. And of course we have Sam down here. Will he work? Yes, he will. Hey, they have some mugs over here. They usually don't have mugs over here. Leatherface is one of my favorites, but also Jason and this one right here, $17 for that. They have all three of my favorites right there. And here's another one I love, the Poltergeist TV. And what in the world is this? This is from the Amityville Horror. How cool, there's a fly on it. All right, I've never seen this before. I love the house and the red and the X. That is awesome for $17. I've never seen that mug before. Of course, they always have plenty of signs, but look at this. They have the Halloween countdown to Halloween sign right there. And it has this magnet right here with a knife and a circle. So you can count down the days to Halloween. And that one is $18. This store is absolutely huge. I love it. This is a great store to visit guys and look over here coming over to the masks they do have this melting face i like that one that is unique and i have not seen it a whole bunch they also have the ice cream clown i have not seen him in a little while that is a pretty cool mask he's pretty expensive though he is 50 dollars, but he is very cool and i'm sure under a black light he would look awesome they do also have the leather face masks and the halloween ends mask and the martian warrior those ones we always look for and look right here the borderlands psycho mask i've never seen that one before my brother likes borderlands so he might like this for twenty dollars plenty of the chrome masks too i love these they're super shiny we've got the metallic pumpkin right there that is a great one we'll see how much he costs that is thirteen dollars and right here oh no we dropped him we gotta put him back up we don't like to mess up the store when they have it nice and organized like this and right here we have a very nice sinister ghost chrome mask and we have the red one and right there we have the chrome smiling face that is a super freaky one. Oh, they have them right here too awesome look you can see myself hello and let's see what this looks like when you look inside the mask so you can actually see everything through this mask this is 13 dollars and super cool oh wait a minute look behind it they also have the regular chrome one that is just all chrome and no teeth they have all of the good vintage masks too the ghost the zombie there's the mummy right there an awesome one they have so many of these. There's the dingus mask. They are fully stocked. Look at this. I have been waiting to find a weapon that I have never seen before. And here it is. The spiky skull thing. Mortar star. That's what they call it. Oh my gosh. It almost fell. And that is $20. Look at this thing. I almost hit myself in the head with it. That is so awesome. Plenty of the plush hats here today. Look at this. They have the mushroom hat. That's a cool one that I've never seen before. And they have the horse. It looks like the horse is wearing the mushroom hat. That is hilarious. They also have the flamingo right there, a shark, a rainbow, all kinds of stuff. If I was going to dress up as a pimp for Halloween, I would totally get this suit right here for $70. That is the entire suit right there. It even has a money sign tie on it. And look at this. I would get this fur mink coat that would really top off the costume. Check this out. Here's an inflatable banana costume that I have never seen before. This one is $50 and it's got the banana with his tongue sticking out and sunglasses. That is hilarious i usually see the regular one but right now i do not see it oh there it is right there that one's not inflatable 
but he is $30. And there's the corn. I think it would be really cool if you did a Halloween party that was based on heaven. That would be really cool. And you've got all kinds of costumes for it. Somebody would have to be Jesus, but you also have monks, nuns, all kinds of extras for the nuns as well, like the crosses and glasses. Cross glasses, those are pretty cool. And over here they have priests right there for $25, bishops for $50. There's the Pope. That would be a funny one to see at the party. And I would probably cover the floor with white balloons if I did that kind of party. And then every time somebody walked into the party, I would take this flask full of holy water and I would say, welcome to heaven, bless you, and throw water at them. I don't look at this stuff all too often, but somebody might want to see it. The Mickey and Friends Disney costumes. They have a Mickey Mouse kit right here and they have the Mickey Mouse gloves, a union suit right there. They have his shoes and all kinds of little extras if you're going to be Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Let's check how much the gloves are. Those are $13 and the shoes are $20. Check it out. Two more popcorn guns. Man, every store has these now. That is so cool. And the cotton candy gun. We always press the button on that. And they have the popcorn clown statue there. And I think this stuff deserves a good look. The poison ivy stuff. This stuff is really creative and cool. They have ivy that you can put in your hair, poison ivy capes right there with the ivy all over it, gloves, necklaces, entire costumes, all kinds of stuff if you want to be poison ivy. And look at this, the poison ivy whip. That is very cool for $12.99. Lots of plush here. They have been fully stocked on plush items in this area. We have a Crouchy, a Michael Myers, Annabelle, and Ghostface, one of my favorites from 2023. Look, they have a little skelly bones too. This is awesome. They have a bunch of the book bags too. My favorite is the Ghostbusters one, but they have Chucky, Nightmare Before Christmas, SpongeBob, Michael Myers, all the cool ones. So I just noticed this. I see these baskets all the time for Little Red Riding Hood, or if you want to be whatever her name is from uh, The Wizard of Oz, you could totally use this as a candy collecting thing. This is $11 and that would go great for your costume if you're going to be Little Red Riding Hood or something. Now this one is cute. I always look at these kids' costumes in case I find something new and cute for my daughter to wear for Halloween. And look at this for $30, the cheeky chipmunk. That is awesome. My little sister Aubrey loves Encanto and she is going to be Mirabelle for Halloween this year. Or maybe it was last year that she was Mirabelle. I don't remember. But this one is $40 and this one is the glasses for $17. Dorothy, that's what her name is. I could not remember that. $40 for the Dorothy costume, but it does not come with the little puppy. You will have to get your own puppy and you have to get your own basket as well. Plenty of the Poppy Playtime stuff. They have the mask right there for Huggy Wuggy and the one right here for Kissy Missy. The eyes do light up red and they have plenty of costumes. That one is my favorite. The one where you can actually have Kissy Missy or Huggy Wuggy's mouth, but they also have these ones where your face is in the mouth. I see these Pokemon costumes all the time, but I never really go through them and they have a ton of them here. We've got Eevee, Char Lizard, Bulbasaur, right there. I've never seen that one before. Score Bunny, Flambino, what in the world? We also have this guy. What is his name? He is green. Grookey, Quiz Tempo, weird for $27. There's Squirtle. And they have Gengar, or whatever the name is. I don't know how to pronounce some of these, but they are very cool. Here's some Top Gun Maverick costumes. I've never seen these before, and these are $50. I've never seen the movie, but I know it is popular. No bobblehead pumpkin costumes here. I don't think we're ever going to find it, but look at this. The Pumpkin Scorched Mask. That is a cool one. Let's see if we can get him to work. No, there is no tab, so he must be dead, but he does light up really nice. Here's another scorched mask right there. Red one. All right. That is cool. Let's see how much that one is. $17 for the scorched and the pumpkin scorch is $17 as well. And they do have laughing Jack down here. That is a super creepy costume. And that one is on sale for $35. What a deal. Just for the fun of it, we'll go over here and check the step pads. I don't see any of the new ones. I don't know if we ever will though. I don't know if they actually order any of the new ones. No way. People told me to buy this the last time I found it. The talk clown door knocker and this one looks like it's a lot better shape than the other ones I have ever found and I've not found a lot of them let's see if he works no way oh he's trying to work but his batteries must be dead somebody told me this is super rare and I believe it $40 for him. You never find him, so there he is. I am tempted to buy him. And I like that style of door knocker better than this style, just the regular plastic. I like when they put real hair and make it out of foam and stuff. That is awesome. I hope we can find some more of these in the future. Here's the wall of inflatables. I hadn't seen them and I was wondering where they are. And look at this, the skull. I have never seen the skull before. Let's see if we can get it down here without knocking ourselves out. Ugh. 
very carefully, yes. Let's take him over here and get a good look at him. How awesome, a rare one. He would go good with the inflatable skeleton hands that we found in another store earlier in the season. His eyes light up red and everything. He is $80, how cool. I love finding stuff we've never seen before. Six feet tall too, that is awesome. We'll go ahead and toss this guy right back up there. I wonder if anyone will buy him. I'm surprised nobody has bought him already. And look at this, they have the coffins. Those are also sort of hard to find, kind of rare, and they are $60. How tall is this? Almost six feet, that is cool. All right guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Fenton, Missouri. <laughs> I didn't want her to scare me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, we're out here at Spear Halloween in New Philadelphia, Ohio. This used to be an Ace Hardware. Let's go inside and see if they got any of the new sidesteppers. I am still looking for the ghost face one. Let's check it out. All right, we've got Stilts and Leatherface greeting us at the doorway here. Shout out to PTT Squad for giving me a nice donation. He wanted me to shout him out when I saw Leatherface again. Leatherface is so awesome. I love him. I have been playing the video game and it is amazing. I have a chainsaw from Spirit, but I'm gonna have to paint it yellow like his. All right, Leatherface, I love you. Thank you so much for swinging your chainsaw around. We've got stilts here. Let's get him going. Stilt is a very cool clown animatronic. I do like him a lot. He is $350 and he is juggling his bowling pins. All right, Stilts, we'll go around the corner here. We've got the straw man waiting on us to activate him. Come on, Mr. Straw Man, spook me. If you're looking for somewhere safe, you can hide in the hole I dug out back. It's six feet deep and very cozy. <laughs> I'll even tuck you in with a few layers of soil on top to have a nice, long rest. I know the worms would appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that quote a lot. I know the worms would appreciate you. Thank you, Mr. Strawman. We'll go around the corner here and we've got the widow. I love the widow. She's got the sun in her face. Poor widow. That is one of the quietest widows I've ever heard, but I love her cracking neck. She is so awesome. She is $200. That is not bad for her. Thank you, Miss Widow. We'll go around the corner here and see Mr. Slim. Slim Jim, open your bag of popcorn for me. I would love it if one of these stores had Slim and Shorty set up. Honk. <laughs> Somebody said they honked the same nose that I honked in one of the other stores I was at. Thank you, Slim. Around the corner, we should have poor George, I believe. Let's see here. Yes, poor George and his two faces. And he is quiet right now. He is usually super loud, screaming in your face. I love all the clown animatronics. Clowns are very popular. I also love his striped sweater and his fiery orange hair. Very cool. Bottomless George. <laughs> All right. Ooh, look at this. They have an awesome setup back here and they have animatronics here. Or no, those are inflatables actually. A bunch of inflatables here and they have a bunch of animatronics over there that we'll look over in just a moment here. But let's go ahead and activate all of these awesome guys over here. Here's the Howling Spirit. Oh my gosh, look at her spinning her head so fast. I love it. There goes the Howling Spirit. I honestly really like how she spins her head so much. I know it's not what she's supposed to do, but she is so funny. Look at that. <laughs> I do love the howling spirit. He is very cool. I love anything with ghosts. Look at her spinning her head. That is so awesome. I don't know why I enjoy that so much. 
I'd rather her do that than what she's actually supposed to do. <laughs> that is so funny. All right, we've got Gordo here. Gordo used to be the king, but who the king is now is Desmodus back there. We'll check him out in a moment. Maybe he's not working. Oh, there he goes. Sometimes you have to step on the pads extra hard. <laughs> there he goes. He is so cool. I love Gordo with the guts and the seeds. He is so awesome. Somebody should get him and then replace the top and bottom with a real gourd. Okay, thank you very much, Gordo. We're going to go over here and we've got Darling Dolly. She is hiding right next to the creepy tree. She is so awesome. She almost fell over when she jumped at me. That would have scared me. <laughs> she is so awesome. Her hair is in her face though. I love her and I think I'm going to get her by the end of the year as long as I can get one of the spooky trees too because I want to put the tree in my office and have her hiding right next to it like she does in the store. Right behind all of these awesome animatronics we have Blackheart the Riz Reaper. He has $300. There he goes. Time has come. He is super loud right now. now His jaw isn't working as good as it usually does, but he is nice and loud. All right, Riz Reaper, right next to him, we have the Whispering Grave Watcher. And, oh, there she goes. <laughs> she is very cool, and she's affordable. I believe she's $80. Yes, $80 for her. We also have little skelly bones. <laughs> There he goes. He jumps up so quickly. I love it. He is a classic, and he will probably be a classic now for the rest of time. King Desmodus. Please work, King Desmodus. There he goes. Yes, he does work. Oh, I love that. That is why he is the king, because he jumps up so quickly. He is so awesome. It takes a long time to go back into his place to set up again, but he is so awesome. All right, we'll knock on the door and see who's behind it. There it is. Ah. <laughs> I love the jumping spiders. He is also a classic. I want them to make a white jumping spider though. I think that would be really cool. I love those lights behind him. Okay, we have a ton of inflatables here and look at this, I never ever see these. I don't even know if I've ever seen them. Six foot inflatable skeleton hands. What in the world? That is $70 on clearance, how so? They used to be $100. I've never seen that before, that is very cool. We also have the ghost face lunging with his knife, the jack-o'-lantern archway, the haunted trees. We've got a bunch of ghosts here, the reapers, all the things we usually love to see, including the cats and rats. Going back over here, we have some animatronics on the floor. We've got the sitting scarecrow, Mr. Punchy. We see Mr. Punchy a little bit often this year, which is very cool. He is from last year, 2022. We also have stilts, the Mars attacks Martian right here, and the sitting scary scare oh my gosh scary sitting scarecrow that's a tongue twister we've got two of him he is awesome and looky what we have here ghost face side steppers i'm so happy that they have him i have not seen him yet i have not pressed the button on him yet he is 33 dollars. let's see what he does oh my gosh i love it that is so cool he makes the slashing sound you can hear somebody screaming that is very cool. I feel like he's one of the shorter lasting ones. The other ones last a good while. Look, we also have Leatherface. That is so awesome. They have two of the new ones. They also have a Chucky one somewhere. Yes, right here. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Three of the new side steppers. Let's get him going. Uh, I don't want to break his chainsaw. There he goes. I love Leatherface. Leatherface is one of my favorite movies right now. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I play the video game all the time and it is awesome. We also have Chucky here. He is so awesome. I love this. See, he lasts a lot longer than Ghostface does. Let's get them all three going. That is so awesome. I love all these side steppers. I'm definitely going to get Leatherface at some point and probably Ghostface as well because they are both amazing. Right below them, we do have some of these light up blow molds and they are not working as often as they were in the beginning because people are coming in here and pressing the buttons all the time and running out the batteries, which is okay because that is what they are meant to be here for. Plenty and plenty of zombie babies here, guys. Let's see if we remember all of their names. We've got Gutsy Gwen as always. Uh, Revenous Ruby with her red eyes, 
Snackin' Stevie, is that correct? Yes, Snackin' Stevie, Flippin' Freddy, Munchin' something, <laughs> Munching, what is her name? Chompin' Chani, Chompin' Chani, Munchin' something, that's funny. We're call, we'll call her Munchin' something from now on. Chompin', ch uh, Chompin', what is it? Chompin' Connie, why can't I remember that? We also have Devil Cherub, uh, hmm, Spider Biter Billy, that's what he is. Mothy Max right here. And look, I've never seen this one before. What in the world? It's a purple one, just like Revenous Ruby. I have never seen that before. That is so freaky. What is his name? That is Slay Time. Oh, like Playtime, Slay Time. I like plays on words. That is awesome. How cool. I've never seen that before. Around the corner from the zombie babies, we do have some horror babies here, guys. Leatherface, he sells out very quickly, and I want him so bad. He is awesome. How much is he again? He is $50. I love it so much. I'm definitely getting him at some point this year. We also have Pennywise, and we have Ghostface, another one that I'm definitely getting by the end of the year. $50 as well. Another ghost face. Wow, they got two of them here. And they've got Sam. He is almost always here. They also have some of the scary plush dolls here. We've got Eerie Emma, Decrepit Haunted Doll, Rosalie, Devilish Desmond, and I thought I saw the Monkey Chimes. There he is, Monkey Chimes and the Butcher. And somebody told me about the Butcher, or the Monkey Chime, when he does chime his little chimes when he press the button right there on his leg. He is so cool. I love that. I didn't even know that he did that until the other day. They've got these chains right here, the hook chains. I am definitely gonna get some of these at some point because I want to decorate my office a little bit like Leatherface's lair. Let's see how much these are. These are $15, that is not bad. And it comes with two, three of the hook chains. That is perfect. I'll have to only get one of them because three is plenty to hang a body on. They have plenty of body parts that I can get to hang on the chains. Severed arms, that one looks a little more fresh than this one. This one looks kind of like it's been sitting there. It's been severed hours or even days ago. They also have hands. That one looks like it's rotted as well, just like that one. We have a fresh one right there. And here's another bloody arm. That one's not as good as these ones, I feel like. I think my favorite one would probably be that one. But we also have intestines. Those are funny. And we have brains. I love that. I'm gonna have to get a bunch of this stuff to hang in my office like a Leatherface theme. Here's some more hands right there. Ham hocks. My dad had made those super popular. Here's the pig head and the two-faced guy. He is freaky. And check this out. They also have severed feet. That is funny. Plenty of things to hang. Oh, look. These ones are already on chains. That is perfect. I definitely need this stuff. Behind them, we do have some of these little cheap hanging props here, and these are very cool and affordable. They are $15 each. We have the zombie and the pumpkin, and we also have the reaper. Let's put him right back in his place so we can look at our supportive mother witch right there she is very cool and she says some funny things let's see if she works try to find the button on her i don't remember where it was i thought it was on the tag but i don't see it i guess we'll skip it this time but she is very cool and says some funny quotes but this right here is a scary shake stakeable shakeable stakeable scarecrow let's see if he does anything oh yes his eyes light up that is cool. That would be freaky seeing that hanging in the dark. Over here, they do have Scabs, the Chihuahua dog, and the secret keeping cat who will not tell me where my dad is. And we have the bunny. I love the bunny. He is so freaky and torn up. We also have the prowling cat. I love that one as well. And I think I will get him at the end of the year as well. I think if I'm decorating my office like Leatherface, I'm probably going to have to get a bunch of bones and stuff. So I think uh, at some point I'll get a bag of bones. I thought they had a bag of bones here maybe not at this store but they do have full skeletons here these are super awesome look at that i could totally get that and put him in my office and then they have another one over here that has some led eyes let's pull him up real quick i don't think there's any buttons to get his eyes going but he is very cool and you can tell they're led just by looking at them if you look on the website you can see what the eyes look like and they look very awesome this store is set up super cool look at this place it is huge and they have it set up really awesome I 
I love it. And check this out. It's actually connected to the rest of the store in the shopping plaza that's over here. I think this is a Bueller's. Yes, it is. All the Halloween candy right here. That is very cool. We're going to have to do some shorts of the Halloween candy. But let's check out the masks. Lots of awesome masks here, guys. They have the Toxic Nozzles Clown. He is so cool. We see him a lot lately. I feel like last year he was very hard to find. The tab is already pulled on this, but he is not working. That's too bad. I hope we can find a Leatherface Pretty Woman mask. I have not seen it in a while. We do have this regular Leatherface mask right there, but so far I do not see the Pretty Woman Leatherface mask. That is crazy. It is becoming more and more rare every day. Here's a hammer right here. I definitely want a hammer for my Leatherface costume, but this one is too long. The one that I need looks like a sledgehammer, but it is much smaller. We'll keep an eye out for that. Lots of the awesome goodies over here, guys. And check this out. They do have a Leatherface statue. We do not see him often, and I love this so much. Look. I don't think he lights up, but he does make some sounds. You can hear his chainsaw revving and somebody screaming in the background there. I can't even pick this thing up with one hand because it is so heavy. But that is what his face looks like close up. That is so awesome. I am definitely grabbing this at some point. And look over here, guys. They have the Holy Grail. Every plush that we want, <gasps> including the brand new, what is his name? Night Harvester. That is so cool. Look, he's got his pumpkin. That is awesome. We never see this guy. He is kind of rare, guys. $30 for him. We also have a Crouchy. I have Crouchy, and he is amazing. They also have Annabelle. She is kind of rare as well. I haven't seen that movie yet, but I will watch it soon. And they have Michael Myers. I'm going to get him at some point, but I'm going to wait for now. What is this that I see around the corner? It's a Pennywise statue. That is super freaky. I've never seen this before. Whoa. That is so cool. He just made like one quick sound. Oh my gosh. He makes quotes. They're very short quotes, but it is very cool. And you got a fire. Is that a fire underneath him or something? I think it is. I'm going to have to watch it because I've never seen it before. Look at that. That is an awesome statue. I love it. And that is $90. Below him, we do have the Pennywise mask lights and this one, the Friday the 13th mask lights. That is the one that I want. He is awesome. You can put him on the wall or on your desk. And we have the statues that we love. Michael Myers and Ghostface with the sad pumpkin. These guys are awesome and they light up very well. We have blankets and I feel like we're going to have the one that we want. It's the rare one, the Spirit Halloween one with the characters on it. They do have the reversible plush throw right there, but... No, I do not see the rare one. That is weird because they have a bunch of stuff here that I've never seen before and a bunch of rare things that we don't see at every store. Check this out, guys. They have book bags that I've never seen before. Look at that Michael Myers book bag. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I've never seen this before. That is so cool. Look, the house is on the back. That is so cool. The night he came home, there's a pumpkin on the porch. That is so awesome. I've never seen it before and I love the book bags that they have this year. They've also got the Killer Clowns book bag and this one I've never seen before as well. This one is from Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at that burning pumpkin. That is so cool. I love this, man. They got really creative with these book bags. Of course, we also have some bobbleheads here, guys. They do have Michael Myers hiding behind the sheet and Michael Myers hiding behind the bush. Gremlins Gizmo, Bagwell bobblehead, Scraps, Leatherface number one. And they have, oh, I guess that's it. Some more of the Michael Myers hiding behind the bush down there. This one is so awesome. I don't see him always, but I always keep my eye out for him because he is sort of rare and he is very cool. They do have Five Nights at Freddy's costumes, Montgomery Gator, Glamrock Freddy. That seems to be it for now. We'll keep an eye out for new ones of those if they have any more. And they have Poppy Playtime, Huggy Wuggy, and Kissy Missy costumes. These ones are my favorite. Those are cool, but I like these ones with his actual face on it. And these are $60 each. Check this out. They also have the Cowboy Corpse. I love this one. He is so cool. You do not see him at every store. I love it. They have a bunch of the Fall Guys costumes here, guys. They have the pink with the crown, blue with the crown, spooky doodles, chicken inflatable, and the orangeade inflatable, and they have the blue freeze. Very cool. Oh, look, and they also have the book bags. That is awesome.
awesome. Chris Fawcett wanted to see if they had any Megan costumes. I have been looking for this for a long time. Megan costumes, isn't that awesome? Dress, necktie, and wig. These are hard to find, $60, and I think they are just now releasing them in the stores, so keep your eyes peeled, they do have them. They also have Annabelle right there, I've never seen that one before, that is $50, and they have Argol? Argol, that is weird. This is from Stranger Things, and it is $60 for that. And look, they also have the Dustin wig, that is hilarious. And here is something down here that I want, the family video vest, because I grew up with family video, and I am so sad that they all closed down. $30 for the family video vest. Shadow wanted me to take a look at all the scythes for the Grim Reaper costumes. They have a bunch of them, guys. This is crazy. They have these ones right here that have skeleton hands on them, and they just have regular ones right here. That's probably the one that I would get. And these are $7 a piece, which is not bad at all. They also have these ones right here that are made out of bones. That is very cool, and that one is $10. The one with the skeleton hand is $8. I'm kind of surprised surprised that they don't have any that have like a shiny scythe because that's what I would want but this is a very cool axe right here look at that this is eight dollars the twins wanted to see bluey stuff they have a big old nice bluey sign up there but look at this they also have a candy collector this is a plush candy collector and that is very cool let's see how much he costs oh i don't even see a price on him oh there it is this is 17 dollars. we also have some bluey ears there that is funny for nine dollars a piece and we have all of these awesome bluey costumes forty dollars for this one right here and forty dollars for these ones as well that's not too bad and we have a little plush bluey right here and he is $11 for a little plush bluey with a keychain thing. You could hang him on your book bag. I love the way they had this store organized. You guys check this out. We have the Friday the 13th Jason prop replica mask. That is amazing. That's my favorite Jason mask for $45. And it says this is not a toy, but I would totally treat it like a toy. They also have the plush Jasons. I love that, but they are a little bit pricey at $17 a piece. That is crazy. They also have the Freddy plush right here. He is cool too look at his hand with the knives and he is also 17 dollars. and what do we have here i see it around the corner the popcorn gun man i am seeing these more and more often as the year goes by that is so cool i cannot wait to buy it they told me there's a crank on it yes there's a crank right there when you crank it the popcorn starts a popping and it is loud i cannot wait to buy this thing a hundred bucks we have to check the t-shirts before we go to see yes they do have it the sam t-shirt that is so awesome i cannot believe it this is the first one that we have seen this year so far how cool he is kind of hard to find you guys and he is awesome we have all kinds of sizes here 2x 2x medium large extra large that is so cool i'm so glad we finally found it all right guys that's it for spirit halloween in new philadelphia ohio this store was awesome it is so big and we have so many awesome things that i've never seen before and a bunch of rare things that we hardly ever see thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one All right, guys, we're at our first store over here. There's already a line of people waiting to go in and get some good deals. Let's go inside and see what awesome stuff we can find in here. Okay, we got our cart. They got everything broken down. They have plenty of stuff here. So I'm gonna go ahead and look around and see what I can find. It looks like they are pretty well stocked still. I've had my eye on this for a long time. So we're gonna grab one of these, make sure everything looks good on him. This is Velcro so it can be stuck back on. So I think we're gonna go ahead and grab that. I don't see any popcorn guns here, so we'll have to pass on that. We do have some animatronics on the floor still. Howling Spirit, Slim, Skelly Bones. There's a Betty Sharp right there. Let's see how much Betty Sharp is. Everything is 50% off right now, and she is $170. I'm tempted to grab her, but I think I'm going to pass. We also have Blackheart. Here's a jumping spider. They usually have a ton of them. Eternal Rest, and another Betty Sharp right there. How awesome. Sitting Scarecrows, and we do have a Leatherface right there. I think we will grab the jumping spider, though. Let's go around here and see what we've got with bobbleheads. 
all kinds of good ones still. They do have a leather face. I kind of want him. I think I might grab him. 40 bucks, so he's $20, 50% off right now. Michael Myers, Exorcist. There's the Killer Clowns. I kind of want him too. I think, hmm, that's a hard one. I think we'll get both. We'll get Leatherface, and then we're also going to get the Killer Clown right there. They still have a decent amount of blankets here, but I don't see any Leatherface, do I? No, no Leatherface, no Michael Myers, and no Ghostface. That is too bad. I think we'll pass on these. Unless we want one of the Mars Attacks one. Mmm, I kind of want him. $32, but it's 50% off. I'll think about that one. They have a few here, so we'll think about it. They are pretty well stocked right now still. Plenty of inflatables. I think I might want to get some inflatables. Let's see what they got. Ghosts, Reapers, Cats, Gargoyles, Coffins. They do have the Snakes, Ghost Face. $140 for the Archways. I want one, but I might just skip it for now. Plenty of zombie babies. I'd love to get some, but I think we're going to skip on them as well, even though I would love to get the rat boy right there. Check this out. They do have a Leatherface Sidestepper. I might get him instead of the bobblehead. Hmm, the bobblehead is awesome. We'll throw him in here just in case we decide to get both of them. They also have Leatherface Snow Globes here still. Plenty of things. Ooh, I definitely want a door cover. Let's go over here and see what kind of door covers we have left. We've got the ghost face flag, it right there. Uh, some killer clowns flags. Here's gremlins door covers, killer clowns door covers, monsters. And I think the only one I might want is this Chucky one. And I think we are going to grab him. $23 regular price, but 50% off. What a deal. No way, they even have a Leatherface baby. Oh my gosh. I don't know which Leatherface thing to get. I want the baby so bad, but I don't know if I want to get all three of these. I think we're just going to get him. We're going to have to get all three items there. Look at how full my cart is right now. And I kind of want this guy too, Ghostface. Let's see if he works. Is the button not there? Hmm. Hopefully he'd work if we put some batteries in him. I'm afraid to get him though without knowing if he works or not. Oh, you know what? I see his uh, knife is broken off, so we are not going to get him. We'll skip on Michael Myers for now and we'll continue looking around. I don't see any signs that I can't live without right now, so we'll skip on those, but they have plenty of them here. We definitely have to check out the masks though and see if they have any of the masks that we want. I know they don't have any of the rare ones. So we're not gonna find the corn mask here, which is too bad, but that's okay. They have plenty of things here. Pretty much fully stocked on the masks. I do not see the Pretty Woman leather face, but I do see the Mars Attacks Martian right there. We've got Michael Myers masks, Wacky Mole, all kinds of them but I don't see anything that I can't live without. I would love to have one of these hands, but I think I'm gonna skip on it for now. I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it. They're so awesome. And original price is $30, so 15 bucks, not too bad. But we're gonna skip, oh, I hate to skip on it, but we're gonna. They have a couple of the secret keeping cats here. None of the prowling cats. They're pretty well stocked, honestly. Ooh, they have plenty of live wires. Do I want some live wires? These are 50 bucks, original price, so $25 a piece. I am tempted to grab those. They are pretty cool. Check that out. Boy, I do want that, but I just don't know if I want to buy it. I'm afraid if we put these in the inflatable haunted house, people would run past them and get caught on them and then rip them. So I just don't know. I think, unfortunately, we're going to pass on them just because I don't want other people to break them. And I really have nowhere to set them up where people won't break them. Here's something I do want, though, the hooks chain. I do want at least one of these, $14 a piece, $15 a piece. Not too bad, half off right now, comes with three hooks. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. And it looks like they have plenty of lights here. I've wanted some lights, but I don't think I see any that I really want here. And I don't know how these black lights work. I'd love to have a black light. $35. I've heard that these just kind of light up the room. It doesn't actually work like a black light. So I wish I knew if they worked pretty good. The flames will be cool, but I think we'll skip on those. They still have some orange and candy corn lights here. I would love to have some of the orange lights, but I think I'll skip on that. I can get them cheaper somewhere else, even though these are on sale. We'll go take a look at the mugs in a minute. I definitely want some mugs. Right now, I'm just kind of looking at all the costumes. They have plenty of costumes here on sale. So if you want a costume for next year, definitely come and get one. They have plenty of the book 
bags here if you want a book bag those are in pretty good stock i do want the ghostbusters one but i think i'll skip on it for now the front area is pretty well stocked here as well we have plenty of things in here all the magnets and things if you want some magnets and this is what i'm looking for all the mugs i hope they have some that we want i don't see any leather face but i do see the michael myers pumpkin right there so we'll go ahead and grab him they have one of the amityville horror right there we're gonna go ahead and grab that one as well I kind of want the Mars Attacks Martian right there, but I don't know if I'll get that or not. I do also see a Crouchy mug right there, and we have the Nightcrawler. I do want the Nightcrawler so bad, but I think we'll skip it and just get some horror ones. I do see this one right here. That is a very cool Poltergeist mug. I think I might grab that one. How much are these? $17 a piece, not too bad for getting them for half off. So I think um, I think we will go ahead and grab that, but I'm gonna have to set some stuff down first because my hands and my cards are full. Okay, we ended up getting them all in our hands and I think it's ready to check out unless I wanna set them down and go look at the Ghostbusters stuff. Check this out, all these signs are $9.99. That Halloween life, I am going to grab that right here. How awesome is this? That is a great find. I gotta be careful picking it up. I don't wanna ruin it and we'll carry it over and put it with our stuff. Okay. We'll go ahead and stick that right there and go take a look at some other things. I don't think I want any of the weapons, but they do have plenty of them here. I mean, I want them, but I don't think I'm going to spend the money on them right now. I don't think I want any of these costumes, but they have plenty of them. All kinds of the inflatable costumes. If I wanted any costumes, now would be the time to get them because they have plenty here and they are 50% off. They do have some proton packs, but they don't have the big one that I wanted. So I think I'll skip on that one. Okay, I think we're ready to check out. I got to bring all my stuff over there to them look at this big old basket full of stuff and that awesome sign some mugs <laughs> that's good enough Is that it? Okay. yeah <laughs> okay we got a nice big haul here. How awesome. I cannot wait to take this stuff home. I gotta go back in for the big old sign. And I think we'll head over to another store now. Okay, we're over here at the Second Spirit Halloween at the Strip in Canton. All right, pretty well stocked. It looks like lots of people in line. There's everybody we know. Ooh, lots of animatronics over here. Blackheart, Howling Spirit, The Widow, Desmodus, Darling Dolly. We've got a Slim. They have plenty over here. I see blankets. I wanted some blankets, but I'm not seeing any that I want too bad. Wait a minute. There's a Nightcrawler right there. Michael Myers. We've got a couple of Friday the 13th. One right there and one over there. Some Killer Clowns blankets down here. Ooh, which ones am I going to grab? I think we're going to grab this one right here. Halloween with Michael Myers right in front of the moon. I want the night crawler, but I think I'll skip on him. I do want the killer clowns blanket, but I don't know if I want to get it right now. I think we're going to skip on him. Plenty of pillows too. I really want the big top burger. Let's take a look at him. Oh man, I want him so bad. We might have to grab him because I do want some kind of pillow. You know what? We got a Michael Myers blanket. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get one of these Friday the 13th pillows right there. And I realized that I forgot to get a cart, so we're going to grab a cart, but I am going to grab this ghost face before somebody else does. And our very nice friends over here at Spirit Halloween went ahead and brought me a cart. How awesome is that? So we can start filling it up with everything that we want. I don't even know where to start. We already have a jumping spider, so we're going to go ahead and skip on those. They do have plenty of signs here. I think we're going to grab one of the Camp Crystal Lake signs. Yoink! We'll go ahead and grab that and put it right into our cart. How awesome is that? They didn't have this at the other store. I did really want the Mars Attacks Martian pistol right there, but I don't know if I should grab him or not. I don't have anything else for Mars Attacks. We'll think about it. Nobody's grabbing them right now, so we'll put them right back and we'll think about that. Let's see what we got around the corner. Lots and lots of good things. Ooh, look at this. They have so many of the Texas Chainsaw Maskers. They do have a Killer Clown sidestepper right here. Does he work? Yes, he does. Oh boy, should we get him? Oh man, we might. They do have plenty more of the door covers, and I do want a couple of them. I was hoping to get a ghost face one, but I don't see any of him right now, so we'll just have to keep our eye. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's the uh, wall decor. That's not quite a door cover, but he is very cool, and we'll think about that one. They do have Leatherface down there, but we have plenty of Leatherface things right now. I don't see any of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre statues, but we do have the Chucky ones, and the Hocus Pocus, and the Killer Clowns, but we're going to skip on those for now. And look how many zombie babies they have. 
have. This is crazy. They have so many of them still. I don't think I'm going to grab any. I want them so bad, but I'm just going to wait on it. I don't think I want any of these right now. We did get a Leatherface one. Oh, but looky, looky right here. We have a Horror Baby Ghost Face. They have a bunch of them here, too. We're definitely going to grab one. This one looks to be the best. Thank you very much, Spirit Halloween. I told myself that I would go straight for the masks when I got in here, and I'm kind of upset that I didn't, but I did get a bunch of good things. And right here, I see the Terrifier mask. I think we might have to grab him. Oh my gosh, he is awesome. This one is $70 originally. We'll toss him in there for now until we decide if we want to get him or not. They do have a ton of good masks. Any ones that we want though? Hmm... I don't see any that I can't live without so far. I think for now, we'll just keep the one that we have right now, the Terrifier, and we'll keep an eye out for anything else, but for now, we'll skip everything else and go right over here and see what they got on this wall. They do have a Hugs the Clown doll here, and they have the Vintage Wolfman. How cool is that? I'm not going to grab them, though. I'm going to skip on them, and I'm even going to skip on the Butcher, even though I love him. Plenty more chains and live wires. They're actually pretty stocked right now. I'm kind of surprised about that. That, but I'm happy about it because that means I can get all the things that I want. They do have some of the prowling cats and scab the chihuahua dog and the bunny. Oh man, and some secret keeping cats. Lots and lots of inflatables too. They are pretty well stocked still. And look at this, they do have the 12 foot jumbo. I do want him, but I'm going to skip on him. They've got four of them here. So if you want them, you better run over and see if your local spirit Halloween has any. If I was going to buy any, it would be this lunging ghost face, but I don't know. He's $130 and 50% off so he's 75 bucks he is super cool and super tempting man do i want to spend that money i don't even know if my dad has this we might throw it in the cart just in case and our cart is getting pretty full look at all the good stuff we've got in here a big thank you to my friends over here at spirit halloween for bringing me this cart so i could fill it up just like the other spirit halloween they are fully stocked on costumes right now so if there's any you want i think there's a good chance that you can get them they also do have some of these deluxe replica ghostbusters proton packs but this is not the one that i wanted it's 80 bucks but 40 dollars 50% off right now. I'm gonna skip it because I want the big one. I kind of want some PJs, but I highly doubt they have anything that'll fit me, which is too bad. They do have an extra large that would definitely not fit me, but I would love a Killer Clowns PJ set. I came back over to the blankets to double check and make sure that they didn't have any Leatherface blankets hiding in between here, and they don't. Everybody grabbed up all the Leatherface ones, and that's okay. They do have a bunch of good blankets here. I'm really tempted to get the Killer Clowns one, but I don't think I'm going to. I think we're gonna skip on that. As for plush we do have a couple of the nightmare harvesters we've got some crouchies which is awesome but nothing that i think i can't live without i do see a bunch of mugs over here plenty of them and i think i saw one that i wanted yes right here the bloody hand mug i do want to grab that one we'll plop him right down in there oh yes we have one leather face mug left here i am definitely grabbing that there we go and somebody tried to hide the jason mug from me but I am much better than that. I found him and he is mine. Thank you. And I do see plenty of the Killer Clowns mugs here. I do want them, but I think we'll skip on them. I sure wish that I got a chance at buying one of the popcorn guns, but that's okay. I guess we'll just settle for uh, some of this other stuff over here. I don't know if I even want to grab any of this stuff. I would like the acid pie. That's a pretty cool one. $25 and it's half off. It's not a bad deal. Oh boy, I do see the life-size replica proton pack. It's the last one here. Do I want to buy this thing? Oh my gosh. If I want it, now is the time to get it. But oh my goodness, I don't know if I should get it or not. I'm knocking stuff down. I'm so excited. We'll go ahead and hang this right back up. And right here he is what's the original price on this guy 250 dollars so it's 125 dollars right now still a lot of money i do love ghostbusters i just don't know if i can make myself pay that much for this if i did get it i would have to get one of the costumes but i don't see one up there that would fit me and if i get this i'm also gonna have to get a pke meter and maybe even a walkie talkie what do i do there's so many things i want okay i think i know what i'm gonna do i already have these in my hand we've got a pke meter 
meter that hasn't even had the tab pulled yet. We've got a Ghostbusters walkie-talkie that doesn't even have the tab pulled yet. We've got the Proton Pack. I can't find a costume. I'll look around and see if I can find one before I leave today. But I think instead of getting the Ghost Face Inflatable and the Terrifier Mask, I'm just going to get these because I love Ghostbusters. Okay, Mr. Terrifier Mask, I hate to put you down, but somebody else will grab him. Normally, I'd put him right back in his regular place, but I know somebody's going to come in here and grab him up. Same thing with the Ghost Face Inflatable. I hate to leave him, but I want the Proton Pack more. Okay, we've got a cart full of awesome things here. I would love to get the Howling Spirit for 100 bucks, but I think I'm going to skip on that as well. They do have plenty of good things here still, so guys, if you're thinking about going to the 50% off sale ever, definitely do it early in the morning because people come in here and start grabbing everything up. Not just under all right we're walking out here with our big haul let's go home and look through it all okay guys i just got home i would say that shopping trip was a major success we got a ton of cool stuff right there are all of my bags i did not show you everything that i bought in the video today so stay tuned for a haul video coming very soon where i'm going to go through all these bags and show you all the awesome stuff that i got thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one First time I'm ever seeing this, I think. <laughs> I want it so bad. I see an entire, oh my gosh, they have a Mars Attacks. <laughs> Don't you like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. What's up, guys? We are over here at the Spirit Halloween in Ontario, Ohio at Richland Mall. This place is kind of hard to find because it is tucked back here, like behind the mall over by the food court, which is what you see right there. Let's go inside and see if they got a two scoops or even maybe a Heckles the Clown. All right, this place looks awesome. I love the dark colored floor. Oh my gosh, you hear the hooing. I wish they actually had an owl here, but check it out. We've got stilts. Let's get him started here. Stilts is so awesome and tall. And what an awesome color scheme for him. Purple, blue, I love the blue. He is so funny. His nose is smashed in a little bit like somebody punched him. We've also got the widow over here. She's gonna break her neck. Let's get her going. <laughs> I love that so much. I love the cracking sound they use for her. Okay, I see a ton of spooky stuff all around here. We're gonna go around the corner here and see if we can find any of the other animatronics here. Lots of good stuff to look at. No way, guys. Check it out. They've got a whole bunch of animatronics here. We'll check those out before we look for the other animatronics. They have a Gordo for sale. 150 bucks. I want him so bad and I am so tempted. I may have to grab him while I'm here. They also have what looks like to be four Bubbas. They have a slim Mr. Punchy and and the sitting scarecrow, always a classic. Okay, and back here, I see an entire- Oh my gosh, they have a Mars Attacks. They have the Martian Warrior, guys. I am so excited right now. I want to buy him so bad. It is so cool. All right, we got a stack right here. Let's go through this first. Another Gordo. They have two Gordos here, guys. Little Skelly Bones, Black Heart, Eternal Rest, Straw Man. Man, they have everything here. Here's a Stilts, more sitting scarecrow, and Black Heart. Three of the Deadly Creeper. We didn't get to see him for sale a whole lot last year. They have two Stilts here for sale. That is awesome. And a Dagger Mike. I am in disbelief that they have a Martian warrior because I haven't gotten to see him set up anywhere except for the grand opening. Let's see what they have set up over here. No Desmodus. We have not seen Desmodus anywhere. But here is Blackheart. We'll get him going. He's got the spooky sounds behind him. The Riz Reaper, somebody called him. I love it. Got to love the Riz Reaper. Okay, guys, we'll go over here and they've got the Grave Watcher. She is on motion, Activision. She is super creepy with the whispering, and she is a great affordable prop. I think she's like 80 bucks. Here's a little skelly bones. I gotta set him off. <laughs> Got 
Gotta love little skelly bones. Okay, and they have the door mechanism. Let's get that going. Okay. I love the green and blue lights behind there. And that is such an awesome setup where you knock on the door and it opens up and he jumps out. We have yet to see one where he works perfect though, where as soon as the doors open up, he comes jumping out to scare you. There's even more animatronics here. Another Bubba, Dagger Mike, the sitting girl on the swing. Here's another Slim. They have a ton of animatronics here. I wonder how they did that. We've got some zombie babies. Guys, they have all the awesome stuff here. Check it out. Here is Gutsy Gwen. So awesome. I love Gutsy Gwen digging into the jack-o'-lantern and eating the guts out of it. That is so funny. And they've also got this guy. I forget what his name is. Let's figure that out real quick. Devil Cherub. And he is actually on motion activation right now because I walked right by and he started going off. Pretty quiet though. We'd have to see if we can turn him up so you can hear some of his quotes because he's just a bit too quiet. And I kind of wish the wings would move as well. And of course they have Mothy Max. They have plenty of the plush dolls. Somebody that told me to keep my eye out for the butcher. I'm seeing the butcher almost everywhere that I go. They have a few of him. Two down there and one right here. Here's Monkey Chimes. He is one of my favorites. And if you shake him just right, he will chime his little things. There we go, just like that, I love it. And we've got some door knockers and some side steppers. Whoa, that is the first time that I've ever seen a working Frankenstein. That is so funny. I have never found a Frankenstein that works before. We haven't set off a bunch of these yet. These are just the hanging props here. Let's see if some of them work. He's working, I love it. He flaps his wings and his eyes light up red and he moans in pain. Let's see if he does anything. No, and none of those are going to work. This, whoa, look at the eyes on that. That is awesome. Six foot hanging ghost. And I love the colorful eyes. I love anything that would look awesome during a Halloween party. $37 for him. Somebody was asking me to check out the step pad covers. Here they are. Step right up. This one looks like it would be part of a circus theme. Here's another one that is green with feet on it. And it says step here. And here's one more green one that says step here. That seems to be all that they have at this one. And check it out. There's a fogging skull pile hidden back here. I kind of like how this year they've just been hiding things. They have all the masks that we like to look for. Martian War. Your Mars attacks with the moving jaw. I love that so much. And these are the eye holes. You look through right above his eyes. They also have the original Trick or Treat Studios Halloween mask and Trick or Treat Studios Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask. And they have Trick or Treat Studios Halloween mask right here. I don't remember which one this one's from. So far, I haven't seen the Halloween ends mask yet, but it might be around the corner. But check this out. Flame Fiend. Okay, I don't know if there's something we can pull to make this work. Let's try the one right behind him. Please work. No. I want it to work so bad. Oh, look, we can pull the tab right here. There we go. Ready? First time I've ever seen this, I think. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a super cool mask. I love that. You would probably wear that with like a black robe. And I think there are even pumpkin hands that you can find in some of these stores. I'll keep my eyes out for some of those. Right next to the stack of awesome animatronics, we've got plenty of these guys. My dad would call this the secret keeping cat. And we have my good buddy Scabs here. He is all toe up. And we've got the gnarly bunny. The gnarly bunny is so awesome. I might have to get him before the end of the year. Look at his ear. He's been gnawed on. We have a bunch of horror babies. Ghost face and leather face. Two of my favorites. And we have Sam, as always. He's almost at every store we go to. And check this out. It's a Rudy statue, and he's got the popcorn blaster. That is so cool. The popcorn blaster is something we have to keep our eye out for. Maybe we'll find it here somewhere. But I haven't seen the Rudy one very often. They have the popcorn statues. They have these awesome Jason masks. Here's a snow globe. I don't know if I've seen this one before. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, one of my favorites. It's got a bunch of glitter in it. And maybe he lights up. Let's see. No, I'm not seeing any lights. At least it's not working right now. Could be out of batteries. They have our favorite snow globes. Michael Myers. That one has some red stuff in it and lights up red. The perfect color for him. We've got the leather face. That one's also one of my favorites. Red stuff in there and it lights up yellow. But that one's not going to work. He is super awesome. Maybe this one will work. Nope. And here is the super loud Mars Attacks one. It's got stars in it. And... Yes, it does work.
and they've got all of our light up blow molds. I love these things. I'm surprised they're not actually more popular than they are this year. There's Ghostface, probably my favorite besides the killer clowns from outer space. He is holding the cotton candy cocoon and these are $22 in case you guys are wondering. And they have Annabelle and they have Sam. They have every bobblehead you could ever want here. Killer clowns from outer space, baby killer clown. That one is my all time favorite and I want him so bad. $40 for him. They have Georgie, Scraps, The Exorcist doing the spider crawl down the stairs, Sam, Bagwell, Ghostface, another one of my favorites. That thing is so awesome. Halloween, Michael Myers, Behind the Sheet. I love seeing that one because last year we didn't get to see a whole lot of it. Silence of the Lambs. And they have the Michael Myers hiding behind the bush. I love that there's two of them. One behind the bush and one behind the sheet. And another one of my all-time favorites, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I can't wait till the video game comes out. They have an overstock of Bibbo with Shorty in the pizza box. That is so awesome. They have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen of these. That is crazy. I usually only see one or two of these at the store. They also have the Killer Clowns. Very colorful jumbo. We see a lot of him. Oogie Boogie collectible vinyl figure. Hannibal Lecter and the Grady Twins. We did find it. Halloween Ends Mask. There it is. Super awesome. Somebody told me that's actually mold and not supposed to be like burns from the fire. So I guess that is supposed to be mold from him being in the sewer. Guys, lo and behold, the popcorn gun. I want it so bad. I may just buy it today. Let's see how much he costs. Let's flip it around here. A hundred dollars. Dare I buy this? That thing is so cool and I want it so bad. Man, this is just tempting me. The popcorn up there. Oh boy, this is so detailed and awesome. I've been looking for this and I want it so bad. I don't want to let it go and walk away from this because I feel like I'm not going to find another one, but I know I will. They also have the cotton candy gun right here and that thing is amazing. I wish I could pull the trigger on this one and see what he does. They also have the acid pies but man I just want that popcorn gun so bad, man. We're gonna walk away from him for right now, but I may be back. I want you so bad. They do have a ton of inflatables here right now. Lots of ghosts, jack-o'-lanterns, reapers, cats, rats, scarecrow, two of my favorites, the lunging ghost face. They have a couple of jack-o'-lantern archways and the 20-foot snake. That one is awesome. I would love to see it blown up. They have a scary clown archway, killer clowns, and of course the hearse. We've seen a lot of that this year. Somebody asked me about the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. They do have the Jack Skellington pumpkin head plush and the regular plush characters. They have Operation Oogie Boogie. Here's some Jack lights. It looks like his head lit up and they have the reversible cloud throw. That's actually a really cool background. And here's a couple more right up here. And of course they have the Zero pillows. Those are super cool and very soft. What in the world is this? I love ghost stuff. And look at these things. What are they? Reve Reversible plush. Check this out. It looks like a ghost, but you can totally turn it around and it looks like this evil purple ghost. That is so cool. Speaking of ghosts, which are my favorite, look at this awesome mug. I love it. That is so sweet and I want it. Someone asked me for clown costumes and Hocus Pocus stuff, so we'll look at that in just a moment. We have plenty of female clown costumes here, all kinds of them. Look at this one, Deadly Dolly. That is hilarious. They have all of these Hocus Pocus things. You can be Binks. They also have the witch's hats. And look at this, Dant Dennison. That is so funny. And of course, they have all of the sister costumes. Check it out. They have Super Mario plush. Look at this thing. It makes the sounds. That is so awesome. They've even got the mushroom and they have the green turtle. That is so funny. My eye just caught this as I was passing by. Check it out. That is an awesome ghost face doormat. How cool. They have a wacky mole clown costume and they have the neon clown. What in the world is this? They have the Wolfman plush that is so funny. And here is Bob Ross with a happy little tree. Here's some more Hocus Pocus stuff and Haunted Mansion stuff. They have the Haunted Mansion tombstones. Here is a bust. Library bust. She must be a librarian. They have the Emily Banks new and improved tombstone right there. That thing is awesome. And they have some of the Winifred statues that light up green. Somebody also wanted me to look for monster hands. Check this out. We've got evil hands and those look great. I like those a lot. We also have werewolf hands right there and skeleton hands. Guys, as I was just about to leave, check it out. They've got Desmodus. They just now set him out. I don't remember how 
much he is. I think he's like $400, but I want him so bad. This store has so many awesome things that I want. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Richland Mall in Ontario, Ohio. They have a ton of cool stuff here, guys. This is one of the best stock stores I've been to so far. Definitely come and check it out. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. What's up guys we are out here at spirit halloween in arlington ohio let's go inside and see what they got okay we are greeted by the martian warrior always good to see him right on the inside here i believe he is on motion activision yes he is there he goes the sound is turned down as quiet as it could be right now and no steam mist or whatever you call that but he is still super cool what an awesome animatronic. All right, around the corner here. I do hear Leatherface somewhere. Nobody's standing here. Maybe they're saving that for heckles. I see Leatherface around the corner right there. Ooh, and little skelly bones in here. This is awesome. What a different setup. Look at this. They've got Flippin' Freddy over here. That is so funny. Right below the flames. Little skelly bones already went off. Look at that belly on him. That is hilarious. Let's see if we can get him to go off again. There he is. All right. I love little Skelly Bones. And how cool they have him right here in the main setup area here. All right, nothing. Oh, we do have the Widow right here. And look, I've never seen one of these buttons before. <laughs> Good to see you, Widow. Thank you for breaking your neck for me. We see Leatherface right here waiting for us with his chainsaw. I love Leatherface. We'll step on the pad to get him to go again. I am so happy that they have Leatherface this year. He is so cool. Good to see you, Leatherface, with your awesome yellow chainsaw all covered in blood. Wow, look at all the animatronics they have here. They have the back area set up. We'll go over to in just a moment, but we have Eternal Rest, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Blackheart, a bunch of the sitting scarecrows, Dagger Mike, Stilts, the Straw Man, Man's Possessed Friend, and a Desmodus. Let's go over here and check out the back area. Let's do Mr. Riz Reaper first. We'll step on his step pad. There he goes. Your life. He is awesome and working great as well. Over here, do we have the Whisperer? No, no Whispering Grave Watcher. How weird. But we do have Desmodus. I don't know if he is on right now or if he just reset himself. Hmm. He may be damaged. Oh no, he is not damaged. He's going to scare me if I'm not careful. Here we go. Will he go off? He's gonna spook me, I know it. There he goes. No, I guess not, he is damaged. Oh well, we do love to see him and his light up eyes. All right, it looks like the spider may be damaged as well. We'll still knock on the door anyways. Oh my gosh, there he goes. He was supposed to jump up, but he must be taking a little spider nap. At least he woke up to say hello to us. All right, around the corner from him, we do have the straw man here. Good to see you, straw man. We haven't seen him lately. At least he keeps the tools nice and sharp instead of dull. Look at his arms. <laughs> Very cool. Good to see you, Mr. Strawman. I love how his mouth is sewn shut. So awesome. All right, we've got Darling Dolly over here. She is the star of the show. She must be on motion, yes. Darling Dolly, the 
star of the show. I love her hair. She is so cool. Here is a nice fur coat if you'd like to be a rich person for Halloween. I don't see a price on that, but that is pretty snazzy. We'll go ahead and check out all of the masks. They have plenty of them here. I do see the Martian Warrior. Ooh, they have a Texas Chainsaw. Pretty woman leather face mask right there. I love that one and I want it. 70 doll hairs for that one. Do they have the regular one though? I do not see it so far. Here's the ice cream clown right there. That's a nice new one for 2023. And plenty of the light up masks here. Let's press the buttons on these ones. They all look like they have pull tabs. Ooh, this one's already pulled. Let's see how well he lights up. Oh, he lights up pretty good. He'd look better in the dark. What about this one, L Wire? Ooh, that's a cool one. And we got the L Wire Laughing Riot clown mask. I like the purple. Purple and blue are my favorite colors. That one is not working. This one, black and blue, that's, ooh, that's a nice one. I like that one a lot. For some reason, that reminds me of the drive-in. I love going to the drive-in movies. Plenty of the shiny chrome ones, too. And look at this awesome metallic pumpkin mask. I like that one. Let's see how much this is. That is $13. Not too bad at all. And here's a nice red metallic mask right there. There's the sinister ghost mask. That's a black one. Very nice and sleek. Here's the cereal clown. Looks like Leatherface got to him. He is $17. That is a nice freaky clown mask. And and speaking of clowns, they do have the wacky mole with the light up eyes. Look at that. Such an awesome one. And he is 45 doll hairs. What in the world? We'll put him right back there. I see a leather face blanket right here and I want it so bad. I'm thinking of buying this while I'm on my trip. So I have a nice scary blanket to use in the nighttime. $33 for that. And it would go perfectly in the back of my truck. And they have the crouchy and the night crawler blankets here. How awesome is that? I love that they brought those back for 2023. Ooh, and look at this. We have some awesome plush. We have a Skelly Bones. We don't see Skelly Bones every time now. I wanted him last year, but instead of him, I got Crouchy, and they don't have any Crouchy, but they do have a Ghost Face and Michael Myers. I totally want Michael Myers this year as well, but I think I'll wait on that until they get some sales going. They have all the snow globes we love. Michael Myers right here. We've got Pennywise and Leatherface. The Leatherface is the one that I want, but I totally want to get a bunch of these. I'd love to see that lit up in the dark, and you never know, I might end up grabbing him. They also have the ghost face blow molds. Those are some of my favorites as well. He's not working right now because everybody loves to press the button on him. Let's see what kind of bobbleheads they have right now. We've got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, both of the Michael Myers. How awesome. Silence of the Lambs, The Exorcist, all kinds of cool stuff here. And look, we've got some sidesteppers. No leather face or or ghost face, but we do have Frankenstein. Sometimes when people return him, he has batteries in him and he will work, but otherwise he does not have batteries. And of course, Sam, a classic. They have some great signs here too. And look at this, all hail the pumpkin king. I don't know if I've seen this one yet. I love that shiny pumpkin right there. This is, hmm, I do not see a price. Oh, $20 for that, not too bad at all. And we've got the Texas Chainsaw Masker right there, and another one of my all-time favorites, Slow Alien Invasion Area. This is hilarious. The Patrick Star costume for infant, 6 to 12 month, for $37. I would love to have my little girl dress up as Patrick, and I could be SpongeBob. I love the cups and mugs. Some of my favorite cups here are Crouchy, the Nightcrawler. Those would go great with the blankets. And here's some cool mugs right there. The Ghost Face Clear and Black. I love that one. They usually have some more mugs. Ooh, there they are right over here. I love the mugs. I totally want to start a scary mug collection here. We've got Freddy right there. Here's the Universal Studios Monsters one. That's a cool one with all the monsters on there. And there's a Leatherface one. I would totally have to get that. Look at him. That is so awesome. That one is $10. Not a bad price for these mugs. And another favorite of mine, the Jason from Friday the 13th. We can pull it off without busting it and that one is $17. I love this carve a scene pumpkin kit right here with the skeletons. Makes it look like the skeletons are locked up inside the pumpkin and it even comes with a light. How cool is that? For $10 and right around here they have the carving kits that I love. Here's the 
Gremlins one. We just saw that at a few stores ago. And right back here, oh no, I thought it was the Ghostface one. The Ghostface one is kind of hard to find. Friday the 13th, another one of my favorites. Some great stencils on there. And right here we have The Shining. I don't think I've seen The Shining yet. Ooh, very cool. Ooh, look at that one with her hiding her eyes behind her hands. That is so cool. I love the pumpkin carving kits. A long while ago, somebody kept asking me about rainbow spider webs. This is about the closest thing that you can get. They have three colors, purple, orange, and green, the perfect Halloween colors. And this is, I think, $10, $17, actually. That would actually be pretty cool to have. 990 square feet. That is crazy. What I would get, though, is totally the glow-in-the-dark ones. These are sweet, man. I would love to see a bunch of these put up around the house glowing in the nighttime. And I don't see a price on these, so I have no idea how much they cost. Oh, there it is. $5 a piece for 200 square feet. Last year, I covered my truck in all this bloody stuff. Look at these bloody gel clings. I love these. I don't think I'm going to put any on my truck this year, but these are $5. These actually stained my truck last year, but over the summer, the rain washed it all off. So be careful if you're going to put those on a white car. They also have the hand right there i put a bunch of those on my truck as well and they have some awesome door covers as well look at that that would look really cool my office door for seven dollars they do have a handful of barbie costumes here there's the skating barbie for forty dollars western barbie for forty five dollars there's the barbie box right there for twenty seven dollars not bad at all and the pink power jumpsuit for forty dollars i see horror babies we have ghost face and leather face. I want him so bad. Every time I see him, I say I'm going to buy him. At some point, I will. For $50, he would look perfect on my desk. And I see the Chucky sidesteppers here. How cool. Please work. Oh no, none of them are going to work. Wait a minute. There's a tab we can pull. Let's see if we can get it out of there. Here we go. Showtime. Yes, showtime. I love the Chucky Sidesteppers. No Glenn dolls over here. They are all sold out. But look at this. We have stilts and a couple of howling spirits hiding back here in the corner. And a bunch of the inflatables, including the snakes, purses. There's a fright in the box. You don't see him every day. Scarecrows, rats, cats. There's a scary clown archway and the pumpkin archway. And the killer clowns inflatable from last year. Ooh, and they have a grave watcher hiding over here. $80. She is not a bad price. And we have have some zombie babies flippin freddy spider biter billy ravenous ruby with her beautiful red eyes sleigh time plenty of him mothy max and we have wretched ralphie with his delicious rat okay guys that's it for spirit halloween in arlington ohio thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one <laughs> i felt the wind from her hair What's up guys? We're over here at Spirit Halloween in Atlantic Boulevard in North Canton, Ohio. I wonder if they have a two scoops inside there. Let's go see. The widow here to greet us and break her neck. It is super quiet in here. <laughs> All right. I love that blue light behind her. Awesome. All right, around the corner here, we've got the straw man. His head is all turned around. What the world? Somebody must have punched him in the face and twisted his head around. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Sorry, Mr. Strawman, that somebody punched you in the face. Over here, we have the sitting scarecrow. The scary sitting scarecrow. No, that's the regular one from last year. Look at his eyes. I love that. Oh my gosh. They got a strobe light on him. 
That is actually really cool. I have never seen a store with a strobe light above any of the props yet. That is awesome. Is poor George over here? No, this is eternal rest. I wonder if she works. She doesn't, obviously, because her head is already turned. <laughs> she is always broken, unfortunately, but she is still very cool. I love to see her eternally spinning her head. There is no back section, but they do have a lot of animatronics out here for sale right now. Darling Dolly, we have two stilts. There's a Desmodus here, guys. Howling Spirit, I see one of him. Scary Sitting Scarecrow, there's always a bunch of him. Dagger Mike, Man's Possessed Friend, I see three of him. And we have Poor George and Blackheart and Slim. A lot of good choices here right now, guys. Well, looky what we have here. It's Michael Myers. Myers. Oh my gosh, I want him so bad. I almost bought him at one of the stores I was at recently. $30. I do want him so bad. I just bought Ghostface and they have two of them here, guys. This is so awesome. I want him so bad, but I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to buy Michael Myers. They also have a bunch of Sam here always. And look, we have plenty of bobbleheads. Sam, Lollipop, Stab, the Killer Clown, Baby in the Toilet, Georgie, Gremlins, Hannibal Lecter, Leatherface. I want this one so bad. And they have Ghostface, another one that I want terribly bad. These are $40 each. They also have the Exorcist doing the spider crawl down the stairs. That one is very cool. And we have Scraps. Not as many zombie babies as we usually see at the stores, but they do have Gutsy Gwen. Ah, oh, that one's not gonna work. Oh, wow, that is crazy. Usually these work, oh, wait a minute, there's a tab. We have to pull the tab. Yes, we're the first ones to press the button on this Gutsy Gwen. There she goes. How awesome is she eating the guts out of the gourd and her glowing eyes. I love the glowing eyes. We also have what my dad calls the secret keeping cat. Tell me where my dad is, tell me. And we have Gorious George. Um, Flip and Freddy, and I think that's it. Wow, and we have Scabs, a Chihuahua dog. Lots of inflatables here. Look, we have the Wolfman. I am not seeing the Wolfman a lot this year. He is awesome. Eight feet tall, couple of the jack-o'-lantern archways, the hearse, rats, cats, and ghosts. These ones are probably my favorite inflatables that they have here. The Scarecrow, I'd love to see him actually set up because the Scarecrow is a classic. They also have the eight-foot inflatable layup skeleton. He is awesome. I'd love to see him lit up and blown up and they have gargoyles and the flying scary ghosts. I have one of these. These are very cool. You string them up and then it flies back and forth in the string while howling and making spooky sounds. Plenty of the snow globes here. We have Leatherface. This one is my all-time favorite. I want that so bad. I'll probably buy him by the end of the year. Michael Myers is awesome as well. He lights up red. Look at how well that lights up compared to this one. I don't know if that's like low on batteries or what, but usually... It lights up pretty good. This one though, wow, that is crazy. And we've got Pennywise right here. Here we go with the blue light. I do like that blue light. And of course we have our little blow molds here. These haven't been lighting up lately, I think because everyone's been pressing the button so much. Let's see if we can get that to light up if we flip the switch. No, it looks like this one's lit up just barely. Yeah, just barely lit up when you see it under there that nice blue, but these do light up very nicely when you have good fresh batteries in them. You've also got the killer clowns right there. And I think that's it. Oh no, look, we have Sam and Annabelle. We also have our favorite sculptures or whatever you call these things. What are they called? Statues. I love this one, the sad pumpkin with ghost face. That is so awesome. And we have Michael Myers. Both of these are super awesome and I want both of them, one of each to go on my desk. That would be perfect. They have the door covers. I love the door covers, and I want this one to put in my office. You've got Leatherface about to slam his metal door on you, and we also have Sam, Michael Myers, Frankenstein. This one's cool. It's the gremlins having a party in your house, and this is another one of my favorites. Look at that ghost face. That is so awesome. I want to get a couple of these for my office door. We have Tiny Terrors. I love it. We've got Pennywise right there, and of course, 
Ghostface. He is one of my favorites. Other than Leatherface, and I don't see Leatherface right now. He always sells out so quickly. Guys, they have all of our awesome signs, and check this out. They've got Beating You. That is so funny. The Jeepers Creepers license plate. I am totally going to get this one of these days. That is so cool. Be Eating You, Beating You. In the movie, they are trying to figure out what it says, and they realize that it says Be Eating You. I love Jeepers Creepers. That's one of the first scary movies I ever saw when I was a kid. Other than Halloween, and there's a Halloween sign right there, but check this out. Look at that. This is my favorite sign, I think. Ghost face with the knives and the houses in the background. That is so awesome. I love it. $19.99 for him. And they have the changing Chucky sign. This one is popular. Everybody loves this one, and it is $20. Another very cool one is this one with Michael Myers, the kid and adult version. Time to slay and time to play. We have to check the blankets and see if they have the rare one that we love. I do not see it so far. They have the Mars Attacks Martian, Ghostface, all of these awesome ones, but I do not see the rare Spirit Halloween one with the characters on it. They have a lot of the creepy plush guys here. We've got the Butcher, Devilish Desmond, Monkey Chimes, which is one of my favorites, Loving Lilith back there. Oh, here she is right here in the front. Loving Lilith. Now, somebody told me that Monkey Chimes had a button on his foot, but that, oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. That is so funny. I never knew that he would actually do that if you press the button. That is too cool. I love him even more now. Monkey Chimes is so awesome. Check it out. They do have the Fall Guys backpacks here, and they have the Skelly Inflatable. But this is sweet, these little backpacks here. I'm pretty sure these are like... Yeah, 35 doll hairs. That's a little bit more expensive than I would pay for it, but it is very cool. Check it out. Look at these. Yes, I'm so happy we found these. We've been keeping an eye out for these guys because we saw them on a paper that showed where they would go on the shelf. And I have not seen them until now. $15 for the Freaky Clown Pumpkin. That is very cool. We also have this guy right here. He's like a witch pumpkin. And this one, I suppose, is another witch pumpkin, but in purple form. That is very cool. I do love Love these and look at this one we've got oh my gosh this is uh this is the one that they have a uh, player piece for in the monopoly game the spirit halloween monopoly game that is so awesome i would love to get that just because i have the monopoly game and he is one of the pieces and they also have the skull pumpkin these are really cool actually and i don't think they light up or anything but they're still awesome check this out they got a poor george hiding back here so if anybody wants poor george and they can't find him he is hiding right back here in the back of the store Check this out. They have a super scanner if you want to be a security guard for Halloween. It'd be funny if you had a Halloween party and then you had somebody dress up as a security guard. $8 for that. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it beeps or anything. Yes, there's buttons on it. Let's see if it does it. Oh, I don't even know if those are real buttons, actually. I don't think it does anything. But they should have made it where you can press the button and it beeps. Here's some more of the cool sunglasses. We saw some mushroom ones before, but look at this. We've got drip sunglasses. That is very cool. We also have some novelty Elvis Presley sunglasses. That is hilarious. And we have these ones. I don't even know what you'd call these, but these are cool. What a weird design for sunglasses for $7. Plenty of the weapons here that we love, including the bats and the axes. Now, I've been thinking about buying an axe because I want to make a video with it. And look at this. This is probably the one that I would end up getting. It is a nice, bloody axe. I love it. $17, not too bad. And it's foam. It is light. I love that. I will have to think about it. I might get that one. Plenty of all of the awesome masks here, guys, including, look, they got the light up wacky mole clown mask, and he is already lighting up to greet us. They also have the ice cream clown right here. I love the ice cream clown. That is such a unique new mask and very freaky. And look, we also have the chrome ghost face mask right there. That was kind of rare last year, but I'm finding a lot of it this year. We also have the Texas Chainsaw mask right here. I just bought this mask recently. And now that I bought it, I'm trying to look for the Pretty Woman Leatherface mask, and he is actually kind of hard to find now. So if you find a Pretty Woman Leatherface mask, he is kind of rare, and you might want to buy him. Check this out. They have X-Men Wolverine claws. That is actually awesome. These are kind of heavy, too. These are $22. That is awesome if you want to be a, a Wolverine for Halloween. And look at this. They got the Batman club. What? That's not a club. That is a, uh, uh, like a throwing 
Morning Star Batman style. <laughs> $9. It says Foam Bat Emblem. Yeah, that's the one that you throw across the room. And that wouldn't hurt anyone because it's foam. Paulo Mavisquez. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Wanted to know the price of the Sonic Rings. These are super awesome. And the music is very loud, so you probably can't hear them right now. But these are... Where is the price on that? I am wondering too. $30 for two rings. They are very cool and they cost $30. We do have Five Nights at Freddy's costumes here, guys. Look at this. We've got Foxy and Montgomery Gator. We've got Glamrock Freddy. I don't see any new ones. I'm kind of waiting to see some new ones here. And I thought about getting these and transforming them into the Shattered Nightmare versions. Let me know what you guys think. Matthew Mikey wanted to see the Huggy Wuggy stuff. Poppy Playtime. They have a couple of costumes here. They have Kissy Missy right there with your face in the mouth. They also have Huggy Wuggy right here with your face in the mouth. And they have these ones right here. These ones are my favorite. Look at that. That is an awesome costume, you guys, for $60. What a great costume. I love it. Look at that. That is so cool. I would love if somebody came to my house to collect candy in that costume. And Spooky Cheese wanted me to look at all the weapons anyways, so we'll go through a couple of those in a little more depth. We've got these awesome bloody knives. I love these. This one is so full that the blood is barely moving around. That is funny. This one is $7, not too bad at all. We also have this one right here, which is very cool. It's a clear machete with blood on it. That is awesome. I actually really like that one. $13 for that. And we've got some big axes here and a small one. This one looks very cool. It's kind of like the one like an Indian would have. There we go. There's the blood in there. I love the stuff that has the blood in it. It's very cool. $13. And of course we have the bats. We have this one right here. This is an aluminum bat. I like that one. It's actually kind of heavy, but it's foam. These are all foam. This one is $20. And we have the regular wooden bat right here. That one is $20 as well. Looks very nice and realistic. And we have this one with barbed wire on it. The barbed wire doesn't look too realistic, but it is cool anyways. And that is $20. We have giant scissors some swords here here's a bat that has a big piece of a saw attached to it and we just look through these but they have some awesome axes this one looks like it's been in a barn for years this one's all bloody i like that one a lot and i might buy it we have some machetes down here if you want to be like jason Voorhees for halloween let's see how much that one is that one is $15, so everything, it seems like all the weapons are like under $20. We got some more bloody knives here. This one's actually very cool because it looks a little more sharp at the end than some of the other ones. That is cool. $10 for that one too, not bad. And we've got some other various little knives and things here. Here's a nice meat tenderizer, that's funny. I like how they didn't put blood on there. They put like this juice, like it looks like it came from meat. So that one is not for killing, that one is for making dinner. And of course we have the crowbar. I love the crowbars, every time I see it, it makes me want to be the uh, robbers from Home Alone for Halloween. $10 for that. Crowbars up, dink. And of course we always have the corkscrew. They have a ton of space for more weapons here. There's some swords down there, but they're still setting things up, so they do have a bunch more weapons coming, probably. And on this side, we have all of the staffs. And look, there is the wrench. That's another one that I love. I've just noticed that we only seen these side steppers here. There's no other side steppers here. That is weird. We usually see a ton of them. Something I am keeping my eye out for is the Megan costumes. I have not seen any Megan costumes anywhere, which is weird because I saw on the website they do have a Megan costume and they are advertising it as being in store. So we're going to keep an eye out for it. I see something over here that I love to see. Check it out, guys. They do have the Killer Clowns popcorn gun right here check it out that is so awesome this is kind of a small store so i am surprised to see this here a hundred dollars and i want it so bad somebody just told me that when you crank it up there's like a little crank somewhere when you crank it up the popcorn does start popping and he said it is super loud i cannot wait to get this and try it out but i'm gonna wait to buy it for right now they don't have any over the head masks i'm keeping an eye out for those ones we've seen two of them this year but they are hard to find they do have spiky and jumbo and a female shorty costume they do have 
a new aged ghost face mask. This thing is super awesome and actually very affordable at $17. I love it. And they have a bunch of these here, actually. That is cool because a lot of people like these. I actually really kind of want to buy that, and I might. Maybe I'll get that later on in the year. I also see t-shirts over here. Let's see if they have the one we've been looking for. The one we are looking for is Sam right there, but I do not see him anywhere. I do see a Nightcrawler right there. This is an awesome Terrifier shirt. That's it right there. That's what it looks like when you unfold it. I love that head right there like he's a jack-o'-lantern. But I am not seeing any of the Sam ones. And I also don't see any of the ghost face ones. That is too bad, but we'll keep our eye out for them. Sometimes it's fun just to look for this stuff. This is a really cool costume section right here, guys. Poison Ivy. That is so cool. I love the Ivy. Like, they actually have these little leaves and stuff. I would love to see somebody dressed up in this for Halloween. There's an Ivy whip with all the leaves on it. I think these are really cool. So your wife can be Ivy, and you can be one of the Batman costumes here. They have a bunch of them. Or you guys can go with some of the characters from the wizard of oz you can be the cowardly lion that would be hilarious and your wife can be glinda the good witch or you could be dorothy and they have the red shoes those are cool i don't think i've seen these actually at any of the stores yet the red ruby shoes that is actually very cool okay guys that's it for spirit halloween in north canton ohio on atlantic boulevard that store was small i was like squeezing around with this uh, baby carrier thing here trying to get around to look at stuff, but that was awesome. This is my local store So I had a lot of fun in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one What's up guys we are over here at spirit halloween in boardman ohio on market street this used to be a joanne fabrics let's go inside and see if they got a two scoops oh i see a nozzles over there and we've got stilts we have got to get him going right away i love stilts there is a step pad and here he goes stilts is so awesome and so tall very cool I love the blue and the green lights they have. He is super awesome. We'll move on over here to the Scarecrow. Straw Man, $330. A night like this, when the border between worlds grows thin, you never know what is lurking in the shadows or which behind you. <laughs> Stay close and keep your limbs closer. You wouldn't want to lose. City. Moving on, I'm gonna go say hi to Nozzles. We haven't seen him in almost a year. Let's get him going. Oh my gosh, he is like cackling. He's not working 100%, but that's okay. He does have smoke that comes out of his nozzles when you have him fully hooked up. All right, around the corner, we have got the widow. Let's get her going. She's gonna break her neck. <laughs> I love that so much. The Widow is awesome. Okay, Widow, we'll see you later. We're gonna check out Slim. I see him right here. I love his big old hands. Let's get him going. Yes. He is a little bit louder than he was at other locations. I love Slim. I want him so bad and his bag of popcorn. He's supposed to open the bag, but sometimes he doesn't work. There he goes. Okay, Slim, good to see ya. We're gonna go around here and look. Oh my gosh, they've got a poor George set up. We have not seen him set up in the stores yet. And what I did not notice is that he has two different colored eyes. Let's get him going. He's gonna do some flips for us. He is so awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it. How could you be so happy after being cut in half? He 
He is awesome. I love the screaming and laughing. Guys, I see three, four big stacks of animatronics. Look what they have set up back there. We'll go check it out in just a second, but this is awesome. They've got the scarecrow. As always, a classic. There he is. Good to see you, Mr. Scarecrow, right by the flames. And I do love the flames. Dagger Mike is up next. I love him. He's one of my favorites this year. <laughs> there he goes. He's such an awesome jump scare. And I do love the flames next to him as well. They sure do compliment him. Okay, before we head over there and check out those animatronics, we've got a whole big stack of them right here. We've got three of the man's possessed friends. We have a Slim, $400. I want him so bad. Little Skelly Bones, Grave Watcher. We've got three sitting scarecrows. As always, a big stack of jumping spiders for $50 each. Howling Spirit. They do have one of him, and he is awesome. I want him bad too. A couple more of the sitting scarecrows. They have a black heart here as well, guys. If you're looking for black heart, he is right here in Boardman. Okay, let's get this one set off right here. Super spooky. We saw him at the grand opening, but we haven't seen him anywhere else yet. Let's get him going. I love it. He howls and lights up. I think he changes colors too, but I don't think I can tell right now. Maybe not. Super awesome. I love all the ghostly stuff. Let's move right on to the gargoyle, who I don't know if he is set up right now. He is not doing anything whenever we walk in front of him, but that's okay. We'll move right on over to Eternal Rest, who is waiting for us. Oh my gosh. She broke her neck. <laughs> I don't know if... Uh, Okay, she must just be broken because she is not going to turn her head 100%. Let's try it again, though. Yeah, that is too bad. That is what's supposed to turn around, but that's okay. We're going to move right on over. Darling Dolly, what? How did Dar Darling Dolly hide from me? I didn't even know that she was right there. That is so funny. Right next to the creepy tree. And what's funny is look at her hair. And her hair is super curly. Let's get her going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even know she was supposed to do that because I don't think that I have actually even ever set her off before. Look at that. We can kind of reveal her face a little bit. That is awesome. A drop down scare and it works very, very good. Okay, we'll move along from Darling Dolly and go right over here to Gordo. I love Gordo so much. All right, Gordo, do your thing. There he goes, oh my gosh. I was kind of waiting to see if he'd make any noise. I can't hear him over anything else, but he works super well. He's an awesome scare, and I love the guts. These lights are just awesome. I love the accents it gives. Up next, we have Black Heart. Black Heart rocks. Let's get him going. Soon you will forget everything. Your life, your past. Forever. He is so awesome. Super spooky. I love it. Okay, right over here we've got the Grave Watcher. She is super creepy. Lil Skelly Bones is. Wait a minute. What is this? They have uh, Desmodus, but they don't have him set up yet, so I imagine they'll put him there pretty soon. Here's Lil Skelly Bones. <laughs> I love Little Skelly Bones, such a classic. And here is the door mechanism. Knock if you dare. There he is. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> if they can time it correctly, he is an awesome animatronic to set up in this door mechanism. I've been to stores where the doors open up and he immediately jumps out, and I've been to stores where he's already jumped out by the time the doors open. Okay, we'll move along here and see if we can find any more animatronics in the boxes. I see a couple of fogging skull piles right here hidden in the back. And what is this? Look at this freaky four-foot hanging witch. Is there a button we can press or something? I would love if that would make some noise. It looks like the nose is disconnected like the nose is supposed to come out or something but that is cool i don't think i've ever seen that before so far i don't see any more animatronics but check this out oh my gosh look 
You don't see that every day. Oh my goodness. Can we get it to go off? Yes, try me. Oh, please work. Is there any way we can get you to work? No, oh my goodness. That is so sad, but check that out. That is so cool. I'm so curious what he does. This I may just have to buy. Look at this. I saw this on Facebook the other day. Somebody has it already. He turns his head and he is digging into the jack-o'-lantern to pull the guts out. That is so awesome. Look at those eyes. Oh my goodness, one more time. That is so awesome. $70, a bit pricey, but so freaky and cool. And look, it looks like he's been eating the guts in the pumpkin. That is so funny. Okay, we'll move on. We have some more zombie babies here, guys. We've got the brain eater from last year. That is so awesome. And we've got Mothy Max here with the green skin and blue eyes and the moths. And we have a couple of hand eaters, guys. They have plenty of zombie babies here. Speaking of babies, check it out. We have some of the tiny terrors here. We've got two of the ghost face, which is my personal favorite, Sam right there. And we have a Pennywise. Oh my gosh, they are so stocked with awesome stuff. They have all of our favorite snow globes here. This one is the Mars Attacks Martian. And the button's not working right now, but he makes sounds from the movies. We've also got Pennywise, who lights up blue and has some red sparkles. We've got Michael Myers right here. He's got the red confetti or whatever that is. And let's see if he lights up as well. Yes, he lights up red. And my favorite, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It lights up yellow, which is actually really awesome. That thing is sweet. We've also got some of my other favorite things here. The light up killer clowns from outer space and they've got ghost face here that one's not working let's see oh we got a pull tab guys everybody loves that i pull tabs because some people don't do that look at his face that is so awesome i love it they've got the friday the 13th light up mask there and they have one for pennywise which is pretty cool we have side steppers check it out none of the frankensteins ever work must be batteries not included but the spiky does work let's, uh, there we go we had to adjust his arms a little bit Let's get them both going for the fun of it. There they go. <laughs> I love Spikey. I'd love to see some more Killer Clown sidesteppers. I know they have Slim as well. Quite a few people always ask me if they have the Chucky dolls. Yes, they have Chucky Good Guy right here. And they've got the Chucky Glenn doll, which is super freaky. I imagine he comes with the axe but i am not seeing him in the box there maybe he's behind him they've also got the greeter and they have this one right here he's a talking one yes this one works awesome you can't really hear him talking but he is super cool and i do love the entire box here i always like to point out my favorite signs like the mars attacks laser pistol and this slow alien invasion sign and check this out in case of possession break glass and it's probably holy water in there that is funny check it out they have a billy butcherson over here hiding and he works Billy Butcherson Sidestepper is awesome. He almost always works in the store. I love that they have the Beetlejuice signs lighting up right now, kind of drawing your eyes over here to the Beetlejuice section. They've got two of these guys. I forget what his name is. Uh, Adam, that's what it is. Those guys are sweet hanging props. This is one of my favorites for this year. It is a skeleton plush. I love it so much. I can't remember how much he was. $35, which is actually not a bad price here. And he is a full skeleton. If you look on the tag, you can see what he looks like whenever he is all sprawled out. More we're coming soon signs guys they are not done setting up yet plenty more things to see we're still early they have the mars attacks blanket they have the reversible plush throw spirit blanket this one is awesome call me i love it somebody was asking me about the gremlins stuff last time here's an awesome the gremlins are coming plush fleece throw right there and they have plenty of pillows here look at this pennywise pillow i don't know if i have ever seen that before but it is super awesome and super soft this is an oogie boogie blanket with the bugs i kept calling it a beetlejuice blanket the last time i was here as far as inflatables they do have two of the ginormous snakes those are 20 feet long they have the giant ghost face with the dagger ready to stab they have a couple of the archways here the scarecrow inflatables some cats some jack-o-lanterns a bunch of ghosts reapers gargoyles rats wolves and they have a fright in the box they pretty much have every inflatable you could want here 
I will have to tell my dad that they have some secret keeping cats here telling me secrets about him. And they have some of the gnarly bunnies. I love it. He is so freaky and tore up. And they have his buddy, Scabs the Chihuahua Dog. It looks like they got in a fight and destroyed each other. Here's some door knockers, guys. Let's try this one. I don't know if I've ever seen it before. Wait a minute. There's no button. Oh, that is too bad because he looks super freaky and awesome. I love it. But we will go on to the devil door knocker right there. And they've got... The vampire door knocker but that one is not working this one is working there he goes these were one of my favorites last year the creepy skull pathway markers we have plush figures guys loving lilith devilish desmond monkey chimes one of my favorites for the masks they do have the martian warrior with the moving jaw and they have both the regular leather face and the pretty woman leather face lots of bats but no chainsaws here today and check this out the cartoon scaredy cat that is hilarious Somebody asked me about the Fall Guys costumes. They are coming soon, guys. They don't have any out right now. They have pop figures here, guys. Look, they have Bibbo with Shorty in the pizza box. They've got the Jumbo and the Crouchy figure. We haven't seen any new pop figures yet, but we'll keep our eyes peeled. We have never seen this mug before. Check it out. This one is the Mars Attacks mug. It says Mars Attacks right there, and it looks kind of like the pack that goes in their back. And look at this. It's the laser gun handle. Here's the lasers. I love the lasers, and I might have to get one this year. Check out this treat tote. It's a scaredy cat. I love it. And you can see the candy in his mouth. They have Five Nights at Freddy's costumes, guys. Come and get them. No Poppy Playtime, though, yet. They are still setting things up. And no animatronic costumes, but we will keep our eyes peeled everywhere we go for them. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Boardman, Ohio. Make sure you let me know if there's anything that you want to see at the next Spirit, and I'll see you guys in the next one. What's up, guys? We are over here at the Spirit Halloween in Boardman, Ohio on Boardland, Poland Road. I am still on the hunt for the elusive two scoops. We visited four stores so far and have not seen him. Let's go see if they got him. Okay, guys, I already see the widow. Let's get her started. And I love the red floor in here. That just makes it even more creepy. I love the widow. I might have to get her this year. $200, not too bad. We've got the straw man right next to her. Did you know that this land is cursed? I did know that. You've told me many times, Mr. Scarecrow. They say it helped to keep his soil nice and fertilized. Would you care to see where the remains lie? Yes, show me, Mr. Scarecrow. <laughs> $330 for him, and he is super awesome. Let's see what else they got inside. Nothing there, but we do have poor George waiting on us to activate him. Go on, poor George. I love poor George. He is so awesome. Two faces, both very scary. What an awesome animatronic, guys. And he is $180, which is fairly affordable for him. I see a stack of animatronics, two stacks of animatronics over here. But let's get these guys going first. The door mechanism, I can see the green light behind him. Let's see how he does. There he is. All right. I love that. That is so cool. But the timing is always just a little bit off. We have yet to find one that is just perfect. Okay, we've got little Skelly Bones right next to that, and he's on motion activision. There he goes. I love his yellow eyes, and I also love the eyes on the Grave Watcher. A nice, affordable animatronic for $80. This is not too bad at all. I want some of these leaves, though. Up next is Blackheart, all ready to go. Let's get him going. So cool. Victim. 
and he is $300, guys. No more animatronics set over here, but they do have a couple in the boxes. We'll go through these in just a moment. Let's go through the ones that we have over here first. We have a straw man, little scally bones. Betty Sharp, no way. I haven't seen her in forever. Eternal Rest, we have at least one of those. And a dagger mic. They are fully stocked this year with lots of animatronics. Straw man. Here's another Betty Sharp. That is very cool. We've got more Eternal Rest. Black Heart right here. If you're looking for him, he's over here. And we have a ton of Sin Scarecrow. But look at this. We've got Slim. We have two Slim animatronics here. And Stilts. How awesome. I feel like Stilts you're not going to be able to find very easily this year. And there is another Eternal Rest right there. And check this out. Over here being guarded by the Bug Eye Chihuahua Dog. They also have two more Dagger Mics and a Grave Watcher. Speaking of the Chihuahua Dog, we've got another one right here face down on the ground. And they have the Gnarly Bunny. I love the Gnarly Bunny. Sometimes they have animatronics hiding back here in the corner. They don't today, but they do have a lot of inflatables here. We've got Fright in the Box. We've seen a lot of him this year. Jack-o'-lanterns, ghosts, haunted trees, rats, scarecrows, cats, skeleton. We haven't seen him a whole lot this year. Wolfman and a couple of the archways, including my favorite, the Jack-o'-lantern archway. And look at this. Behind the skeleton, they also have the 20-foot snake. Look at this. Another stack of animatronics. We've got at least three man's possessed friend and a couple of the scary sitting scarecrows. They are fully stocked with animatronics and all kinds of products. I see zombie babies. We'll check those out in a second. Check this out, guys. This is hilarious. The speaker is making a funny sound. Like it's supposed to be playing music, but instead it sounds like SpongeBob shoes. They do have the Leatherface masks here. These are the Trick or Treat Studio masks. I don't see any Pretty Woman masks over here right now, but we do have this hilarious Happy Baby mask. They have plenty of Five Nights at Freddy's costumes, including Glamrock, Montgomery Gator, and they have Foxy right there. Lots of zombie babies, including Gutsy Glenn, which is super awesome. <laughs> Looks like she is eating the guts out of the jack-o'-lantern. That is so crazy. We've also got the zombie baby, Glorious George. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Glorious George. He's the crawler. There's an actual zombie burrito baby right there. They have two of these, and they weren't working at last store. I hope they are now. Yes! Oh my gosh, it is super quiet, but that is awesome. I am so glad this is working because they weren't at the other stores. Speaking of babies, they do have horror babies here, guys. They've got Sam and my two favorite, Ghostface and Leatherface. I want them so bad. In case you're wondering, they are $50. They also have plenty of bobbleheads here, guys. Let's look at them all. They've got the Gremlins. Somebody was asking me about Gremlin stuff earlier. The Baby Killer Clown in the Toilet. That one is probably one of my favorites this year. They've also got Bagwell Bobblehead. Here's another Sam one and i don't think i've seen this one yet check that out you can see the face through the bag they've also got ghost face another one of my all-time favorites the exorcist doing the spider crawl down the stairs is awesome and look they've got the texas chainsaw massacre bobblehead and michael myers they also have look the one where he's hiding behind the sheet how cool is that they don't have that everywhere what in the world is this i have never seen this before that is so cool look at the sad face on the jack-o'-lantern that is so awesome i hope this works let's get it yes I can see it lighting up. That is so awesome. Guys, I've never seen this before. $45, and I am so tempted to buy it right now. That is so awesome. They have lots of Chucky dolls here, guys. Plenty of them in stock. Guys, they have a ton of blankets here, including my favorite, the ghost one. Look at that. I love this blanket. I am totally going to get it at some point, and it is $33. They also have the reversible plush Reaper throw, and they have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre blanket, and one of my other favorites, the Nightcrawler blanket. I'll definitely have to get that one as well by the end of the year. And they have the Mars Attacks blanket. And they have another one of my favorites here. This is the Plush Skeleton. Super awesome. I see the Killer Clown stuff over here, but I have yet to find any of the Popcorn Blasters, which is too bad. But I do love these masks. I do prefer the whole over-the-head face ones, though. I have pointed these out before, but look at this. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It looks like a VHS tape, but it has six items inside. A patch, a button, a decal, a lanyard, 
and maybe something else as well. You never know. There could be a secret prize in there. Do not forget to put your name in for this $15,000 Killer Clowns from Outer Space promotion they are doing right now. Lots of figural bag clips, but they don't have the animatronics ones. That's what I'm looking for. Guys, they have a whole big stack of the Deadly Creeper. I haven't seen him since last year, but check this out. They've got six of him. How crazy is that? Guys, they have so many of the awesome things. They also have the Friday the 13th light up masks there, and they've got the light up blow molds, killer clowns, ghost face, Annabelle, which is awesome. Her entire body lights up. And they have all of our favorite snow globes here. Michael Myers, Texas Chainsaw Massacre that lights up yellow. He is super awesome. And the Mars attacks, which makes a loud, loud noise when you press the button. Let's see if he works. Yes, he does. That is so loud. All right, guys, that is it for everything at Spirit Halloween in Boardman, Ohio. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, we're out here at Spirit Halloween in Brooklyn, Ohio. I still haven't found Heckles a Clown yet. Let's go inside and see if they got him, I guess. All right, another big store. I love the big stores. Looky right here, we do have Leatherface. He looks like a chunky one right now. Oh, he's on motion too. I love that they have him holding his chainsaw lower right now. That is hilarious. Kind of reminds me of the Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. That is awesome. I love Leatherface. All right, we've got stilts right here. Juggle your pins for me, stilts. Maybe, maybe not. There he goes. People keep asking me to buy stilts. I don't think I'm going to buy him, but he is super cool. All right, thank you very much, Stilts. We've got the Martian Warrior right here. Will he have any mist? No, no mist today. He is super awesome. I love the animatronics here at Spirit Halloween. Wow, this is kind of different. They've got poor George on this side, and he is broken. He is not going to do any flips for us today, but he is super awesome. All right, we've got Slim right here. He's already going. I want Slim and Shorty. Look at those teeth. How awesome. Here's the widow right on the other side. They usually have her on the opposite side. She was a little bit slow breaking her neck that time. I love her, she is so awesome. I just may have to buy her by the end of the year. On the inside, we do have Dagger Mike. <laughs> he just spooked her, Dagger Mike is so awesome and fast. We're gonna have to set him off ourselves here. But look up here, I don't look up here very often, but they have some awesome graphics up there. While we're waiting for him to reset, we're gonna go over here and do the Scarecrow. Maybe, maybe. I don't know if he's gonna work. Oh, I guess not, unless he's on motion. No, I guess not, that is too bad. Oh well, Mr. Scarecrow, good to see you anyways. And Dagger Mike. What, we just saw him go off. What is going on here? Here he is. Look, he's got a belly. <laughs> we'll have to call him Cheeseburger Mike with that belly. Lots and lots of animatronics here. We've got three Emmeline. 
poor George. I see a Texas Chainsaw Massacre right here. I'd love to get him and dress him up as the different forms of him from different movies. And we have the straw man, man's possessed friend, two of the cauldroness. I really wish they'd have her set up in one of these stores. The Grave Watcher, a bunch of the sitting scarecrow, scary and the regular one. I want the scary one. And they have the back area set up. I love when they have this big back area set up here. We'll let Hexpawn reset himself. But we have the howling ghost. I don't know if we can get him to get going. Hmm. I don't know if he's on motion activation or what. Maybe not. We'll go right on over to Darling Dolly. Oh my gosh, she is hanging her head down. She must be sad. Look at that. That is crazy. <laughs> that is too bad. We'll see if she works though. She must be on motion and she just reset herself. I don't know if we'll be able to get her to go or not. She's going to spook me if I'm not careful. Oh, here she goes. That is too funny. Her head is broken and she is hanging it down like she is sad. All right, we've got Mr. Gordo right here. Is he on motion as well? Hmm. I don't know. He may be broke. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Super quiet, so I couldn't tell that he was actually going. All right, the Riz Reaper. Everything here is on motion, Activision, right now, and most of them are not working. Hmm. Yep, I guess he's not going to work. Oh, well. Good to see you, buddy. All right, we've got the Whispering Grave Watcher. Is she working? No, what is up with this place? Okay, I guess we're gonna try Desmodus. You know what, all this is on motion and none of it is going off. That is sad. Oh my gosh, broken or not set up. What a disappointment. Please let the spider be working. All right, at least he's working. But no lights. Boy, what a sad setup this is right now. That is too bad. At least we've got the hex bar, and as soon as he is done resetting, we will set him off, which should be right now. Here he goes. Yes, he is so awesome. Fast and tall. And loud, too. I love it. All right, right behind him, I did see some of my favorite horror babies, Ghostface and Leatherface, both of them sitting here waiting for me to adopt them. No Glendall over here, but we do have the Leatherface statue and we have the Chucky statue and the Killer Clown statue, fully stocked on statues right now. And our favorite Michael Myers statue right here for $45, not too bad. I do like that a lot and I might end up getting him. Look what we have right here, the Ghostface sidestep. Awesome, and we have Pennywise. Ooh, is he gonna work? Oh, I guess not. Man, this is the store of broken things. That is just too bad. We do have Leatherface. Will he work? Yes. All right, and we have one right here we haven't seen in a little bit, the Killer Clown from Outer Space, but he is also not working. This place must be cursed. We do have Snow Globes, Leatherface, Pennywise, and the Mars Martian. These are awesome. I love all the Snow Globes. You could totally go broke buying all these Snow Globes, though. $40 a piece, but honestly, totally worth it. I want this one so bad. Let's see if we can remember the names of all the zombie babies they got here. And actually, they're not quite as stocked as they usually are. Devil Cherub, Mothy Max. Is it Mothy Max or Mothy Mike? It's Mothy Max. And we've got, uh, what's his name? R R Wretched Ralphie, yes, with the rat. Rat Wretched Ralphie, that'll help me remember him. Spider Biter Billy, Revan. Ruby, Slay Time. I like Slay Time. That's a freaky one. We've got Flippin' Freddy down there and uh, Chompin' Connie. Oh, look, and we have Snackin' Steve here with his hand. All right, this is what I'm talking about. We've got three Crouchy plushies. I love that. I do have him, and he is super awesome, but no Michael Myers or Ghostface here. 
here. Here's the skeleton that I went crazy for earlier in the year. I love this thing. What an awesome pillow. I think I might end up getting him at the end of the year when they start doing the good sales. And he is $35. Not a bad price, honestly. During my last live, people kept asking me to look at these candy bags, but they didn't have a whole lot of them at the store that I was at. Here's a nice jack-o'-lantern one and a ghost one. I like the ghost one. Anything with ghosts, I love. Here is an alien one. That's a funny one. And we've also got SpongeBob right there. It says scare or be scared. Look at all their faces. That is hilarious. We've got a skeleton one with the skeleton hand. Another skeleton one with the bones. And oh, look, no, actually, I thought it was a torso, but it's actually the skeleton ripping through the bag. That is pretty cool. And we have the ghost face one right here. Right there's ghost face. And we have a couple more down here. What's this one? What is this thing? Oh, that's a Chucky one. Awesome. It says it's time to play. That is pretty cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. And I think this is a Beetlejuice one right here. Yes, that's a Beetlejuice one. These are all pretty cool. And they are $13 a piece. Not too bad. Whoa, look at how many inflatables they have. They are super stocked. A bunch of the ghost face. 12 foot Pennywise and the 12 foot Jumbo. Somebody was asking me how much Jumbo costs. That is $180. And the trees, gargoyles, reapers, rats, jack-o'-lanterns, ghosts, and cats, and scarecrows. All right, you don't see the scarecrows every day for $50. Here's those baby head pathway markers again. Those are pretty cool. That one's not working. There we go. They light up green. That is super spooky. I love it. And look at this, the zombie arm pathway markers. That is cool. The lanterns light up and it makes some spooky sounds. And look, they do have the white creepy skull pathway markers. They usually flash, but that one's not working. Bumpy, spooky pumpkin markers, but they don't have the button. These, I think I'm totally gonna get at some point, the live wires. Look at that. Oh my gosh, he's shocking the bat. That is so cool. I love the live wires. And what's this? The light up handheld flame. Let's see if we can get that to work. Ooh, nice. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You just kind of hold it in your hand and it's got this clear area right here. So it looks like the flame is floating in your hand. That is $15. Nice, I love seeing stuff that we don't see every day. They have the plush characters that we love. Devilish Desmond, Monkey Chimes, let's see if he'll work. Yes, I love him. I love how it looks like his bones are showing. He is so funny. We also have Eerie Emma Haunted Doll, Decrepit Haunted Doll, and Loving Lilith down there. There is plenty of the vintage masks here. Look at this. We've got the vintage monster mask, the vintage skull phantom, werewolf, the ape. I like that one. That might be my favorite. The vintage dingus mask. That is hilarious and the vintage cat, and another vintage cat. That's another one I like a lot. And here's the vintage, what do they call this, rag doll? Yes, the rag doll. And look, here's the bloody psycho mask. That's a cool one. You don't see this one every day, the dopey mask. I like that one too. Let's see how much he is. That is $30 hairs. I would not pay that much for that, but he is a funny one. And the vintage bunny mask, another one of my favorite for the vintage masks. They have all kinds of wigs here, and I don't usually look at them all too much. Let's look at some of these. We've got the green sinister villain. I suppose you could use that for the Joker. Midnight Fiend, kind of a wild black crazy hairdo. Mini Afro, Sinister Clown, Mr. Dapper, Wig and Beard, Mullet, Comb Over, that's kind of like a Trump mask, Bleached Spikes with Goatee, that's like Guy Fieri, Bald Old Man, that's a funny one, and this wig and beard you could totally use for a Jesus costume. They have lots of the female wigs here too, this is crazy. They've got pretty much every color that you could think of. Pink, purples, reds, greens, blues, Here's a pink money piece right there. Glitz and glamour. There's a white one that's called curls. Here's glam curls. That would be for like a Marilyn Monroe costume. Here's a glow in the dark page boy. What? That's pretty cool. And all these wigs are about between 20 and $30, give or take. Check out this disco ball cowboy hat. That is crazy. Look at that. How cool. If you're going to go to a Halloween party, that would be awesome. $35. And this thing is heavy, man. That's a good quality hat. Here's one we haven't seen in a long while, the rubber chicken. Last year we loved to squeeze the rubber chicken. Oh my gosh. 
He's a little bit slow. Usually he does his sound a little bit longer, but he is super funny. And he is $17. And look at this, we got the blow up walker. That's a funny one if you're gonna be an old person for Halloween, and that is $10. These are some pretty cool knife hair clips, wow. And they're like mirrors too. These are $9. And we've got cigars and pipes and stuff. All kinds of awesome extras to make your costume complete. Oh, these are the disappearing knives. These are cool. When you press this against something, the blade retracts and disappears like you actually stab them. $5 for that. This store has all the animal stuff. Some stores don't have a whole lot of the animal stuff. We've even got the woodland deer kit, the pig kit. There's the frog headband. That's always a funny one. Here's the Dalmatian one. I like that one. And they even have furry mitten paws right here. Let's see how much those are. Those are $10. And they've got some fox fur cuffs over here. And these ones are ten dollars these are some funny plush head pieces that i don't usually look at all that much there's a shark right there i just watched jaws so that would be a good one for me to wear the construction cone hat here's a banana i used to have a banana suit and i wore it to school one year here's a dinosaur that's a funny one and a flamingo these are funny man there's a pineapple hat here's the baby stuff you're gonna be a baby for halloween baby pajamas one piece pajamas with zip off socks and butt flap bonnet and bib it does not come with the stuffed bear and that is forty dollars here's another one right there for forty dollars a pink one for the females and here's an inflatable baby costume they usually have big sets of diapers too these are funny bob ross costumes here's a whole palette with a paintbrush and here's the beard and wig right there and whole costumes look at this for 45 dollars shirt wig facial hair painter's palette and the paintbrush geez that is the entire costume right there and look they even have the bob ross painting that would be so funny thirty dollars so if you and your friend want to dress up as bob ross in a painting that would be awesome they have the ogre ears i do not see the ogre ears everywhere but that would be great if you're going to be shrek and this is ten dollars and here's the costume right there for 59 dollars but this one comes with the ears so you wouldn't need to buy this separately what is this sign right here oh this is a haunted mansion sign I don't think I've ever seen that before. That is a crazy big sign. I kind of wish it would light up. Let's see how much that is. That is $30. That's pretty cool. And speaking of signs, they have the slow alien invasion sign right there. That's one of my favorites. And this is a pretty cool overlook hotel sign right there. You'll never want to leave. How cool. $25 for this sign. And this is from The Shining. Another good set of costumes you could be if you have a couple of friends that want to dress up as matching costumes. You could be the South Park characters. We've got Towley for $40, Eric Cartman for $60. These are inflatable. I love the inflatable costumes. And this one is $60 as well for Kenny. And they usually have the other characters. Obviously, another great one for groups is going to be the Scooby-Doo characters. Here's Fred right there. He is $40. Comes with the shirt, pants, and the necktie. And here's the Scooby-Doo set right there. It even comes with the collar. How funny is that? There's the big old Scooby-Doo helmet, though. I would totally get that if I was going to be Scooby-Doo for $40, too. That is not bad. There's a Shaggy costume for $40 up there. And there's the wig for Fred. They usually have the other costumes, too, so you could totally be the Scooby-Doo characters for Halloween. Oh, here they are. We've got Velma right there. That's the only other one. No, we've got Daphne down there. And look, somebody could be the mystery machine. Uh-oh, look at this. Somebody opened up the ghost face bleeding mask. If we pump the heart, will the blood go through? No, what? They crimp it? Oh, man, it's not connected. Man, that's boring. I wish they would actually have these connected and out and ready for you to squeeze the heart so you can see what it looks like. Even though they have a picture right there, it would be fun to squeeze them in the store. Hey, look at this. We do have the popcorn gun here. I actually haven't seen it in quite a while. I love this thing. A hundred bucks for this. I can't wait to get it. I will totally get it later on in the year. We also have the spiky side stepper. Of course, he's not going to work. Hopefully, when you buy these and you take them out of the box, they actually work better. And we've got a couple of the costumes here. We've got 
shorty and spiky and looks like jumbo down there sixty dollars a piece for these and here's shorty's club somebody just told me they were buying shorty's club i would totally get that if i was going to dress up as shorty for halloween all right guys that's it for spirit halloween in brooklyn ohio thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one here's dagger mike <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. What's up guys, we're right here at Spirit Halloween in Hillard, Ohio. This place is conveniently located on Cemetery Road. How cool is that? Stay tuned to the end of the video because I am going to hide a t-shirt here. So make sure you watch until the end to see where I hide it. So let's go inside and see what they got. Ooh, this is awesome. Look at this nice cemetery background they got right here. This is different. We've got Stilts right here. He's on motion. Hello, Stilts. He doesn't feel quite as tall because he is not up on his big pedestal right now. He is super cool. Look at those purple eyes. All right, of course we have the widow right here. Break your neck for me, girl. <laughs> I love her so much. She is right next to Blackheart. Show me your girlfriend, Blackheart. <laughs> I love that all three of them are going off right now. You mean your next girlfriend, Riz Reaper? All right, let's go around here and see what else they got. A couple of animatronics on the back here. We've got Leatherface, Man's Possessed Friends, Slim, and Blackheart. No back area, but I do see the Howling Spirit right here. And what is this? A Nozzles the Clown. How cool, $350 for him. I cannot believe that they have a Nozzles here from last year. And look, we have some horror babies. Oh, only one. Oh, actually, we have Sam right there. There, and we've got some zombie babies. Wretched Ralphie with his delicious rat. Mothy Max right there. And Snackin' Stevie down here snacking on his hand. We also have Flippin' Freddy right here sticking his tongue out at us. And some of our awesome plush dolls here, including the Butcher. I love the Butcher with his meat cleaver. Awesome, they have some of the clown toe tappers. I honestly never see these here for sale. Look at that. <laughs> I love the sounds he makes too. How funny. How much is this? $50. Pretty cool. They have a bunch of the blow mold pumpkin things here. We've got the skull right there and the witch. There's the purple one right back here. I like those ones. And also this one, which is a playing piece for the Spirit Halloween Monopoly game. And of course, we've got the clown right here. I'm trying not to knock everything over. Let's be very careful. Right above them, we have a bunch of the pathway markers here. We've got the skulls right there. I love the flashing on that. And the pathway markers that are bumpy, spooky pumpkins, but they're not working. And the jack-o'-lanterns. They do have live wires. I want to buy these so bad. Ooh, that's not working. I wonder if they have a tab. No, I guess not. The battery must be dead on that one. Let's try this one right here. No, I guess they're all dead. Everybody loves to press the buttons on these because they are so cool. Here's some inflatables right here. We've got the ghosts, rats, wolves, gargoyles, reapers, haunted trees there. They have the scarecrow and a couple of the archways down here. Let's check out some of the masks they have here. Look at this guy right here. This is super freaky. The melted face mask. And that is on clearance right now for $30. He is awesome. Reminds me of a hot melty pizza. And right up here, they do have the scary teddy bear mask. I do like that one a lot. And I did see Wacky Mole right here. We love to see the Wacky Mole mask. And right next to him is the Toxic Nozzles Clown. Awesome. I love the zombie mask. I don't know why zombies are my favorite. Look at his nasty teeth and his dead eyes. This is $33. Let's check out some of the hats. They have a ton of them for whatever costume you want to use. Look at this. We've got the fireman's hat right there. We have captain's 
hats if you want to be a sailor. And these captain's hats are $17, not too bad. We also have chef hats here crowns, all kinds of stuff. I like this one. You can put a couple sodas in this while you're walking around at your Halloween party. Plenty of witches and wizard hats up there. An awesome huge pirate hat right there. I love that. And they've got the sheriff hats, fedoras, all kinds of stuff, whatever you need. Check this mask out hiding back here. The Game of Thrones mask. I have never seen that one before. I've never seen Game of Thrones, so I'm not sure who this is. But that is originally $50 and it's on clearance for $35. And this is from Trick or Treat Studios. Plenty of the cops and robbers stuff here. You've got the jailbird right there, escaped convict. There's the sheriff and all kinds of extras like handcuffs. Here's a police club right there. You can get violation things here and write violations to people at your Halloween party. That would be funny. Fake money, all kinds of stuff. Ooh, look at this. Handcuff earrings. That's pretty cool. They even have the female versions right here. Lock me up in confined cutie. That is hilarious. And and officer pat you down. Here's a taser right down here. I wonder if it's gonna work if we press the button. Yes, it does. That is awesome. That is $10. They have plenty of Harry Potter stuff for sale right now. This is awesome. Look at this. We've got the plush owls right there. Those are cool. These are $27 a piece. And look, they have the Nimbus 2000 broom. Very cool. And of course, they got the costumes up here for $50 each. And here's a Gryffindor scarf right there. That is cool. For $27, Harry Potter is a great movie to watch at this time of year. One of the fans just told me they're going to be somebody from Mar Monster High for Halloween. They have plenty of Monster High stuff here. For $60, here's the Frankenstein. And for $60 as well, they have Claudine Wolf. Here's the Dracula wig right there for $25. And the Claudine Wolf wig right there for $27. Does this come with the wig? No, just the dress jacket, clip-on plush ears, and leg warmers. So you'd have to get the wig to go with that. And look at this. They have the Monster High Diary. That's cool. They have Toto in a basket from the Wizard of Oz. I love that. Look at his little tongue right there. And look at this. I've never seen this before. The deluxe Glinda wand. If you're going to be Glinda for Halloween, you could use that. Ooh, nice. How much is this? Probably like 20 bucks, $25. Not too bad. And there's the ruby slippers. Here's a Fortnite costume I've never seen before. Rex. That is awesome. And he's on clearance for $50. I wonder why he is on clearance. I've seen a bunch of stuff on clearance here that I don't know why they are on clearance. They must be returns. I love the Monsters Inc. hard hats. These are so cool. I grew up watching Monsters Inc. And this is $15. Plenty of the SpongeBob stuff. I love SpongeBob. They hit the inflatable pet and the inflatable SpongeBob and the inflatable Squidward costumes. That is so awesome. And here's the hat if you want to work for the Krusty Krab. And if you're going to, you're going to need the spatula. And look at this. They even have the Barnacle Boy costume. That is so funny for $50. And here's the Mermaid Man. All right. If you have a friend, you guys can be Barnacle Boy and Mermaid Man. I love the zombie costumes. The undead zombie right here is $55. Comes with a flannel with attached shirt. Light up mask. Does not not come with the foot, so you're gonna have to get the foot separately. Ooh, the mask lights up. That's cool. The wound lights up. How awesome. Here's Till Death Do Us Part Groom right there, and the Undeadly Nurse. And look at this. There's the Till Death Do Us Part Bride. That is awesome for $55. So you can get both of those and have matching costumes together. And here's the zombie tattoo sleeve that makes it look like zombies have been biting up your arm. How cool. And look at this. Some press on zombie nails. That is gross. For $8. We have some awesome mugs here. I love the mugs. Look at this one from Poltergeist. That is so cool. It's the TV with the hands. I also love this one right here. The bloody mug. That is so cool. And this one is $10. Not a bad price. I love these mugs. There's the ghost face one. I definitely need to start a scary mug collection. I definitely need a new lanyard because this one from the Spirit Hollow 40th anniversary is actually breaking on me and they have plenty of awesome ones here we've got jason right there oh there's a spider-man one i grew up with spider-man here's a south park one that's kind of funny here's the killer clowns lanyard right there with the ice cream truck i love that and a halloween one i love these 
bug gel clings. Those are so cool. Moths, cockroaches, centipedes, spiders. That is awesome. These are $10. Oh, look, they have some on the back too. There's a worm. I think the worm is my favorite. How cool. And I want to have a Halloween party. They have plenty of things to put in Halloween goodie bags. Eyeballs, syringe pens. Those are cool. Here's little doll heads. That's funny. I wish they were bouncy balls. That would be hilarious. Here's some bouncy ball eyeballs though. Cool. And little squishy mouses. How awesome. These are $6 for the squishy mouses. I definitely needed to take my daughter to Spirit Halloween and see if she will try to pick out any Halloween costumes. They have some funny ones. Here's the Whittle Werewolf. That is too cute. Fuzzy Duckling right there. Pumpkin Bunting. That is a cute one for $20. Lil Monster right there for $30. And Pumpkin Patch Scarecrow. How cute is that for $35? Here's another Pumpkin Patch Scarecrow right there for a toddler for $35. And a Spooky Kitty that is just too cute. Or over here, we have the Ghost Face Toddler costume right there for $20. Or they could be a Ghostbuster. Oh, look at this. We saw these last year. These are so cool. Look, the plush knife. I love that so much. Soft and safe to play with for seven dollars and they also have hammers right there pow they have plenty of other fortnite costumes here lots and lots of them there's guff right there another rex costume man cakes tomato head lynx skull trooper all kinds of these fish skull that's a funny one. Ooh, look over here they are hiding some plush from us back here by the blankets we've got a few ghost faces and we have michael myers right there how awesome Awesome. So come and get them, guys. And they have our Leatherface bobblehead. I will get him one day. Check this out. They have a Sam pop movie figure right there. We never see Sam. Awesome. And he is flocked as well. This is very cool. $15. Oh, no. I dropped him. Does that mean I have to buy him? And look at this. We also have a Billy Butcherson. How cool. I love finding the figures that we never get to see. They almost always have this one right here, John. Jumbo, the very colorful Jumbo. Look at this snake. I love this. He is so funny. He feels like he's filled with sand. Okay, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween on Cemetery Road in Hillard, Ohio. I told you I would hide a t-shirt, so I am going to hide him right now in this beautiful rose bush right over here. Make sure you're careful because it is right by the road, but I'm going to stick him right in here. If you come and find him, make sure to post a picture of it on the Facebook page. Come and find it, guys. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, we're right here at Spirit Halloween in Columbus, Ohio. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna hide a shirt outside here so you guys can come and find it if this is your local store. Let's go inside and see what they got. All right, we are greeted by Leatherface and Stilts. I usually do Leatherface first. Let's go ahead and do Stilts first this time. Love that blue hair, the white face and the orange. What awesome colors on him. Good to see you still. It's $350 for him and Leatherface, my favorite. And he is the only Leatherface animatronic this year that has the moving chainsaw blades. I believe Lowe's and Halloween City also have the Leatherface, but he does not have a moving chainsaw blade. So extra points for Spirit Halloween for having the moving chainsaw blade. And of course the Martian warrior. I do see he does not have any steam with him right now. He is a great animatronic. I'd love to have a bunch of him and just put them all in my yard like he is invading. We have $400 for him pricey but he is very cool on the other side here we've got the widow i love the widow <laughs> yeah. 
Got to love her scream. Good to see you, Widow. All right, on the inside, we've got the Sitting Scarecrow and Dagger Mike. It looks like Dagger Mike is not working right now, but the Sitting Scarecrow should be. Yes. The scary Sitting Scarecrow. I love him. I hope to see a bunch of him on porches this year for trick-or-treating. Outside around here, we have <gasps> Heckles the Clown. Oh my gosh, I have not seen him working yet. Nothing like a good carnival to really lift your spirits, right? <laughs> Mine. Man, I am so <laughs> excited. I have not seen Mine. Heckles working in the store yet. Already, you can have any color balloon you'd like. No? Hey! What's up? Oh, I don't... Hey, hello. How funny. I am so happy that they have him. We have not seen him yet. All right, we'll go back to him and see some more quotes that he has. But we've got Slim right here waiting on us. I cannot believe they have Heckles. The first store on my trip that we found him. Honk, honk. He is super tall. And I believe he is close to $400. We'll have to check the price on him if we see him for sale anywhere. Let's go over to Heckles one more time and see what else he says. I love this. Every day is a happy day for a balloon. Here, take one. <laughs> They're even nice on your death day. <laughs> <laughs> He is so cool. How awesome. And he is $280. All right. They even have a hex spawn. How awesome is this? What a great store. Here he goes. All right. He's quieter at this store. The past few stores that I've gone to, he has been super loud which I don't mind actually, because he is super tall. He needs that loud voice to go with that. $330 for him. Here is the Howling Spirit. Howling Spirit is one of my favorites. Heckles might have to be one of my favorites now though. I am so glad that we saw him. All right, Howling Spirit. They do have the gargoyle here. Ooh, and he's working. When you have him fully set up, fog should come out of his mouth. He is super cool. All right, we've got Darling Dolly over here and she looks like she is working good. Let's go, Darling Dolly. Oh, great. Darling Dolly actually, I think, is my favorite here for 2023. Love those long, spooky hands to match the spooky tree. And of course we have the eternal rest but she never works, so she is eternally resting for sure. All right, we've got Gordo over here. Come on, Gordo. There he goes. I hope they do some more pumpkin-themed animatronics over the years, because I do love pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. Good to see you, Gordo. All right, we've got Blackheart. Show me your girlfriend, Blackheart. Oh, his jaw is not come. working. Poor Blackheart. His jaw must be tired from kissing his girlfriend. All right, super cool. Of course, the Whispering Grave Watcher with her beautiful purple eyes. She is cool and affordable at $80. Desmodus, another favorite of mine. Please work. No, maybe not. Maybe he's not working. I guess not. He must be broken. He jumps super hard, so I'm not surprised that he breaks pretty easily. Of course, he got little skelly bones. If he's not on motion, he's not working. And I don't believe he is because he is not doing anything for us. But it's still good to see him. Looks like he's just sitting down, taking a break. All right, knock, knock. Yes, the jumping spider. What a great mechanism for this year. We have to keep an eye out for the door opening mechanisms. I don't know if they actually sell them or not, but it would be awesome to be able to set something up just like this at your house. 
I see animatronics on the floor for sale. I don't think we're going to see any heckles, though, just yet. Maybe. We'll keep an eye out. We've got little skelly bones. Poor George right there. They have a widow. How awesome is that? Man's possessed friend. Blackheart straw man. Right here, we've got Desmodus and Slim Emmeline. I still haven't seen Emmeline set up in the store yet. Hex spawn right here and the Coldrenus, and Sitting Scarecrow, and the Scary Sitting Scarecrow. This is the one that I would get. He is super cool and a classic, but I like the scary version of him. And they have an Eternal Rest and a Leatherface. This store looks like they do not have a whole lot of the inflatables here. They do have a bunch of the ghost face though. And over here as well, they are pretty sold out on masks. I wonder why that is. Maybe they just opened up and they're still getting stocked. I see some Chucky dolls, but I do not see any Glens. He sells out very quickly. Here's the talking Chucky doll right there. He is a great one. We also have the Chucky statue right there. And ooh, look, we have a ghost face sidestepper. Oh my gosh. His arm is broken. Look at that. I kind of like how he swings the knife around though with that broken arm. And of course we have Sam. He is always a classic. We have a couple of the horror babies right here. We've got Sam and Ghostface. Ghostface, of course, is one of my favorites. No leather face, though. And they are $50 a piece. I do love you. And look at this. We have a few zombie babies, not as many as we usually do. Wretched Ralphie with his rat and the spider biter Billy. And we have Slaytime and Flippin' Freddy. I'm getting better and better at remembering all their names. Oh, this is an awesome costume from Teen Wolf Scott Howard. How how cool is that? Comes with the jacket, wig, beard, and the gloves, the hairy gloves. How cool for $60. I'm totally going to watch this tonight. I love Teen Wolf. These are funny too. Looney Tunes costumes. They have Wiley Coyote, hooded plush, union suit, and the yikes sign. That is hilarious for $60. Bugs Bunny right there. And he comes with carrots? Hooded plush, union suit. Oh, he doesn't come with the carrots? Or I wonder if they're part of the suit. Hmm. That would be crazy if they show the carrots and he doesn't come with it. You could always bring your own carrots, though, for $40. Not too bad. They do have the Megan costumes here. These are kind of hard to find. I don't see them everywhere. $60 a piece for these. I don't see the Jack the Reaper costume, guys. They are selling out of those. They are super popular. Everybody loves Spirit Halloween. And no popcorn gun, but we do have the cotton candy gun. Another one of my favorite items here at Spirit Halloween. How great is that? I love Killer Clowns from Outer Space. $30 for that and the video game is coming out soon i cannot wait to play it i see hiding over here we have some of the nightmare harvester plush that is very cool i love the jack-o-lantern in his hand i wonder why they have them hiding over here kind of off to the side he is 30 dollars, i believe let's check here yes 30 dollars a piece and i still haven't gotten to see the animatronic i wish they would put the animatronic in the store so we could see what he does let's take a look at some of the blankets here and see what they've got look at this the pumpkin head i haven't seen that in a while awesome somebody told me to watch the pumpkin head movie i haven't watched it yet but i will this year for sure that is 27 dollars, and what a cool blanket awesome freaky graphics on that they also have the fleece night crawler throw i do want that one super bad and the crouchy one you don't see the crouchy one every day now silence of the lambs that's another one silence of the lambs is a freaky movie oh look at this they've got the ghoulies 2 blanket awesome i'm kind of surprised that we don't see the rare spirit halloween blanket here because they have a couple of these blankets that i don't see every time but that is awesome ghoulies 2 i still haven't seen ghoulies 1 or 2 but i will watch them this year for sure they are fully stocked on bobbleheads bagwell sam georgie exorcist Ghostface. they have both of the michael myers behind the bush and the sheet how awesome is that but no leather face plenty of book bags as well we've got ghost face right there jason some sam down there here's the chucky one i do like the chucky one a lot and look at this i love the nightmare before Christmas backpack with the flaming pumpkin. Here's an awesome gladiator kit costume right there. Child small four to six for $40. I love the gladiator stuff. Ooh, here's a Fall Guys costume I have not gotten to see before yet. The hot dog, that is $40. One size fits most and I believe it is, no, it's not inflatable. It's just like a foam, but how cool is that? And of course they have the chicken down there, the pig
pink guy and the blue guy with the crowns. I don't see any of them that had the tail on them, but we do also have the blue freeze and the book bag. This is a sweet inflatable Baymax costume. That is really cool. $59 for that. Here's PB&J. That is a great costume to wear for you and your friend, and that is $30, and it actually comes with both of the foam pullover costumes. So all you need to do is spend $30, and you have two costumes right there for you and your best friend. They have the six-foot hanging party ghost. I love this one. He's not working. Is there a tab we can pull? Yes, there is. Let's go ahead and get that going. Pull the tab right there. I love the colors on this ghost. Look at this. How awesome. That would look so sweet in the dark. They do have the pig butcher costume. That is awesome. You don't see that one every time, and that is four dollars what an awesome costume he does not come with the cleaver yes he does actually wow that's cool so you don't even have to buy the weapon to go with that that is the full costume right there what is this electro pumpkin reaper i don't think i've ever seen that one before how cool hooded robe gloves and light up mask Look at that. That would be a sweet costume, and that is $45. Oh, they do have some of the pumpkin carving kits here. I love these. And look at this, the Gremlins one. I don't think I've seen the Gremlins one before. This is $6. How awesome. I love the dripping Gremlins sign right there. I am looking for the ghost face one. I do not see it here, but I'm definitely going to pick it up whenever I see it next. We do have, though, the Friday. Oh, there it is. Ghost face right there. And Friday the 13th. This one I'm excited about, too, because I love Friday the 13th. I totally want to get some of these. I might have to go out to the car and grab my wallet. Let's check out Heckles one more time before we head out. I am so happy we found him. This is the first time that I have seen him working. I love that. The face on the balloon. I love him. How cool. $280. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for Spear Halloween in Columbus, Ohio. I told you I would hide a t-shirt, so I found a nice orange and red fall tree right here right in the back of the parking lot. I am going to put it nice and snug right up here in the tree. So if you are local to this store, come and find it. It's right there in the tree. It's in a plastic bag, so it will not get wet if it rains or anything. And if you find it, go ahead and post a picture of it on the Facebook page so I know that you found it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. We're out here at Spirit Halloween in Fairlawn, Ohio. I have still not seen Heckles the Clown in action. Let's go inside and see if they got him. I do not see a Heckles the Clown, but I do see a Slim the Clown. Let's get him going. <laughs> he is very cool. Killer Clowns is one of my favorite kind of funny horror movies. And his bag of shiny popcorn. All right, we've got Leatherface over here, one of my favorites. Ooh, they got him turned up nice and loud, too. I love that his saw blades are turning. The Lowe's and Party City version of him, they do not have the blades turning. So that is a plus for him. All right, over here we have the Martian warrior. Does he have any mist? No, it doesn't look like any mist today. If I worked here, I would make sure he had mist every time. All right, Mr. Martian warrior, we should have the widow right around the corner here. Yes, we do. Instead of breaking her neck, she more like fixed it.
<laughs> I love the widow. All right, we've got poor George over here waiting for us to activate him. Very cool, poor George. I love his orange hair. Good to see you, poor George. All right, let's go around the corner and see what they got here. No heckles, but we do have a dagger mic. <laughs> dagger mic is very cool. I feel like he's going to be a classic, and we will see him next year probably. And nothing set up inside. We do have two stacks of animatronics here that we'll look at in just a moment. But look at this beautiful setup. Lots of awesome animatronics over here for us to look at, including the Howling Ghost. I really like the Howling Ghost. He is great. I do want him. I love anything with ghosts. And in the dark, he looks really cool because these lights are really nice. All right, Howling Spirit. We'll go over here. We've got Darling Dolly. I love Darling Dolly. She's probably my favorite for this year. What a great animatronic she is. An awesome drop-down scare. And they have the eternal rest. I highly doubt she's working, but we'll see. No, I guess not. We're stepping on the pad and nothing is happening. Must be broken like always. But we do have Mr. Gordo. I believe he's going to go. There he goes. Yes. <laughs> I almost had to step on the pad again. Gordo is so awesome. I have to carve a pumpkin like him, so i got to figure out a way to make him stand up just like that. All right, Gordo, we've got Blackheart right here. He is very cool. Soon you will forget everything. Your life, your past. You will stay with me for the rest of eternity. He is cool. He is $300. What an awesome animatronic. And we also have King Bat right here. I saw that he does work. But first we'll do Lil Skelly Bones. He's, he was a little quiet. He definitely would have spooked me if I would have gotten closer to him any sooner. King Bat Desmodus. So awesome. He is great. Honestly, it's a tie between him and Darling Dolly. I don't know which one I like more, but he is great. Let's go over here and knock on the door and see who is behind. There he goes. <laughs> the timing was a little off, but he is sweet. I love the light and all the spiders on the wall behind him. I wonder if they sell this kind of background in like a backdrop. That would be cool. Thank you, Mr. Jumping Spider, for saying hello to us. Okay, I see a lot of awesome things over here. Now, we've got some stacks of animatronics. Desmodus, the Mars Attacks, Martian Warrior, and two of the scary sitting scarecrow. No, these are the regular ones. Uh, yes, both of these are the regular ones. 170 for him, and he is a classic. We also have a Lil Skelly Bones. I'm starting to see him a little more often now. $170 for him. We have the Widow. I love the Widow, and I think I want to buy her this year. We also have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He is great. And and Blackheart. And right over here we have a Stilts. Another straw man right there. Here's the scary sitting scarecrow. I like him a little bit better than the regular one. And we have another Blackheart. Man's possessed friend. Another widow. Wow, very cool. They have our horror babies here. We've got Ghostface, one of my favorites, and Leatherface. It's very cool to see him because he is sold out very often. And we have Sam right there and Pennywise. Pennywise is also one that's kind of sold out often. We have some snow globes here. We've got Leatherface, Pennywise. Oh, that's it. Leatherface and Pennywise. We'll go ahead and shake them all up just for fun. And of course, we have our favorite sculptures or whatever you call these things, statues. That's what it's called. With the sad pumpkin. I'm going to have to carve a sad pumpkin to go along with this. Check it out. They do have a Glen doll. He is hard to find. Everybody buys him up very quickly. He is $70. 
stairs. Very cool. Right around here, we have a bunch of the new side steppers. I do not see Leatherface, but we do have plenty of the ghost face. Let's see if any of them work. There we go. He is such an awesome side stepper. I love that sound of the swinging knife. We also have Chucky right here. That one is awesome too. And we've got Frankenstein and Sam as always. I see a Crouchy here, but I do not see Little Skelly Bones. I cannot believe we have not seen Little Skelly Bones in store at all. We got him at the grand opening, a couple of the Killer Clown statues there, and all of the awesome blow molds that we love. I always look to see if they have any new inflatables. They have a bunch of the ones that we always see here, including the ghost face one. I see a lot of him, and I'm happy we do because he is one of my favorites. And of course, gargoyles, ghosts, jack-o'-lanterns, haunted trees, wolves, reapers, and the hearse. Somebody tell my dad we have the secret keeping cat here and the gnarly bunny. I love the gnarly bunny he is torn up and i think that is it nope we do have scabs the chihuahua dog he's another one of my favorites i haven't paid many visits to my favorite cute bat here last year i loved to see him he is so cute and funny plenty of weapons here do i see no i do not see any hammers for my leatherface costume but they do have this knife right here, which is what Sissy and the Hitchhiker use in the video game. So if you're gonna be them, $10 for that. That is exactly what you would want. More weapons over here, lots of good ones, but I'm still looking for a hammer that would work for my costume. It's okay if I don't find one though, because I have a chainsaw and look, they have a chainsaw for sale here right now. Those are kind of hard to find this year. So if you're looking for one, here it is. This mask is hilarious. I found this last year, the nerd mask that is so funny funny. This is $15 and that is a very funny mask if you want to use like a funny costume this year. I don't remember who asked me about the evil bunnies. If I can find your comment, I will put it up on the screen. But there is the rabbit with the moving mouth mask and he is $60 and that is a super freaky awesome mask. And of course right next to him is the wolf with the moving mouth. These are awesome masks. I love it. Let's see how much this one is. Also $60. They have the blow mold pumpkins here. These are awesome. Look at this, the clown. I think that might be my favorite out of all these. $15 a piece for these, except for this one. This one's probably a little more expensive because he's bigger. That one is $20. Look at that. That is cool. I'd love to put a couple of these on my porch. They are fully stocked on Poppy Playtime costumes here, guys. Lots of the ones with the faces, with your face right there in the mouth. But my favorite are these right here with the actual Huggy Wuggy face on them. Those are so cool. $60 a piece for these. They also have a bunch of the Five Nights at Freddy's one, but mainly Glamrock Freddy and Foxy. I'm keeping my eye out for some more. I hope they get some more next year. And it would be really cool if they made some animatronics from Five Nights Nights at Freddy's because they are animatronics so it would fit very well. Please oh please have the rare blanket. So far I'm not seeing it. Oh that is too bad. I really want to find that blanket again. But they do have the scary movies and chill blanket. That one is very cool. Mind Flare from Dungeons and Dragons and the Haunted Mansion Super Plush Throw. That is a funny one. Check this out. They have the Harvester. Is that what his name is? The Nightmare Harvester. Yes, he is very cool. I love that jack-o'-lantern in his hand. This is actually after an animatronic, but I have never seen the animatronic. I wish they'd have it in stores, but this is kind of rare and $30 for him. Plenty of the bobbleheads here, all the ones that we love, including Leatherface. That one is my favorite. Lunch boxes. If I was still in school, I would totally get a couple of these lunch boxes to use. I'd probably end up getting this one, the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I love it. That is so cool. And these are $17 a piece. That is not too bad at all. Lots and lots of the Bibbo with Shorty in a pizza box. They are always totally stocked on these this year. This one is $40 and we also have the Sanderson sisters. I don't see this one every time. That is super cool. They're on stage from when they're singing in the movie. That one is $40 as well. And right above it, we have Danny with Binks. Look, there's Binks right there, the tiny cat. That is cool. Ooh, they have more. Winifred, uh, Sarah, and Mary. 
in singles instead of the three pack. So I'll keep my eye out for that. And this is $15. I love when they have these hanging props out here in the middle instead of hidden back there in the aisle. Let's press the button on them and see what each of them does. This is the nurse and she shakes. Oh, barely working, but yes. She's a little quiet, so you can't hear exactly what she's saying, but she shakes. She is very cool. I think this guy also shakes. Let's see here. Oh, he's not going to work. That is too bad. Maybe he will. No. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. We've got the hanging pumpkin man. His eyes light up, I believe, but that is not lighting up right now. We also have this scarecrow right here. His eyes also light up. Man, these buttons are always torn up. There it is. That would be super freaky to see at night. And we have the devil right here. I don't remember what he does. Maybe his eyes just light up, but he's not going to work either. A couple more over here. This one is my favorite hanging prop, the kicking clown. I think he is so funny. Look at this. He said, I think he can help me down from here. That is hilarious. Look at those shiny pants. We also have the hanging vintage monster right here and his eyes light up. That is awesome. And we've got some smaller ones, the animated faceless specter. Not gonna work, but I love the sounds it makes. It howls and kind of moves back and forth, I believe. And his eyes light up. They have killer clown stuff back here and look what I see, two popcorn guns. How awesome, $100 each for these. These are becoming more and more common as the season goes by and lots of acid pies, $25 a piece for these. And and these are a nice, soft, almost like a foam. I want this, that, and the other gun that I do not see here. I love all of this Halloween attire. It is very, very cool and really puts you in the Halloween mood. I would love to have this one right here, half and half orange and black with a jack-o'-lantern face. This one is XL and I'm looking for a price, but I do not see it right now. We also have some pumpkin t-shirts right here. Look at that, that's a female pumpkin t-shirt right there. And we have some hats up here. I love all the hats. Look at that with the spider web, that is very cool. Stay spooky. There's the cat crossbody bag, I love the cat stuff. Lots of the ponchos here. The ghost one is probably my favorite, but we also have the pumpkin poncho. And what is this, the pumpkin Kigarumi? What in the world? That is cool. I love the pumpkin face. He's even got a tongue. That is cool. $45 for the pumpkin Kigarumi, whatever that means. And here's some more hats. A nice jack-o'-lantern right there and an awesome spirit Halloween hat. Look, we've got this one right here and this one that's embroidered. That is cool. I need a new hat, so I'll have to think about that one. These are $17 for that one and $15 for this one. I do not see the Sam shirt anywhere but we do have the regular spirit halloween shirt right there and we have the nightcrawler right here i love the nightcrawler shirt and they have plenty of good sizes there and another one that i love is this one with ghost face the purple i love it this one is only a size small though and they are almost sold out not many signs here right now but we do have the martian pistol right there this one is a very cool one it changes when you move it side to side and that one is twenty dollars that is one of my favorites this is a very cool you'll float to it sign too i don't know if i've ever seen that one before but georgie disappears and turns into just the lonesome balloon k888 wanted to see the momo mask for her daughter olivia there is the freaky momo mask that is crazy the jaw actually kind of moves a little bit because the mouth is separated the momo mask is let's see 40 doll hairs that's a little bit more than i would expect it to be and he's a little bit tangled up right now his hair is tangled up in jeff the killer another freaky one john loya wanted to see the walking monster hands and look at this they have a bunch of them there's a couple different kinds of these but right now we only have the green ones i wish they had the other ones that are like a flesh color but let's press the button and see how he sounds that is loud that is so awesome <laughs> my dad had one of these when i was a kid and we would just crawl around the house all the time these are very cool and they cost 30 dollars a piece not too bad i almost forgot to check out all the zombie babies they are so super well stocked here we've got snack and stevie glorious george there devil cherub uh, I don't remember his name, Wretched Ralphie. He is so hard for me to remember and he is one of my favorites. We also have um, Munchin something, <laughs> Chompin' Connie. Why can't I remember that? Flippin' Freddy, 
Revenous Ruby with her awesome red eyes. And Spider Bite or Billy right there, another one of my favorites with his super dead purple gray eyes. And Gutsy Gwen, she's not gonna work right now though. Oh, and look at this, they have the new one. This is Slay Time, very cool right there. You can lay that in a bassinet or something. Super freaky. They do have some of our favorite clown costumes here. These are all very cool. They even have Hugs the Clown right there for $55 and Wacky Mole the Clown with the light up eye mask. That one is $70. We have Crouchy, Creepy Clown, Freak Show Clown. All of these are super freaky slasher. Look at how scary that one is. That is crazy. He is $40. And we have the Chaos Clown right there. Another super freaky one for $60. Let's activate Darling Dolly one more time before we go because I love her so much. is super loud right now too i love that how great i really want her and i also want king bat we'll set off king bat for the outro thank you guys so much for watching this is spirit halloween in fairlawn ohio i'll see you guys in the next one What's up guys we are over here at the spirit halloween and mentor ohio let's go inside and see what they got this place looks like it's gonna be awesome oh my gosh they have the martian warrior uh -huh. guys they have the martian warrior let's go ahead and do mr leatherface here there he goes his sound was a little late i love that saw i wish you could have this in 3d so the saw could come out and try to cut you through the tv pretty woman leatherface he is so awesome what a cool animatronic, and I want him so bad because the video game is coming out soon, and I'm going to be playing a lot of it. All right, we'll go over to Stilts here with his bowling pins. I do not know what those bowling pins are all about. They should have made his head look like a bowling ball. He is towering. I don't remember how tall he is, but he is $350. Stilts is pretty cool. I always love the clown stuff. They've got the Martian Warrior. We have not gotten to see him anywhere except for the grand opening. Let's get him going. There he goes. He is so awesome with his laser gun. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. They have fog coming out of him. Do they have him set up? It's not shooting very much fog, but I can see a little bit coming out. They might have him connected to a fog machine. Maybe the fog goes in there, but that is so cool. I wish he would shoot his fog out at me. That is so awesome. All right, Mr. Martian Warrior. I am so glad we got to see him. Let's move around here. Who do they got around the corner? They've got the Widow. I love the Widow. I love it. I love her neck breaking action. She is so awesome and pretty affordable as well. Okay, we'll go around here and we've got Slim waiting on us to activate. Guys, this store is absolutely huge. Honk, honk. <laughs> I gotta honk his nose every time I see him. Slim is so great. I want him so bad. Look at his bag of popcorn. I love you, Slim. All right, we'll move around here. They should have a poor George. Yes, they do. So awesome. There is poor George. He is so freaky. He's got a happy face and a sad face. And he is so loud when he laughs. How could you be so happy after getting cut in half? Okay, poor George, we'll go on inside over here and see who we've got. Dagger Mike and the Sitting Scarecrow. Let's pay Dagger Mike our respects. <laughs> there he goes. I love Dagger Mike. He is such an awesome and fast jump scare. We've got Mr. Sitting Scarecrow right over here. 
Maybe he's not going to work. Sometimes he doesn't, but he is super cool. Let's go over here. There's a ton of animatronics, guys. We'll go through these in just a moment. I see a bunch of stuff sit over here, including Desmodus. I hope he is working. We've got the ghost right here. Another one of my favorites. Here he goes. I love his howling and he is loud too. I love when they have him all nice and turned up. The ghost stuff is always my favorite. I love it. I love this tattered, ripped clothing. He is so awesome. Okay, and they've got the gargoyle. He's not glowing right now, though. Let's go over here. I see Darling Dolly. This is the first time that I caught her before she could jump at me. She is hiding in this tree. It works perfectly because her hands look like the tree. All right, Darling Dolly, let's go. Do your thing. Here she goes. She's going to drop down. Here she goes. I love Darling Dolly. Darling Dolly is so awesome with her creepy hands. I totally want her and a couple of the creepy trees so I can hide her between them. Okay, we've got Gordo right over here. Mr. Gordo, good to see you. Gordo is another one of my favorites. I hope he's working. Yes, he is. There he goes. There he goes. He popped up. I love Gordo and the guts inside of him. He is so awesome. Okay, we've got the Riz Reaper. Let's go, Riz Reaper. Do your thing. He is so cool with his girlfriend, the Riz Reaper. And look, he's got black on his mouth and so does she. They must have been kissing. All right, we'll move around from the Riz Reaper and go over here to Lil Skelly Bones. We have to set him off. He was a big animatronic last year, super popular. There he goes. Oh my gosh, he popped up super fast. That was awesome. Okay, we've got Desmodus right here. Please, please, please work Desmodus. Yes, there he goes. I love Desmodus. That wingspan is so awesome, and he is a fast jumper and super good at scaring you. Look at those sharp teeth and red glowing eyes. We've got the Grave Watcher going. Too quiet to hear, but she is awesome and freaky. And we have the door mechanism with the jumping spider. Oh, he's already jumped up. <laughs> there he is with the red eyes. I do like that a lot. Okay, guys, let's go through all the animatronics. They do have a Gordo for sale, you guys. They do not have a whole lot of him for sale this year. $150, I love it. A lot of Sitting Scarecrow. We have two stilts here. Man's Possessed Friend. They do have the Grave Watcher and the Riz Reaper. Three Slims, guys. They are super stocked this year. Three Dagger Mike. Three of the Widow and some more Man's Possessed Friend. And they have, it looks like, three Poor George. They have Mr. Punchy, the Party Clown. I love that one. They have Evelyn Leach here. Guys, they have Evelyn Leach here. We haven't seen her in so long. $200, I can't believe it. That gives me hope about finding a two scoops because I want him so bad. They have two nozzles, the clown, straw man. They have young Crouchy. I'm so glad we see some of him this year, $170. And they have Leatherface. And they have two of the Eternal Rest. This place is absolutely huge, guys. And they have a ton of stuff. Look at all the zombie babies. They are fully stocked on zombie babies this year, including Gutsy Glenn. She is my favorite. I will always activate her. And we have the cockroach eater and the rat eater. We haven't seen the rat eater a whole lot this year. So good to see ya. Mothy Max, the crawling zombie babies. And we have the brain eater. And we have one hand eater over here. He's a popular one. And they have devil cherub. I love Devil Cherub and his red lighting up eyes, but you can't hear what he's saying because he's so quiet. In addition to the zombie babies, they have the horror babies, Ghost Face, my favorite, and they have a leather face, another favorite of mine, Pennywise and Sam, as always. They have the Friday the 13th light up mask, and they have these LED projectors, Michael Myers, Friday the 13th, and Pennywise. Not a whole lot of sidesteppers this year, but they do have Sam and they have Frankenstein. They have some Chuck dolls here you guys they seem to have a lot of him this year but they do not have the other guy look at this awesome jack-o-lantern mask i don't think i've seen that before this thing is sweet i love that i always love pumpkins and jack-o-lanterns this mask is 17 dollars here's the uv pumpkin mask too that is awesome ultraviolet light reactive so if you put that under a black light he will look amazing here's another pumpkin mask possessed pumpkin we don't see him too often that goes all the way over your head and down your neck. Look at those creepy teeth. Look at this. I saw this last year somewhere, this 
big lady right here. That is freaky. They have plenty of inflatables here. All the ones we usually see, including the 20 foot snake. And they have the pumpkin light that we saw at one of the previous locations. He is an awesome party pumpkin. They've got scabs, the chihuahua dog. And they have the gnarly bunny, one of my favorites. They have a fogging skull pile down here. And right above it, they have door knockers. I always love the door knockers. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of them this year though. What is this? Look at this awesome costume called Rotten to the Core. That is one of the coolest zombie costumes I've ever seen in my life. And I have never seen this before. Dark sea creature, look at that thing. That is so freaky. I've never seen this one either. He is $40. They also have this awesome purple dark dragon and the cowboy corpse. They have a ton of bobbleheads here, guys. They're always so stocked this year on bobbleheads, including the killer clowns from outer space, baby killer clown. He is my favorite, Georgie. Bagwell, The Exorcist, Spider Crawl, Ghostface, another one of my favorites, Scraps, Leatherface, another favorite. They've got three of my favorites here, guys. Gremlins, they have the sheet, Michael Myers. They have everything we want. And they have Hannibal Lecter. Lots of awesome blankets, guys. They've got Mars Attacks, the Call Me Ghostface, the Nightcrawler, I want that one so bad, and the Sheet Ghosts. They have a few Killer Clowns things here, the Acid Pies, but no popcorn guns. Devil's Eyes asked to see all the Michael Myers stuff. They have plenty. Here's the Halloween mask right there. That's a good one. This awesome pullover I want so bad. Everyone is entitled to one good scare. And the arm says the night he came home. Here's the other Halloween mask. That one's maybe my favorite. This is a cool shirt right here with the flannel underneath the pullover. They do have Spirit Halloween branded jumpsuits. They have my favorite Martian sign, slow alien invasion area. I love it. Like it was melted from the blaster. And the changing laser pistol sign. Here is a Michael Myers door cover. That one is awesome. We have the light up ghost face hanging figure. I love it so much. Look at that blue. 66 asked for the Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. They have Montgomery Gator, Glamrock Freddy, and they have Foxy. Those are the only ones that I see so far though. For the girl who is looking for tiger stuff, here is a child medium 8 to 10 tiger suit and a child 8 to 10 sassy cat, complete with tail, mitts, and footless tights. We have a lot of bag clips here, guys. Guys, but I do not see any of the animatronic bag clips. I am on the hunt for those. But they do have some of my favorite mugs. And look at this. I've never seen it before. The Mars Attacks black mug with blue see-through. That is so cool. $13. I want it so bad. I might have to get it at some point. Here's another one of my favorites. Ghostface. The Bloody Hand Mug. Freddy and Jason. And speaking of Jason, I do love the Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. That one is awesome. $13 as well. I definitely need to start a Halloween collection of mugs. I always love the treat bags. Look at this one, the colorful skull. Here is a shiny, cute but creepy pumpkin bag. And look, it's got sequins in there. And the zombie outbreak survival bag. I also love all of the socks. This has candy corns. And look at this zombie sock. Here's another zombie sock. Hands, lips, and eyeballs. One of my favorites would be the blood splatters though. All right guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween. And Mentor Ohio. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got the Martian behind us. I'll see you guys in the next one. guys we're out here at spirit halloween in mayfield ohio and night is falling and the bugs are chirping let's go inside and see what they got i love seeing the store all lit up from the inside when it is getting dark outside we are greeted by stilts right in here this is a little bit different of a setup than the other stores gotta love stilts and his bloody bowling pins All right, still it's good to see you and your blue hair. Around the corner, we have the straw man. I haven't seen the straw man set up a whole lot lately. Did you know that this land is cursed? The 
original farmer. Who would be great at a haunted hayride place? They say it helped to keep the soil nice and fertilized. Would you care to see where the remains lie? And I love his movements too, the back and forth. All right, we've got Slim right here waiting for us to honk his nose. Come here, Slim. Lean down. Honk, honk. Ooh, creepy. There's a flickering light up there. I'm pretty sure stilts stand... Stilts? I'm pretty sure that uh, Slim stands at like six feet tall or something, and he is awesome. Let's see who we have around the corner here. Nobody. It's supposed to be Dagger Mike. I wonder if they're saving that spot now for heckles. This definitely used to be a grocery store. Look at the signs up there. It says fresh stock up. Uh, what else we got here? Variety, great selections. That is so funny. Ooh, we do have a back section here. I didn't think they would have it. Oh my gosh, he just scared the crap out of me. That is too funny. He was super loud. Look at that one arm way extended out. I love him. He is so awesome. Here's the Whispering Grave Watcher. I love her purple eyes. Look, they even have a couple zombie babies down here. We've got Mr. Skelly Bones waiting here for us. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's missing an eye. Mr. Pirate Skelly Bones. That must be why he's holding his eye. Because somebody must have punched him and he lost it. Let's see if the spider's gonna jump out at us behind here. Knock, knock. No, I guess not. He must be taking a little spider nap. But it's good to see him. We have a stack of animatronics here. The Howling Spirit. Two of him. Eternal Rest, who is always broken. Ooh, look. We've got Gutsy Gwen sitting here saying hello to us. I love her. We've got the ghost face inflatable there. Sitting Scarecrow, Man's Possessed Friend. I actually really want Man's Possessed Friend, so I'm glad they have a lot of him this year. Darling Dolly, two of her. And we have Black Heart and the Fogging Skull Pile. I think it would actually be cool to have that one as well. This store is so cool. I love how different it's set up. You're used to the same thing every time, but this is nice. We have a nice little cove back here where we have a couple of horror babies, Ghost Face and Sam. And we have the plush guys we love, including Monkey Chimes right there. And we have the Butcher. I love Monkey Chimes. He's actually chiming his little things. That is so awesome. We also have Chucky up here, and looky, looky, we have a Glenn doll. He is super hard to find, so he is here if you are looking for him. And look at this. We saw these a couple stores ago. The Hauntleys. This is so funny. I wish we could see some of these set up because it does look awesome. It has a projector inside, and there are a bunch of different faces, and they probably talk and do all kinds of different animations. And it has 60 minutes worth of talking, singing, and joking. I think this thing would be awesome to see. And this is, let's see, I forget how much this costs. Where is the price on this? Kind of hard to find find. This is $35 and I love the packaging. I can hear Desmodus over there going off over and over again. I don't think he's even on motion Activision. He's just going off over and over again. You can see him over there right now resetting after going off again. That is funny. Here's the animatronic activation switch that they use for the spider in the door over there. This is... $40 by itself. And that would actually be pretty cool to use, but I wish we could hook it up with a door opening mechanism so it could be just like the spider setup, but I don't see any door opening mechanisms. Here is all the rest of the zombie babies. So many of them. Man, they are sure stocked with these this year. We've got Mothy Mike, Mothy Max, Mothy Max. I don't know why I forget that so many times. We've also got Snack and Stevie, Devil Cherub, Chomp and Connie, uh, Gorius George, Flippin' Freddy. I don't know why it's so hard for me to remember their names. Here's another Gutsy Gwen, Spider Biter Billy right there, Revenous Ruby, and Wretched Ralphie with his rat. And right over here, we do have a sleigh time. Here's the wall of inflatables, all the ones we love to see, including the snake. I haven't seen him lately. 20 feet long. I would love to blow him up. I say that every time. He is $150. Maybe I'll have to pick him up at some point. And look at this. They have the scarecrow archway you don't see that one every time either let's see how much he is if we can manage not to knock over the entire place this is a hundred and forty dollars that would be great if you're gonna have a haunted hayride they always have this color section or they usually do oh look at this oh my gosh shiny tassel uh what are these called skirts or something all different colors of that i wish they had more colored hats though i see the white if they had black ones i'd get a couple black ones because i need some new hats speaking of colors they have all the crayola costumes 
costumes here. These are funny. $25 a piece. Not a bad price. They have male and female versions. And they've got purple, blue, pink, and green. Here's the fake money. And they have the money shooter. I would love to know if this actually works. Oh, that actually comes with money, too. This is $20. I'd love to know if that works with real money. If only I made enough money to actually fill that with real money. Here's some awesome scarecrow costumes. There's a sinister scarecrow if you're into the scary stuff. $50 for that. And here's the playful one. And he is $40. Not as scary if you want something that's a little more friendly for the kids. Here's a creepy scarecrow for females. She is $50 as well. And the sweet version. And here's another one down here. Oh no, this is just a poncho actually. And then you could do the paints yourself. The face paint. And here is another one of the scary ones. I like this one the most, I think. That is super freaky. For $50. And another one, the haunting scarecrow. And of course, if you're going to be a scarecrow, you have to get the black crow to go on your shoulder. I would get like six of them and cover myself in crows. Here's some fake teeth. Usually people pay to have their teeth fixed, but you can pay to have some messed up teeth for $10. Here's the doctor stuff. Some people were asking me about doctor stuff, and they do have a decent amount of them. Here's the big old syringe right there. And this, I don't think this actually comes out no, you can't actually pull that, but the blood does move in there. That is cool. Oh, wow. So when you hold it like this, it looks like you're filling it up with blood, or you can make it look like you stick yourself and fill yourself with someone's blood. Super gross. And that is $15. We also have these blood bags right here that you could fill with soda or whatever drink you want for your Halloween party. Walk around drinking that. And we have the head mirror if you're going to be a doctor for Halloween. Here's another single shot syringe. Ooh, you can put drinks in there too and this costume's funny the hospital patient with the butt and that is 25 dollars i would totally be a cowboy for halloween i think that would be hilarious here's a western cowboy kit with a vest bandana belt and holster for 35 dollars plenty of female costumes as well here's a western glam costume right there that is shiny for 50 dollars and plenty of extras the sheriff badge western spurs you can put spurs on any pair of shoes you want for $15. I should put them on my Yeezys. And we've got bolo ties, western lassos. That'd be funny to walk around lassoing your friends at the Halloween party for $8. And if you're gonna be a cowboy, you're gonna have to get the western mustache for $4. I think that if I was a cowboy, I would have to get this hat. Let's see how much that is. That is $15. What a cool hat. Another costume I would love to be is one of these guys, the Knights or the Templar. They have plenty of these. The Templar comes with a tunic with hood cape and metal accents you'd have to get your own sword for that this is forty dollars here's a noble knight for forty dollars as well here's the noble king the dark knight winter assassin baltic cape Ooh, baltic cape that's a cool one awesome that one is forty five dollars they have plenty of these costumes the one that i would probably be is either the noble knight or the templar and of course they have plenty of extras for these here's the swords i think i would get this one look at that that is a huge sword. This is $20. It would be cool to have a group of friends dress up in these costumes. You can get dragons for your shoulder. Let's see how much those are. $20. And you could get shields. And look at this, the axe. No, I think I would get the axe. I wouldn't get the sword. And that one is $20 as well. They have all the old people masks right here up front for you to look at. They have the I Heart Bingo old man mask. That one is super freaky. The old timer grandma right Right there bald old man and the nun none for you that is hilarious danielle he wanted me to check if they had any texas chainsaw mask or stuff and they do have the pretty woman leather face mask i want this so bad but it is 70 dollars it is an awesome mask though super good quality from trick or treat studios look at that creepy picture right there i love that look at his eyes awesome and check this out we've got the leather face chainsaw <laughs> I have one of these, and they are super awesome. I love the chainsaws. These are great, but they are also kind of fragile, so if you get one of these, make sure you're very careful not to break it. I do not see the regular leather face mask, though, anywhere. Those are selling out. Those and the Pretty Woman leather face mask. Wait a minute. Here it is. The regular leather face mask right there. I do have this one, and I saw somebody buy this and cut the mouth out so your own mouth is right there. I think I like that. $70 for him as well. Some more creepy masks are the Momo mask right there. That is a super 
super scary one. Here's Jeff the Killer. Here's the flesh creature. That is a creepy, crazy one. That one is $30. Jeez, some of these masks are super expensive. Here's the bloody pig with the moving mouth. I like that one. That is awesome. That one is $60. Oh, look, they have the vintage zombie mask. I usually say that the ape is my favorite, but I think the zombie one is my favorite. And you don't see him every time. And he is $13. Not bad at all. I know they don't have any Leatherface costumes here because I have looked and looked and looked at about 35 stores so far. I wish they had some in the store, but they do have some online and they are awesome. They also have some Leatherface masks that you cannot find in store. So go ahead online to the Spirit Halloween website and they have some awesome selections on there for Leatherface costumes and masks. They are fully stocked on book bags right now. I think this one's my favorite, the Ghostbusters. They also have Killer Clown, SpongeBob. Ooh, this one right here. The Nightmare Before Christmas. I love that flaming jack-o'-lantern. Let's take a look at some of the blankets and see if they have any of the ones we love. They do have the Nightcrawler down there. That's one of my favorite blankets. They have the Reversible Spirit Halloween plush throw. Chucky right there. Ghost face. And the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I definitely need that one. Here's another Leatherface thing for you right here. The awesome Leatherface statue. All right, nice and quiet in here so I can actually hear the sounds in there. I love that statue. I totally want to get it. We also have the Chucky statue right there, Killer Clowns from Outer Space statue, and they have the popcorn gun. I'm definitely going to get some of these door covers at some point here. I love this one right here, Ghostface ripping through the paper. And they should have the Leatherface. Yes, here's another Leatherface thing for you here. The Leatherface slamming the door open. That is a great one. And here's Michael Myers. That's an awesome one, too. And here's another Leatherface thing for you here. The Sidestepper, my favorite. Ooh, please work. Yes, this one works. That is awesome. I'm totally buying him at some point. I just don't know when. I want to wait until the sales, but he'll probably be sold out by that point. $33 for him. We also have Chucky. He's a great one as well. And we got Sam and Frankenstein up there. Here's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre sign. That's a pretty cool one. It's wooden and it is $18. I love how they have the van and the house in the background. Oh, this is cool. Here's a Hocus Pocus counting one that you can actually count down the days to Halloween. That's awesome. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. And that is $20. The Camp Crystal Lake signs are also one of my favorite. Let's see how much this one is. I don't know if I checked that one. That one is $30 and this one is $18. Not too bad. I definitely want to get one or both of these for my office wall and this one i will get for my office wall as well be eating you from jeepers creepers that is 15 dollars we have plush dolls here oh look at this we've got michael myers and we have what is this guy called the nightmare or something the night harvester plush yes he is very cool and they have a ghost face hiding down there what a great selection oh they even have crouchy and they have a couple of the small ones too we've got freddy right there and jason how appropriate to put them both together i love this ghost stuff there's my favorite fleece throw the sheet ghosts right there that is an awesome one and that is 33 dollars just like all the other blankets the no feet doormat and they usually have the reversible plush guy but I don't see him here right now. But look at this. We do have a soap dispenser with ghosts on it. I love that. And this one is a haunted house. Look at that. What is that guy in the window? That is funny. And a white pumpkin and a bone. Here's the reversible guy. I knew I saw him a minute ago. So he looks like this and you can reverse him to look like that evil version. They usually have a leather face shirt over here. But I don't think I see it. No, I don't. Maybe they have it up here on the wall. No, I am not seeing it. Oh, well, but they do have the Ghost Face Spirit Halloween shirts. Those are kind of hard to find and super awesome. And they have the Sam shirts here, guys. These are both popular, so come and get them. Look at this. I missed some animatronics up here. We've got Stilts, Slim, Straw Man, Sitting Scarecrow, The Widow, and look at this. We have a Grim. We just found Grim somewhere else recently, too, and he is $300. How awesome. You can get Grim and dress him up as whatever you want, too. All right. Right, guys that's it for spirit halloween in mayfield heights let's get one last look at the store lit up in the nighttime in the dark i love this so much halloween is getting closer and closer i am so excited thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one
<laughs> Don't you like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. What's up guys, we're out here at Spirit Halloween in Medina, Ohio. I am on the hunt for the most elusive clowns at Spirit Halloween. Two scoops and heckles. Let's go inside and see if they got them. No heckles, what in the world? I cannot believe we have not found him yet, but we do have the widow greeting us. <laughs> got to love her scream and her hair looks awesome right now. Super freaky black hair. Around the corner we are greeted by Gordo. I love Gordo. love that cat sound he is so cool thank you mr gordo around the corner Ooh, look at this big old stack of animatronics we'll go through that in a minute we have the straw man i actually haven't seen him in a little while He is very cool. I wonder why we haven't been seeing him lately. And what a long animatronic he is. That is crazy. All right, around the corner from him, we have poor George, but I think he is broken. Yes, he is. He's stuck upside down. He really is a poor George. All right, we've got a whole stack here we'll go through. Leatherface right here. He is $400, I believe. I don't see the price on him. That's funny. But yes, I believe he's like $400 or close to it. We also have Eternal Rest. Ooh, a Monty Monkey. I love seeing stuff that we saw last year. Fogging Skull Pile. A Stilts. I don't see Stilts on the floor too often. Or I suppose maybe I do. $350 for him. The Widow right there. Desmodus. We have a Howling Spirit down here. Mars Attacks Martian. We're seeing a lot of him lately. And Blackheart. No back area set up here but they do have a horror baby that i love the texas chainsaw massacre he is my favorite we also have sam as always and no ghost face i usually see ghost face here lots of zombie babies though snack and stevie glorious george flippin freddy hmm Wretched Ralphie, that's his name. Yes, I'm getting better at remembering that. We also have Spider Biter Billy. Look, there is Pennywise. We do have him. And we have a couple of sidesteppers down here. I love Spiky the sidestepper. Can we get him to work? There we go. I cannot wait until the Killer Clowns from Outer Space video game comes out. I will probably end up getting... A couple of these whenever it comes out this is funny look at this we have a bride and groom skeleton that is hilarious oh no her jaw is broken off oh my gosh it's broken off in a bunch of these that is crazy but these are too funny and that is twenty dollars we also have the live wire i love these i think i'm gonna get a couple of these for my inflatable haunted house look at that that is so cool I'll definitely have to get a couple of these for the inflatable haunted house. And we have the butcher, but he, oh, there he goes. <laughs> a little quiet, but he is working. Lots of goodies over here. Look at this. They have a bunch of these little uh, snow globes kind of strewn throughout here. Chucky and Michael Myers. We have a killer clown right here. Let's see if he will light up for us. No, I guess not. His batteries must be dead. A couple of bobbleheads throughout here. Ooh, a bunch of them, actually. Leatherface is my favorite. We also have Georgie and the Killer Clown Baby in the toilet and Ghostface right there and our awesome statues. I don't press the button on Sam all too often, but that is nice. We do have the regular Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask here. But I wonder if they have the Pretty Woman Leatherface mask. Let's keep an eye out for that one because it is getting hard to find. Look at this mask down here. That looks like something Leatherface would do. Carved Goon. I like the name of that too. That is cool. This is $25. I never see this. Here's another one that looks like Leatherface got to him. The Serial Clown. That is crazy. Like you cut the clown's face off. That is super freaky. And this one is $17. Look, here's a pig mask. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. 
and that one is $13. I just want to get a ton of these masks so I can make whatever costume I want. Here's a couple of Grave Watchers on the shelf over here. You never see her on the shelf. That is funny. She is $80. They have a good handful of all the vintage masks here. We've got the vintage Phantom Skull mask right there, vintage Wolfman mask, Ragdoll, Cat, and the vintage Pumpkin right there. These are actually really nice. I kind of like these, and these are... $13. It'd be cool if you had a whole gang of friends all in the vintage masks. I don't know how I just skipped over these ones. We also have the vampire and the monster and the vintage ape. I think I would be the vintage ape. Hammers, hammers, hammers. I do not see any of the hammers that I am looking for. This one is about as close as I'm probably going to get for my Leatherface costume, but I will never stop looking for the one that I want. They always have a ton of awesome rubber effects things here. We've got pointed ears if you want to be an elf, a big witch nose, that's hilarious, eyeball, this one is cool, sightless. I like that one a lot. Makes it look like your eyes were ripped out. $10 for that one. All kinds of this stuff. This one looks like a big gash. Here's a mega bite if you're going to be a zombie. And that one even comes with the gum to stick it to your face and some blood. We also have scars, stitches, all kinds of stuff. These are awesome. Look at that one shredded. It looks like your face got slashed by Freddy. Ooh, here's a broken bone. That is awesome. I love it. It. I could definitely see myself getting a bunch of these. And if you get any of these, you're gonna need to get some clear latex, the stuff you use to stick it to your face and to kind of make it blend in. And there's all kinds of stuff, blood gel there and all these really big things of fake blood. I don't ever really look at all these, but they have a ton of wings and things if you're going to be an angel or something. Here's some fallen angel black wings right there. And these are $25. And we have a bunch more wings over here. Angel wings right here. Those are a nice white. Here's some more ones. Velvet. That's a cool one. Those are bigger than the other ones. These ones are $15. I wonder why they're a lot cheaper than the black ones over there. And here's some silver fringed wings right there. They have like tassels on them. This one is $30. Look at how shiny that is. And if you're going to get some wings, you're going to need to get some of these halos. That is too funny. It makes it look like this halo is floating above your head. Lots of animal things here if you're planning on being an animal. They have plenty of them. Look at this. We've got bunny ears right there. These are $7. Deer antlers right here. Those are also $7. Cat ears, bear ears. They have everything. Look at this. It's a pig kit. That is hilarious. It even comes with a nose for $15. Here's some lamb ears right there. Some mouse ears. They have a ton of this stuff. This one lights up. I just saw it. Yeah, look at that. That is crazy. Light up cat ears. That one is $8. And look at this. Some Dalmatian ears. That is hilarious for $8. They even have a cat nose. That is so funny. If somebody's going to be a cat, please get the cat nose. I'd love to see that on somebody for $4. Speaking of animal stuff, they have plenty of animal costumes too. Here's a Dalmatian suit, deer union suit, cow, a cute cow union suit. That's hilarious. $40 for that that one sharks there's a deer poncho down there sloths they have all kinds of these oh my gosh here's some fake teeth that is so funny this is ten dollars they even have a penguin costume that is so funny for forty dollars i always wanted to be a scarecrow for halloween but i never have been yet here's a scary scarecrow right there i like that one a lot he is fifty dollars here's one that is less scary and more of a funny one Here's a creepy female scarecrow right there for $50. All kinds of these. There's a friendly sweet scarecrow right there. And another one, sassy sunflower scarecrow. And all kinds of extras to go with it. Here's the crow that goes on your shoulder. I love that one. And he is $10. And we've got some scarecrow gloves right there with the sharp fingers. There's some face decals. That would be really cool. Makeup kits, hats, all kinds of stuff. Check this out. For cowboy stuff, they have a blue and a red cowboy 
cowboy hat. I don't think I've ever seen these here before. This is $15, and that is not a bad quality either. This one is $17. They have all kinds of hippie costumes here. I think these are crazy and cool. Here's a groovy vest. Peace and love hippie. This comes with a dress and attached vest, headband, and fringed boot covers for $45. This one comes with a shirt, wig, glasses, peace sign necklace for $40. All kinds of these, and they have a ton of extras. Here's some hippie kit glasses there. Tie-dye bandana, flower headband. Here's some more glasses down here. I like those. This is very cool. Man, this store is totally stocked. $6 for the glasses. They have some really cute baby baby costumes here as well. Look at this. We've got a baby fawn. Here's the strong man. That one is funny. Lil Mouse. Happy Harvest Scarecrow. Whittle Werewolf. These are hilarious. I love these. I wonder which one I'm going to dress my daughter up in this year. Here's one of the Ghostbusters vests. And check this out. I didn't even know the inside had this awesome print. That is very cool. I like that. I ain't afraid no ghost. That is so cool. I love it. And it even comes with a bunch of the different patches if you want to be a different one other than Spangler and these uh, attach with Velcro. That is awesome. How much is this thing? I don't see a price on it, but it is very cool. Oh, look at the back too. The big Ghostbuster symbol. Awesome. And of course, if you're going to be a Ghostbuster, you have to get the new and improved Proton Pack. These are super detailed and very cool. And they are $90 each. I think I would totally be a Ghostbuster for Halloween. And here's some more costumes up here. We have the inflatable Stay Puffed Man up there. And a couple more Ghostbusters suits here for $60 each. Look at this Powerpuff Girls. That is funny. I don't think I've seen much of these this year. We have Bubbles <laughs> Kit, Blossoms Kit and buttercup kit and we have some costumes down here blossom and buttercup and a couple little extra things like stickers and a hat these kits are 15 dollars each powerpuff girls is actually a hilarious show my sister and brother and i used to watch it whenever we were kids this is cool a fallout vault dweller costume i don't think i've ever seen this one before and that is 50 dollars how cool is that lots of disney villain stuff this store is super well stocked Malif right there we have her staff as well that is a heavy staff too and if you shake it it's got some glitter or something in there that's cool this is $40 for the staff $60 for the costume we also have Snow Waits wig there Rapunzel Captain Hook that's an awesome one Captain Hook for $80 Snow White the evil queen Ursula Ooh, we got Cruella all kinds of stuff here's another Cruella one that is awesome look at that one right there for $20 Hello. Video. I got another eighth night on YouTube. I'm in Spear Halloween and I can't talk right now because I'm so excited. She asked me to sign her forehead. I'm never taking a shower after this. There you go. <laughs> That's yeah, funny. Yeah. You forgot your pen. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Okay. Where do you want your sign? Uh, right on here. your forehead as well. You guys yeah. are crazy. All yeah, right. Here we go. go. Over there and get his sign somewhere. <laughs> All right. This is so cool. <laughs> and your hand? Okay. All Seriously, right, thank post you. That video to the Stoke Twins. All right, there you go. Sandra wanted to see all the Barbie stuff, and they have plenty here, more than I usually see. Here's the Western hat. That is so funny. I haven't seen the movie yet, but people have been telling me to watch it because it's funny. $8 for that one. We've got the weird Barbie costume right there. Skating Barbie costume. Here's the Ken box. That is hilarious. $40 for the Ken box and we have plenty of other little extras here bandanas necklaces earrings all kinds of stuff here's a crossbody bag I haven't seen that one yet and that is actually really heavy there's a little heart on there and this is $30 for the Barbie crossbody bag and it looks like the box that Barbie would be in they do have the ghost face aged mask right here everyone keeps asking about this because it is so awesome $17 for that one and they have the dead by daylight chrome the light up mask right here that's a cool one and the regular and the glow in the dark I think the glow in the dark or the bleeding one is my favorite and right here they do have the kit with the regular mask the knife gloves and the voice changer that is the perfect 
perfect kit if you're going to dress up as Ghostface for Halloween for $40. This is an awesome Pennywise mask. I don't think I've seen this one yet this year. It goes over your full head. I love those kinds of masks. And this is $60. That's actually really good for this kind of mask. Speaking of clowns, they have plenty of killer clowns things here. Lots of costumes. And look at this. The over-the-head slim mask. That is so cool. We're starting to see these a little more often now. I wonder if they just had them in stock hidden and packed away. These are $60 each. I really want to find the shorty one though. And looky what we have here. We have the plush Michael Myers. I want that so bad. I'm probably going to get him eventually. He is $30. I think I'm going to wait on him though. Maybe we'll get him later on in the season. Ooh, and they do have the Sam shirts here. These are hard to find and everybody is looking for them. They have a bunch extra large 2x a lot of 2x wow large medium guys they have a ton of them here and they have crouchy shirts i'm not seeing these ones all too often anymore either but they have them here large and extra large i don't see the rare blanket but what i do see here is a Coraline blanket that one is cool this movie is super freaky okay guys that's it for spirit halloween in medina ohio thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one What's up guys, we're right here at Spirit Halloween in North Olmsted, Ohio. I have not found a Heckles the Clown yet. Let's go inside and see if they got him. Whoa, this place is huge. I remember this place from last year, actually. All right, no Heckles the Clown. I cannot believe it. But we do have our good friend, Leatherface. We have to hear him rev his chainsaw. I love Leatherface. He is so awesome. I definitely think I'm going to paint my chainsaw to look like his. We've got stilts over here. Good to see you, stilts. Juggle your pins for me. He is an awesome clown animatronic. We also have the Mars Martian right here. I wonder if he has any mist. Doesn't look like it. Such a cool animatronic. I love when they put stuff in here from the movies. All right, good to see a Martian warrior. We're gonna go over here and see if there's poor George. Usually there is, yes, there is poor George. He is great. I did hear Dagger Mike in there, but first let's go ahead and see our good friend, Slim. Honk, honk. <laughs> I skipped the honk in the past couple of videos. All right, do we have the widow around the corner? Yes, we do. And somebody told me that she was online only last year, so it is nice to see her in the stores this year. <laughs> right on the inside here, we do have Dagger Mike and the Sitting Scarecrow. Let's get Dagger Mike jumping. <laughs> he is awesome. What a creepy face, too. All right, Sitting Scarecrow, we're going to pay our respects to you. What a classic. 
I love him, guys. We are getting closer and closer to Halloween. I hope I see one of him on somebody's porch whenever I go trick-or-treating. We have a few stacks of animatronics here, a bunch of the deadly creeper, lots of him. Slim, stilts, there's young Crouchy. We have a Grim here, how awesome. We haven't seen Grim yet this year, and this is $300. Must be a return, because the box is all beat up. Two of the night crawlers as well, and I see two nozzles. Oh, three nozzles, awesome. I love when they have stuff from last year here. That is really cool. Bunch of the sitting scarecrow, two darling dolly, and I see an Evelyn Leach over here. What? $200 for Evelyn Leach. I never see her anymore, and I know everybody's going to be telling me in the comments to buy her, but I'm probably going to skip on her for right now. Maybe I'll give my dad a call and see if he wants me to pick her up for him. Lots of animatronics. Wow, more sitting scarecrow, two Leatherface, another Evelyn Leach. How cool is that? And I see Darling Dolly right here and another Stilts. They have a ton of animatronics here right now, and look who we have here, the Hexbond. We'll set him off in a moment. Right here we have the Hanging Ghost. What is his name? The uh, Howling Spirit, that's what it is. I think he's on Motion Activision right now. Yes, that's it. Ooh, I love his howling. Hexbon is almost ready for us to set him off. As soon as he's ready, we will set him off. We do have the Gargoyle, but he is not going off right now. If he is, his eyes will be lighting up. All right, Hexbon, we're ready for you. Maybe? He's gonna jump up and scare me, unless he's on motion. Hmm. What can I do to get him to go off for us? Unless that's for the uh, Howling Spirit. Oh, this is for him. <laughs> Here we go. So tall. I love that. What an awesome tall animatronic and loud, too. How awesome, I love it. All right, we'll go over here. I see Darling Dolly waiting by the creepy tree for us to activate. She is a great drop down scare. And what a creepy cracked up face. All right, we've got Gordo over here, but it looks like he is not working. His head is stuck up. Oh well, that is too bad. Good to see you anyways, Gordo. All right, we've got the Riz Reaper Blackheart right here. Show me your girlfriend, buddy. Your time has come. Join me now and forever. We will own the night. Very cool. <laughs> All right, we've got King Bat Desmodus right there. But first we have the Whispering Grave Watcher. I don't know exactly what she says because she is so quiet. Please work, Desmodus. Yes, that is awesome. If the wings alone don't scare you, just the sound of him popping up so fast will. He is great. All right, Lil Skelly Bones, a classic. Always good to see him. He is such an awesome classic. Oh my gosh, Desmodus almost took down the whole setup with him. All right, the spider in the door, he's already opened up and he must be damaged unless he's going to spook me on motion. No, I suppose not. Good to see you, Mr. Spider. He must be taking a nap. Another little stack of animatronics here, Lil Jack Carver, and what is this? The Hauntleys, what? I have never seen this before. What in the world is this? Animated 3D, 60 minutes of custom animations. What in the world is this? That looks like a zombie face right there. So this thing must have, uh, it's got speakers and animations. So the faces must talk. That is crazy. Look at that one. That is awesome. I love the colorful packaging on this. How cool. There's a projector inside there. Wow. Man, I wish they had one of these set up because I've never seen it before. There's the skeleton face right there. Plug and play, so he's not battery operated. You actually have to plug him in. Very cool. I wonder how much he is, though. I don't see any prices on him. Hmm. I'll have to look and see if I can find a video of him working. $35. And right here we have Emmeline, Blackheart, two of him. 
and that might be it. Yes, that is it for the animatronics on the floor for sale, but they have so many, lots and lots of inflatables, including the 12 foot jumbo and Ghostface and Pennywise. That is awesome, all the big ones. And of course they have the Reapers, Haunted Trees, Scarecrows, Tombstones, Jack-O-Lanterns, Sam, the Skeleton, all right. We don't see the Skeleton very often. He is $50, Cat, Coffin, more Jack-O-Lanterns, I already said those, Ghosts, Rats, Wolves, and let's see, anything else? The hearse, lots of the things we love. Ooh, and the jack-o'-lantern archway. How awesome, man, they are fully stocked right now. They have all three kinds of hands here. How cool, is there four? We got this one, one, two. Oh my gosh, I woke him up just by tapping on his finger. One, two, three, so I guess there's only three kinds, yes. Let's see what this one does. Hmm, usually they make some sound. I wonder, oh yes, if you go to on two, so you can put it to where it's quiet, and then you can also put it to on two and it'll make sounds while it crawls. I love that one. That's probably my favorite one, the bloody one. And I like how you can make it silent too if you want to because it's a little bit loud. And of course we have the walking monster hand green right here. See if he can, there we go. That sounds like something that you would hear inside of a haunted house. And the zombie hand right here. Let's see if we can get his noise going. There we go. <laughs> That's like a kind of a party one. The party zombie hand. How cool. I love these things. How much are they? These are $30 each. Look at this. I've got all three of them. I had all three of them going. Yes, all three of them crawling around. I would love to have a bunch of these just crawling around my house. Plenty of pathway markers. And check this out. They have the four-piece doll head pathway markers. Green lights in those. I don't know if I've ever seen these ones before, but that is super cool. $35 for that. And of course, we have the jack-o'-lanterns right there. And they light up very nice. Ooh, they flash. I don't think I even knew they flash, and they make a little sounds, too. And we've got the uh, bumpy, spooky, spooky pumpkin pathway markers. That is so funny. I like those ones a lot. And I think that's it. Usually they have the white skulls as well. So these pose and stay skeletons, let's see how much these ones are. This one is $80. What does he even do? I don't know if he actually does anything, but uh, it looks like you use a Phillips head screwdriver to pose him, but you also have these ones right here, and these ones are $50, and these you can just pose by moving his limbs around. I have to check the price on these chains because I want these. These are $15 each, and they have three chains on them. That is awesome. I'm definitely gonna buy these pretty soon here so I can have some in my office, like Leatherface's lair. People are always asking me about the people that swing, and they have tons of them. The empty soul girl on the swing, the swinging witch, she's a freaky one. Look at her face and the creepy crimson girl on a swing i think this one is my favorite and all of these are 80 dollars a piece check it out they do have the terror fire mask we're gonna have to move some of these so we can get a good look at him i do not see that mask often but it is super awesome i still haven't seen the movie yet but it, I heard that it is pretty freaky and gory. This one's a little bit deformed right now, but it's very cool that we found that. He is never here. $70 from Trick or Treat Studios. Super awesome mask and high quality too. And of course we have the brand new for 2023 Martian Warrior mask with the moving jaw. I saw somebody wearing this in a video recently and it is so funny. Man, they have a ton of masks here. This store is really awesomely stocked. Awesomely? I don't know if that's a word or not. <laughs> Iron Maiden right there you don't see that one every day the devil with the hands that's a super freaky one i like the king of crows we've got this ringmaster somebody asked me about the ringmaster stuff here he is the ringmaster mask and this is 29 dollars. not too bad they also have the wicked scarecrow mask that is a very good one if you're going to be a scarecrow for halloween and they have the possessed pumpkin i don't see that one all the time either super freaky awesome mask that one and the scarecrow one would be great if you're going to do like a uh, haunted hayride or something. Here's a couple I haven't seen before. UV Funny Bones, ultraviolet light reactive latex mask. And look at that. It's got like a beanie hat on it. That is awesome. I love that. So under a UV light, he glows. How cool. And also, I don't think I've ever seen this one before either. The Laughing Jester. That is a huge mask. That is $30. This is so funny. They have He-Man. I don't think I've ever seen he 
Key, man. My dad used to watch this when he was a kid. $70, and that is an awesome costume. Jumpsuit, wig, belt, arm gauntlet, wrist cuffs, and chest plate. That is so cool. I love all the costumes from movies. We also have Shrek right here. That one is $60. Coraline, that's a good one. That one is $50. We've got Dale from Step Brothers. Here's another Coraline one right there, her sweater for $40. And one of my favorites, Buddy the Elf for $70. And look, they have Jovi too. How cool. In the last Spirit Halloween video I did, people were asking about the Dr. Seuss stuff, and I did show a bunch, but right here is the Dr. Seuss hat. They did not have this at the last store I was at, but they had a bunch of other things, including those Thing 1 through 5. No, that's Thing 1 through 9. Jeez, that's a lot. Uh, number kits. But this this is what I was looking for, the awesome hat. I love that. Dr. Seuss is such a funny movie. They have the lock and the barrel mask, but I rarely see all three lock, shock, and barrel. That is too bad, but they do have barrels lollipop right here, and that is $10. Not too bad. That would be a great group costume if you could find all three masks at the same place. Wait a minute. What's this over here? There's the shock mask. There's all three of them. How awesome, and these are $15 a piece. This is the funniest costume. I've never seen this before. $50 for the Granny Wolf costume. I love finding stuff I haven't seen before, and I can't believe I'm still finding stuff after going to so many different Spirit Halloweens. Look at that. You've got the girl in the basket. That is hilarious. I love that nightgown. I've seen these ponchos before, and I love them, but look at this. The ghost dress. I've never seen the ghost dress before. That looks like Ghostface's face. This is $30. I see Chucky dolls. Do we have a Glenn doll, though? No, I'm not seeing him. He sells out so quickly, but we do have my favorite Leatherface statue. He is so cool. I think I want to get that this year because I love Leatherface. There's a nice good close-up, and that is $90. They also have the Pennywise statue. That's a freaky one. Not working right now. Must be out of batteries. And the Chucky one. That is so cool. I love this stuff. I see sidesteppers. What do we have? Ooh, we got a leather face. I love leather face. I wonder if we can make some room here for him so we got him on the top shelf so we can get a nice good look at him. Let's press the button. Please work. Yes. What an awesome sidestepper. That is my all-time favorite sidestepper. I sure hope they have him next year as well. And, of course, we've got Chucky right there. Lydia and Frankenstein never works. He does not have batteries included. They have the Leatherface Horror Baby, my favorite, for $50. I'm totally going to get him at some point. And we have some regular zombie babies over here. We're going to have to remember all their names. Devil Cherub. Ooh, he's on motion, both of them. The Devil Cherub Twins. And we've got... Hmm. Oh my gosh, I cannot remember their names. It's been a couple days since I've been here, and I don't see a tag either. Oh no. Oh man, what is his name? I think it might be Snack and Stevie. And this one is Chomp and Connie, Spider Biter Billy. We've got Flippin' Freddy right there, and Ravenous Ruby with her cute little pink bow, and of course, Gorious George. For Five Nights at Freddy's, they do have Montgomery Gator, Roxanne Wolf. You do not see her all the time. She is. $45 and Glamrock Freddy and the regular Freddy. I wish they would have some more costumes for Five Nights at Freddy's here, but that's okay. Here's Foxy right there. And they have the Poppy Playtime costumes. Plenty of those. And look right over here. We have the masks that I love with the light up eyes. Those are super awesome. What great masks these are. Let's see how much these cost. I forget. They are $30 a piece. And you know what I'm thinking now? You could get an animatronic like Grim and dress him up up with the Huggy Wuggy costumes and put one of these masks on him and that would be an awesome Huggy Wuggy animatronic. Plenty of Fall Guys costumes here but I don't see the one. Oh here it is. The one with the tail. That is hilarious. I only see the blue one with the tail though. I don't see the tail on any of the other ones. All right guys that's it for Spirit Halloween in North Olmsted, Ohio. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Honk honk.
<laughs> Don't you like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. What's up, guys? We are over here at the Spirit Halloween in Parma, Ohio. I am on the search for a two scoop. Let's go inside and see if they got him. Okay, guys, as soon as we come in here, we're seeing stilts. I don't see anybody set up right there. That's usually where they have leather face, but they've got stilts here, and there is nothing to activate him. Maybe he's on motion activation. I am not seeing anything. Let's see if this will... No, I guess not. Maybe he is not hooked up right now. So we'll move on and see if they have anything set up around here. They are still setting these stores up so they're all not completely put together yet. Here is Dagger Mike. They're going to set him up in a little bit. I see the widow over here, the sitting scarecrow. They do have set up. He, there he goes. He is on. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Slim is getting set up right now, guys. We are super early. Let's see what kind of animatronics they have. Look, they've got Slim's head. That is so funny. Okay, we got a Nozzles the Clown. We have two of them, two Nozzles, 350 bucks. We got a whole stack of jumping spiders here, always a classic. They are actively setting up the Widow, and we've got what looks like four man's possessed friend. I see some figures over here. Let's see what they got. Look at this. Killer Clown's Bibbo with Shorty in the pizza box. I've been looking for for this one and i'm glad i found him but i'm not gonna buy him yet just in case somebody sends him to me and we've got a couple of chuckles the clown we almost always see him here is crouchy yes i believe they gave him away last year the grand opening okay guys they have some things set up here check out the gargoyle he is awesome all right and check it out they've got a gordo guys they have a ton of animatronics here we'll look at all the ones that they have in just a minute but they have totally got a gordo we've got to set him off i don't know if he's on motion activation oh my gosh he actually spooked me that is so funny i did not know that he was on i love the guts inside of him all right we've got black heart gotta love black heart he just went but we will try to set him off again all right i think i hear him going Maybe not. Let's hit it again. He might be on. Oh, there he goes. Yes. I love Blackheart. Hi. Blackheart is amazing. How awesome. Okay, and check it out. They've got the Grave Watcher. I think that's her name. I love her eyes. They're so funny. And the two lighting up candles in her hands. They also have little skelly bones. And I don't know if he's set up right now. He's going to scare me if I don't. Oh, here he goes. I love little skelly bones. He is so awesome. And the door mechanism. Knock, knock. And there's a spider. Yes. It's too bad the lights are not in there right now but it is super awesome that he actually jumps after the door is open because in most places he's already jumped out when the door is open i don't know how i missed this one right over here i can't remember her name but there she goes so awesome let's get her going again see if we can activate her emotion oh she's already going head spinning on repeat so cool okay we have a couple of stacks of animatronics here guys we're gonna see what they got they've got three of the poor george which is awesome because i don't think we see him all too often this year he might get sold out quick fogging skull pile they have a bunch of those they have a monty eternal rest that's her name and they have two of them right there they've got two of the widow and three of the straw man how awesome is that check out the masks guys this is the new one mars attacks martian warrior i love it the moving jaw i'll have to try that mask on sometime and we've got the texas chainsaw massacre none of the pretty woman one but they do have the trick-or-treat studios one here's a couple of chainsaws let's see if they work yes they do work i love the chainsaws it's not working as well usually the chain spins as well but it's still cool there's a couple of michael myers masks halloween ends with the burnt face and the regular halloween one right here which is super awesome we have a bunch of plush figures here guys devilish desmond so funny and we've got the butcher the butcher is probably my favorite out of all of these other than the monkey chimes monkey chimes is super awesome and they have hugs the clown here as well we've seen a couple of him lately and they've got pumpkin nester and the vintage clown doll here's some inflatables guys they've got the scary clown archway we have ghost face the small one i don't see the big one. Oh, they do have the big one right here ghost face this one i believe is 12 feet yes super awesome i don't remember how much he costs maybe 180 
$180. That is awesome. I would love to have him. And they've got the Killer Clowns inflatable that we saw last year. And of course, we have the Jack-O-Lantern stack, the ghost, the cats, the wolf, the haunted tree. We have two of the Fright in the Box, which is huge, two Reapers, and three more ghosts. I see some zombie babies and horror babies over there, but we have another stack of animatronics. This is a bunch of sitting scarecrows, so they have plenty of them. No way, guys. They have a ton of animatronics here. Here's another Slim and Man's Possessed Friend. Slim, I want so bad. He is $400. For the zombie babies, we have Mothy Max. Is that what his name is? Yes, Mothy Max with the blue eyes, green skin, and moths on him. This guy, I don't remember what his name is. Flippin' Freddy. And they've got the Spider Eater. Good to see him again. We have another small stack of animatronics here. Will Skelly Bones, Dagger Mike, and the Grave Watcher. How awesome. For the horror babies, we've got the Ghost Face, one of my favorites, and they've got two Sams. They do have some snow globes. Check it out. They've got the Mars Attack snow globes with the glittery stars. I love it. Let's see how he lights up. That one's not working, and that one is not working. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is this. <laughs> I was like, where is that coming from? So when I press the button, he actually makes those sounds from the movie. That is so awesome. They have another ghost face baby right here hiding around the corner and a couple of sidesteppers. That one works. Slim works. We'll see if Spiky works. We'll pull his tab if we can get it off there. Oh my goodness. That is the toughest tab to pull that I've ever done. He's working. We just have to adjust his arms a little bit. And there he goes. How awesome. I love the sidesteppers and I love killer clowns. Here's a couple of the popcorn clown statues and he lights up. Let's see if the light works. Yes, it does. In the dark, that looks amazing. This is one of my favorite signs now. Look at this slow alien invasion ahead. And it looks like it's been shot with the laser blaster. So it's melting and a couple bullet holes too. That is an awesome sign. And I would love to hang it on my wall along with the Mars Attacks Martian pistol changing sign. That is amazing. They have my favorite ghost blanket. I love this. I'm going to point it out every time I see it until I buy it. They also have my other favorite, the Mars Attacks Fleece Throw, and they have a Nightcrawler Fleece Throw. I wanted him so bad last year, I might have to get him this year. Here's one of the Friday the 13th mask lights. These things are super cool. Check out this doormat. Welcome. Have a knife day. Lots of ghost face masks and costumes here. The glowing one, the chrome one, and they have the singular chrome mask and the bleeding mask, which is one of my favorites. Here's a couple of the Oogie Boogie plush. This one is my favorite with the bugs in his mouth and the dice. It is so funny to see Slim almost put together, but they will have him put together very soon here. Lots of coming soon signs, guys. They will have more things coming out very soon here. I am super early. Check it out. They got the Mihoi Minyoi. I love this so much. That is an awesome costume. I'd love to see Doodle Bob for Halloween. Oh, look, they have another horror baby hiding over here. It's Pennywise. He is so awesome. Awesome, and check it out. They do have some of the killer clowns from outer space laser guns. I love it so much. I'm totally gonna buy one of these by the end of the year. 30 bucks, not too bad. I don't see any of the popcorn blasters though, and that is what we are really on the lookout for. Check it out. We've also got a couple of Tombstone Terror hiding right over here, right kind of by this main setup over here. This is an awesome Big Hero 6 inflatable costume. I love it. Another inflatable costume I love is the inflatable wavy arms guy. That is so funny. They have some secret keeping cats. That is totally what my dad would be looking for. And they have some of the gnarly bunnies. I love the gnarly bunnies. And they also have his pal, Scabs the dog. Look at him. He is so crazy. Something I want so bad are these creepy trees. I did put my name on a list for one already, but I would love to have a creepy tree in my office. Okay, guys, that's it for the Spirit Halloween in Parma, Ohio. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't you like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. 
What's up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween in Rocky River, Ohio. I'm still on the hunt for two scoops. I think this is my 10th store. Maybe we'll even find a Heckles the Clown. All right guys, let's see what they got. Okay, we are greeted by the widow. My wife and I love the widow. There she goes, breaking her neck. I love that cracking sound. Miss Widow. I have yet to use her in a thumbnail. Maybe for this video I will. All right, we've got Dagger Mike. <laughs> Dagger Mike is so cool. With his daggers. Around this corner, we've got poor George waiting on us to activate. Let's go, poor George. So cool, and he is so loud too. I love him. Okay, we'll move around here, and they've got the straw man set up. We see a lot of him now. If you are looking for somewhere safe, you can hide in the hole I dug out. There we go. That's another quote. Six feet deep and very cozy. Very cozy. <laughs> I love those flames so much. It's gonna catch him on fire. You. <laughs> the worms will appreciate you. That is so funny. We have a whole stack of animatronics. We'll go through them in just a moment. Bummer, they do not have the other setup done. That is too bad. I guess it's too small of a store, but they have a ton of cool stuff to look through. We have horror babies. I love this ghost face. I cannot wait to buy him. He is $50. They also have Sam and Pennywise. And my other favorite, Leatherface with his hammer. Tons and tons of zombies zombie babies. They have a lot of them this year. Last year, they didn't have a whole bunch. We've got Moffy Max. We have my favorite, Gutsy Gwen. There she goes. I love Gutsy Gwen. Those lighting up eyes and the gourd that she is eating out of. We also have the spider eater, a bunch of him, and a couple crawlers down here, and the hand eater. We have some bobbleheads. We've got Michael Myers behind the bush, and we do have the sheet here, and the exorcist doing the spider crawl down the stairs, and Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter, and they have Bagwell. Here's a little Skelly Bones hiding back here in this little cove. They have the Chucky door cover here that is so awesome. He is breaking through the window. They also have the Gremlins door cover where they are partying inside your house. One of my favorites, though, is this ghost face door cover. I think I'm going to get that one for my office. I also love the Michael Myers and Leatherface. And what is this? I've never seen this before. Look at that flag with a melting ghost face. That is so sweet. I've never seen it before. $23. I want that so bad. Okay, we'll come back to all these animatronics. They have a ton of good ones, you guys. I love seeing this Mars Attacks Martian. Darling Dolly. I want Darling Dolly so bad and I want to hide her behind some of the creepy trees. They have the Riz Reaper with his girlfriend. A Slim Jim. And they have Leatherface back here. They have a lot of good ones, guys. They also have a ton of the Sitting Scarecrow. They've had a lot of him this year. Man's Possessed Friend as well. And poor George. They do have the Bibbo with Shorty in a pizza box figure here. I want him too. And that one is $40. I don't think that's a bad price price for him. No way, guys. They do have the Spirit Halloween Zombie Babies figural bag clips. I can't believe it because we have not found these anywhere else. I think I'm going to have to buy some of these. They are $8 each. That is crazy, but I love them so much. I'm definitely going to get some of these today. That will be my first purchase of the year. They also have the horror props here. I would want Jason right there. That one would be my favorite. We'll take a look at some of the masks real quick. They do have the Pretty Woman Leatherface. Somebody asked me about that one. And they have the Clown. I know some Somebody asked me about that one. We'll have to pull the tab. Okay, let's get him lit up. There he goes. The eyes light up. That is so cool. What a great mask. I saw this one last year, but I haven't seen it since then. Nighty Night Mask with the moving jaw. I think this is a sweet sinister ghost mask. It is shiny red chrome. Speaking of chrome, they do have the chrome ghost face masks. Those were rare last year, but I've seen a lot of them this year. We still have to keep our eye out, though, for the multicolored ones like the blue and red. Right beneath the zombie babies, they have a few inflatables. The Haunted Tree, Jack-O-Lanterns, Gargoyles. 
gargoyle and the pumpkin archway. And right behind that, we have a couple of grave watchers sitting here ready for you to pick them up. And they are pretty affordable at $80 each. We do have some of the creepy plush, Rosalie, Loving Lilith, Devilish Desmond, Monkey Chimes, my favorite. He's missing an eyeball. And the decrepit haunted doll with the blue eyes. Look at this blanket I have never seen before. That is so awesome. It's reversible. On one side, it's got ghost face with the moon. And on the other side, it has a bunch of his face. That is so cool. I've never seen that before. $37. I want it. This one as well. I've seen this in t-shirt form. Call me. That is so cool. I've never seen that in blanket form. They have the burning skull pathway markers. And they have the green pumpkin pathway markers. Those are awesome. I want them. And they have the regular pumpkin pathway markers right there. And they have the skulls. Someone tell my dad that they have the secret keeping cat here waiting to keep secrets from him. And they have the prowling cat. This one is my favorite. I might get him by the end of the year. I'm curious about the price. He is $17. Not too bad for a crawling kitty. If you haven't seen these doormats, they did a great job this year. Check it out. Mars Attacks. Invaders Welcome. And I love this one. The Ghost Face Doormat. He's reaching out to grab you. And here's one I haven't seen before. Welcome. We've been expecting you with Michael Myers. Check this out. You can actually buy the rings. And it makes the sounds too. That is so cool. That just makes me want to be Sonic for Halloween. Speaking of Sonic, we have some plush. I don't remember his name. Knuckles. Yes, we have Knuckles. We also have whatever this guy's name is. I cannot remember it. And the regular Sonic and Shadow. And these are $17 each. They also have the Mario plush. I love these. They make the sounds. These are so awesome. There's the mushroom. They all make the sounds that go with them. I love it. Lego asked me to look at all the Scream stuff. We do have the bleeding ghost face costume. I love that one. It has to be my favorite. We also have just the mask there. If you already have the robe, that's what it looks like when it bleeds. They have the chrome masks, the regular costume, which is my second favorite. And they have the bloody blade. Look at that. And the bleeding machete. That is so awesome. And check this out. They have the ghost face bling knife. That is so cool. I love it. I love how they even got the red ones on the tip. And over here, they have another ghost face section. They have the bedazzled ghost face bling mask that is so cool. It even has this shiny material from the movie. And they have the Slayer kit with the mask, knife, and voice changer. Mason asked me to look for the Killer Clown stuff. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe it. Look, they have two of the popcorn gun that I want so bad. Look at that. This one is kind of rare this year, and people pick them up very quickly. So if you're looking for him, here he is. And he is one $100. They also have the other Killer Clowns gun right there. That one might be my favorite, but it depends on what this guy does. I have not pulled the trigger on that one yet. Look at this. They brought back Toto in his basket. I loved that one last year. That is so funny. This is a sweet glow-in-the-dark Scooby-Doo shirt. We've seen that before. I kind of want it. It's more like a pullover. It's thick and warm. Let's take a look at some of the inflatable costumes. They have a bunch of awesome ones. Of course, they have the inflatable dinosaurs. Look at this one. Pick me up, Red. Wrestler, that's funny. Here's an inflatable donkey. One of my favorites, inflatable wavy arm man. This one might be my new favorite. Look at that, inflatable corn. That is hilarious. I live in Ohio, so that would be perfect for me. The rubber chicken, that is a hilarious one. You'd have to get an actual rubber chicken to squeeze while you were in that. They do have the alien pick me up, and look at this, the inflatable alien. That one is so funny. They do have the Spider-Man costumes. Somebody corrected me, this is actually Miles Morales. I didn't know how to pronounce that. And they have the regular Spider-Man costume, and they have the Spider-Man No Way Home muscle chest costume. If you are into the superhero stuff, they have the Blue Beetle. I've never seen that before. And they have pretty much every Avengers that you can think of, and Batman, Black Adam, The Flash, and they have this awesome Joker suit. All right, guys, my very first purchase of the year. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna buy, but I'm gonna get a couple of them. We're gonna grab five of them. Thank you very much. We donated a dollar, guys, so we gotta sign this. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween over here in Rocky River. We've got our figural bag clips here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.
like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. What's up, guys? We are over here at the Spirit Halloween in Salon, Ohio. We are on the search for the elusive two scoops. Let's go inside and see if they got him. Oh my gosh, they have stilts set up in here. This is awesome. There's like nobody in here. Let's get some stuff going, guys. I see a whole big stack of animatronics over here. Let's check out Leatherface. Let's get him started. There he goes. Oh my gosh, I love Leatherface. He is so awesome, and the body movements rock. We did a great job with him. I love the sounds that he makes. He's going, ooh, while the uh, chainsaw is going. That is so funny. All right, we got stilts right here. I haven't gotten to see him in person yet. Let's get him going. There he goes. Stilts himself. He is super tall. They don't have the name plates up, so I don't remember how much he cost, but he is super cool. Let's move along here. And I don't remember her name, but let's get her going. She breaks her neck. <laughs> I love it so much. She is awesome. She rocks. All right, we will move on and see what else we have around here. I see Sitting Scarecrow and I see Dagger Mike. Let's go to Dagger Mike and get him going. I do love Dagger Mike. He is awesome because he is a sweet jump scare. <laughs> Super loud. <laughs> such a good job guys dagger mike rules he is such an awesome animatronic he jumps up and scares you really good let's check out the classic sitting scarecrow we'll get him going he might not work okay he's not gonna work we'll move on to the next one they have slim set up right around the corner slim let's see what you got he is a little quiet but that is okay he is awesome I love Slim. Killer Clowns is one of my favorites. All right, Slim. Good to see you in your bag of popcorn, which I don't believe he opened. Oh, there he goes. Yep. Okay, he's working good. All right, let's go around here. There is nothing set up in this one. Maybe they are saving that for something special. Let's see what other stuff they have over here. They might have some other animatronics set up. Yes, they do. They have a whole stash of things set up back here. All right, let's knock on the door. Ready? There is the jumping spider, but his eyes are not lighting up. That's too bad, but he does look super cool, and I love the door mechanism. And they brought back Lil Skelly Bones. I love Lil Skelly Bones. Let's get him going. Got to love Lil Skelly Bones. He is so cool and an awesome jump scare. Jumps up super fast. I don't remember what this one is called, but she guards the graves, and I love her eyes. They have got Black Heart right here, all set up and ready to go. Let's get them going, Black Heart. Black Heart rules. He is so awesome. Look at the body. That is so awesome. I love Black Heart. No more animatronics set up over here, but they do have a couple in the boxes. Check it out. They've got one Black Heart. They have a Monty Monkey. They've got Nozzles the Clown and Eternal Rest down here. Look, they also have a little Skelly Bones, uh, the Exorcist Reagan, and the Swinging Witch. How awesome is that, guys? They've got them back here kind of hiding in the corner. We have a couple of inflatables. The cats, those are super cool. Gargoyles and the Haunted Tree and a couple of the hearses over here by all of this awesome spooky goodness they do have a pumpkin nester doll you don't see him everywhere you go let's see if he makes his noises if he's louder there he goes he's a little quiet you can't really hear what he's saying but he is super awesome here is the vintage wolfman doll and they also have a hugs the clown how sweet awesome we don't see these everywhere we go they're a little bit rare they have a decent selection of sidesteppers here guys let's see if any of them work we've got slim right here yes he's working how awesome i love the slim sidesteppers Okay, we've also got Spiky right here. Is he not gonna work? Oh, let's try this one. All right, there he goes, sweet. I love when they work because a lot of the time they just don't for some reason. Sam is also awesome. That one's not working, let's try this one, yes. 
all of the sidesteppers rule. I'd love to see some new ones soon. Here is my favorite door cover, the Mars Attacks Martian. Like he shot the door and it burned a hole in it. I love it. And another one of my favorites, Michael Myers. Super cool. I don't see any snow globes, but I do see a couple of the horror babies. One of my favorite, the ghost face right here. He is $50 and I love him so much. And here is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. How awesome. He is the other favorite of mine. Those two are definitely my favorites, but Sam is also amazing. They've got some of the greeters here. Let's see, you got Annabelle, Sam setting Chucky, and another trick-or-treat Sam right there. And it looks like they do have the talking Chiffany doll. She is awesome and creepy. I do really like this Mars Attacks Martian pistol laser gun right here. Super awesome sign that changes when you move it. And look at this one. This is a play off of the classic farmhouse painting, but it's got Michael Myers and Lori. For the plush characters, we do have Cousin It. He is super funny. Lydia, I believe her name is. Yes, and we've got Sam. Look at him. Super freaky, awesome plush. These guys from Beetlejuice and we have a Beetlejuice and look at this. We've got a little skelly bones hiding underneath Cousin It's long hair. 30 bucks, guys. Come and get them. They have a nice little selection of blankets. I love the blankets. Some of my favorites are the Night Crawler. I didn't get to get him last year, so I am so tempted to grab him. And look at this reversible plush throw. That is awesome. One side says Spirit, and the other one has Jack the Reaper. Super awesome. Here's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre blanket. I'm gonna need that for when the video game comes out. They also have a couple of Crouchy blankets. And look at this the martian fleece throw this thing is amazing and i love it and i want it so bad some other ones that i want really bad are the killer clowns blankets i love those i will also need those for when the game for that comes out this one might be my number one though the ghosts with the black background i do love ghosts they do have a couple of five nights at freddy's costume here guys i am looking to see if they have any of the animatronic costumes and so far all i am seeing is crouchy the clown right there I do already have him. You don't see this all the time, the light up jack-o'-lantern. He is super awesome. And check this one out. I don't know if I've seen it before. Dead Zone Zombie, so awesome. It looks like a football player who is holding someone's head. I do not see any new masks that I have never seen before, but I am on the lookout for some leather face masks. So far, I have not seen any in here today, but we do have some ghost face masks. This one's personally my favorite the bleeding ghost face mask. That is what it looks like when you squirt the blood out, but he is super freaky and I love it. They also have the glow in the dark costume mask. That is so awesome and it comes with the entire costume. Check it out, they also have a chrome one up here. That is super awesome. That's something you don't see every time. A lot of people ask me about the Poppy Playtime Huggy Wuggy costumes. They do have a few here right now. Check it out. Child small four to six. That is super freaky and awesome. I would love to dress up like him for Halloween at some point. They also have the Huggy Wuggy hooded sweatshirt. Super awesome. Look at that. The hood is his mouth. We saw these at the grand opening. Homemade by robots. Collectible vinyl figures. Check that out. They look like they're fabric, but they're actually plastic. They've got Oogie Boogie, Hannibal Lecter. They also have Dr. Sleep the Grady twins. That is hilarious. They have the Killer Clowns figural bag clips. I love these so much and I would love to buy all of them. Maybe another day. You never know what you're going to get, but those are your options. What in the world? I did not even know they did this. They have VHS tapes of these different horror movies. They have Killer Clowns in VHS. Oh my gosh, it says rent me. There's no way. It's not an actual VHS, is it? No, six items, one great price. Uh, it comes with a patch, a button, a decal, and a lanyard. That is actually an amazing product right there. I wonder if they have the movie in it. It doesn't look like they do, but that is still cool. It says does not contain a video cassette tape. Oh well, super awesome. I don't know if I've seen this mug before, but here's a Killer Clowns from Outer Space mug. Oh yes, I have seen that before. I knew it as soon as I saw the nose. That is awesome, the shorty mug. And these are all just the boxes from the animatronics that they set up over here. So unfortunately these are not for sale, but it is still awesome that they have a bunch of animatronics set up here, and they may put one right here still. You never know. Okay, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Salon, Ohio. Keep in mind that they are still setting things up, and she said they should have everything set up by Friday, so go check it out then if you're in the area. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Ha, 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 ha.
cream? Everybody likes ice cream. What's up guys? We are over here at Spirit Halloween in St. Clairsville. This used to be a Sears. Let's go inside and see what they got. Okay, we are greeted by Leatherface. I love Leatherface. Leatherface is so awesome. I love that chainsaw. Ah. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Leatherface, we just said hi to some fans out there. That was awesome. Let's move on to stilts. I love stilts. I love the color of his face. There he goes. I love when he is super loud. His laugh is awesome. I love stilts. I love the bowling pins. Like, what are those about? Good old stilts. All right, we'll move around here. We've got the straw man waiting on us to activate. Mr. Straw Man. Did you know that this land is I feel like I get the same quote every time. Does he say any other quotes? Tell me in the comments if he says any other quotes. I feel like that's the only thing I hear him say. Would you care to see where the remains lie? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Straw Man. Okay, we'll move around here. Who they got set up over here? One of our favorites, the widow. <laughs> there she goes. I love that cracking sound. My wife actually wants the widow as well, so maybe we'll have to grab her this year. Thank you, Miss Widow. Let's move around here to Slim. I love Slim so much. I want to get Slim and Shorty. Come on, Slim. That big red nose. <laughs> honk, honk. And he's got his bag of popcorn. I feel like his arms never really work as well as they're supposed to. Awesome. I'll see you later, Slim. There he goes, opening his bag of popcorn. Okay, who else we got right around the corner? Poor George. I love that we get to see him set off pretty often. I was kind of worried he wouldn't be out very much this year. Try to get a look at his other face. There it is. <laughs> Poor George. I love that laugh. That is awesome. And look at his guts. He was cut in half. Okay, thank you, Mr. Poor George. We'll go in here. They got the scarecrow set up. We have to set off the scarecrow. There he goes. Look at those red eyes and the flames. I love the flames. We've got Dagger Mike set up over here. I love this so much and all of them are working pretty well. There he goes. Man, those flames are so awesome. Uh-oh, we have another broken eternal rest. He is spinning and spinning and spinning. That seems to happen a lot lately, but that's okay. It's still funny to see. And we've got the creepy tree. I do not see Darling Dolly anywhere. Usually she is hiding within the creepy tree, but we do have Gordo, one of my favorites. There he goes. I love those guts. Here is the gargoyle. We don't see him every time, but he is awesome. We hear the bells toll and his eyes light up red. I kind of feel like there should be a fog machine in there, but I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything about a fog machine. Here is the howling ghost. I love that. He lights up so good too. I think he's on motion Activision maybe. Unless this was him right here. Yes, it was actually. The howling ghost. I love the ghost stuff. Blue lights illuminating his ghostly figure. I do really like him. I might have to grab him at some point. Let's go around here and activate the door mechanism. I see Desmodus over there. I really hope he works. And there's the jumping spider. <laughs> that was like the latest one we've had yet. These are never quite timed correctly, but it is still super cool to see. And somebody put his arms up like this. I kind of like his arms up in the air a little more. So he's about to grab you when he jumps out. All right, we'll move around here. We've got little skelly bones. Well, skelly bones. Ew. His head is already <laughs> up. <laughs> but there he goes. Stiff as a board. And of course, we have the grave watcher. I'd love to know what she says, but she is so quiet. Here is Desmodus. Boy, I sure hope he works. Please, please, please. Oh, there he goes. Oh my gosh. I am so happy he is working. We do not get to see him very often. 
That is so awesome, and I want him so bad. And he's affordable, too. I think he's just a couple hundred dollars. He kind of takes a while to reset, too. He slowly goes back down. I'll have to time it at some point and see how long it actually takes him to go down. But we're going to do him one more time because we don't get to see him very often. Okay, he's back down. Let's do it one more time. There he goes. Look at that. I love that wingspan. That is so awesome. He is such an awesome, big, and fast jump scare. Good to see you, Desmodus. I am so happy we finally got to see you set up somewhere. Okay, we have, looks like, two Eternal Rests, one Riz Reaper, four of the Sitting Scarecrow. There's a lot of him this year. Two Straw Man and one Stilts, and they have two of the Widow right here. Let's see how much she is, because I really want her this year. $200, not too bad. We have two Slim. Oh, no, we have one Slim. Slim and one Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No way. I'm so happy to see him for sale in the stores because I was kind of worried that they would be all sold out of him. I think he's a popular one this year. $350. One, two, three, four, five of Man's Possessed Friend. They have plenty of the Mars Attacks masks here. I really want to try one on at some point and see how well that moving jaw works. Lots of inflatables here, guys. The inflatables are always fully stocked this year, it seems. Jack-o'-lanterns, reapers, ghosts, cats, trees, gargoyles. We we have the small ghost face right here. I haven't seen a lot of him this year. A hundred dollars for something that small. I'm not too keen of that price. He is six foot tall, but they do have the 12 foot tall one. And that one is 179. That sounds a little more fair. And we have a couple of the jack-o'-lantern archways here. The 20 foot snake. He is 20 feet. I'd love to blow him up. Lots of bobbleheads too. Georgie, gremlins, silence of the lambs, ghost face, exorcist, and they have the sheet Michael Myers. I always look for him because they don't have him him always and he is $40. They only have one horror baby right now and it is Sam, but we have a lot of the zombie babies here. This guy, I forget what his name is, Devil Cherub, and I like him a lot. He tells a knock-knock joke. I can't really hear him too well. He's pretty quiet in the stores. The Hand Eater, the Brain Eater, Mothy Max, the Crawler, and the Hand Eater. They have a few of the Chuckies, but they do not have the Glenn doll. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. They have a couple of the Snow Globes, Michael Myers. You don't see that one every time. And they have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. One of these days, I am going to buy him. He is $40, though, for a Snow Globe? I don't know about that. This one I really want, too. The Friday the 13th mask. Look at that. $30 for him. That's not too bad for a light-up mask that sits in your desk. I was told to look out for cat stuff. They have lots of different animal ears. Bear. That says deer antlers, but it's totally fox ears. Wolf ears. Here's the deer antlers. Tiger kit. They said to look out for tiger stuff, too. They even have tails. And they have fur cuffs. You could totally turn yourself into a cat. Here are probably the ears that you are looking for, though. Here is a tiger suit right there, and they have these tiger union suits for couples. The same person told me to look for cheetah stuff. There's a cheetah coat. I was asked to look for Viking stuff. We have all these things right here for medieval costumes, including the Viking. They have a tunic, shoulder harness with fur detail, and dagger holster, dagger, and arm gauntlets. Personally, though, I would probably choose the medieval knight. And they do have this Viking helmet right here that you could wear with the costume. That is $13. Here's some weapons that might be good for the Viking costume. Look at that ginormous axe. That would be awesome. This is a freaky bloody pig mask with a moving jaw. Look at that. That is nuts. I don't think I've ever seen that before. They don't have any of the Pretty Woman Texas Chainsaw Massacre masks, but they do have the regular one from Trick or Treat Studios. Ducks wanted me to go through the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. They do have the Oogie Boogie plush and the reversible throw blanket. Here's another blanket and another one. They also have all the plush characters here, Jack and Sally. They have Operation Oogie Boogie. I kind of want that. Here's the other Oogie Boogie plush that I really like, the green one. Look at the bugs in his mouth. And that is 20 $27. They have the zero pillows and the jack pillows. Those are super soft, actually. This is something I like. The dice. Look at that. I would totally get that to play games. They also have some Nightmare Before Christmas costumes. Light up, Oogie Boogie inflatable. I like that one. $70. Jack Skellington for $50. Here's a female Oogie Boogie for $40. Sally for $50. And look at these Jack Skellington gloves. Those are pretty cool. That would be perfect for your costume if you're gonna be Jack. They have barrels of 
lollipop. Look at that. That is so funny. That's $10. And they have Shock and Scary Ted, but they don't have Lock and Barrel. Gaming Rocky's World wanted to see the South Park stuff. They have a bunch of it. Here's the Kenny inflatable, Eric inflatable, Towley, and they have some pretty cool socks here. And there's an awesome South Park hat. The inflatable costumes are priced at $60 a piece. They brought back Big Frank. I always like to see this costume. I'd love to see somebody wearing it. Look at his big old head and shoulders. Cyan wanted to see Crouchy masks. I do see the entire Crouchy costume here for $80. I do have that one and it is really cool. No popcorn guns here, guys. Not even the other blaster. I can't believe that I haven't found any of the over-the-head masks for Killer Clowns. I wonder if they got rid of them. They have a ton of the t-shirts and one thing that I see down here that I don't see up there is this gizmo shirt. Look at that. I don't want to unravel the whole thing, but it says don't feed after midnight. That's pretty cool. I think another one that I don't see up there is this awesome Friday the 13th shirt. Look at that one with the knife in his face. That is so cool. It says the final chapter. Here is a mask that I don't know if I've seen before. The scarecrow mask. Look at that. It looks like there's a skeleton underneath and it is among all of these other scarecrow things here, including costumes. This one is my favorite. Look at that. The haunting scarecrow. Super freaky. And the black crow. If I was a scarecrow, I would have to get the crow for my shoulder. Pirates are another one of my favorite costumes. If I was to choose, I would probably either be the regal rebel jacket, but I guess that's just the jacket, so I'd have to get something else. Maybe this pirate pillager. I love the red striped pants. And look at this medallion necklace. That is awesome. Reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean. To whoever asked for the Ouija board stuff, they do have a ton of this stuff. They even have actual Ouija boards right there, and they have these ginormous mystifying oracles. They have books that I imagine you just write in. Yes, you just fill your book with whatever the Ouija board tells you to write. They also have plush Ouija board oracles and blankets, and they have a couple of Ouija board mugs. Someone wanted to see all the witch stuff, including these books. They have witchcraft books with uh, magic spells and potions. Here's another one, the Wikipedia, a modern day white witch's guide. I'm not sure what all is in these books, but there is a lot of stuff. I hate to walk away from this leather face, but I do not need to buy him right now. Maybe when I have a 20% off coupon. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in St. Clairsville, Ohio. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. You spin my head right round, right round. <laughs> there he goes. Gosh, he actually made me jump. It's a party pumpkin. <laughs> 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 What's up, guys? We are over here at the Spirit Halloween in Zanesville, Ohio. I'm on the search for two scoops or Heckles the Clown. All right, guys, let's head inside and see what they got. Oh, my gosh, guys. Right away, we've got Leatherface. I cannot believe it. Look at how big he looks. He looks kind of chunky right now. Let's get him going. Get your chainsaw roaring. I love Leatherface. We saw two of him for sale the last store I was at. He is so awesome. I'm so happy he's here. Next, we've got Stilts the Clown. He is so awesome. I love his face. Let's get him going. There he goes. I kind of wish they would turn him up louder because I love his laugh, but he is awesome. And he is much taller in person, guys. I see some set up in here. I see Dagger Mike around the corner here, but he is not totally set up. He must have broke. Wait, I hear him going. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Gosh, he actually made me jump. That is so funny. He is such a good jump scare. All right, we'll move around here. They've got the Scarecrow. He is a classic. I don't know if he's set up either. He might be on. Maybe not. He's not going. Maybe they want somebody to reach in and grab one of these delicious suckers in here. But I guess he's not going to jump up. Okay, we'll move along. I know that the Widow is right around the corner. Here she is. I think she's on motion. Yep. All right. I love her. 
Blossom the Widow. She definitely needs a toothbrush, though. <laughs> okay, guys, I see Slim right around the corner. He's already going. Look at how many animatronics we have right over here. You gotta listen to Mr. Slim laughing and opening up his bag of popcorn. Slim is so awesome, and I wish I could buy him. Let's see if anybody's set up around the corner here. Oh, they have poor George set up. There he goes. I like how they have everything on motion activation right now. Poor George has two faces. Kind of hard to get a picture of his other face because it's right behind that one. Poor George is so awesome. He was cut in half, but he is still laughing. Good to see you, poor George. All right, we'll go around here. And we have a ton of animatronics to go through. I see Desmodus right there. I don't see him. Oh, yes, we do see him set up. We got to set these guys off first. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Her head was just spinning around and around and around. I wonder. There she goes. Look at that. That is so funny. That is too bad. She's always broken at every store we go to, but I love that her head is just going around and around and around. That is hilarious. You spin my head right round, right round. All right, guys, let's go around the corner here. I love the spooky tree. I definitely want to buy one this year. And check it out. We've got Gordo. It looks like he's not working, though, because he's all lit up. Oh, wait, there he goes. All right, I love him. What? I always miss her. She always hides so good. We'll set her off in just a second here. Good to see Mr. Gordo and his guts on the inside. I love him. Okay, we've got the Riz Reaper right here. Let's get him going. I love the lights behind him. Blue and green. He's a little quiet right now, but you can still hear what he is saying. The Riz Reaper, keeping this girl all to himself. <laughs> He is so awesome. Okay, guys, check it out. We've got Desmodus. I have not gotten to set him up anywhere except for the grand opening. I think he's on motion activision. Maybe. I see a step pad here, but I think that might be for little skelly bones. Yes. There he goes. We've also got the grave washer right here. But I was hoping that Desmodus would go off, and I am not seeing anything to get him going. Maybe they are broken. But there he is. He is so awesome. It's a shame that we don't see more of him. Okay, we're gonna go on to the door mechanism. We love this. There it is. Oh my gosh, I love how they have the arms sprawled out like he's about to grab you. The jumping spider in the door mechanism. What an awesome idea for this year. Look at all the little spiders crawling around behind him. He is so cool. Okay, I don't remember what this one is called. The howling spirit, that's what it is. We'll step to activate him and there he goes. I love him, he's actually really cool. A lot of people don't like him because he looks so cheap. But I think he is awesome. Maybe that's because ghosts are my favorite. Okay, we'll move around here and we totally missed Darling Dolly right here. We're gonna set her off. She has an awesome jump scare too. She actually drops down. There she goes. I love Darling Dolly. I would totally buy her. Look at those freaky hands. She is an awesome drop down scare. I love it. Her hair actually looks really good right now. Okay, let's go through all these animatronics. They have so many of them. Let's start right over here. We've got one Slim, one Stilt, one Leatherface. I'm so glad he was set up here. We have the Riz Reaper, the Widow, Dagger Mike. There's two of him. Looks to be two of poor George. Man's Possessed Friend. We see a lot of him this year. Desmodus. They have two Desmodus here. They have a Gordo. I know a lot of people are looking for Gordo right now. Young Crouchy. We have three of him. I'm so glad he's back in stores. We've got the Howling Spirit, and we have two Darling Dollies. I love it. I cannot believe they have two of them here, and I wish I could buy one. A bunch of Jumping Spiders, Eternal Rest, two Straw Man, Sitting Scarecrow, and the Fogging Skull Piles. They have an awesome selection of animatronics here, you guys. Guys, this store is absolutely huge. They have a ton of stuff. Let's get going through it. Lots of the bobbleheads, Scraps, Silence of the Lambs, Georgie, Sam, 
Cam. We have some Ghostface figures, Bagwell and Michael Myers, but they don't have the sheet. They've got some plush, Sam, both of them, Barbara with the eyes in her mouth and Beetlejuice. What is this that I see over here? I don't know if I've ever seen this before. It's a pumpkin light. Please work. It does. It's a party pumpkin. I love the party stuff. I love seeing all the flashing colors. That would be awesome at a Halloween party. Look at that. You put it on the wall. And right below him, they do have the pathway markers. Plenty of inflatables here, guys. Jack-o'-lantern stack. Cats. Haunted trees. Gargoyles. Reapers. Ghosts. They have a couple wolves. Sitting scarecrow. I kind of want to get him and set him up this year. Lunging ghost face. My favorite. The jack-o'-lantern archway. And another one of my favorites. The 20-foot snake. I'd love to get him and set him up. They have these plush as well. I love monkey chimes. And they have the butcher. People keep telling me to look out for the butcher. They've got plenty of them this year. They have some prowling cats. I love that cat. And they have some of my favorite gnarly bunnies and his buddy Scabs the Chihuahua Dog. They have four of the Killer Clowns Bibbo with Shorty in the Pizza Box figures. Those are popular this year. They have so many zombie babies, you guys. Check it out. We've got the Spider Eater. We have Mothy Max. They've got a couple of crawlers down here. Here's a Brain Eater. You don't see that one every time now. And they've got the Hand Eaters and my personal favorite, Gutsy Gwen. I love Gutsy Gwen, and I'm always so tempted to buy her. She is eating the guts of the pumpkin. They have the wreaths here. Killer clowns, and this one does light up, but this one's not working. And they have ghost face. That one is super awesome as well. And they have the blow molds. Annabelle, Sam, ghost face, my favorite. And they have Slim, the killer clown from outer space. They have the Rudy figure here. You don't see that at every spirit Halloween you go to. And he lights up. He is super awesome. I want that popcorn gun. They have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre snow globe one of my favorites. He lights up yellow. I'd love to see that at dark. Check it out, guys. They have the Jack the Reaper costume. I love it so much, and I want it really bad. This one is an adult size, and it says one size fits all. That mask is super awesome. They have plenty of the Killer Clowns costumes. I know this year I will probably buy one of them. They have the regular masks, but they don't have the over-the-head mask, and they have some popcorn guns, but they do not have the one that I want. I wonder if this one will work. Yes. I want it so bad. That is so cool. Look at this. They also have the shorty snow globe. It's got glitter inside, and I believe it lights up, but that one's not going to work. I have never seen this before. Look, it is a Tiffany necklace from Chucky. And speaking of Chucky, check out this awesome hat. I love the blue with the blood stains. They have one of my favorite Friday the 13th masks. My other favorite is the one that actually has his face when you lift up the mask. Look at this. They have Mickey Mouse gloves and shoes. That's hilarious. Someone asked me to go go through the masks, so we'll go through some of the cool ones. This one is funny, the nerd cap. Here is a melting, droopy face. Here's an evil demon mask. That one is freaky. They have the new Martian warrior with the moving jaw, and they have the Texas Chainsaw Masker. They have this awesome flame fiend that I saw at the last store I was at, but none of them are working. I'd love to see it go again. He burns like he's on fire. They have the toxic zombie. That one also lights up, but he is not working right now. This one is pretty cool. It's called the Night Stalker, and it lights up. That is awesome. Check it out. They have the wacky mole mask with the lighting eyes. That is so cool. I found another flame fiend that I can pull the tab on. Let's see if it works. Okay, yes, he's working. I love that I had to pull the tab on him, but that is so awesome. I love the flame fiend. Here is the freaky foam clown, Sparky the clown, the skeletal wolf mask with the moving jaw. I do like that one. And they have the scarecrow animation mask. His jaw moves as well when you talk. Same thing with these werewolf masks. Android. That one is also awesome. They have a Crouchy figure here. They also have a Chucky here. And someone told me to look for Gwen. They don't have Gwen here. But there is the talking Chucky and he does look awesome. They did a great job with him. They have the plush skeleton that I want so bad. He is so awesome. He's $35 and that's what he looks like when he's not all tied up. But he is super cool and super big. Speaking of plush, they have all the blankets we want. The Mars Attack Fleet throw killer clowns from outer space this would have to be my favorite halloween blanket right here they have one crouchy blanket i don't see these ones every day now they have the reversible spirit halloween blanket with the reaper they do have a couple of poppy playtime huggy wuggy costumes here guys someone asked me to look for witch costumes for females they have plenty of them here here's a wintry witch that's funny it's all white spider sorceress wicked web cape that's cool gothic witch here's a purple one 
one called the Enchanted Witch, Midnight Sorceress, Dark Witch, that one is cool, Coven with moons and stars, and Whimsical Witch. I've been told to keep an eye out for this, the Pig Butcher costume. We've been seeing a lot of him lately. And they have the Harvester. I love that one. That is so awesome. Check it out. They have Spider-Man stuff, guys. Here's the regular Spider-Man, Spider-Man No Way Home, Miles Morals, and that seems to be it so far. Here's some more witch stuff. They've got some awesome hats here. This one's black and has feathers on it. And they have all kinds of accessories and things. These are super freaky. And the nails are awesome too. Look, spider webs and spiders. I was told to keep my eye out for cat and cheetah costumes and Alaskan native costumes. I do not see any of those, but they do have a bunch of cowboy stuff. Look at this awesome cowboy hat. Check out this awesome mystery machine mug. That is so funny. I love these tiny snow globes. I totally want a bunch of these to put them in my truck. Look at that. It's Michael Myers, and that's the only one. I might grab him. Eight dollars. I see a lot of the figural bag clips here, but I do not see the ones that have the animatronics in them. That is too bad. We are on the hunt for them. All right, guys, that's it for the Spirit Halloween in Zanesville, Ohio. I'm so glad that they had Leatherface set up here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. What's up guys? We are over here at Spirit Halloween in North Canton, Ohio on Everhard Road. We did a live over here the other day, but it was pretty early, so we've given them some time to get more stocked up. Let's go in and see what else they added. Okay, we were here last week, so we know that we are greeted by Mr. Strawman. Let's get him going. Did you know that this land is cursed? The original farmer buried his victims in this very field. They say it helped to keep his soil nice and fertilized. Would you care to see where the remains lie? <laughs> I love the strings on his mouth. And he is super loud, too. A lot of these are usually pretty quiet. But I like that they have him turned up pretty good. We've got Dagger Mike. I love Dagger Mike. <laughs> Dagger Mike is an awesome jump scare with the flames. I love those. I wonder if we can buy those somewhere. They might have them in the back. Look, guys, they have, oh my gosh, they have Leatherface. They have Desmodus. They have a whole stack over there, and I, uh, all right, we'll have to, we'll get Scarecrow going first, and then we'll go see him. Maybe he's not even set up. You're wasting my time, Mr. Scarecrow. Okay, let's go look at this whole stack of animatronics. They have a ton of them here. We've got the Mars Attacks Martian. Let's figure out the actual price on him. $400. They have two Leatherface. They have a Darling Dolly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They have dual Jack Carver. They have everything. They have Emmeline. Oh my gosh. The Howling Spirit. They have every single thing that I want. And I might have to make a phone call to, <laughs> to my wife and let her know that the uh, credit card is going to be full because they have absolutely everything I want. Two stilts, a slim, Desmodus, two Leatherface. Let's figure out how much Leatherface actually is. I think he's 400 He's $350. Oh my gosh. And there's two of him. Guys, I cannot believe it. I might have to get both of them but Desmodus I've wanted for a long time too. And he is $230. I was trying to figure that out in the last video. That is just crazy. I cannot believe how many of the popular animatronics they have. Darling Dolly, Little Jack Carver. I haven't even seen him set up yet. Maybe they have him in the back back there. We'll check in just a minute. Emmeline, I have not seen for sale yet at all this year. How much is she? She is $280. I cannot believe this. Howling Spirit, how much is he? $200 for the Howling Spirit. Okay, no new animatronics. You know what? I was so excited that we totally skipped Slim. We have to go back over here and start Slim up because we got so excited about all the animatronics that we walked away from him. I did not mean to disrespect you, Slim. I love Slim, and I want him to. There's another animatronic over there, but I'll let everybody do their thing, and I want to get in anyone's way. This one might be broken again. Look at the neck. 
ABS. This one often gets broken because it's just spinning on repeat all the time. Look at all these beautiful animatronics. Here is the widow. Get her going. <laughs> Her neck is already snapped. That is too bad. Maybe someone just pushed her neck because now she actually looks like she's in the right position to do it. So let's set her off again. There she goes. That's what it's supposed to look like. We will wait to hit these animatronics over here so we don't bother those people. But they also have the Rudy statues right here. I saw that one the other day and he is pretty cool. Let's pull the tab. I totally just tried to pull the tab and the whole bottom came off so I'm not going to mess with that. But Rudy is awesome and they have the Mars Attacks snow globe. That one is one of my favorites right now. That button didn't work. That one works. Super cool, I love that. They have our blow molds. Sam, I guess none of these are working because everybody's probably coming in here and pressing all of these buttons. We have a spiky sidestepper, please work. Uh, sort of, he's making the sounds, but he's not going back and forth. I wouldn't know how to fix that either, so I'd be reluctant to buy one if I press the button and he's not moving in the store. And of course, those never work. We have the Chucky talking doll. I wish he was louder while he's in the box, but you can still get a good idea of how he looks whenever he talks and moves around. They have all of the awesome door covers here. Leatherface, Mars Attacks Martian, Michael Myers, one of my personal favorites, Ghostface. Here's Chucky. I don't know if I've ever seen the Chucky one. Look at that. Like, he's jumping through the door. That is so awesome. These are $23. And look, here's a Gremlins one. These are all things that I've never seen before. It looks like they've been partying in your house. That is so funny. Another two that I haven't seen before, Frankenstein sign right there and the exorcist doing the spider crawl down the stairs they also have the welcome to camp crystal lake wooden sign this thing is a really good quality and it is 30 dollars look at how many zombie babies they have right now this is crazy check it out we've got gutsy gwen that one is so awesome i love gutsy gwen digging in the jack lantern and eating the guts we have brain eaters cockroach eaters crawlers mothy mad Hand eaters, spider eaters. Guys, they have all of them here. The only one that I don't see right now is the burrito baby. Okay, Blackheart, we've been patiently waiting to set you off. You are now mine for time. Together, we shall roam the Riz the Reaper. That is hilarious. And find our next victim. <laughs> The Grave Watcher. She's always on motion activation. I can never hear exactly what she's saying. Because she is totally whispering. <laughs> I would have to just sit there and listen to what she says to understand it. But for now, we will move on to Lil Skelly Bones. Skelly Bones is such a classic. I love seeing him. Now, these doors were stuck open earlier. I wonder if somebody came over and fixed them. Hey, there it goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's not going to jump out. It'd be funny if he just jumped out at me right now. But I guess he is broken. Everything in this store seems to get used so much that it gets damaged. For the inflatables, we have the Scarecrow Archways. Fright in the box. We see a lot of him lately. There's some coffins. I haven't seen a bunch of those yet this year. Ghost face lunging. The 20-foot snakes. Some of the pumpkin archways. Gargoyles. Wolves. Rats. Jack-o'-lanterns. Cats. Scarecrows. And plenty of ghosts and reapers. Hello, Mr. Gnarly Bunny. I love paying a visit to him. He is all toe up. And we've got Scabs the puppy. I'm guessing they both got into a fight or something. And we've got some of the prowling cats. I actually really like this one. Somebody asked me about cheetah or leopard stuff. Well, here's a tiger. What is up with these Mario hats with the eyes on them? I'm not sure what that is all about, but that's pretty cool. Here's an awesome pizza slice Ninja Turtles crossbody bag. They have plenty of popcorn guns here, and I want it so bad. They do have the Slayer kit with the mask, knife, 
and voice changer. They have all kinds of the bobbleheads, ghost face, exorcist, killer clowns from outer space, Sam and Bagwell bobbleheads, and they have Michael Myers hiding behind the bush. They don't have the sheet here though, and Silence of the Lambs. I think they killed it with doormats this year. Look at that Chucky doormat. And the Mars attacks, that is amazing. Invaders welcome. Here's a costume I don't know if I've ever seen before. It's called the Harvester, and it's a jack-o'-lantern with an axe. Cowboy corpse. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before either. They do have the pig butcher costume for whoever was asking. Somebody asked me for Spider-Man costumes. I don't see any here right now, except for this one. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Miles Morals. For whoever was asking about the pajamas, they have gremlins, killer clowns, regular clowns, Beetlejuice, the spirit Halloween jammies, the jack-o'-lantern set. That is awesome. Freddy Krueger. And they have Sam. And they have a skeleton and the good guy set. Look at these creepy pumpkins. I don't think I've seen these before. Is there a button? No, they are just blow molds. That is really cool though. It's a skull pumpkin. This is a nice saw mask. Check out this skeletal wolf mask with a moving jaw. That is crazy. They have a Martian warrior mask here and they have Halloween and Halloween ends with the mold and they have Trick or Treat Studios Texas Chainsaw Masker mask. I love the weapons. Let's check some out. This is a bloody axe. I think that's one of my favorites. Regular axes. Lots of bloody knives. These are super cool. They also have bloody machetes, which are just as cool. That one doesn't have any liquid in it, but it's clear and has blood splatters on it. And these ones actually have liquid inside of them that move. Someone asked me about katanas. They do have katanas here at Spirit Halloween, and they are sweet. Another one of my favorites is the wrench. And this is a pretty cool meat cleaver. Chop! They have a couple of fogging skull piles hidden back here, right by the burning skull pathway markers, and the regular skull pathway markers, and the pumpkins. I think the pumpkins might be my favorite. Check out this awesome Nightmare on Elm Street 4 mask. That is probably the best one I've ever seen. Okay guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween here in North Canton, Ohio. They have every animatronic you could ever want here, so head over and get them before they're sold out. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Guys, right here at Spirit Halloween in Clarksville, Tennessee. This is the coolest spirit I have ever seen in my life. It is a giant white tent. How cool. Let's go inside and see what they got in there. This place is crazy cool. I have never seen a Spirit Halloween tent before, and they have a real door. What the heck? Oh, this is awesome. Crazy. This place is big, too. Oh my gosh. How cool. Slim and stilts in the front here, both on motion. Good to see both of them here. This place is so tall, you could fit pretty much anything in here. This is great. What a different experience. But I don't know if the back area is set up. We'll have to check in a minute. But they do have Betty Sharp. Oh my goodness. Four Betty Sharp, how cool. We're gonna see some cool stuff in here. Man's Possessed Friend, a bunch of him, Howling Spirit, Desmodus, Eternal Rest right over there. We have the Black Heart, a bunch of him, and a Darling Dolly. And we have a Mr. Punchy, the Party Clown, a bunch of the Straw Man right there. Young Crouchy, man, look at how many Young Crouchies they have. So many of them. We do have a back area set up here, and look at this, they do have Betty Sharp set up, how awesome. But first, we have the Black Heart right here, and a bunch of the Inflatables, and the Jabbering Jack. Betty Sharp, I have not seen in such a long time. There is the Martian Warrior. No mist in him right now, but that is not too bad. I like collecting. Oh, there she goes. Can I show you my collection? <laughs> now, I think the bag, oh yes, the bag is moving. Just stick your head in real slow. 
That is so cool. How awesome that we get to see her. Of course, we have poor George here. I don't know if he is going to work. Doesn't look like he will, but the Blackheart will. Your life, your past, you will stay with you. Good to see you, Blackheart. And right here, the Whispering Grave Watcher. But she is not working. Oh, there she goes. Super cool, $80 for her. She is very affordable. Let's see what else they got in here. There are two chainsaws, how awesome. And look at this, we've got the Martian Warrior. I wonder if they're gonna have any of the rare masks. Look, this is a good sign that they will. The Batman Returns Penguin from Rubies. That is a great one. Let's see what else they got here, man. This place rocks. Hmm, I see the ice cream clown here, but I am not seeing any of the other rare masks. That is kind of odd. I expected them to have it actually. They do have the half bot mask up here. I don't want to pull him down because he's pretty high up there. I'm not a, I'm not sure I'd be able to get him back up there. Oh, there he is right here and he is lighting up for us. Awesome. He is $20, not too bad. I was kind of hoping they would have the scary corn mask here. Wait a minute, look right here. I walked right past him. The awesome scary corn mask. That is my favorite mask from Spirit Halloween. I love finding this thing. Look at those freaky teeth. This thing rocks. I love the hair. Pretty sure this is $70. Let's pull that off and check real quick. Yes, that is a $70 mask, but I think he is totally worth it and very unique. And also they have the lab rat, a super freaky and gross one. Got to love their lab rat. Look at how cool this place is. It is just a ginormous tent. I love this. What a unique experience. Let's check the blankets because seeing those masks gives me a good hint that they might have the rare one. So far, I don't see it. I do see the Ghoulies 2 blanket right there and plenty of other cool ones. And right over here, yes, they do have it. Awesome. You can pretty much guarantee you're gonna see this if they have those masks. This is so cool. He is $33, super rare. If you find him, you are very lucky. They have every single book bag that you could ever imagine here, all the awesome ones. And we have to check on the plush. Yes, we have a Crouchy, Ghostface, Michael Myers, Adam with the eyes on his hands as always, and the Nightmare Harvester. We're seeing a lot of him lately for $30. And here's some inflatables on a pallet behind all the plush. We've got the Reapers, Ghostface, the Hearse. There's the Killer Clowns inflatable right there. Here's a Desmodus. I didn't see that a minute ago. And more Young Crouchy and a bunch of Lil Jack Carver and a Leatherface and a Skelly Bones. I love how they have this place set up. This is so different and cool. Plenty of zombie babies here for us to name. Devil Cherub, Gutsy Gwen with her hand in the jack-o'-lantern. She's not working right now though. Mothy Max, Revenous Ruby, Flippin' Freddy, Slay Time, the purple baby right there with the claws, Spider Biter Billy, and of course, Gorius. George we always see him and look here is scabs the chihuahua dog and a ton of secret keeping cats down there and look at all the side steppers they have everyone you could imagine wait a minute except for Leatherface I do not see Leatherface but we do have Ghostface here that one's not working that one's not working Billy Butcherson he is working all right good to see Billy Butcherson I love the first Hocus Pocus I'm gonna have to watch the second one though because I don't remember it much Ghost face, please work? No, but I do see a tab on some of these. Let's pull a tab on this. All right, we pulled the tab. Yes. Very cool. And of course we have Spikey right there. He's not going to work. And Chucky, will he work? Yes. We love Chucky. Super awesome. I see the Leatherface statue. We always love the Leatherface statue and they have the popcorn statue right there. And Pennywise, that is a very cool one. He lights up and says some freaky quotes. And right behind there, do we have a Glenn doll? I do not see it, but what I do see is the Chucky one right here. How cool. Awesome quotes on that and super loud. Wait a minute, here's Leatherface. I thought I saw him. No, please work. One of these has to work. There's got to be tabs. Yes, let's pull a tab. Sometimes these tabs are super hard to pull. Ugh. All right, I finally got the tab pulled. That took some serious strength. There he goes. Got 
got to love Leatherface. He is my favorite. And we have a couple of Ghostface Horror Babies here. The Bates Motel sign is nice and lit up for us to see. That is a great one, but they have plenty of signs here. Even the Mars Attacks changing laser pistol there. I like that one a lot. And this one, another Mars Attacks one that I love covered in bullet holes and is melting from the lasers. That is a great one for $18. I also love both of the Crystal Lake ones. Those ones are great and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This one is popular, the Changing Chucky sign. That is a great one. And here's the Changing Michael Myers one that changes from the kid version to the adult version. Hey, looky over here. They do have a Gordo set up. He is not working right now, but it is good to see him. All the mugs are right over here on a little shelf. This is awesome. Look at how many of the new ones they have. I do like this one. I've never seen the Amityville Horror, but I'll have to check it out just because I love the mug. I also love the Leatherface mug. That one is my favorite. They have plenty of good ones, though, from all kinds of different scary movies. They do have a popcorn gun here. How awesome. And, of course, the cotton candy gun. We love to activate that one. And, of course, they always have some costumes here and the half masks. I'll try to go over here and show you this before the music gets too loud again. Look at this. The scissors are in the skin. And the AC is blowing hard out of that tube right back there. And it feels so good over here. I see the ice cream clown right here. What a great costume. And how cool that we're seeing a lot more of him lately. And he is $60. Not bad for a great clown costume. Hugs the Clown is here as well. That is also a awesome one that is super popular. But I do not see our good pal Charlie. I kind of expected to see him because they have some other rare things here. Perhaps he sold out because he is super popular. They do, though, have the awesome Mad Scientist costume. That is a cool one you don't see every day with light-up goggles. And that one is $55. And right over here, if I can hang this back up, there we go. Man, this place is packed with stuff. This one, the Granny Wolf costume, is hilarious. I love it so much body parts in the basket and that is $50. Look at that awesome mask. Plenty of costumes from movies here. They have all kinds of them. We've got the Stranger Things 11 costume right there. We have Shrek. This one is from Dodgeballs, Average Joes. There's Fiona to go with the Shrek one. Step Brothers, Space Jam, all kinds of stuff. Powerpuff Girls, Annabelle's right there. She's kind of a hard one to find for $50. They do have Scott Howard from Teen Wolf. That is a great one as well. Gremlins and Coraline right there. She is $50. And The Incredibles. And look at this. I've never seen this one before. The Incredibles 2 Deluxe. What is her name? Edna. The Edna costume. That is awesome. For $70. And they have the Inflatable Rex costume a lot of them these are so cool for $80 if you're gonna dress up as a bunch of the Toy Story people totally do Rex because I would love to see that I see the deluxe gorilla costume but do we see the Yeti costume that one is usually here whenever you see the rare masks and so far I do not see him but they have the traffic light right there that one is kind of rare as well and they have the inflatable corn I love that one and there is the inflatable frog up there also rare for $60 let's see if our kicking clown friend will work. That one's not going to work. Oh, he does. He's sort of working. There he goes. Uh, he must be glitching. Maybe his batteries are just low enough that he is not going to work all that well. He's talking, but he's not kicking. That is too bad. I see a pumpkin nester doll over here. He's kind of hard to find, but we've seen a little bit of him pretty often here lately. $30 for him. And they have demonic dolly. I like that one. That is super freaky. She laughs really creepily if we can get her to make some noise here for us. No, too bad. She's dead. They do have some more inflatables back here. Cats, rats, wolves, scarecrows, haunted trees, all kinds of stuff. We'll do our daily look for all the step pads and I do not see any of them here, but they do have the live wire. That is one of my favorite props right there. And I'm totally gonna get some at the end of the year. How great are these for $50? They work super well. And I think if I don't have it on motion activation, I might get this uh, activation switch right there because that would be great for activating something that is electric. $30, plenty of the pathway markers here as well. They have all of them here. Here's the Cracked Skull Zombie Groundbreaker. He has a great green light in there. The zombie arm pathway markers, I like those. That one's not working though. Here's the red ones with the bats. Those do work super awesome and I like them. Here's the purple one with the spiders. We never press the button on that, but that is nice and pretty. And of course they have the burning skulls right there and they have the jack-o'-lanterns and they have the white skulls. They're not working right now. And the bumpy spooky pathway markers. Those are great too. 
Those might be my favorite, but I don't know. I like the skulls too. Here are the step pad covers, but they all look like the regular ones. That's too bad. I wish they would order some different ones. Look at this. I have never seen this before. The two-headed clown. How cool. That one is $40. That is an awesome clown costume. And I do not see the bobblehead costume here, but of course we have Lord Raven. That is more and more popular as the season goes by. $45 for that. The ghost I do love. The pig butcher. Fade Eyes Evil Demon is a cool one for $45. And the Hazardous Waste Zombie is an awesome one as well. Blacklight Reactive. Look at that. That is $50 creepy face on that too. I don't see the goofy spoof ghost face mask here, but they do have the bleeding one and the chrome one. That's a great one. I also don't see the glow in the dark one anywhere, but that's okay. They have plenty of cool ones here. I always look at the Poppy Playtime stuff and the Five Nights at Freddy's stuff because everybody loves them. They have plenty of the Kissy Missy and the Huggy Wuggy costumes right there. And they have Foxy, Montgomery Gator, Freddy, and Roxanne Wolf. She is kind of hard to find. And these are about $45 a piece. And they have the awesome mask right here but none of the huggy wuggy ones here's a cute little glowing skeleton that's a cool glow stick thing right there and these are two dollars a piece and they have some pumpkin ones and some ones that have little halloweeny things look at the cat on that that is hilarious i love these great for kids these are four dollars for this one and it comes with a pack of four of them they have a ton of the keychains here here's the cat that one's one of my favorites let's pull the tab on him and get him going there he goes. Oh my gosh, he is super bright. And he meows. And look at this. They have a ton of the sloths. These are kind of hard to find, the sleepy sloths that also light up. And look at this. They have the axes. None of the knives, though. Everybody must be buying up the knives. And when you press the button, usually they uh, make a sound like you are slashing with it. But that one's not making any sound right now. They do have plenty of the bobbleheads. I always check to see what they have. Baby Killer Clown, Georgie, all the Sam ones. There's Michael Myers hiding behind the sheet. He used to be hard to find earlier in the season there's the other one right there they have the exorcist doing the spider crawl down the stairs and they have Leatherface down there that one is my all-time favorite and looky right here we have a whole stack of the spirit halloween monopoly games i do have this one it is super awesome if you want to see the unboxing i have a video of it on my channel go check that out plenty of the lanyards here they have all kinds of them one of my favorites is the regular spirit halloween lanyard right there with the awesome jack keychain and they are fully stocked on all the figures here i love the killer clowns one those are all the options that you can get plus there's a couple of exclusives you can get they even have the series two ones right here and there's all the selections you can get with that one zombie babies they have two of the zombie baby ones awesome here is all the pumpkin carving stuff i love the pumpkin carving stuff because i carve so many pumpkins every year they have plenty of the regular packs right here and these ones do come with some stencils too look at the crow i like that one. Ooh, i like the ghost too coming out of the cauldron spooky tree as well wow some great ones in here all kinds of them too look at that this is eleven dollars for this pack but we've also got some contest winners right here this one has a ton of awesome ones as well i like that look at the cat and the bat that would be a cool one to carve and this one is six dollars but we also have nightmare before christmas the shining and ghost face ghost face is one of my favorites and look at this here's another bag of the super colorful spider webs i only saw this for the first time just at the last store that i was at for 17 dollars a piece and they also have have purple green and orange looky someone left a horn here for me to blow I like that. These are cool and super loud for $6. I have never seen these tools for the Blade Doctor costumes. How awesome. A big old blade right there. That looks like a tooth holder and some kind of a pick for doing uh, lobotomies. Oh my gosh. And that is $13. And this one we have seen before. He lights up. How do we get it to work though? There we go. You push on the syringe and he lights up. That is pretty cool. And this one is $10. And of course you have a couple of the costumes here. Here is the Black Lake Doctor right there for $60. Medieval one right there for $60 as well. Or you can just get the hat right here for $20 and the gloves right here, black leather gloves for $13. And they got a couple of masks up here. Here's a black one right there for $25. And you can kind of make the costume yourself with those. Let's take one last good look at this awesome ginormous tent. I love this place. What a unique experience as well. Just get the hat right here, right here, black leather gloves for $13 and they got a couple of masks up here. here.
What's up guys, we're out here at Spirit Halloween in Matadel, New York. Let's go inside and see if they got anything new that we've never seen before. All right, Leatherface right here in the front door. I love Leatherface. One of his hands is off of his chainsaw. It smells like Halloween in here. <laughs> it smells like masks, like Halloween masks. I love it. His chainsaw is hanging on by a thread. Good to see you, Mr. Leatherface. All right, we've got Stilts right here juggling his bowling pins. I love that. I never noticed the sound of his neck cracking when he spins his head. But if you listen closely or if they turn him up loud enough, you can hear it pretty well. He is super tall. Good to see you, Stilts. All right, they've got the Martian warrior over here, and I love it. Look, there's a heck spawn. <laughs> oh, he's already going. No steam coming out of there. Mist, sorry, that is mist. <laughs> not fog, not steam, mist. Good to see a Martian warrior. We'll go around the corner here. They should have poor George. Yes, they do. I love these fluffy little balls on his striped sweater. <laughs> They should sell a striped sweater just like his. I would totally buy that. <laughs> he is so cool. I love anything with clowns. Speaking of clowns, they do have Slim right over here waiting to open his popcorn bag for us. Or I suppose it's already open and he's going to close it. I wonder why they made it to where he would close the bag instead of opening up whenever you activate him. Gotta love Slim. Oh my gosh, I can't reach him. I bet you thought I forgot. Honk. <laughs> there he goes. All right, we'll go around the corner here. They should have the widow. Miss Widow, there she is. Okay, Miss Widow, break your neck for me. <laughs> Looks like they parted her hair a little differently. I like whenever they do that stuff. I love the widow. Inside the catacombs, we always have the sitting scarecrow. Maybe he's not going to work. No, I guess not. That's too bad. We will come back to Dagger Mike because there's a bunch of people that just piled in there to activate everything. But we do have Mr. Scarecrow back here. That's a nice, fresh new thing. They usually have him up front. Hey, I've been keeping these tools nice. His eyes aren't lighting up. Just in case the farmer's spirit returns this But he has year. turned up nice and loud. I think loud. he will be very pleased with how I've been running things. And I'm sure he'll be thrilled I like how he moves you. side to side like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good to see you, Mr. Scarecrow. Guys, I am just feeling fall in the air. It is time. Let's go, Mr. Hanging Ghost. so much. I love anything with ghosts. Ghosts and clowns. What an awesome animatronic. I definitely want him. Here's a fogging skull pile. He is not fogging right now and his eyes are not lit up, but he is awesome and the bell tolls whenever he is activated. Right over here we do have Darling Dolly next to the creepy tree. She is so awesome. There's Eternal Rust eternally spinning her head. So cool. I love it. I'm definitely going to get her by the end of the year, I think. <laughs> Probably when they go on sale or I get a good coupon, then I will uh, grab her. And I am going to get a spooky tree. I put my name in to get one, so we will definitely try to get them. I love everything down here. All these decorations. They really did a great job with this. Okay, behind the spooky tree, we do have King Gordo. Let's go, King Gordo. I love that cat sound. That is so cool. And the guts. Gordo is great. All right, Gordo, we got the Riz Reaper over here. Show me your girlfriend, Riz Reaper. Let's get him going. You are now mine for all time. Together, we 
shall roam among the living and find our next victim. <laughs> he is so cool. I love it. All right, he is $300, by the way. We'll go right over here. They've got the Grave Watcher. She's usually on motion. Yes, she is. actually kind of hear her now because she is a little bit turned up compared to the other stores desmodus please please work desmodus yes no oh man <laughs> he tricked me i thought he was gonna jump up i'm almost expecting him to still jump up but no he is not going to just going to sit there he is resting so his eyes are lighting up and he's making sounds but he's not going to jump up that is too bad i love him his wings are super wide obviously we have little skelly bones down here i don't know why they've got him turned towards desmodus he's like bowing to desmodus <laughs> King Desmodus. I'm sorry, Gordo. There is a new king in town. I should put a crown on him. Maybe I'll do that. All right. Let's see who's behind the door. Knock, knock. Oh, man. Why did it do that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is so funny. I thought he was broken. I love it. So if you're standing in front of the door, that's when it happens. But I wonder if they connect it to this also sometimes. Because sometimes when I knock, he comes jumping right out. But that was awesome, and I love it. And I love all the spiders back here and the lights and everything. Oh, the door just closed on me. <laughs> this thing is so awesome. I would love to have this actual mechanism. And I wonder how much it would cost if I asked them about buying this at the end of the year. I do see a bunch of animatronics over here. This is awesome. Leatherface, the Hexbun, Dark. Darling Dolly, Little Scully Bones, a Fogging Skull Pile. We see a lot of the Fogging Skull Pile this year. They've got two Dagger Mikes, guys. He's kind of hard to find. They've got the Howling Spirit, the Straw Man, Emmeline, and a bunch of Man's Possessed Friend. That is so cool, guys. They are always so well stocked this year. I see lots of inflatables, too. Look at how many of the Happy Halloween Killer Clowns inflatables they have. That is crazy. They also have the Ghost Face Lunging. Three of him. Four of him. Wow, that is a lot. Two of the Scary Clown Archway, Jack-O-Lantern Archway. It looks like they got four of him. The Snake. Oh, my gosh. I like these Jack-O-Lanterns. These are four feet tall, and they are really cool. The Rat. He is three and a half feet tall. Four foot for the Cat. Five foot for the Gorgle. Gor Gor Gargoyle. Oh, my goodness. He is very cool. The Wolf. Let's see. The Ghost is one of my favorites right here. He is eight foot tall. We saw him in another store, and he is actually really awesome. We have to say hi to all of our zombie babies. Let's see if we can remember their names. We got Revenous Ruby, Spider Biter Billy, Mothy Max, Flippin' Freddy, I believe. Yes, Flippin' Freddy. Who else we got? Oh, we got uh, Gorius George right there. Gorius George is a classic. We see him every year, and I think that's all. Wow, they don't have any Gutsy Gwen. But we do have Ghostface the Horror Baby. I love him so much. He is awesome. They have no Leatherface here. They do have a Sam. They almost always have a Sam. They have our favorite statues here. Ghostface with a sad pumpkin. That is so awesome. I don't see the Michael Myers one anywhere, uh, but we do have these blow molds right here. And they're starting to light up less and less because I think people are coming in and pressing the buttons all the time. Here's the Sam one. We don't see the Sam one all too often. That's pretty cool. They also have the snow globes. Look, a Sam snow globe. And we've got Leatherface and Pennywise. I love these snow globes. They're like $40 each, I think. Yeah, $40 for a snow globe. That is cray cray. I see some sidesteppers. Do we have any of the new ones? No, we do not. That is too bad. I love the sidesteppers, and I cannot wait to see the new ones. They have a ghost face one, and they also have a leather face one, so I am really on the hunt for those. I do not see any Glenn dolls, but I do see plenty of Chucky. We've got one, two, three, 
four, and only one of them started working. Oh, look, five, and wait, six. We have to press the button. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Six. All right, very cool. But we don't have any of the Glenn dolls. He sells out very quickly. Look, we do have the Michael Myers statue. This one is so awesome. I do love that. I'm going to get this one, and I'm going to get the ghost face one. Look, more sidesteppers. Spiky. Uh... You gotta play with him to get him to work. But honestly, when I see that, it makes me not wanna buy it. So like, anytime you go to buy this, make sure you press the button and make sure that he works before you bring him home. They also have Slim. It looks like somebody did pull the tab on that. Same thing. Oh, there he goes. So you gotta move the arms around a little bit sometimes. Maybe out of the box he works a lot better because it's kind of problematic whenever the box is in there and he doesn't have a lot of room. I see the killer clowns from Outer Space Snow Globes with Shorty right there. We've got this awesome statue right there that is so cool i love killer clowns we also have two of the popcorn statues but i don't see any of the leatherface ones that one might be rare we saw them at one location so far we'll keep our eye out look at this awesome sam candy holder that is awesome it's a potter plant actually but you could totally put candy in there we have plenty of plushies here all the things that we have already seen many many times before so we'll kind of pass through those for now we do have a bunch of the book bags ghost face my favorite is this one right here ghostbusters with the green slime straps they've got chucky right there this one is from nightmare before christmas these are all awesome and they're all 60 dollars each i am looking for the rare blanket of spirit halloween with all the characters on it i do see nightcrawler right here we see him a lot lately uh, I also see this one right here. This one is probably my favorite ghost face blanket. That is so awesome. I love all the masks and the moon behind him. I love the moon. I do not see the rare one. We will keep our eyes out, but we do have this one, the reversible Spirit Halloween plush throw. That one's very cool as well. I don't see any new pop figures. We are on the hunt for new ones. Here's Sam. We've got the Killer Clowns Jumbo. Very colorful. That one is really cool. They have Bibbo with Shorty in a pizza box. I want that one. That is so awesome. But we are waiting to see some new ones, and we are also looking for any of the new Spirit Halloween exclusive figures. And I don't even see Crouchy over here. Usually we find Crouchy. There he is. There's Crouchy. I knew they'd have him somewhere. They've got a lot of Crouchies. And we have these awesome made by robots uh, stitch things. Niche series. That's what it's called. That's an awesome Oogie Boogie one. And then we've got this one right here with Hannibal Lecter. Very cool. They do have the Spirit Halloween figural bag clip series too. These are awesome. You can get all these characters. I want Cerberus. And uh, there are some exclusives on there. There are two. No five exclusives that is crazy so they have had more of these lately uh, as the season goes by it seems like they get more and more in stock so it's not going to be too hard to find these if you do want them here's the mini handmade by robots micro charm vinyl figures i love that one leatherface i am so into leatherface right now because the video game came out they also have ghostface another one of my favorites he's probably my favorite horror character ghostface then they have shorty the killer clown from outer space so awesome pennywise and annabelle and they have our awesome solar bobbleheads here there is freddy and we've got jason right there i would totally get jason and put him in my truck i'm really thinking about it and our mini snow globes here we see these sometimes not all the time though there is michael myers that is awesome i think these are eight bucks each yeah eight bucks not too bad we've got jason right there so awesome i love all of these here is chucky look at the chucky one so cool and then one more here that i like is freddy and look at this, we have all the plush things that we love. Look, there's Jason mini plush. He is $17. And then we've also got Freddy right there. All kinds of these things, Yoshi, Sonic, that is crazy. Lots of cool things. Is that a moth? Oh my goodness. Here's some of the zombie baby bag clips and these are series ones. This is the first time that they've done this, I guess. And uh, those are awesome. I bought a couple of myself. Wait a minute, I didn't even know. Oh yeah, I have seen those before, okay. Yes, I have uh, one of the exclusives on there, Double Trouble, so awesome. This looks like a full box, so if you bought every one of these, you're very likely to have every single one, even both of the exclusives. Here's a ghost face mug I don't think I've ever seen before. I love it. Look at that. They've got a couple of these style of mugs here um, that I've been seeing lately. Look at all the knives on that. That is so awesome. But they also have a Chucky one that is clear like that. And I don't see it anywhere, but it is super cool. We'll keep our eye out for it. Here's the Mars Attacks one right there. 
I like that style clear with the black. They also have this awesome leather face mug. I love that one. I'm probably going to buy that eventually so I can drink something out of it while I'm playing the video game. And look at this. That is cool. Mickey Mouse and his friends. That is a nice one. Look, there's Goofy. I also really like this Texas Chainsaw Massacre mug right there. That is so awesome. I want to have a whole mug collection, and I will very soon. Look at how well stocked they are in all these hanging props. This is crazy, man. They have a ton of products this year. I think last year they had a hard time, or not last year, two years ago, because of COVID, they had a hard time keeping everything in stock, and now they are doing awesome. There's Ghostface. Oh, he's not going to light up. That's too bad. He is really awesome. They've got this guy right here, the Vintage Hanging Devil. Wow, none of these are working. I think everybody's coming in here and pressing the buttons all the time. Check out this spear. How have I never seen this before? That is awesome. That is a really cool spear. Lots and lots of the hanging girls, the witch. These are awesome. And look, they have Hugs the Clown. Check it out. There he is. He is kind of hard to find. Sometimes I find him uh, every two or three stores. They also have Pumpkin Nester. He's another one that's sort of hard to find and very popular, as well as the Vintage Wolfman. Awesome. I'm so glad we found all three of them. Oh, look. No way. They also have the clown. They have the Crouchy Mask here. Usually he comes with the gloves, but this is just the mask alone, and that is pretty good quality, honestly. If you feel this, you know that is a nice good hard rubber quality let's check the price on that real quick that is fifty dollars for just the mask without the gloves they also have the saw mask i don't think i've seen this one very much this year that is very cool sixty dollars for that from trick-or-treat studios look at this vintage bunny mask that is hilarious i love it that is so funny that is $13. Redguff77 wanted to see all the anime stuff. They have plenty at this store. We have My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer, Naruto. I think that is all of them, but let's check out what they have. Tanjiro, Nezuko, I hope I'm saying these correctly, Katsuki, Bakugo? <laughs> that one's cool. His arms look like grenades. That is hilarious. UA uniform jacket. I'm not sure what all these are because I don't watch this stuff. Ichigo's Shinakuso? Shikusho? I don't know. <laughs> That's too funny. I don't know any of these. Oh, uh, we got the training robe right there. That's $40. $70, $70, $50 for that one. All of these masks right here. We've got Toby Youth Mask, uh, Madara War Youth Mask. These are $13 each. They have these Chakra Blades. These are $13. These are all pretty cool. They have a lot of this stuff. Here's a Kakashi Anbu Mask. I don't know how to say any of these words. Here's another mask for uh, Ichigo. <laughs> uh, we've got... Ang, I know Ang, and this one's light up. Let's see if that'll work. Please work. Yes. Whoa, that is actually really cool. I do know the avatar. What is this pumpkin thing down here? Sora's Halloween Town headpiece? I've never even seen that before, and I've seen this section before, but that is very cool. That is $13, and this one down here looks pretty unique. Look at that. It's like a broken piece of uh, this guy's mask. We also have some ninja stars right there, katanas, rings, sakura headbands. Guys, they have a ton of this stuff if you're into the anime stuff. More swords, Aang staff right there, and here's some more awesome costumes. Holly Bishop wanted to see the bling ghost face mask. There it is right there. And it also has this shiny material that's not like the normal material like this. And I think this is actually what they had in the movie, the shiny material. I like that. And I kind of wish they would have a robe that was in that shiny material. But so far, I haven't seen any. So they do have the ghost face bling mask. I do not see the bling knife. I usually do. It's actually pretty common. There it is. <laughs> That's funny. Right in front of my face. The ghost face bling knife. That is $13. And the mask is $25. I'd be excited to see somebody wearing that and having the knife for trick-or-treat this year. I see lots of t-shirts and looky here, we have the spirit one and the ghost face one. Yes, look at that. I love the ghost face one. I don't know what size that is. There's no sticker, XL. Now we are looking for the Sam one and I do not see it anywhere. I see a crouchy shirt though, a large crouchy shirt. How awesome. We are on the search for the Sam Spirit Halloween shirt. I have not found him yet at any stores. Look, here's a crown. It must be that it was meant to be. We are going to go crown Desmodus. I crown the King Bat. Right there. 
<laughs> I can't get it to stay on his head anyway. There we go, King Bat. All hail King Bat. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Mattadale, New York. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, we're out here at Spear Halloween in Charleston, West Virginia. Watch the video till the end to see where I hide a free t-shirt for you to come find. Let's go inside and see what they got. All right, they got the cauldroness set up right here. $280 for her. It looks like her little uh, potion bottle fell down there. Let's get her going. She is great. Oh, there she goes, she's working. Her jaw is not working and her hand usually like goes like this around the top of the cauldron, but that's okay. All right, Mr. Slim, Slim, Mr. Stilts. I've got the clowns mixed up. Him with his bloody bowling pins. In the beginning of the season, I could not understand why he had bowling pins, but then somebody told me that he is juggling the bowling pins, and that makes sense. All right, Mr. Martian Warrior, no steam, no mist steam. Love that big old brain of his and the green light. And he is $400, a little pricey. All right, do we have the Widow over here? Yes, we do. I love Miss Widow. <laughs> yes, we love to see her break her neck. She is one of my favorites. We'll go on in here. Just spooked that boy. <laughs> and Mr. Dagger Mike. <laughs> I am going to miss him when the season ends. All right, sitting scarecrow, spook me. Always great to see him. I wonder who is around the corner here. It's poor George. Oh my goodness. He is so close to just pulling this wire down. Is great. I love how loud he always is. And of course, over here, the other clown, Slim. We love Slim. We have to honk his little nose. Honk. And we'll set him off. Open up your bag of popcorn. Or close it, rather. I am still waiting for the Killer Clowns video game to come out. It is taking forever. But in the meantime, I am playing a lot of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game. The back area is set up here. We do have Hex Spawn, but we'll let him reset while we go over here and pay homage to our good friend, the Howling Spirit. His arm is a little bit bent. Oh, because they don't want him to hit the spooky tree right there. Always good to see him. He is one of my favorites for this year as well. And Darling Dolly is my favorite for this year. Here she goes. Maybe, maybe not. Oh man, that's too bad. I wanted to see her do it. Oh well, good to see you, Miss Darling Dolly. Always good to pay a visit. What in the world? She's just playing around with me. Well, at least she made the sounds. What a jerk. All right, we've got uh, Eternal Rest right here, two of her. The Riz Reaper, he is not working right now. His arm is down. I wonder if he will say his quotes, though. Yes, he does. And he moved forward a little bit. Your life, your past, you will stay with me. The rest of each 
<laughs> that is too funny. Little Skelly Bones is right up against this pillar here. Hiding behind the pillar. There he goes. He popped up from behind the pillar to spook us. I don't think Desmodus is working. Will he scare me? No, he must not be working. But the Grave Watcher is. The Grave Watcher and I have the same hairdo, but she has a ginormous gash in her face. I wonder who hurt her. That's probably why her eyes are all red. Because she was crying because somebody hit her. Knock, knock. Yay! I always love when he works correctly, but no lights behind there. That's okay. We love you, Mr. Spider. Welcome back to Hexpawn again, because he is just going off over and over again. But we do have plenty of babies over here to name. Revenous Ruby with her little cockroaches. Devil Cherub. Spider Biter Billy. Flippin' Freddy. Gorious George right there. He is a crawler. Slay Time is down there. And we have Wretched Ralphie. And of course we have Chomp and Connie with her delicious brain snack. I haven't seen the other babies in a little while. All we have here is Sam. I want Leatherface so bad. And I sure hope they have him whenever I go to buy him. Speaking of Leatherface, we have sidesteppers including Ghostface and Leatherface. Oh no, please work. Let's go to the one behind him. No, that is too bad and there's no pull tabs, so they must be dead, but I do love them. And of course we have Spiky here. Uh, he's making the sounds. Sometimes they don't work when they're in the packaging. Chucky. Showtime. Chucky is a great one. And we have Ghostface right here. Yes, he's working. Him and Leatherface are my favorites. And of course, we always have Sam. They have a decent selection of signs here, including this ginormous Haunted Mansion sign right there. And this one I haven't pressed the button on, I don't think. Ooh. Lights up nice and bluish purple there. A bunch of Hocus Pocus. That's a cool sign for Hocus Pocus. Elm Street right there. And this one right here. Look at this giant Pennywise dancing clown sign. That's pretty cool. I don't know that I've ever seen that one before. Let's see if we can check the price on him. Uh, it is $40. I haven't seen the hanging ghost face in a long, long time. But I don't think he is going to work because he looks kind of beat up. Let's see though. Oh, he does work. How cool, what a treat. It's been a while since we've gotten to see him. Good to see you, Mr. Hanging Ghostface. I think it's about time we come over here and just wait until the hex spawn is ready to go off for us. Look at that face. He is so great and tall and loud. And look at this. He's guarding the Black Heart and a Tombstone Terror. We have not seen Tombstone Terror very much this year. Woo! <laughs> He is so tall. I love it. Another big old sack of animatronics over here. And look, I see a bog zombie. How cool. We have not seen him for sale this year. That is awesome. Nozzles the Clown. Emmeline right there. Two Howling Spirits. I am kind of tempted to get that bog zombie. Let's see if we can see the price on him. I'll have to move the box a little bit. That is $250, and I do love him. I always loved to activate him last year. We have Demonic Dolly here. Look. I love that. She is awesome. She might be my favorite, and she is $30. I think I like her better than I like Monkey Chimes. And we have Devilish Desmond, Eerie Emma, The Butcher, and right there is The Monkey Chimes. He is no longer my favorite, but we'll still press the button. He is a pretty cool one. Please, oh, please, oh, please have some new step pads. No... I do not see any new ones. Darn, I wonder why they don't order any new ones. They do have Livewire though. One of my favorite props here. A little pricey at like 50 bucks a piece. Yeah, 50 bucks a piece, but they are great. Oh, this is a good sign. I see the lab rat. Maybe we'll find the corn mask over here. Whoops, I dropped the mask, but the lab rat is super gross and freaky. They did such a good job with this one. And he is $60, not too bad. He is decent quality and really detailed. And they have the Iron Maiden mask. You almost never see that one from Trick or Treat Studios. This one is $70. And here's the nun mask. I have not seen the nun mask in a long time.
long time either and that one is forty dollars super creepy and looky what we have here the texas chainsaw massacre pretty woman with her face mask i love that one i really want to buy it seventy dollars but totally worth it i think at some point i am going to grab it the last store we were at this whole aisle was empty and look at this one super full all kinds of feet and hands and ham hocks and they even have a brain and the intestines and look here's a stray hook i wonder how much they would sell the stray hook for we haven't found a working skeleton man yet this year i wonder if he'll work headless skeleton for 60 dollars oh there he goes he's pretty quiet you can't really hear what he's saying but he is cool you just hang him up somewhere, four foot tall, pretty cool. There's a whole bunch more animatronics over here, stilts right there, a Lord Raven, what in the world? How do these stores get all the stuff from last year? $300 for Lord Raven. I could totally get her and the bog zombie and have some things from 2022. That would be so cool. And over here we have two little Jack Carver and I see another Emmeline, another Slim. Three Desmodus and this one is reduced price, $114 because the motor is no longer functioning. That is too bad. And they have a coldness here. I want her really badly. Because they have the rare rat mask, I am kind of thinking they might have the rare blanket but I do not see it. That's okay, we've seen it a couple times this year. They do have a Crouchy and Nightcrawler blankets here and the Cheetos. They are fully stocked on the Pokemon costumes here. A lot of stores don't have a ton of these. Bulbasaur, Charmander, there's a Pikachu. Gengar, I don't even know how to say his name. $40 for him. Sobble and Score Bunny right there. Plenty of these costumes. Plenty of inflatable costumes too. All kinds of these. Let's go through some of them in case you have never seen them the inflatable green dino he is fifty dollars they've got sumo wrestlers for thirty five dollars inflatable ghoul pick-me-ups those are cool for fifty dollars wavy inflatable arm guys cows close encounter that's a cool one you're wearing your jammies while the alien carries you away that one's fifty here's an inflatable circus clown cerberus is one of my favorites but you don't see him everywhere and that one is fifty Balloon animal, ostrich ride on, that one is funny. Skeleton pick me up, inflatable rubber chickens, bull riders. They have every kind of inflatable costume that you could think of. They even have dragons down there. And we're used to seeing the Mandalorian costumes here, including Darth Vader. But what we are not used to seeing is this one right here, the Star Wars Wrecker costume. I may have seen one of these before. This is from Bad Batch and it is $37. I have been to so many stores. If I could find the bobblehead costume, I would be absolutely delighted, but I do not see him here. I do see a butcher and two of the Lord Raven costumes there, but no Mr. Bobblehead. Lots and lots of book bags here, and I see tons of bobbleheads here too. Every single one that we love to see, including Michael Myers behind the sheet, and the baby killer clowns and look at this we have two leatherface another howling spirit over there and slim and stilts they have a ton oh my gosh how did i miss this there's two betty sharp here how cool we have been seeing a little more of her lately and she is 170 dollars. i wonder how they had so many left from last year let's see if they have the ice cream clown i do not see him anywhere no, and I don't see a Charlie with his bucket either, but that's okay. They do have Hugs the Clown here. The shirts are selling out. Look at this. Tons of empty spaces here. They do have at least one, yes, just one Sam Spirit Halloween shirt left here, but they have had plenty of cool shirts, including the purple one right there that I love. I love all the ghost face ones. I have this one that says, let's get smashed. This is a cool one right here. Never accept ride from strangers. I like that stuff with the old old-fashioned Halloween pictures on it. This is another one of my favorites. I love the painting, the scream, and they switched the scream guy out with Michael Myers and gave him the scream guy's head. That is such a funny shirt. No popcorn guns or cotton candy guns today. Hmm, that's a little bit out of the ordinary. Maybe they are selling out, but they have plenty of costumes from Killer Clowns. And I do see the Jack Reaper costume right here. He is not selling out yet. He is $55 and the Granny Wolf costume again. I love that one so much and that one is $50. We 
we have scream canisters. I love these. I'd love to see somebody dressed up as a Monsters, Inc. character like Mike Wazowski and carry one of these around to collect your candy in. I would love to see that. Let's check how much these are. These are $25. I'm surprised I don't remember all the prices by now. They do have a few Where's Waldo costumes here. $40 for the female costume right there and the male costume right there for $40 as well. That would be a cool costume. And they also have Jovi and Buddy the Elf here. Finally, we found one of these Ghostbusters life-size replicas. We'll carry it over here away from the music so I don't have to talk so loud. But we have not seen a lot of these lately. That is super cool, new and improved, super giant, lights up, makes sounds and everything. There's some good close-ups of it. And this is, I don't see the price on there actually. Hmm, I think it was like close to $200 or something. I might get that with a Ghostbusters costume. And what is this right here? A party banner. That's cool, a Ghostbusters party banner. Oh look, there's Slimer, how awesome. $7 for the sweet Ghostbusters party banner. And if you're wondering, the costumes are $60 a piece. Plenty of accessories here, including the light up handheld flame. That's a cool one. It looks like it's floating in your hand. And that is $15. Of course, it lights up. Let's see if he will work in the packaging for us. Yes, it does. And he flickers like a real flame, too. And here's some more inflatable costumes over here. They have a lot of good ones. There's the inflatable banana right there with his tongue hanging out for $50. Here's an alien costume. That is a great one. And that is $60. And his eyes light up. There's a party pooper that is too funny for $50. Here's another dragon one. But this one is a ride-on dragon and it looks like you are flying on the on the dragon's back that is too funny we haven't checked out the plush guys yet and look at this they do have a young crouchy i have him he is awesome they also have a nightmare harvester it's getting easier to find him which is a good thing but i don't see any ghost face or michael myers it's been a while since i've gone through all the pillows in case anyone has not seen them they have sam from trick or treat right here here's a pennywise this one is from nightmare before christmas all the bugs from oogie boogie this one is too funny. I don't know why they even have this. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, whatever her name is, Violet, whenever she eats the blueberry. Jason, that is my favorite one right there. I love it. I might even end up getting it at some point. Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. Gizmo, the Big Top Burger from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That is a funny one. And one of my favorites as well, the skeleton right here. That is a full skeleton that unfolds to look like that. And he is $35. They almost always have Bibble with Shorty in the pizza box here and let's see how much he is he is forty dollars but they don't always have the sanderson sisters all three of them together singing a song and this one is forty dollars as well and they have singular ones but i've only ever seen winifred i think and you hardly ever find her i really do wish that they had some more funko pops this year okay guys i said i would hide a t-shirt this is a purple one the super popular ones there's a tree right back here there's the store and the tree is right over here and we are going to stick this shirt up in the tree there's a little bird's nest up there i'm not going to mess with the bird's nest but we will put this shirt right up there in case anyone wants to come and find it and if you do find it post a picture on the facebook page so i can see you wearing it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one guys right here at spirit halloween in beckley west virginia there it is right there let's go inside and see what they got wow this place is jumping of course we have stilts right here can we get him going let's see nobody else is activating him there we go a little bit quiet but always good to see mr tall stilts I don't see Leatherface. There's Mr. George over there, but I don't think he is working. We'll go right over here. I see the Martian warrior. We'll activate him again. Maybe? There he goes. Little 
this today. He is very cool. I think I saw the widow over there. And yes, we always have Dagger Mike in here and the sitting scarecrow. He's facing the wall. I wonder why they always put him right up against the pillar. There he goes. <laughs> Spooked a small child over here. And the sitting scarecrow. Maybe he's on motion? No, he is not working. Too bad. Good to see you, Mr. Scarecrow. Who's around the corner here? The widow. There she goes. <laughs> All right. Slim right there. Lots of people in here. Hello, Slim. Good to see Mr. Slim and his bag of popcorn in there. A bunch of animatronics right here. Two young Crouchy, man's possessed friend, Howling Spirit. Eternal Rest, we got a Slim, the Mars Attacks Martian, two Slims in here, and Lil Jack Carver. And they have two of the Mars Attacks Martian, actually. Lil Jack Carver is pretty cool. We saw him a couple times this year, and $170 for him. The back area is all set up here. We are all waiting on Mr. Hexbond to reset himself, and as soon as he does, we'll set him off. All right, let's get Mr. Hexbond going. Mommy, Ooh, he is tall. Got to love the tall Hexbon. And they have Mr. Gargoyle over here. Is he working though? Maybe not, but he is cool. All right, of course, Darling Dolly. Everybody loves Darling Dolly. Spook me, Darling Dolly. Here she goes. She is number one this year and blends right in with the spooky tree. I do see a Gordo, but he is not working right now. He has already lit up and opened up for us. Good to see you anyways, Mr. Gordo. Will Mr. Blackheart work? Maybe, yes, he does. I don't know if the uh, music is too loud or not, but he is awesome. Good to see you, Mr. Blackheart. All right, cool. The Howling Spirit. We always love the Howling Spirit. He is a great one and would look so cool in the nighttime with all of his lights. Good to see you, Mr. Howling Spirit. Will Mr. King Bat work? I don't think so. He does not have any kind of motion or anything to set him off and it looks like he is broken. That is too bad. Good to see you anyways, Mr. King Bat. I see the doors are already open for Mr. Spider. Oh my gosh, he just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> he is on motion right now. I love how they have all his arms sprawled out. He is great. I always love to say hello to Mr. Spider. Plenty of zombie babies to say hello to as well. We got Chompin' Connie with her brain snack. Slay time right there, Flippin' Freddy, Snackin' Stevie with his snacky hand, Revenous Ruby right there, Wretched Ralphie, and I think that's it for now. One Leatherface right here, let's see if he works. Yes. This place is jumping and busy, everybody is buying everything up. But it's good to see that we have one Leatherface for $33. I don't see any Glen dolls or Chuckies. Wow, all of them have sold out. But they do have the Pennywise statue right there and the Chucky statue that makes some awesome sounds and quotes. And of course, the Killer Clown statue. That one is almost always at every store we go to. They do have a couple of the snow globes here still. We've got Pennywise and the Mars Attacks Martian right there, but no Leatherface or Michael Myers. They do have a little Skelly Bones in the floor for sale though, and oh, they have two of him and some more little Jack Carver, fully stocked on little Jack Carver now and the Sitting Scarecrow, and we have a Crouchy. Plenty of inflatables, they always have a ton of them. Ghostface, the 12 foot Pennywise, the snakes, the reapers, the jack-o'-lanterns, the cats, the ghosts, 
the gargoyles, but no rats. They do have the scarecrow though. He is pretty popular and very available this year for $50 a piece. We'll do a quick scan to see if they have the bobblehead costume and I do not see it. That one is ultra rare. This place is just absolutely jumping right now. It probably will get even more busy as the season goes by though. They only have a few of the Five Nights at Freddy's costumes here. Montgomery Gator right there, Foxy and Freddy. They must be selling out pretty quickly now that it is getting closer and closer to Halloween. We'll go ahead and check all the blankets and see what cool ones they have. They have a bunch of cool ones right now. Michael Myers in front of the moon. Here's a reversible Caroline blanket right there. The Scooby-Doo one is a great one. I do love Scooby-Doo and I love the ghost up there in the corner. And these ghosts right here are another one of my favorites. What plush do we have today? Not many. Wow, they are selling out. None of the ones that we love to see, but they do have these ones. Sam, they always have Sam. Lydia and I can't remember. Oh, Barbara with the eyes in her mouth. They are fully stocked on bobbleheads though. I'm kind of surprised because everything else is sold out. Tons of the baby clown in the toilet right there. Georgie, Ghostface, one of my favorites. Both of the Sams, Corpse Bride, the Exorcist doing the spider crawl down the stairs. Michael Myers behind the bush, but no Leatherface. Plenty of book bags too. Hmm, it seems like a lot of things are sold out, but these are fully stocked. Chucky right there, Michael Myers, that is an awesome one. SpongeBob, I do love the SpongeBob one, and I never noticed that this zipper is a jellyfish. That is too cool. Nightmare on Elm Street with a giant slash in it. Ghost face, of course. Killer Clowns, I do love that one. Look at the popcorn all over the Killer Clown book bag. And of course, they have Sam right there. Sam is always a popular one. The doormats are right here in this center area. Very easy to see now. They usually have them in like a uh, shelf that is kind of hard to get a good look at them. I like the Chucky one. This one is awesome too. It looks like Pennywise looking through the grate. Killer Clowns, of course, is an awesome one. And on the other side of here, we have another Pennywise right there. Ouija board, Michael Myers. We may as well check out some of the socks because I never look at the socks. I don't know why. They have some great ones. Camp Crystal Lake right there. Some more Friday the 13th. A bunch of SpongeBob ones. I know my sister would love the SpongeBob ones. Here's a Scooby-Doo set. I do love anything Scooby-Doo. Fall Guys, they have some Fall Guys socks here. How cool. Those ones are $14. How many pairs does that come with? Hmm, I can't tell. Looks like two, four, six, eight, ten. So five pairs of socks right there. The bloody ones are great too. I always love the bloody socks. Plenty more over here too. We have, what does that say? Sweet Sunday? What? How weird. This is uh, Nightmare Before Christmas right there. We've got some Sonic ones, some more SpongeBob. That one has Gary. How cool. Michael Myers from Halloween 2 right there. Ghost face. Here's another ghost face one that has purple ones. I like the purple. Chucky. There's Pennywise right there. There's another Pennywise one right behind it. And here's a Barbie one that says, you do it, Ken. That is hilarious. And right here, Spirit Halloween socks. I've never seen these ones before. They're covered in gross hair. Oh my gosh. But this has uh, ghosts and candy corn and stuff. How cool. This is crazy because this whole aisle is usually absolutely full and stocked. That is crazy. They are empty. A couple of ham hocks, one foot, some hands. This is nuts. Everybody wants to be coming in here and buying everything up. Even the basket full of hearts and brains is empty and barren. How cool. Everybody is really excited for Halloween this year. And right behind that, all the hanging stuff is gone too. They have a handful of things left here, but this is crazy. Let's go ahead and see what kind of masks we have. Look at this green hair clown. I'm sure I've seen it before, but that one is awesome. He would look great under a black light. They I do have my favorite Jason mask, but he is missing his mask. That is too funny. He is $60. They'll probably mark that down because his mask is missing. I see the Martian warrior down there. I don't see any leather face. I am not surprised about that because everybody is coming in here and buying everything up. I do see an ice cream clown though. How cool. There is one of him left. And here's the purple hair clown. I love that. All the stuff that would look great under a black light, I love. $40 for him. And if you just kind of look around, you can find a bunch of the vintage masks here. That one's my favorite, the zombie. Frankenstein's monster, the witch is down there. That actually might be it. Man, they are just selling out of everything. Plenty of hats though. Nobody wants to buy any hats. That is crazy. I like the top hat. And they do have the clear machete. Looks like they have one of them. This one is cool and unique. And that one is $13. Plenty of the crawling hands too. It looks like they just have the bloody one and the green one. I do love these. These are some great, cool props that crawl around your house. Can this one work? 
Yes, there we go. My dad used to have some of these and they would just crawl around the house all the time. This one's my favorite for $30. I cannot believe how busy it is here, but it will probably get even more busy as the season goes by. They do have the inflatable banana one. I just saw this one the other day for the first time, $50 for him. They have another banana one that doesn't have his tongue sticking out. So that one, I don't know if he's rare, but here's this one right here that's not an inflatable and that one is $30. And they have the caveman costumes. Those are kind of hard to find for $40, but you would have to find a club and I haven't seen a club lately and of course they always have plenty of the costumes from movies the Incredibles they even have Frozone down there Coraline stuff Napoleon Dynamite and Pedro I do love those ones plenty of funny costumes from movies here and an Oompa Loompa and I see they have the Annabelle right there and I see a Granny Wolf costume down here not too hard to find we're seeing a lot more lately and that one is $50 how funny or if you have a friend that's dressing up with you you could be the full moon madness wolf right there for $60 and someone else can dress up as little red riding hood but look at this the mask actually has motion the mouth opens and closes how cool I am not surprised that there are no popcorn guns here everybody probably came in and bought them up but they of course do have the cotton candy guns and plenty of them and they have a crazy amount of the half masks look at how many half masks they have of spiky and they do have shorty right there plenty of him too and of course some of the costumes short Shorty and Spiky. There's a female Shorty right there. And the Shorty costume is $60. That's about how much each of these cost. Except the female version. That one is $50. Ooh, there's a whole stack of animatronics up here that I totally missed. Little Jack Carver, Straw Man, Blackheart. They have a Beetlejuice? What? I have not seen a Beetlejuice for sale in a long, long time. That is crazy. I don't know what year he is from. Maybe 2021 or two? I don't even see a price on him. That is crazy though. How cool that we get to see him. And they have little Jack Carver, another little Skelly Bones, plenty of animatronics up here. Desmodus, they have a couple of him. They have a few of the aged ghost face masks left here. Only about three of them. These are $17 a piece. They also have the glow in the dark one. That one is one of my favorites. I don't see any bleeding ghost face masks though. Maybe that one is so popular they're selling out. Here's the chrome one though. The Pennywise section is fully stocked right now. This is my favorite one from it $50 for the decaying Georgie costume right there and yes he does come with the balloon and then there's Pennywise that one does not come with the balloon this one is hmm I don't see a price on that hmm oh well oh uh, $60 I see on the other one and right down here another one the old-fashioned Pennywise costume for $60 there's a female version for 50 right there and there is no shortage of Friday the 13th costumes here here is Jason for $40 it doesn't say what it comes with though I don't know if it's just the work shirt yeah, I believe it's just the woven work shirt right there that says Jay Voorhees. Here's a female camp counselor right there for $50. A female Jason Voorhees dress for $40. They have the machetes, the masks, everything you would need. I would totally get this one. They do have some of the stencil books here. Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at the rat chilling up here. I love him. And Halloween 2 right there. I think that's all they have. Nope. There's one ghost face stencil book. I love these and I'm totally going to grab one. I hope they're not sold out by the time I go to buy them. And if you're going to get the stencil books, they also have these master collection premium durable tools for carving your pumpkins. These are $15. Not too bad. They come with plenty of tools for that. And they have a little LED tea lights. Everything you need. $5 for two of these. So they have everything you need to carve a pumpkin. After, of course, you buy your costume. I know Disney princesses are a popular costume. They have Rapunzel right here, Ariel, Belle. They have a Tinker Bell down there. They even have Ursula. And of course, they have the wigs to go along with them. But I think these maybe come with the wigs. No, this one just comes with the dress. Yeah, so I think you have to buy the wigs separate. They even have Elsa. Stitch is right there. Oh my gosh, you could be Olaf for Halloween. That is too funny. Here's one of the girls' hairdos right here. What? Who is it? Oh, is that Ursa or uh, Elsa? Yes, that's Elsa's hair. But they also always have a ton of costumes from the movies for kids. $30 for Stay Puffed right there, and your parents could be the Ghostbusters. That would be awesome. 
Here's an infant Sam costume. Wednesday, Beetlejuice Gizmo, all kinds of stuff here. There's Pugsley Adams. You could be Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. And here is an awesome SpongeBob costume right here. How cool, but he does not come with the spatula. You'll have to get that separate. And this one is $35. Okay, guys, that is it for Spirit Halloween in Beckley, West Virginia. It got so busy in there, I couldn't even find a good place to do my outro. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween in East Hanover, New Jersey. We're gonna go inside and see if we got any of the new sidesteppers. I have not found any yet. Let's go on in and check it out. Ooh, this place looks awesome. And we have the Martian warrior waiting to greet us. He is $400. And look at this. He's got the mist coming out of the front of his gun. I love whenever they got that all set up. I am definitely gonna watch Mars Attacks whenever I go and edit videos tonight. I love watching spooky movies whenever I'm editing videos. Okay, Martian Warrior with your mist, let's go around the corner. And we've got the Widow, one of my personal all-time favorites. <laughs> I love her so much and I love the lights. Look at how contorted her body is. That is so funny. We've also got Slim around the corner. He looks so awesome with the green lights. Go on, Slim. <laughs> Look at that hair. Honk, honk. We always gotta honk Slim's nose. He is so awesome. I wish they would have Slim and Shorty set up together. Opening his bag of popcorn. All right, Slim, we'll go around the corner here. We should have poor George. Yes, they do. Poor George, cut in half and still laughing. He is so awesome. Look at the guts. I love the guts on him. He is so cool. On the inside, we do have the scary sitting scarecrow. $110. He is an all-time classic. You have to love the sitting scarecrow. Dagger Mike is over here waiting on us. Go on, Dagger Mike. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. I love him. He jumps up so quick and fast. He is so awesome. <laughs> this place is super cool. Look at this. They've got stairs to go up into the second section that is awesome. But they have a ton of awesome things to look at here, guys, including a bunch of animatronics. The Mars Attacks Martian, Blackheart, Mr. Punchy. They have a Lord Raven here, guys. We have not seen Lord Raven in so long. The box is a little beat up, but he has $300. We also have the Deadly Creeper, three of them. We're seeing a lot of him this year, which is awesome. And look at this ginormous stack of animatronics here. They have the Howling Spirit, Straw Man, two little Jack Carvers. We have not seen him set up yet in the store, but he is super awesome. Young Crouchy, the sitting scarecrow. They have a darling Dolly, and I want her so bad. I might have to get her at the end of the year with some spooky trees. Gordo, guys, they have a Gordo. He's kind of hard to find in the box for sale. $150, Leatherface, Emmeline, the Widow. We have Hellspawn. Wow, he is very hard to find this year. Leatherface, my favorite. And Man's Possessed Friend. And here's another Howling Spirit with the lunging ghost face on top of him. Up the stairs here. Here. They do have the entire setup here, but the doors are already open for Mr. Spider. There he goes. Oh my gosh. He detected me from all the way back here. That is so awesome. All right, we've got little skelly bones right here. I can't wait to see if Desmodus works. <laughs> oh my gosh. He actually spooked me. That was really quick. Wow. He was set up awesome. All right, we've got Desmodus. Please work, Desmodus. Yes. Oh my gosh. 
even the sound of him popping up is super loud and hard. That is so cool. He does reset pretty slowly, but he has a great jump scare. And we have the Grave Watcher whispering at us with her purple eyes. Okay, Grave Watcher, thank you very much for whispering at us. We have a ton of cool things to look at here, guys. Let's go right over here. They have the statues, the Michael Myers statues. I love those so much. And look at this, Michael Myers plush. I'm not seeing him everywhere, and I want him so bad. I just bought the Ghost Face plush. Maybe I should get Michael Myers, too. We'll carry him around with us, just in case we decide to get him. Around the corner from those, we do have plenty of goodies here. Check this out. This looks so awesome. I love when they have all the things we like lined up here on the shelves. We have the killer clowns from outer space, baby killer clowns in the toilet. He is awesome. I love it. Look at this. They have a shorty snow globe. I don't see that one all the time. Look at that. So awesome. They also have a couple of the leather face snow globes right here with the red stuff floating around and he does light up yellow. Very cool. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre bobblehead and Hannibal Lecter. One of my favorite signs right here. Slow alien invasion ahead. It is melted from the laser gun. They have the Pennywise snow globes right here. He has the shiny red things floating around. And look at this. We have the little mini plush It dolls here. That is so cool. And speaking Speaking of plush, oh my gosh, I've not seen this before yet. Look at this, Jason plush. That is so cool. I don't think I've seen him yet before, and I don't see a price. Oh, $17 for him. That's crazy for a small Jason, but he is super cool, and I am so tempted to get him. They also have Freddy down here. He looks awesome. And look at this. I don't think I've ever seen this before either. Annabelle. That is so cool. I can't believe I have never seen this before. I did not know they had an Annabelle plush. $30 for her. I've never seen that movie, but I'm going to have to watch it now. Behind all that stuff, they do have a lot of the ghost things that I love, including this. Look, no feet. This is a doormat. That would be awesome to have. I see sidesteppers, and no, they don't have any of the new ones. It's too bad, but they do have Spiky, and he is so cool. I love Killer Clown stuff. They also have the regular Frankenstein. We see him all the time, and we have a couple of Sams. Let's see if he works. He does. He almost always works. He is a great sidestepper and must be really good quality to work almost every time that we see him. Right behind that, we do have something I've never seen before. Look at this. The Big Top Burger. Killer Clowns from Outer Space Burger Pillow. That is so cool. I have never seen this before. I love finding things we've never seen before in this store so far has a few items like that but this is super cool i'd love to have that i would sleep on that how awesome they are absolutely stocked on all these door covers here guys this is crazy michael myers leatherface chucky that's one of my favorites because he is so cool breaking through the window they have the gremlins they have the mars attacks martian here's another killer clowns hanging wall decor right there that's a pretty cool one with all the characters on it here's the sam wall decor that one looks awesome um, and Ghostface would have to be another one of my absolute favorites. Look at that. He's ripping through the sheet on the wall. That is so cool. And they also have the flags, like this one right here, the Ghostface melting mask sign. That is so cool. You hang that up in front of your house. They have some awesome blankets here too, guys. They have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Look, I would need to get that so that when I'm playing my video game, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I can wear this blanket and keep me nice and cozy in the cool fall weather. They also have the Nightcrawler. I wanted him so bad last year, and I still want him. They also have Crouchy, and look at this awesome Chucky blanket. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? That is so cool. They also have the Ghostface reversible throw right there. That one is sweet, and they have the Call Me one. That one is too funny. Check it out. They do have Fall Guys costumes here, guys. All the ones we've seen before, and the orange one with the crown. I don't think we've found him yet. He is $50. Let's see what kind of inflatables they have. I already see the brand new 12 foot jumbo. He is so awesome. I love killer clowns. They also have the brand new 12 foot Pennywise right there. He is super cool. They have the lunging ghost face. That one is my favorite out of all of these. And the 20 foot snake. I believe he is 20 feet. Let's check that. Yes, 20 feet. I would love to see him blown up. They also have the hearses. Those are popular. And a lot of the reapers, jack-o'-lanterns, wolves, haunted trees, and ghosts. 
cats and rats. We have some zombie babies right here. The brain eater. I love the brain eater. We also have the spider eater and the rat eater. I think he's my favorite. And around the corner from them, they also have the cockroach eater with her red eyes. And they have a devil cherub down there. But they only have one horror baby that is Sam and he is $50. I want the leather face and the ghost face horror baby. Let's take a look at some of the severed body parts and heads look at that the hook face we see him last year and we see him a lot this year also the pig we see a lot of him as well i have this hanging zombie he is super awesome i love that but look at this the hanging hands that is so cool let's see how much these are these are 15 dollars Here's some hanging foots. If you're going to do a leather face, there's a ham hock. My dad has created a cult following for ham hocks. If you want to do a leather face scene for Halloween, these are perfect. You'd have to get a bunch of these severed body parts and have them hanging throughout your house and on the tables and stuff. Here's some severed legs. These are super cool. This one looks a little more rotten than that one. Very cool. And here's a severed latex arm with the rotten finger. They also have a hand right here with another rotten finger. I love these things. Here's another one that's a little more fresh. And going back over here, if you were going to do that leather face scene, you would have to get this awesome leather face door cover. Look at that. You'd have to put that in one of the doors in your house to look like leather face is standing there about to attack you. But they do not have any of the chainsaws here. It is kind of hard to find chainsaws this year. Though if you did want to be the hitchhiker or another one of the family members from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You could get this knife right here. A couple of the family members have this knife in the movie and the game. $10 for that. And here is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask. That is a super awesome mask. I really want to do a Texas Chainsaw Massacre scene this year for Halloween. Spider-Man is popular this year. They do have a few Spider-Man costumes here, including the Miles Morales costume. Look at these awesome Ninja Turtle masks. These are so cool. I love how they make Made it look like the animation style here with this weird texture on there that is so cool i love the ninja turtles they also have the ninja turtle shells right there those are awesome and they have donnie's bow staff and leo's katana you could totally be the ninja turtles for halloween your whole crew they do have the bling ghost face knife that is super funny and look at this down here this says bling ghost face but i wonder if it comes with the knife i don't see the knife no but it does come with with the bling mask that is super awesome. It also comes with the hooded dress. Freddy and Friends wanted to see the chrome ghost face mask. I have seen so many of these this year. I think they really wanted to stock up on them this year. That is super awesome and he is $15. I would love to see somebody wearing that this year. And personally, if I wore that, I would get this bloody ghost face knife. That one is probably my favorite ghost face knife. Check it out. They do have the terrifier mask. I don't see this one all the time and that is a great mask. Look at that. They did an awesome job with him. I love it. And that is $70 and I just dropped it on the floor. <laughs> but that is super cool. I haven't watched the movies yet because they are so freaky. I'm waiting for a good halloween -y night to watch it. Anthony Forte wanted to see a ghost swing. Guys, they have plenty of these this year. Self-powered swinging, LED lights, and ghostly audio. That is so awesome. Hangs to a height of 5 foot 3 inches. I would love to see this set up. And you can probably put like an animatronic or something on there unless you want to just let it hang there like a ghost is swinging let's figure out the price on that it's kind of got some things uh piled up on top of it so we're gonna move these over a little bit and see if we can't see the price on this it is 75 dollars that is kind of crazy they also have some dropping mechanisms i would love to have that and put a spider on it so it would drop whenever somebody walks in front of it they also have this swinging mechanism right here if you don't want to use the actual swing and it holds props up to four and a half pounds that is very cool and it is 35 dollars a little bit cheaper than that and of course right next to them we do have the creepy crimson girl on a swing the swinging witch and the empty soul girl on a swing i think i like the witch the most because she is a classic halloween character oh check this out i don't know if i've seen this one before it's the ghost face handmade by robots knit series that is so cool he is 17 dollars that is so awesome I love Ghostface. He is my favorite, but I also love Leatherface, and this is the small version of the Knit series. Leatherface, Pretty Woman, Handmade by Robots. That is very cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have never seen this before. This is the first 
time I'm ever seeing this. Spirit Halloween Monopoly. I may have to buy this. Holy crap, that is so cool. Tricks and treats. Look at all the collectible tokens. Oh my gosh, there's a zombie cat. My dad would love this. That is so awesome. $40. We're buying it, guys. I hope that this is as rare as I think it is because I've never seen it in my life. If I see a ton of these this year after buying this, I'm going to be a little upset, but it is very cool to have anyways. I'm totally going to play this with my dad. And look at this, guys. I have not seen this yet. I saw him on a piece of paper, so I knew they were going to get him, but I haven't seen him in person yet. Look at the gourd in his hand. This is so awesome. The Night Harvest plush for $30. He is so cool. I love it and I want him so bad, but I think we're going to wait on him yet. They also have the Cerberus plush. I love him. He is so cool and I've only seen him a couple times lately. Nicole Busonic wanted to see some figural bag clips and look at all the awesome ones they have here, guys. They have all of the Spirit Halloween animatronic and characters. That is so awesome. We got two boxes here. This one looks to be full, which means if you buy every single one, you you will get every single figure. They also have the zombie babies. I got a bunch of these the other day and they're so awesome. I've never seen the Leo and Stitch ones and I love it. That is very cool. Look at all the ones you can get. They also have the Killer Clowns one, an entire box of that. Beetlejuice right there. Lots of cool characters for him. Nightmare Before Christmas. We've got Hocus Pocus. There's Billy Butcherson. Look, they've got the, uh, the bullies in the cages. That is so funny. They also have some horror ones here. All of our favorite horror characters. And here are some more horror characters. Look at that. You can get Michael Myers, the shark from Jaws. They also have this guy right there from They Live. I believe that's what it's called. And you can get Chucky. That is so cool. So they have a ton of these figural bag clips and they are all awesome. I want some of the Killer Clowns ones and I also want a bunch of these. And look at these little keychains. They have axes and knives. They make sounds. Let's see. That one's not going to make it. Oh, we got to pull tab. Oh, weird. He's screaming. That is funny. You press the button and the axe screams. Let's see what the knife does. That is so funny. Screaming knives and axes. Thank you so much. Have a good day. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in East Hanover. We have our Spirit Halloween Monopoly here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Awesome. All right, let's go through here. No way! I did not know this existed. The Martian Warrior. That is crazy, guys. I did not know that he was even going to be here. Look at his gun. That is sweet. All right, let's go on to the next one. We'll get a closer look at some other stuff later. Hi, guys. Hi! <laughs> All right. Look at him. Oh, my gosh. we got to activate him. Ready? Here he goes. <laughs> ah! Woo! Yeah, he's bigger than you think he is. All right. Got the flames going here. I love it. Super spooky. Thank you guys for the $19 donation. That is amazing. Look at this. We got the... Oh, my gosh. They have the widow here. Guys, if they have two scoops here, is she going to... Oh, she's laughing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
That is so awesome, guys. All right, 774 people watching, guys. Give the video a like. We got there's Rhino. Hi, guys. Hi, how's it going? Good to see you. Have fun, guys. All right. Sitting Scarecrow making a comeback. Look at his glowing red eyes and the fire behind him. That is so sweet. Let's get him activated again. Here he goes. Is he going to go? He's going to spook me if I'm not. All right, there he goes. Gotta love the sitting scarecrow. He's a classic. Let's move on to the next one here. Slim. I love Slim. Guys, I am looking for a uh, two scoops. If I see two scoops, I am buying him, but I highly doubt we'll see him. But you never know. There's Slim. I love him. He opens up his popcorn bag here. So awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Great destruction for the $5 donation. That is amazing. You guys are awesome. 844 people watching right now. Thank you so much. There's so much to see. We're going to go around this way and follow this crowd. Lots and lots and lots of animatronics. Slim, we got a couple of snakes there. Uh, Barry, Grim. Okay, there's Beetlejuice. We got the, fall, the fogging skull piles. Some giant spiders. Excuse me, I'm going to squeeze right behind you. Thank you so much. All right, we got plenty of flush here. Michael Myers. Uh, I'm going to grab him right now, I think. We might buy him, guys. How much is he? Probably like 20 bucks. I don't even know. We're getting him, though. We've seen a bunch of these last year. Those are awesome. Dog costumes. Look at this Friday the 13th book bag. That is cool. We'll have to go around and see if we can find any more animatronics that we want. There's uh, the Hauntress. They have a lot of Hauntresses. They have a ton of Hauntresses, guys. There's at least 10 of them. We got a bunch of man's possessed friend, ton of them, ton of the sitting scarecrow. He's a classic. All right, you got stilts? All right, sweet, cool. Lots of stuff going on here, guys. We're just kind of walking around and getting photos. Oh, she's getting uh, Beetlejuice. That's awesome, cool. 898 people watching, thank you guys. Check out these little containers here. We got Pennywise, Frankenstein, all the cool lunch boxes. I love this one with the killer clowns. That is my favorite. We got plenty of battery guys to sit here and look through everything. Some cool stuff right here. We got, oh, sorry guy. We got, uh, oh my gosh, what are these? Oh my gosh, look, we got the Corpse Bride. Uh, what is he? The dog, Scraps. What is this? From Trick or Treat, Spirit Halloween exclusive resin. That is so awesome. He's wearing the rice bag. That is so crazy. Look at this. I want this so bad. I might have to buy him. The Killer Clowns popcorn creature coming out of the toilet. Bubble? Oh, bobblehead statue. He's a bobblehead. Oh my gosh. I might have to get him. We're going to carry him around for a minute because I really want him. Hi. What's up? All right, cool. They got little skelly bones, cool. All right, thank you guys so much. What's up? First one? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, this is my first time being here. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, I know, there's so much stuff happening, it's crazy. Thank you so much, have fun guys. We got the ghost face, leather face, I love that. Look, he's hiding behind the sheet. I've never seen that one before, guys. The Michael Myers hiding behind the sheet. That is so crazy. Look, we got Cousin It. That is so awesome. Let's go back here. There's plenty more to look at, guys. Animatronics. Oh, my gosh, guys. Look at this. The Hell Spawn. We're all waiting for him to pop up and scare us. Going to... Ah! All right. Get ready. Here it comes. Do it, Rhino! Ah! That is awesome! That is so cool. 870 people watching, guys. Hellspawn. He is just like Mr. Dark. Super cool. And check out the ghost. Oh my goodness. What is his name? Howling Spirit. I love it. He's got like a blue face. Oh no, it's a white face. Wow. 
Look at him. That is amazing. Thank you so much for the 1999 donation. That is amazing. Thank you so much. I love it. The howling ghost. He's got the green lights underneath. That is so cool. This rocks, guys. There's so many people in here. Oh, no. The babies. Oh, my gosh. They got a leather face baby. I want him so bad, but I really shouldn't grab anything else. <laughs> There's so much stuff to look at here, guys. We got more animatronics over this way. We've got to see this. Come on. Excuse me, guys. Just trying to squeeze through. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Eternal rest. She is creepy. That is so creepy. I love the long fingers. Wow. We got some more in there. We'll try to get around and sneak inside. Gordo. Gordo's a lot bigger than I thought he was. Plenty of animatronics over here. Gordo, oh my gosh. Look at him to the size of Brett Moyna's hand. All right, Gordo. You want to do the honors? Step on it. All right, here he goes. Ah, look at the guts. I love it so much. He's got to be my favorite here. Look at this. We got the black heart. No way. All right. <laughs> so cool, guys. Look at the bat over there. Oh, my gosh. That was cool. That spooked me from all the way over here, guys. That was loud. Here he goes. Woohoo! All right, look at the creepy body. All right. You guys are amazing. $240 in donation. Thank you so much. If we see two scoops, we're buying them, but I kind of doubt we're going to see it there. I see some more stuff behind me that I want so bad. There's little skelly bones. Oh my gosh. This guy is creepy. I'm going to wait until he goes down. There he goes. Brett Voina is going to set it off for us. Ah, that is amazing. I love it. That is so scary. He's so fast, man. That is awesome. Yeah, we got little skelly bones making a comeback. What's going on over here? A door. You knock on the door and it opens up. A jumping spider. Oh, wow. That is so cool. All right, guys, we're going to quickly zoom over this way. Try to get around everybody. Somebody picked up a possessed pumpkin. We got carriages, all kinds of zombie babies. We got all kinds of the uh, tombstone terror. I love him. He is super fast at jumping up and super scary. We got plenty of Mr. Punchy. I'm going to squeeze around here, guys. So many people. Lots of darling dollies there and possessed pumpkin. All kinds of stuff. Look at that. I would love to buy some stuff, but I just don't know if I can. I'm buying a couple things already. I see in my hands. We got Leatherface. Some of the stuffed things. Jack Carver. Yes. All right. What is... What's going on back there? Are they fighting over animatronics? Guys, we got to ask them for a two scoops. Can I get through here, please? Thank you so much. Excuse me, I'm going to come right behind you. Thank you. All the awesome masks. Look at this, guys. They are going nuts. Wow. Everybody's fighting over animatronics. We're going to get out of here and go look at some more stuff. Excuse me. Everybody wants to come and get some animatronics and see some cool stuff. We got 865 people watching. All right, say hello. Cool. 602 likes, guys. Can we get that to 1,000? That would be amazing. All kinds of animatronics here. Let me sneak around this way. All right. We got a couple sneaking back here. Eternal Rest. Eternal Rest turns the head around to some evil glowing eyes. That's awesome. They're kind of hiding some things out here. We're going to just go around the corner a couple times and see if there's anything that people have missed back here. It doesn't look like it. Mr. Dark. They got Mr. Dark. 
Wow, that's a ton of stuff they're grabbing. They got the popcorn gun. Wow, how awesome. Is this all your stuff? Yeah. All right. How awesome. Can I look through it real quick? All right. They got the popcorn gun. They got two of them. I love it so much. I want it so bad. They're getting Leatherface. They're getting Beetlejuice. We got a couple of the killer clowns here. So awesome. I can't wait for the game to come out. Look at this. They got Bibbo with Shorty and Pizza Box. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. They got a flamingo. You got to get the flamingo hat. Spook 365. All right. All right. Cool. Here's, oh my gosh, look at that. He's got the uh, mask from the Mars Attacks. That is so awesome. Bag of bones. Tons of stuff here, guys. They are going crazy. Lots of stuff going on. We still got some battery here. We're doing good. Trying to make sure I don't miss anything that is super awesome. So I think we're going to swing right back over here and see what else is over here. The ginormous knife with ghost face on it. Mars attacks. Ooh, that's like a placard. That is cool. It shows like the, the blueprints for the laser gun. That is sweet. Interesting. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. That is so funny. Michael Myers. That's like the, uh, the farmer picture, the classic farmer picture. So awesome, guys. Crazy stuff here this year. Wow, Chucky's, Annabelle over here. We like this guy right here. Let's press the button on and get it lit up. All right, first time pressing his button this year. That is so awesome. We got plenty more of the killer clowns from outer space figures. We've got a leather face statue. Oh my gosh, guys. This, you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but he's playing the chainsaw sounds. I want him so bad, guys. That is so cool. And we got the popcorn uh, creature. That is so awesome. He was from last year. And then we've also got Pennywise. Let's see what he does. Woo, look at that. That is awesome. All right, we'll move on. Look at this, I love these. I want a couple of these for my desk. This is so sweet. Oh, look at that. I love the sad face on the jack-o'-lantern. That is so cool. How awesome, guys. Child's Play 2, we got something down there, the Jack in the Box statue. Look at this, it's a wreath. We've got wreaths. We got, uh, what is his name? Ghostface. We got Shorty for the Killer Clowns, and it's got little pieces of popcorn around it. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There's a button on it. Let's see what it does. All right, cool. And he's got family pictures. That is so creepy and cool. All right, we got one for uh, Trick or Treat that also lights up, so I'm guessing all of these light up. They do. That is so sweet, guys. I love all this. Check it out. We've got smaller versions here. Woo, we got some snow globes. Oh my gosh, I might have to get these. Oh man. What is he? He lights up, guys. Check it out. That is so cool. I might have to get him. Let's shake him up a little bit. Look at that. Plushies and keychains. Yeah, we'll go look at the plushies and keychains in a second here. Might have to get this guy. Oh my gosh. And then the Michael Myers so awesome oh my gosh guys really cool things i love this stuff i'm gonna wait on that i've got this uh this guy right here that i want so bad that i might grab but maybe we'll wait maybe we will wait on him we'll see we'll hold him for a moment so far i'm just showing you guys what i picked up look at him michael myers plush i love it all right and look at this Woo! Check that out, guys. This is so cool. All these light up, uh, they're like plastic things. They're almost like uh, tiny blow molds. Super cool. All right, these, look, these are some more, uh, oh, these are projectors right there. Okay. All right, let's go see what else we can find around the corner. Ten percent battery, guys. We did good. We're in the store. We got to see most of the stuff. We're gonna take a look at some other things. Ooh, wow! He's grabbing the. Uh, he got a hellspun. 
and he got a leather face. Awesome. What's that one on top he got there? The Grave Watcher. Awesome. Lots of cool stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Hold on. Crossbody treat bag. Look. That is, oh my gosh, that is so cool. How crazy from Monsters, Inc. And whenever you turn this, it looks like this fills up as you turn it. But that's the, the scream thing, the scream catcher or whatever. Wow. Scream capacity, 8400 SUV. Oh my gosh. I would love to get that, but I don't need a bag. That is so awesome. But I'd love to have it just for fun. Wow. Okay, what else we got here? Let's try to find some more cool stuff, see if there's anything we haven't seen before yet. Tons of cool costumes. We'll go through those another time. There's a big Scooby-Doo head. Check that out. Awesome Scooby-Doo shirt as well. I love that with the monsters behind them. So much going on around here, guys. I see some creepy masks. Look at these zombie masks. Undead zombie. And this one's got a, like a, it's almost like a beard or guts or something coming out of his face. How cool. All the costumes and stuff. We'll go through all the costumes another time when all the stores open up. There's a cotton candy gun. I've wanted a cotton candy gun for so long. I might have to get it. That one's not working though. He must not be having batteries in him or must be dead, but I do want that so bad. Maybe another time, I see them all the time and they also have the acid pies again. That is really cool. All right, guys, they have so much cool stuff this year. Lots of new things. There's the Jason mask. It's another one that I would love to have. That's the best one right there. Let's lift him up and see his face real quick. Let's see if I can put some of these things down and take a look at that. All right. Oh, look at that. I love it. I love this mask. I'd love to have it. There's so many things I want to buy, but I just might have to wait. I might just have to wait and see because there might be some other awesome things that I can get. They've got the killer clown stuff here. Here's a, this is a cross bag, uh, body bag, the tent with the clowns inside. Leather face masks, where is it? Where's the leather face mask? Let's see, hold on. All right, hold on. Nothing over here, I don't think. I'm not seeing them. Whoa, what is that? That is cool, man. Check that out. Whoa. All right, sweet. Thanks, guys. All right. What do you got, the butcher? Somebody was asking me about the butcher. Super cool, all right. Thanks, guys, I appreciate it. They got some cool stuff. I'm his son, yep. All right. Yeah, we got uh, 667 people watching. You wanna say hi? Wave to the camera? All right. All right, thanks, guys. We're looking for leather face stuff. We gotta look for leather face stuff. If we can find a leather face uh, mask, that would be amazing. Michael Myers stuff here. We see him plenty. Let's see. We're looking for leather face stuff. Oh my gosh, Doodle Bob! They got a Doodle Bob costume. That is so great. They got some inflatable costumes there. I've got to find leather face. I did not find a two scoops today. It's unfortunate, but that's okay. We'll keep our eyes out the rest of the year. I want the Monsters Inc. hard hat so bad too. I love that, so awesome. All right, we're looking for Leatherface. If I don't find a Leatherface, I'm not gonna be upset, but I definitely would love to see it. We'll go kind of quick, check it out. They got the Proton Pack. Very cool. All right, we need that Leatherface stuff, so we're gonna swing around and go to the masks. It doesn't look like they got a specific area for him unless I missed it. Creepy Rising doll? I'm not sure. That's a good question. They're buying Leatherface right there. Very cool. Excuse me. Okay, we'll cut around this way. I might have to ask those people if they have the two scripts hidden in the back. Inflatables over there. We'll look at those in a second. Oh my gosh, she's got the rabbits right there. Creepy rabbits. Let's see if we can somehow get around here. Are you guys in line to, to ask them stuff? 
Okay. How's it going? All right. There he is. I'm his. I'm a Nate guy's son. All right. I'm trying to get through there to ask him a question if I could. They got the walking bloody hands right there. Yeah, awesome. Hello, how's it going? Can I come over here? Is that okay? All right, thank you. They're they're sold out of animatronics. New. Oh, the new ones. Okay. Oh, bog zombie. All right. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna ask them if they have something for me. You want to say hi? We got 643 people watching. All right. Cool. Look at this. They got more zombie babies. What's that? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yep. Um, well, we got here yesterday. Yeah, so we've been waiting for a good, a good while. I don't know. He should be here somewhere. I was looking for a leather face mask. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I'll have to keep my eye out. Somebody was asking about it. Okay, I'll have to ask him. I'm looking for an old one. I do not see it. Got eternal rest. Hey, do you know if they have two scoops back there? Rare? All right. Thank you anyways. I appreciate it. I don't, no, that's me. I want the two scoops. <laughs> Ooh, leather face. I see it. Oh, my gosh. There's a leather face. You mind if I look at these masks right behind you here? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Here's a pretty woman looking one. He's, look, he's got lipstick. <laughs> that is so funny. From Trick or Treat Studios. That is awesome. And here's the other one. Wow. Look at that. There's another one down here. Super cool. And here's the Martian Warrior. That is an awesome mask too. From Mars Attacks. I wonder if they got any more new masks over there. All right. I'm not seeing anything that I have to grab right now. Stacks of pumpkins. How awesome. We'll press buttons later. But look at these guys. These are cool. I've never seen these before. Probably new for 2023. Look at them. There's purple and green. There might be other colors too. But check that out. They light up? No, they're just blow molds. That is sweet. Awesome. Colorful jack-o'-lanterns. Let's go through here. We've got some other things here. Hanging pumpkin, phantom, all kinds of stuff, guys. Some skeletons here, posable things. All kinds of skeleton things here. Brick Thunder looking at stuff there. Let's go around the corner here. See if we can get through here. There might be things that I missed over here. Let's see. So much craziness. All right, we'll go over here. Excuse me. Lots of cool costumes here. Free hugs and it's a cactus. We'll go through all the actual costumes later on. I just wanted to give you guys a good look at what they got so far. Look at all these Fall Guys costumes. I love the Fall Guys. The chicken, they got the hot dog up there. So cool. There's the Skelly inflatable spooky doodles. That is so cool. Ooh, Huggy Wuggy. They got Huggy Wuggy stuff, guys. Look, here's a Huggy Wuggy jacket with the, with the uh, head covering hat. Here's the entire uh, full body child extra large costume there. Awesome. They got some bags, Huggy Wuggy bags. And this is Kissy Missy, I think her name is. And look at these ones with the eyes. Those are masks, I think. Yeah, those are masks. You look through the mouth. Super awesome. Do they light up? Yeah. That one's not lighting up. And that one's not lighting up. Maybe we'll get to see one another time lighting up. But for now, look, there's some. There's a, a sweater, Freddy sweater. Some more uh, Huggy Wuggy stuff here. You guys rock. Thank you all so much. We got $240 in donations. You guys are amazing. Look, we got Five Night at Freddy's. We got Freddy. We got Foxy. Look at Foxy. Wow. Freddy and Foxy there. Let's see what else we got here. 
Oh, Montgomery Gator. Oh my gosh, Five Nights at Freddy Montgomery Gator. We got Five Nights at Freddy's Glam Rock Freddy. Wow, that is so cool. And I think those are the only ones right there. Uh, let's see. Oh, there were some more that I missed them. I don't want to go over there and bother them while they're looking at the stuff. Some more Ghostbusters stuff. All kinds of awesome costumes. Making sure I'm not missing anything. Everybody's buying up the animatronics right now. We'll get a look at the line in a second here and see how long it is. All the kids stuff. They got Bluey stuff over there. I love the bags, the treat bags. There's the line. Gordo! All right! Awesome! Oh, man, that is awesome, guys. You got stilts, too? No way. You are awesome, guys. Oh, I loved it, man. I loved it. Thank you so much. Awesome. All right, I'll see you guys later. Congra congratulations. Are you doing an unboxing video? I'll definitely check it out. I'll share it, too. All right. I'll see you guys later. Cool. Those guys gave me a swag bag earlier today. Look, they're getting Darling Dolly. That is so awesome. Look at all the stuff going on. We are inside the store right now, just checking out everything that's going on. They got a sale on the Sitting Scarecrow and Man Possessed Friend for $130. Six hundred twenty-five likes. Thank you guys so much. You guys, got five percent battery. We're probably gonna have to go pretty soon, but we're gonna go over and take a look at the uh, animatronics that are for animatronics that are for display right now. We'll get another look at those before the phone dies. We got a bunch of the Hauntress. All right, the Widow. So much stuff going on, guys. The Martian right there. There's so much crazy stuff going on here. Oh my gosh. The coldness. That is amazing. Hi, guys. What are you getting? The coldness. Gordo. That is so awesome. All right, I see a couple tucked back here that they're getting. That is so awesome. Everybody's getting their awesome animatronics. Another 1999 donation. Thank you so much. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Doom. You are awesome. I will use that money to get an animatronic at some point this year. We're going to wait a little bit. I don't want to wait in line. My phone's going to die. I love Leatherface. The phone's going to die any minute, guys. We're just enjoying the animatronics again one more time before we head out. You guys are amazing. 631 likes. You guys are all so awesome. We'll go walk through here one more time. Look at the chainsaw. Oh, you got house Very cool. I love him. Let's get him going. All right. Let's head in through here. We got stilts right there, but there's some people, so I won't get in his way there. I love the Martian warrior. So awesome. He is great. Very cool, guys. All right. I think they're going to pretty much die here any second. Let's see if we can go see Slim before the phone dies. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. I'm so sorry. Look at these. Handmade by robots. Silence of the Lambs and Ghostface. What? That is awesome. Knit series. That is crazy, and nobody's seeing these. This one got me a ton of views last year. Oh, no, it's not working. Let's find one. Oh, we got to pull the tab. The first one, I'm the first one to pull the tab on this. All right, I love it. And we got some cats here, too. I love the cats. We got to pull a tab on him, too. Yep, we do. See if we can do it. Here we go. I love it. All right. I love that little laser. I really, uh, 
I really should get it at some point. And look, we got the Knit Series Minis here. And they're actually actively setting some stuff up right now, too. Oh my gosh, so many awesome things here. The Mini Snow Globes. Look at the Knit Series. Look, Leatherface Knit Series. He's so tiny. Pretty Woman Leatherface Knit Series. Oh look, they got a shorty. He's the last shorty Knit Series. Oh my gosh. I want him so bad, but I don't want to get in that line. Eight bucks. I'll keep an eye out for him whenever we are out touring. We're going to go on a two-week tour, guys. Win $15,000. What is that about? Hold on a minute. $15,000. Enter to register at spearhalloween.com forward slash sweeps. Wow. Killer clowns from outer space, guys. They're coming out with a video game very soon. Here's some pop figures. We got uh, Jumbo. Uh, seems like that's it. Jumbo, and we got Billy Butcherson. How's it going, man? Pretty good. All right, what are you looking for? Oh, oh man. You were looking for the pizza box one, huh? Yeah. You'll have to keep an eye out for him throughout the year. The Terrifier mask. That, is, that thing is crazy. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. That is so cool. Lots of people are getting cool things. I think we might be able to go see Slim real quick. Let's take a look at Slim. How's it going? All right. 551 people watching. There's Slim. Somebody want to do the honors? I'll do the honors. Is he already done? Or, oh, there he goes. So awesome, guys. I don't think my dad has been in the store yet, guys. I did not see him. I have not seen him yet. Look at his bag, he's got popcorn. Yeah, I'm not sure if my dad's been in here yet or not. Oh look, we didn't see him yet. We'll do him before the phone dies. Poor George, there he goes, he's spinning. That is so crazy. That is so awesome. Yeah, super freaky, look at his face there, super awesome, all right guys, we pretty much got to see everything we wanted to see, I love these trees, if they don't sell the trees, I'm going to try to get one at the end of the year, so if, you, if anybody hears that, if you get a hold of one of these trees, contact me, because I want one, I'm going to get right past you here. Sorry, thank you. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to get through here. Thank you. Everybody's got what they wanted. All right, guys. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Back out into the super hot air. What's up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween in Riverdale, New Jersey. We're gonna go inside and see if they have any leather face masks with a chainsaw, because I want to buy them both. All right, let's go inside and see if they got them. Okay guys, wow, the AC in here is blowing hard. It feels so good. Look at this, we are greeted by Stilts again. I haven't seen him in a few stores. Let's get him going again, because he just finished up. Look at his perfect purple face. I love the bright white and purple. I think this is the first stilts I've seen that doesn't have a deformed nose. He is so awesome and tall, juggling his bowling pins. $350 for him. Here is Leatherface. I love this Leatherface. This one and Halloween City are a tie for me. The only thing that I wish they would do is put a fog machine in his chainsaw so that when it's turning, fog is spitting out of it. That would be super awesome. And if I buy one of these leather faces, I will hook one up so it looks like there's fog coming out of it. 
Thank you, Leatherface. I love you so much. He is so awesome. All right, we've got the Mars Warrior right here. Let's see if he's got some fog. Mist, actually. That's what it's called. Everybody keeps telling me it's a mist, not fog. I love him. He is so cool. What a great animatronic for 2023. Around the corner, they should have a poor George. Yes, they do. Look, he's stuck upside down. Look at those guts. That is crazy. Is he going to work? <laughs> no. That is too funny. He's stuck upside down. That is too funny. All right, we'll move around and see Slim here. There he goes. He just finished going off. Let's get him going again. I love Slim. Honk, honk. Slim is so awesome and tall. Love his crazy hair and his bag of popcorn here. So awesome. All right, we'll go inside here. We do have Dagger Mike and the Sitting Scarecrow. We have to set them off. Please go, Mr. Scarecrow. Please work. He's not going to work. That's too bad. Oh, well, Mr. Scarecrow. Maybe I'm not hitting it hard enough. Oh, well, that's too bad, but he is a classic. We'll get Dagger Mike going here. <laughs> Gotta love Dagger Mike so loud and fast. He is a great jump scare. I'd love to dress him up as something else. Somebody told me they could make Chucky out of him. That might be cool. All right, around the corner, I wonder if we do have the widow right here. Let's go, Miss Widow. Break your neck. I love it so much. She has got to be one of my favorites. In some stores, she is totally distorted, but this one, she just looks super skinny. She needs to eat something. Look at this, guys. This is beautiful. All of these awesome animatronics fully stocked, and look, it's the Cauldroness. We have not seen the Cauldroness for sale at all yet this year. Let's see how much she is. $280. I'd love to see her operating head mouth and hands move as she casts her spell that is so awesome i would love to see her operating man how awesome four stilts two hellspawn we have the martian warrior and leatherface boy i love that packaging look at how bright and yellow it is over here we do have a darling dolly and three emmeline's little skelly bones the widow the riz reaper they have some eternal rest here i sure hope she would work if you took her home because she often breaks the sandworms. They have the howling spirit, straw man. Look at how many animatronics they have. Whoa, look at this. They've got three Jack Carvers, a Nozzles the Clown, Gordo right here. Gordo is kind of hard to find this year. He is super popular, but they've got him. So come and get him, guys. And look what we have set up right here. How awesome. We have not gotten to see him yet. I am so excited. All right, let's go. Please work. Yes. Whoa. Oh my goodness. That is so awesome. He is so tall. I love it. We'll set him off again in a minute. Look at how tall he is. That is crazy. He towers over everyone else. All right, before we set him off again, we're going to go over here to the Howling Spirit. I think he's on motion activision, but I can't get him to go off. Let's hit this real quick. Is that for him? Yes, it is. The Howling Spirit. I love him. I love anything ghostly. And I love the colors. He is so cool. Howling Spirit. He is $200. Here's the fogging gargoyle, but he doesn't have any fog right now or lights. His face lights up red and fog comes out of his mouth, I believe. Here's Eternal Rest. Is she going to work? I can already tell she's not. Eternally spinning her head. It is still funny to see her operating. And of course, we have Darling Dolly hiding amongst the creepy tree. Let's go, Darling Dolly. She is so awesome. What a great drop down scare. And I love her creepy long fingers. I wonder if this tree would fit in my office. It is pretty tall, but I think it would fit and I'm totally gonna get one this year. Around the corner, they have Gordo here. Let's go, Gordo. There he goes. Gordo is so awesome. I love the guts in there. He is so cool. We also have the Riz Reaper with his girlfriend. Come on, Riz Reaper. You are now mine. Full time. 
Me? Together, we shall roam among the living and find our next victim. He is super awesome. I love that ginormous skull. It's actually pretty big. It doesn't look that big on camera, but he is huge. All right, over here, we've got Desmodus. He is broken. That's too bad. But we do have the Whispering Grave Watcher and Lil Skelly Bones. Lil Skelly Bones is a beloved classic. But perhaps he's not working as well. Oh, that is too bad. The classic Skelly Bones. Knock, knock. Who's behind the door? No, he's sleeping. That is so bad. Oh, I love him so much. That is too bad that he is not working. I hate whenever they are damaged. But anyways, we do have a couple more animatronics over here. We have four young Crouchy. He is actually pretty common this year. I've seen a bunch of him. Lil Skelly Bones as well, and poor George. They have all of our favorite inflatables here. I want to get a bunch of the ghosts. We saw him lit up and inflated at another store recently, and he is awesome. Eight feet tall, and they have the new 12-foot Jumbo, and the lunging ghost face, and the 12-foot Pennywise. I am seriously considering getting Jumbo and inflating him to see how he looks. I bet he is amazingly tall. We have all of our wonderful friends here. I love them all. Look at this. There was a rat on top of his head. That is so funny. The prowling cat. He is $17. I love that one. We also have Scabs, the Chihuahua dog, and we have the Gnarly Bunny. We haven't been saying hello to him lately. Hello, Gnarly Bunny. They have a lot of the hanging props here. They have the kicking clown. Is he going to work? No, that is too bad. I wonder if Ghostface is going to work. He's one of my favorites too. That is too bad. I hate when these things don't work and he lights up really good when he does work. These are very cool. They're affordable hanging props here. Look at this three foot five inch hanging zombie. He is super cool and has this very creepy fabric on him. He is $15. We also have the three foot five inch hanging pumpkin there. Also awesome for $15. And we have the Reaper, and we have the Hanging Tattered Girl. She is freaky. We have one of the Five Nights at Freddy's costumes that I don't see all too often, Roxanne Wolf. That one is not very common this year. Glamrock Freddy, and we have Montgomery Gator down there. They also have the ghost face pajamas right there and the Michael Myers set. That one is super awesome. I love all of the pajamas. If you get some PJs, you'll have to get some of these blankets and pillows. Some of my favorites are the Mars Attacks Martian blanket. What is this right here? We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. Oh, that's a uh, Willy Wonka. That is too funny. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. A reversible Willy Wonka plush throw. Very cool. Here's a Scooby-Doo one, also reversible. I love the ghost up there. That is so awesome. What a cool blanket. And they have the big plush skeleton that I love. Look at that. I love that they've been unwrapping him lately so you can really see all that he is. He is super cool cool for $30. Oh my goodness, what is this? We have never ever ever seen this before and I am so excited right now. Reversible plush throw Spirit Halloween and it has all the characters on it. Look at that. We've got Crouchy, Charlie with his bucket. Look at how many plush they have here. This is crazy. They have Crouchy, guys. He is kind of hard to find this year. They also have Miss Argentina, Lydia with her camera, all of the Sams that we always see. He is very, very very well stocked always and look here is Annabelle I've only been seeing her just lately all of the awesome bobbleheads that we love guys they have ghost face down there leather face Sam lollipop stab and the killer clowns from outer space clown in the toilet that one might be my favorite or ghost face they also have the little meowing cats I love those and these are screaming knives and axes they're kind of hard to hear, but these scream when you press the buttons on them. They are so cool. Don't you like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. 
What's up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween in Sakasana, New Jersey. I believe that's how you say it. Let's go inside and see if they have a heckles or any of the new side steppers. Right inside here we do have the widow. She's kind of uh, off to the side there. She's not looking right at us. Break your neck. <laughs> There she goes. I wonder why they have her turned like that. And look at her hip. That's <laughs> sticking way out. We do have Dagger Mike right around here. <laughs> Dagger Mike is so awesome. Poor George should be around the corner. No, it's Gordo. I love Gordo. Somebody should take a Gordo and replace this part and this part with a real pumpkin and some real guts. That would be awesome. I wonder if we have Slim over here. No, it is poor George. Come on, poor George. Poor George is so cool. I love his striped sweater and his red fiery hair. We have a whole stack of animatronics over here, guys. Check it out, Leatherface. The Leatherface at Party City is actually a little bit scarier than this one, but he is super cool. Young Crouchy, the Widow. We have Blackheart right there, Straw Man, Eternal Rest, Lil Skelly Bones. They have two of him. He is $170. The Howling Spirit, I honestly like him more and more every time I see him. And we have some Slims here. And a poor George hiding behind the Howling Spirit. They don't have the back section with all the other animatronics set up but they are fully stocked on masks look at how many masks we have here king of crows i don't see this one at every spirit that i go to but he is one of my favorite masks that they have here he is right here lower so we can actually get a good look at him look at that that is so freaky they also have the wacky mole clown let's pull the tab on him we'll be the first one to press the button okay his eyes light up he is super awesome. I love that. That is an awesome mask. They also have the Texas Chainsaw Masker masks. I want to get this and one of the chainsaws, but the chainsaws are kind of hard to find this year. We have Michael Myers, this one right here that's not the over-the-head mask, so if it's too hot, you can wear that one. They have a stilts hiding right back here in this little cove and a grave watcher. She is $80. That is very affordable for the animatronic. And another howling spirit hiding back here. They do have the Michael Myers hiding behind the sheet. I don't see him every time, but I like him better than the bush one. $40 for that. You can't kill the boogeyman. That is so cool. I love the packaging on that. They also have Bagwell Bobblehead, Georgie, Scraps, The Exorcist. There's the Bush Michael Myers, and they have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I love anything with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Always lots of zombie babies. The Spider Eater, Hand Eater. We have Gutsy Gwen right there. I got a couple of the figural bag clips, and one of them is the Hand Eater, but I want the Spider Eater figural bag clip if they have one. I'll have to keep my eye out. And they have a Pumpkin Nester doll. People have been looking for him. <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> he is super loud. That is cool. I've never heard anything that he says. Let's see if he says anything else. That is so cool. That is so awesome. He's loud enough that you can hear him. Usually when I squeeze these, you can't hear anything they're saying. Plenty of the blow molds. These have been selling out lately because they are so cool. There we go. He's not lighting up as much as he should. And he's blinking. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen him blink before. I thought it was usually just a solid color. They've got Annabelle right there and they have the killer clown from outer space. I want the killer clown and Ghostface. I don't see any of the new side steppers, but we do have Lydia and Sam. And look right here, we do have the Ghostface statue with a sad pumpkin. That is so awesome, and I want him so bad. Around the corner from him, they do have the Michael Myers statues as well. Look at how well that pumpkin lights up. So cool. They have one Leatherface snow globe. There he goes, look at that. I love the yellow light on him. It would be cool if they included some of the other characters, like if they had uh, Leatherface's grandpa or uh, the hitchhiker in the um, snow globe form. That would be really cool. I'd have to get the whole collection. Check this out, they do have a Crouchy. That is so awesome, a Crouchy plush. You don't see him all the time anymore. He's a little bit rare. I don't know how I missed this. They also have the Rat Eater Baby. I have one of him in the figural bag clip form and he is super awesome, one of my favorites. They have about the same 5 
Nights at Freddy's costumes that we always see at these stores. Montgomery Gator, Foxy, and Glam Rock Freddy, and the regular Freddy. I'm keeping my eye out for some new ones. And look what we found here. We found some of the Spirit Halloween animatronic figural bag clips. You do not see these all the time. Look at all the awesome characters you can get. I want Cerberus right there, and they have plenty of them here. This is probably a full box. I want to grab a couple of them, and I might. For the Fall Guys costumes, they have the blue and the pink with the crowns. They also have Spooky Doodles. He is awesome. And the inflatable chicken. And look at this, the Yeetus Hammer. That is too funny. I didn't even know this existed. Check it out. They do have chainsaws. These are hard to find this year. I might have to get that with a leather face mask. That is so awesome. How much is this? The chainsaws are $50 and they are so awesome. I love that the chain actually spins. Let's check out some of these Scooby-Doo costumes because they are awesome and I love Scooby-Doo. They have this awesome pullover right there. It glows in the dark. I love it. We also have a shaggy costume right there for $40. A Scooby-Doo union suit. Fred is down here for $40 as well. And look at this. You can be the mystery machine. That is hilarious. They even have shaggy wigs here. That is so funny. $20. I wonder what they're going to do with these giant mystery machine cutouts at the end of the year. I would love to have one. I don't know if I've ever seen this. Look, they have the spatula from SpongeBob. That is so awesome. I'd love to get a spatula and one of the hats for the Krusty Krab, but I don't see that one. And this spatula is $8. That is not too bad. Oh, look, they do have it. The hat for the Krusty Krab, that is so cool. He is $7, that is not bad at all. And look at this, the pineapple candy collector. That is so funny, oh look, it says, scare or be scared and look at all their eyes that is hilarious i love it they also have mermaid man and barnacle boy costumes for 50 dollars each that is hilarious i would love for me and my brother to dress up as these for halloween mountainous wanted to see anything that could be used for an indiana jones costume i usually see other whips but right now the only one i can find is this catwoman whip and he also wanted to see any of the hats you could use for him they have this fedora right here let's check this one out that one's pretty good I didn't see any actual Indiana Jones costumes, so you kind of had to make your own. This one is $13, and we have another one right there, Deluxe Ranger Hat. Here is a sheriff hat right there. That's not for Indiana Jones, but that's very cool. Cowboy hats. This one looks a little better. Adventure hat. Yes, that sounds a little more like Indiana Jones, except for the little bow right there. <laughs> that is $13, not too bad. That would probably be a good one for Indiana Jones. And if I was Indiana Jones, I would get some of these slithering snakes. These are sand filled, I think, or maybe they're just solid rubber, but they're actually heavy. $15. Indiana Jones hates snakes. So you could totally get a couple of those to wrap around you. And honestly, this Nightmare on Elm Street hat would be a pretty good one for Indiana Jones as well. Looks kind of like the one that he's going to wear. Check it out. They do have a ton of the cotton candy guns here. These are super awesome. Wow, none of them is going to work. Usually there's at least one that will. Wow, that is crazy. There we go. <laughs> I love that one. I'm totally going to buy that by the end of the year, but I'm not going to buy it yet. It's $30, which is actually a great price for the cotton candy gun. I tried to look for a costume that would be good for Indiana Jones, and I do not see any of them, but a good idea is to go to Goodwill or any thrift store and look around at any of the clothes there, and you can usually find a good outfit to match any costume that you want. Benjamin Link wanted to see the Plague Doctor stuff. We have this one right here. That is a black Plague Doctor outfit for $45 dollars and we have another one that is brown right here this one is the medieval plague doctor i like that one it doesn't come with that lantern but that is a great touch 50 dollars for him here's another one right here these are all pretty similar but right there this one is just a little bit different than the one we saw a second ago they're very similar but a little bit different. I kind of like that robe. They usually have a few of the Plague Doctor masks. This one right here is the metallic Plague Doctor mask. That one is really cool. I do like that one. That is $10. And we have another one right here that's like a leather kind of. The Plague Doctor mask. This one is $25. And it is all leather. 
That is freaky. They also have these red devil whips. If you want to do like an alternate version of Indiana Jones where he's the devil, that would be crazy. $8. That would be such a funny costume. Sometimes you gotta get creative with that stuff and make something funny. User Unknown wanted to see some of the Batman stuff. They do have a ton of Batman stuff. Here's a couple of masks. This one just covers half of your face. Here's another half face one and that one looks pretty cool. It looks like it's stitched. That one is $8 and that is from the Batman man and this one is from the dark knight that is very cool we also have the riddler suit right there the riddler is one of my favorite villains from batman we have the joker and this one right here that's not my favorite joker ever but they have him and they also have this batman costume right here with the muscle chest that's a cool one this is 60 dollars, and they have another one. Oh, look at that the arkham asylum joker that one is very cool and that one is 60 dollars as well and here is a joker mask that moves with the jaw that is very cool let's get that jaw moving yes oh look his uh his eyebrows move that is so cool that is very unique and i like that a lot twenty dollars it's called action jaw and eyebrows check it out guys people have been asking me to keep an eye out for this the ghost face aged mask look at that that is such a cool ghost face mask and i love it 17 dollars. that is so awesome it's from ghost face lives no way and look at this they do have the ghost face plush i have not seen these anywhere else he is kind of hard to find he's got his knife and everything in the robe this is 30 dollars, and i am really thinking about taking him home with me. I love him so much. I think we're gonna have to buy him because he is just so cool. You are coming home with me, Ghostface. Oh my gosh, look at this. He's holding a Butterfinger. That is so cool. They were giving out Butterfingers at the uh, Spirit Halloween Grand Opening. That is so funny. They must be a big sponsor for him now. We also have the bracelets for $2 Ooh. today as well if you wanted to pick one. We have a bunch of new ones. Oh, let's take a look at some of these. <laughs> Very cool. I like the bats on that. The bats and the pumpkins. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do two dollars and get the awesome. the bats and pumpkins. That's very cool. I am so excited to have this. How awesome. We hardly ever see him in the store. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Sakasana, New Jersey. We've got our ghost face plush right here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, right here at Spirit Halloween in Paducah, Kentucky. What a funny name for a town. Watch until the end of the video to see where I hide a free shirt for you to find. Let's go inside and see what they got. All right, hello, Mr. Leatherface and stilts. We have to get Mr. Leatherface going first. Always good to see Leatherface and he is turned up nice and loud right now. It'd be nice to see some Leatherface costumes in some of these stores. I really wish they would order them from Trick or Treat Studio. And of course, we have stilts right here. Good to see you, Mr. Stilts, in your cracking neck. All right, of course, we have the Martian Warrior. What a great one he is. That big old brain on him. No miss today, but that's okay. He is still awesome. I also wish they would have some of these costumes here because they do have the mask. 
you'll pretty much have to make your own costume though if you're gonna be him for Halloween. All right, around the corner here, I see poor George waiting on us. Oh my goodness, he might be broken, let's see. No, he's not, he's working. I have yet to have found the green lights. We're gonna have to keep our eye out for those. That is funny, he is not turning all the way around. He stops kind of halfway through like that. <laughs> All right, good to see you, poor George. We'll go around here to Slim. We always love to see him. And look at this, a 50% off hex bun. Cool. All right, let's go, Slim. Oh, he might be broken. His jaw's working, but he uh, isn't moving his arms. Slim is great. Good to see you, Mr. Slim. They should have the widow over here. Yes, the widow with her green light under her. <laughs> I love how she throws her hair off to the side when she breaks her neck like that. She is awesome. Thank you, Miss Widow. Of course, the sitting scarecrow and young Crouchy. All right. Always good to see him set up. Just brings me back to 2022. He is always going to be one of my favorites. Thank you so much, Mr. Crouchy. We have to say hello to the sitting scarecrow. I don't know if he's working or not. No, he must be off right now. Taking a little scarecrow nap. Thank you, Mr. Scarecrow. Enjoy your nap. We do have the back area set up and oh, I see the uh, cauldroness over there. How awesome. Let's get Darling Dolly going. <laughs> and her hair is hiding her face right now. I love her. Really thinking about buying her this year in The Howling Spirit. Another one of my favorites. We'll get him going. He's supposed to be moving his arms, so he must be a little bit damaged, but that's okay. We love his howling and his lights. And of course, we have the gargoyle here not turned on but that's okay he has fog and lighting up eyes the colderness i love it oh look they got zombie babies in the cauldron that is hilarious she's making a baby stew welcome to the darkness black magic has made you here there is no empty your soul she is so creepy. I really like her. They did a great job with her. I love that hand moving around the cauldron. How awesome. All right, let's go around the corner here to see Mr. Gordo. Hello, Mr. Gordo. Good to see you. There he goes. Yes. You've got to love Gordo and his hanging guts. Very beautiful. I love you, Mr. Gordo. Let's go over here to see the black heart. More zombie babies below him. Maybe he had babies with his girlfriend. Your time has come. Join me now. Nice and loud. The jaw is working. All right. I love how his jaw is hitting his skull and making that clacking sound. All right, over here. Oh my goodness, look at the Grave Watcher. She is all beat up, that poor girl. Desmodus is probably not working, no. Oh wow, she's still working. That is too funny. She has no legs. She's like poor George, poor Grave Watcher. All right, little skelly bones. He might not be working either, but that's okay. It's always good to come and see him. All right, the spider. I don't think he's going to jump up, is he? Yes, he is. All right. I love the jumping spider. He is great. And look, little skelly bones went off when we were over here. He tricked me. I wonder if that operates him as well. 
How cool. Oh, look at this. We have a Mr. Punchy. We do not see a lot of him this year. And let's see how much he costs. He is $280. He has some great colors in him. I call him the party clown. Black heart, man's possessed friend. Some scary sitting scarecrows, man's possessed friend, and a Desmodus here. And straw man, eternal rest. Ooh, we got two heckles here as well. And the howling spirit. And I saw some more up front. We'll go check those out before we check out all these awesome goodies. 50% off for Mr. Hexbon here. He must be damaged. Let's see what this says. It doesn't say anything about it. Was $329, now $164. Probably damaged, but that's okay. Young Crouchy, Stilts, Darling Dolly, the Black Heart, and Emmeline right here. I really wish we could find an Emmeline working. I'm so surprised that we haven't yet because we've been to so many spirits. Lots of awesome plush here, guys. They are fully stocked. Michael Myers, they have three of him. They have three of Ghostface. They have five Crouchies. How awesome. And four of the Nightmare Harvester and a bunch of Annabelle. This is awesome. And of course, they have plenty of the bobbleheads, all the ones we love, including the baby killer clown that one is getting kind of hard to find and look at this they have the rare reversible plush throw from spirit halloween look at all the characters on there how cool we never see this and they have oh only one i thought they had a few of them but i guess they only have one left that kind of gives me a hint oh look right up there we have another one so they have two of them here how cool that kind of gives me a hint that they're gonna have some good masks maybe they'll have the scary corn mask as well that would be awesome and they do have the ghoulies two blanket that also is a good hint that they will have some awesome masks over there we'll go check them out in just a minute here first we will check to see if they have charlie with his bucket they do not and we will also check to see if they have the bobblehead costume because he is very hard to to find super rare i do not see him anywhere but what is this fade eyes evil demon i've never seen that one before that is 45 dollars, and his eyes light up and fade in and out that is super freaky always good to see things that we've never seen before oh look what we have here they do have the 12 foot jumbo holding the acid pie i have been keeping my eye out for this because he is hard to find there he is that is so cool i'd love to blow him up and that is a hundred and $80. They also have the snake, some of the archways here, ghost face, and the 12-foot Pennywise trees. There's a skeleton. You do not see the skeleton every day either. And that one is $50. Gargoyles, coffins too. Awesome. And tombstones, rats, scarecrows, and jack-o'-lanterns and ghosts. Lots of zombie babies. Gorious George right there. Spider Biter Billy. Chompin' Connie with her brain. Snackin' Stevie. And Slaytime Time. And Moffy Max. And Devil Cherub and Wretched Ralphie, plenty of them here. Side steppers, I love these. Leatherface, yes, he works too. My favorite, and we've got Chucky, another one of my favorites, he is great. They did such an awesome job with these side steppers. No ghost face though, but that's okay. We have leather face. They have all kinds of goodies here. Super stocked. We've got some snow globes. My favorite one is leather face, of course. And they have two of the leather face statues down there. These are awesome. 90 bucks for these, and I totally want to get him. And I see some tiny terrors over here. Leather face. He's kind of hard to find, and I love him. 50 bucks for him, and 50 bucks for ghost face, another one of my favorites. And of course, they almost always have Sam. They have an entire aisle of Sam stuff. This is cool. Here's a trick-or-treat, uh, what do you call that thing? A wagon full of pumpkins there. That one's not gonna light up. Will this one light up? No, that's okay. They must be dead, but that is pretty cool. That's what it looks like whenever it lights up, and that one is $20 on clearance. Awesome. This counts down to Halloween. That's pretty cool, and of course, we had the light statues right there. Awesome. I'm glad that lit up for us. Side steppers, Sam greeters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know how I missed this. Look at this. They have the skeleton hanging in the coffin. That is awesome. Does he work? No, that is too bad. But it is funny. I like when they do different stuff like that. What is this guy right here? I've never seen this clown before. How cool. Shaking, hanging clown. Oh, he's not going to work. That is too bad. Never seen him before, but it does say that he shakes. So he probably just sits there and does that and has some creepy audio. And of course, we got the hanging clown right here. He's kicking. That is a funny one, but there is no button to try him. They do have plenty of pathway markers, though. Look at this. They have, like, all of them here. They have my favorite, the doll head with the green lights inside there. Bumpy, spooky pumpkins. The white ones right there, those are great. Jack-o'-lanterns. These are all working, too. How awesome. 
the red ones are up there. Those ones aren't working. And we have the zombie arm pathway markers. Those ones are pretty cool. Just for the fun of it, we're gonna check here and see if they have any of the new step pads. No, they do not. That is too bad. Do they have the green light? Hmm. I do not see it anywhere. They do have the purple and the blue and the red. I don't think I see the blue one all too often, so that's pretty cool they have that. And look at this, Fireblaze hanging projection ornament, and it's a skull. All right, let's go over here and check the masks and see what they got. Oh, they do have all the cool ones. Here is the Lab Rat. That is a great and super freaky and gross one. Look at that eye. That is crazy. The Lab Rat is $60, not too bad, a pretty good quality mask too and right up here the corn i love the evil corn what a great mask that is who makes this it just says spirit halloween so that must be just a spirit halloween exclusive this thing is such good quality you would actually expect it to be made by rubies or trick-or-treat studios and this is 70 dollars. totally worth it for that one and of course they have the evil witch eyes every time they have at least one of these they usually have all of them available all the rare ones and this one is 50 dollars it here is the penguin from Batman, also a gross and freaky one. I used to watch that movie all the time when I was a kid with my brother. And the starving vampire, all the rare ones are here. This is great, $40 for that one. And they even have the half-bot mask, how cool. Let's press the button, see if he works. Yes, look at that, he lights up blue. That's kind of like a Terminator mask. That is cool. And that is $20. But you know what I'm noticing? There are no Leatherface masks here. Not even the regular one. But that's okay. We have plenty of rare awesome masks over there. And I actually just noticed this when I look over here. The dummy crackling clown mask right there. That's one that you never see as well. They don't have the Leatherface mask, but they do have a chainsaw. Let's see if he works. Yes, all right. The chainsaw is $50. I do love the chainsaw. I have my own. I'm totally going to paint it yellow like leather faces. And the walking bloody hands, those are great. And these are $30. And look at this, they have the vintage clown doll. He is hard to find. He's making his sounds. That is great. He is $27 and he works great. His volume is awesome. They also have the vintage wolf mail. Let's see if he will work for us. Yes. That is great, I love it. And we have a pumpkin nester. Man, they have all the rare stuff here. This is cool. Let's see if he works. No, he must be dead, but that's okay. It is great to see him. Here's the swinging witch. If you're going to get the cauldroness, you might want to get this to go with it. Ooh, I almost knocked this other one over here. Be careful with that. That is $80 for the swinging witch, and I imagine she cackles and laughs too but she would go great right next to the cauldroness. I don't know if I've ever seen this one before, a hanging creepy specter or something. I don't see a button anywhere to make her make noise, but her eyes do light up if you can figure out how to get it to work. And of course they have this one right here, which actually I don't know if I've ever seen before either. Let's see what her name is. Uh, animated ghost lady. She doesn't work right now, but her eyes light up as well. We'll look over here to see if they have Charlie in his bucket. They do not, but I do see the ice cream clown. We've only seen that one a couple times, and he is so cool. $60 for that. He has a great sign on his chest with all kinds of freaky ice cream names. What a great costume. If I was going to be a clown, I would totally be the ice cream clown. And we have two of the popcorn gun. How great. Man, this place is fully stocked on awesome things a hundred dollars for that and he does make sound and the popcorn pops when you spin the little thing there they have the spear halloween pillowcases this would be great for collecting your candy in i would totally use that for collecting my candy and that is ten dollars not a bad price for a great candy collecting bag Ooh, they also have the ghost face what's up spoof mask from scary movie cool we almost never see this one and he is thirteen dollars how cool that we found him here's some average Avatar costumes I've never seen before. $60 for Jake Sully. And right here we have 
Navi. Uh, oh, that's just the jewelry set, actually, for $25. So you'd have to buy the whole costume separate. And that is right here. Natiri, I think is how you say it. And that one is $55. And they have body paint right here to go with it. And here is a awesome Avatar knife right there. That one is $15. Not too bad. So if you like the Avatar, they have plenty of stuff to be an Avatar. And they even have the ears here. How cool. And those are $10. They have the Ghostbusters walkie-talkies here. These are kind of hard to find. You do not see them everywhere. And we only recently started seeing them. Let's see if he works. No, that one is not going to work. He must be dead. Maybe this one will. Yes. That is so cool. I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. That's awesome. It's right here, Ray. It's looking at me. Man, I would love to have this. And this is $25. I'm really considering getting some Ghostbusters stuff this year and maybe decorating my office with some Ghostbusters stuff. And of course, they have the costumes. $60 for the Ghostbusters jumpsuit right there. $60 for the female version as well. And they have some more things here. This is the uh, goggles, the Ecto goggles. They make some sounds as well, but there's no try me button on those. They have the badge, the PKE meter. That's another one of my favorite tools that they have. This one is... $35, not too bad. And they have the Stay Puffed right there and the regular Proton Packs. They do not have the Deluxe one, but that's okay. This one is a little bit cheaper than the Deluxe one. Because they have the rare stuff here, I'm wondering if they have any of the rare costumes here. Uh oh, there's the frog. Yes, how awesome. The inflatable frog. He is $60 and a great funny costume. And uh, they have the traffic light here. Ooh, they have the Yeti. Yes, the Yeti is a hilarious costume and he is $100. Do they have the corn? Uh, yeah. Yes, they have the inflatable corn as well. I've been thinking about buying the inflatable corn costume. Here's the Scott Howard Teen Wolf costume right there. You almost never see that one. And he is $60, but you'll have to bring your own basketball. I just happened to glance over and see this by accident. I totally missed this a minute ago. Look at this. Bloody industrial light. I have never seen this in the store before. How cool is that? And it works. That is awesome. That would be great for any Halloween theme. $25. Very nice to see rare things that we've never seen before. That would be great for like a prison theme. They do have some of the Power Rangers costumes here. They have the red and I actually think that is it. These are kind of hard to find so they do have them here if you're looking for them. And I don't know if I've ever seen this one before. The Minecraft inflatable llama suit. That is hilarious. How cool for $50. They do have the hot dog costume here as well from Fall Guys and that one is $40. And they have Skelly, Orange, the Blue Free, the chickens up there, spooky doodles, all kinds of these. We don't see this guy too often. The 36-inch animated Reaper grader holding a candy bag. Pretty cool. None of the buttons are available for us to press, but that is what he looks like right there. His head snaps into action, so he's kind of like little skelly bones, and he is $90. Guys, we're out here at Spirit Halloween in Pekin, Illinois. Let's take a peek in here and see what awesome Halloween stuff they have. All right, the Martian Warrior is right here to say hello. And look at the leaves they have lining everything. I love that. What a great touch. All right, Martian Warrior, say hello to me. I love those sounds. What a great job they did with him. All right, Martian warrior. We'll go right over here, and we have the widow. Break your neck for me, widow. I love to see you. <laughs> she is so awesome. I love her. Those leaves are so cool. I love how they stuck them around the bricks there. And of course, look at this. Oh my gosh. Slim must have thrown his back out. That is crazy. I wonder if he'll still work. Let's see here. He does work. Oh my gosh. He must have thrown his back out. 
Hong Kong. I'm sorry, Slim. That is crazy. He needs a chiropractor. All right, Slim. Sorry your back's hurting. Look at this. We have a little Jack Carver. All right. And this one looks like he's working nice. All right. He kind of spooked me. That is so cool. All right. So good to see him working. All right. Let's go on in here. We do have Dagger Mike and the sitting scarecrow as always. Come on, Dagger Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Dagger Mike is so awesome. Sometimes he is not working. I've seen a lot of him broken. All right, the sitting scarecrow. We love to say hello to him. Oh, he's not working actually. That is too bad. I love his scary face though. Just for the heck of it, we'll see if he's on motion, but he is not. Good to see you, Mr. Scarecrow. Take a nap now. They do have the back area set up here. How awesome. I see a hex spawn. Let's get him going. All right. I love him. He is so tall. Get out of my graveyard. He is so tall and cool. The Howling Spirit is right next to him and he is already going. Good to see you, Mr. Howling Spirit. All right, we have the Gargoyle here. He is not set up, but he is awesome and fog comes out of his mouth. And we've got Darling Dolly next to the spooky tree. <laughs> Such a great animatronic. I love her. I'm going to miss her next year if they do not have her set up. All right, I see Gordo over here. He looks like he is working. Come on, Gordo, $150 for him. Yes. Got to love Gordo and his hanging guts. All right. I've seen a lot of broken Gordos as well, so I'm glad that he works. We have Blackheart right here. He's kind of facing the wall, but let's get him going. Soon you will forget everything. Your life, your past. You will stay with me for the rest of eternity. All right. Very cool. The Whispering Grave Watcher is here. The Graveyard of Fog, eh? She is very cool and affordable for $80. I do see that our good friend Desmodus is not working. I love the green lights. Man, those lights are awesome. I believe this is little Skelly Bones. Yes, and he's not working as well. <laughs> he still jumped up. That is hilarious. He's leaning back, taking a rest. It must be tiring, spooking people so often. Sorry you're not working, Mr. Desmodus. Let's knock on the door. Knock, knock. Yes. He is all jumbled up. Oh my goodness, look at those limbs. I love the spider. Good to see you, Mr. Spider. Go take a nappy in your little cove. We do have a ton of animatronics on the floor here and some good ones. Two Desmodus, Lil Skelly Bones, The Widow, The Howling Spirit, Man's Possessed Friend, A Darling Dolly, Leatherface, my all-time favorite from Spirit Halloween, Emmeline, and we have the Straw Man, Blackheart, and Slim, and Stilts. Man, they are fully stocked on animatronics here. And over here, we have three Young Crouchy. I'm so glad that Young Crouchy he is in the store for sale right now. He is $170. They have the inflatable set up in a different area this time. I do like when they change it up a little bit. We have plenty of good ones. Both of the ghost faiths. I love that one. And I really love that one. We also have the snake, the hearse, killer clowns, rats, cats, scarecrows, jack-o'-lanterns right there. And on the other side, gargoyles, haunted trees, reapers, and we have some archways. And I suppose we should pay homage to my father who got me started on YouTube with the ham hock. Ham hock Brazil, don't get your hand hock, hot ham hocks. I told myself that I would never do that, but I have to pay homage to my father. And the ham hock does look pretty tasty. Ow! 
Let's take a look and see if they have the corn. I would love to find the scary corn mask again. So far, I do not see him. Not a lot of stores carry him, but that's okay because it makes it even more exciting when we do find him. They do have Jeff the Killer. He is a super spooky mask right there. The googly eye clown is awesome. And I also love these moving jaw nighty night masks. And they also have the laughing Jack mask right here. That is also a super freaky good one. Look at that nose. Stab. Here's another freaky one the ghostly ghoul mask that one is awesome let's see how much that is fifteen dollars not too bad at all they have the clear bloody machete right here i haven't seen it in a little while actually oops i dropped it and it is super awesome i love that one what a unique weapon this is and that is $13. This is hilarious. They have a grandma costume right here for $45 and a blind referee that is too funny for $30. And here's the inflatable corn one again. I think I might buy that at some point because I'd love to do a live stream in a cornfield and that is $50. Not too bad. Plenty of the Teletubbies costumes right here but the only one that I see that has the baby on the belly right there is this red one Poe for $60 and these ones with your face right there and nothing on the belly is $50 each. Here's the caveman costume right there. That is $40. I know some people who would make great cavemen. Oh, check this out. They have some great plush here, guys. How awesome. We do have Michael Myers. You hardly ever see him anymore. And they have Crouchy, a few of him, and the Nightmare Harvester with his awesome jack-o'-lantern. We have plenty of the sidesteppers as well. My favorite leather face. Oh, he's not going to work. Wait, there's a tab. Let's see if we can pull it. Okay, there we go, we got it. Let's get him going here. Yes. I love Leatherface, he is so awesome. We also have a bunch of the ghost face ones. Let's see if any of these work. Yes, right there. Awesome. Two of my favorite sidesteppers. And they have the Leatherface statue right here. My favorite statue out of all the ones they do have. He makes some awesome sounds. You can hear the chainsaw. Look at the pumpkins down there and the skeleton. That is so cool. And of course, we also have the Pennywise statue. He is cool as well. He lights up and says some freaky quotes. I believe both of these cost the same. They are $90 each and totally worth it. I love the lunch boxes and look at this. They have these old tins right here that you put snacks in inside your lunch box. And I love the E.T. one. E.T. rocks. And these are $9 a piece. I also like the Scooby-Doo one. They have two of my favorite ghost blankets here. The regular sheet ghost blanket i love that one and ghost face with the moon behind him and all of his masks they also have the night crawler crouchy and the reversible spirit halloween blanket and looky right here we do have the nightmare before christmas pumpkin king right there i love that plush halloween town sign on top and he is 30 dollars, not too bad and they also have mr oogie boogie here he is 27 dollars, and the green one is up here as well i do love that one he's got the red dice in his hands. We have a few zombie babies here. We've got Devil Cherub, Gorius George, Chompin' Connie, and Flippin' Freddy, and we have Slay Time. I don't think babies are supposed to be purple. There might be a problem here. They have one Leatherface baby right here. I want him so bad, and I love that hammer. He is $50. Plenty of Flintstones costumes here. Awesome. We've got Betty Rubble right there for $40. Wilma for $40. Fred Flintstone. And we even have have pebbles right there how cool is that and that one is $25 on clearance how awesome we also have Barney down there and he is $30 and the inflatable dino for 60 oh how awesome guys they have two of the popcorn guns he is great a hundred dollars for that he makes sounds when you turn the crank I can't wait to buy him we'll wait a little while maybe we'll even see if we can get him on sale at the end of the year and of course they have shorty shooting the cotton candy gun right out of the pizza box there that is an awesome pop figure and also we have the cotton candy gun that i love $30 for that one. Hey, we haven't seen one of these in a long, long time. It's the clown chainsaw. Ooh, it does not work though. That is too bad. Maybe he is dead and out of batteries. It says, have a nice day. They do have the chrome ghost face mask here and they have the aged one. Let's see how much that is. That is $17. We'll have to compare that to the other prices at the other stores like Halloween City and see if one of them is cheaper. We'll check out a couple of the shirts here real quick. They do have the crouchy and the night crawler. It's hard to 
to find both of them in the same store and they have the Sam shirts. These are getting more and more common throughout the season. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely hilarious. I think this is what I'm gonna get for my daughter this year. Baby Boo for $22. This one is zero to six though. I would need a bigger one for my daughter. She is about a year old now. How cute is that? Here's another cute one, the spider. That is so awesome. I love these costumes for $30. Hey, look at this from Fortnite. We have some bunny slippers. That is too funny. These remind me of a Christmas story. And I love the blue face on that. That is so cool. I have never seen these before for $14.99. Here's the pizza costume right here. This is $27 3D foam pullover. I would love to order a pizza this year and have the pizza guy show up wearing that. I still have not found the bobblehead pumpkin costume. That is crazy. I look at every store that I go to, but he must not be for sale this year. That is too bad. We do have an awesome mummy costume right down here for $40 and the cowboy corpse. I like that one. And we have the pig butcher and they have Lord Raven. That's a hard one to find. And that one is $45 with light up eyes. We will keep our eyes peeled for that bobblehead pumpkin costume. They are fully stocked on extras here at this store. That is awesome, including the money shooter. I think I might buy a money shooter this year. This is $20 and comes with a bunch of fake money, but I would get a bunch of ones and try to shoot real money out of there. That would be cool if it would work. They also have the rubber chicken, the bone. Here's the floating flame that you hold in your hand. That is a very cool one for $15. And right down here, we do even have some boxing gloves. If you're gonna dress up as Shorty for Halloween, you might wanna get some boxing gloves. Halloween City has some wings that have strings on them. Then when you pull the strings, the wings come flying up. I do not see any of those at Spirit Halloween, so that is a unique thing that I wish Spirit Halloween also had. Ooh, they do have the American suit. This is awesome. And that is $70. I think I do want to get that because I'd like to do a 4th of July stream next year. Okay, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Pekin, Illinois. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, we're right here at Spirit Halloween in Salina, New York. If I don't go in there and see any of the new side steppers, I'm gonna go nuts. Let's go inside and see if they got them. All right, this is a little bit different setup than usual. Nobody right in the doorway, but we do have poor George right here. Let's get poor George going. I love that screaming and laughing. He is so awesome. I wonder if he could speed up the spinning so he could just be going woo, woo, woo. <laughs> he is so awesome. Good to see you, poor George. You are awesome. All right, around the corner, let's see. No, they don't have anybody on the outside, but we do have the sitting scarecrow, as always. Let's get him going. <laughs> I love the sitting scarecrow. That's the scary sitting scarecrow. There's a normal one that's not as spooky. And over here, of course, we have Dagger Mike. Come on, Dagger Mike. <laughs> There he goes. He is so cool. His hat's falling off. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Good to see you, Dagger Mike. We do have the widow set up right here. We have to see her break her neck. She's a little quiet right now. But I love her. She is so awesome. Good to see you. Put your neck back together. Lots and lots of animatronics on the floor all spread out throughout here. That is awesome. But we have some things back here that we'll look at in just a minute. Let's go through all of these on the floor. I like how they have them spread out here. We've got three of Emmeline. We have stilts right here. Possessed pumpkin, what? Possessed pumpkin, we haven't seen him this year. That is awesome. He must be very hard to find now. $330 over here, that is so cool. The Howling Spirit, and we got Slim Jim over there. We have Tombstone Terror, guys. They have stuff from last year here that is so awesome. They also have two of the Straw Man. We have Leatherface, my favorite. $350 for him. Darling Dolly, guys, these two right here, they must have set these here for me because I would grab both of them if I could. We 
we also have the sitting scarecrow right here a bunch of him and always a bunch of the man's possessed friend and looky looky what we have here lord raven monty oh my gosh guys they have old stuff here how do they get the old stuff i really wonder how they do that monty monkey and look at this they have emily hatchet here ellie hatchet that's her name ellie hatchet and reagan what how do they get this old stuff in here that is so awesome guys ellie hatchet let's see how much she is she is 160 dollars oh She's got, uh, it's 20% off. She's got a broken arm. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is too bad, but that is so cool they have them. Okay, now we can look at everything over here while they're not over here. I wonder if he's set up. Oh, there he goes, yes. I love the spider. He is so awesome and such a classic. We have little skelly bones over here. Look at his eye getting stabbed right there. <laughs> Gotta love little skelly bones. He's awesome. He's gonna stab his eye again. <laughs> All right, we've got Desmodus. Please, please, please work. Cross our fingers for Desmodus. Oh, yes! What the world? <laughs> Only one arm went up. That is hilarious. Poor Desmodus is broken. That arm is completely broken and just limp there. That is too bad. We also have the Whispering Grave Watcher. She's got a big gash on her head. I wonder how she got that. And of course, the Riz Reaper. He is very cool. Go on, Riz Reaper. Me? You want me? His Riz is unmatched. All right. Good to see you, Riz Reaper. I see another stilts over here, and... No more other animatronics on the floor, but that is awesome. They have so many here. Lots and lots of inflatables. This store is awesome and stocked, guys. Look at this. Lots of the ghost face, a couple over there. We've got Sitting Sam right here. I don't see him every time anymore. The cats, the snake, they have everything. The hearse. This is actually more popular than I thought it was. Uh, so that's pretty cool. They have a couple of those here. The rats, Fright in the Box. We're not seeing him every time now. They have a ton of awesome stuff. The Haunted Tree I also don't see every time now. He is $40, and he is five and a half feet tall. Pretty cool. They have the Prowling Kitty here. They also have the Infected Rat, somebody called him. I like that name for him, Infected Rat. They have Scabs, the Chihuahua Dog, and they have the Gnarly Bunny right there. He is so awesome. They also have the Secret Keeping Cat. I don't see any new masks that I haven't seen before, but they do have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre right there. I would like to see more of the Pretty Woman level face mask but i think he is selling out i actually want him very badly we bought that one and i immediately regretted it because i want the pretty woman leather face mask they also have the martian warrior right there and what is the other cool one that i saw oh look they got crouchy with the gloves let's see how much that is with the gloves fifty dollars what i saw one that was just his mask that was fifty dollars so i guess maybe it was just missing the gloves that would be a rip off if you bought that and didn't get the gloves they also have this awesome neon clown look at that that's the one that i saw a minute ago and I, it immediately caught my eye that would be very cool under a black light and check this out we have chainsaws there's four of them here guys let's see if it works yes i love the chainsaws Man, that is loud, too. I don't know if there's a volume that you can, like, change it, but some of these are super loud and other ones are pretty quiet. But I do love the chainsaws, and it goes perfectly with the Leatherface mask. Check this out. Mutant Spider. This must be an older one. Ooh. That's very cool. Flickering LED lights and creepy sounds. Foldable legs. I like that. He is Fifty doll hairs. Maybe I don't like him. Wait a minute. This is something I've never seen before. A full gas mask. That is awesome. Wow. It says full. It's not quite full, but it is very cool. They did a great job with that. Ten dollars. That's a good price, too, for a gas mask. I really like how they have this store set up right now. We've got all these hanging things out in the middle here, too, instead of just kind of tucked back in all these little aisles back here. Let's see if some of them work. By the way, I love that zombie, and I want him so bad. But we have these headless skeletons. That one's not going to work. There we go. 
He is awesome. I love that. I do love the hanging stuff. It just kind of reminds me of like when I was a kid, I had a friend uh, who always had a bunch of the hanging stuff. Look, the witch is going to work. <laughs> That's funny. She's like being supportive instead of scary. That is too funny. Let's see what else she says. <laughs> the supportive mother witch. That is too funny. I love it. I've never heard of all any of the quotes that she says, so I'm glad that she works here. And look at her super skinny hands. That is awesome. I wonder how much she is. She is 45 doll hairs. Oh my goodness. But she is pretty cool. They also have Hanging Sam, and right here we have my favorite, Ghost Face. Look at those black hands. I think he's usually wearing uh, gloves, so it's kind of weird they have black hands, but his face lights up very cool but right now it is not working which is too bad because it really does light up a nice blue halloween color i love these jason slippers look at that i would totally play friday the 13th video game with these slippers on do they have the rare blanket there's the reversible plush throw i am not seeing the rare one I'm going to keep my eye out for it, man, because I love it. I should have bought it when I saw it last time. They also have my favorite ghost blanket right here. This one is awesome. Look at all the little sheet ghosts on there. That is so cool. This one is... Uh $33. Not too bad for a ghostly blanket. They do have a ton of the book bags here, too. Look at that. The ghost uh, the ghost face one. It is not ghost face. That is uh, ghost busters with the slime straps. That's my favorite. This is probably my second favorite because I love killer clowns and I love the little popcorns on there. They also have good guys. This one is from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And this one, I don't know what it is from. Let's figure that out. It's an uh, Naruto. Okay, so a lot of people like Naruto. I don't. I know nothing about it, but that is very cool. And they also have Sam right here. Look at that one. That is very cool. They also have the lollipop as the zipper. I'm kind of surprised that they don't have anything special for the zipper for the Ghostbusters one. It just says. Uh, I don't even know what it says. That must be the brand. But. They totally, like, lost the opportunity to put Slimer on there or something. I've probably seen this before, but I don't remember. This is an awesome Halloween 2 pajama set. I wish it would give you a bigger picture of what it looks like right there, but his face is, like, slashed, and there's the, uh, skull pumpkin or whatever right behind his face. That is a very cool pair of pajamas. And look at this one right here, ghost face. It says, just chillin', killin'. That is awesome, and the pants are covered in his face. That is so cool. I would totally get that if they had a 2X. They do have the pig butcher costume here. He's kind of hard to find sometimes, and they have Jack the Reaper for $45. That one is a very popular one this year. My favorite, though, is the regular old sheet ghost. You can make that super easily at home yourself, or you can get it for $20 here. They also have Hugs the Clown in costume form. I don't see any of the crowd. Oh, there he is, Crouchy. We almost always see a couple of him here, and that is $70. Look at this, guys. They have some new Fall Guys costumes. Blue Freeze. That is so cool. I had no idea that even existed. This is $40. I love it. Cool. We're going to keep our eye out for some new ones. Chicken inflatable, the pink with the crown, the blue with the crown, and spooky doodles. They do have these awesome Michael Myers masks. I really do like these. That is pretty cool. It's a hard plastic. And he's got blood coming down his eyes. And then they have the deluxe Michael Myers uh, jumpsuit, full latex mask, and knife. So that one is latex. If you get that one, it might be too hot wearing it around if you're in a hot area. So this one might be better for you. Let's see if they have any new mugs that I've never seen before. So far, I'm not seeing any. But this one is one of my favorites. Look at that. The bloody mug with the handprint. They have my other favorite right here. Leatherface. That one is so awesome. They've got Freddy right there. These are all really cool. I love the head ones. Right there's Pennywise. We've got Oogie Boogie. And look at this. It's a TV with hands on it. What movie is that from? They're here. Poltergeist. That's what it is. Yes, Poltergeist. That is so cool. I like that one. I would love to sit down and drink coffee out of that while I edit my videos. They have lots of bad clips here, you guys. Look at this. All kinds of them. There's the zombie babies. And we've got Series 2 figure bag clips from Spirit Halloween right there. They have plenty of them. I've been seeing a lot of them lately. Here's a cup I've never seen before, and I love it. Let's try to get that disconnected here from the other ones. 
This is so awesome. Mars attacks. Look at that. You've got the alien ship right there. And there's the Martian right there. We got space in the background. There's the logo, Mars Attacks. And I like how this is chrome. That just kind of adds to the spooky alien effect. That is an awesome cup. $3 too. Not very bad at all. And then we got this awesome crouchy cup right there. Look at that. I've probably seen it before, but I don't remember. It has the uh, circus in the background. Very cool. Look at the creepy eyes in the circus tent. This is a cool Mars Attacks decal. Look at that. It's got like photos. That is very cool. Oh no, they're not photos. I think they are uh, postcards. That is awesome. These are $4. And here's a Killer Clowns decal right there. That is so cool. I love decals and any kinds of like stickers and stuff. Support Halloween. I saw that one before and it's really cool. There's a Ghost Face Knife decal. That is really cool. I love this stuff. And they do have these. I love these books. These tell you how to carve your pumpkins, just like all of those designs. But look at this ghost face. They have the ghost face one. They have some more behind there, I think. But this one is like the best one. Ghost face. Look at all those designs. I like that one right there. That is so cool. And these are only $6 too. We have to check the t-shirts to see if they have any of the special Spirit Halloween ones. I already see ghost face right here. Let's see if there's any Sam ones hiding throughout here. No, I don't see any, but they do have ghost face. They have a 2X. Ooh, I want it so bad. That one is so cool. We are still on the hunt for the Sam one. I have not seen any yet. They do have the aged ghost face mask. Check that out. That is so cool from Ghost Face Lives. They did a great job with that. $17 too. That's not a bad price for this. I don't see any over the head masks yet. We've only seen like one or two of them this year so far. But they do have the acid pies and the cotton candy guns. We always like to pull the trigger on that because it is so cool. $30 for that. I'm really hoping I can find some over the head masks just in case I want to be one of the killer clowns for Halloween. There's Jumbo, Shorty, and Spiky. Here's an awesome Shrek costume. I love Shrek. I grew up with that. $60, and it has the tunic, vest, belt, pants, and ears. Speaking of things that I grew up with, they do have every single Teletubbies costume, and these are awesome. They have the inflatable ones, and they have these ones right here that has your actual face in it. And look at this. They have the picture of the baby son. That is so funny. I love it. Holy crap, guys. Check it out. They do have new sidesteppers. I am so excited, except for the fact that he is broke. Let's see if we can fix him by reattaching this. Is it broken or is it just... No, it doesn't look like it's actually broken. I'm gonna try to fix this and then we'll get him on camera. Okay, we got him fixed. Look at this. This is so awesome. I am so happy I found it. Please work, please work, please work. Cross our fingers for him. Yes! That is so awesome. I love Leatherface. How cool. $33 and I want it so bad. But I've already bought so many things lately. I might just have to wait on it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I am so crazy about Leatherface right now. And look at this, we also have Chucky. I have never seen this one before. All right, go ahead, Chucky. It's showtime. All right. <laughs> that is so cool. I am so glad that these are both working right now. I am so happy. That is so awesome, man. How cool. And they're all the same price, I believe. $33, yeah. Man, I want Leatherface. We're still looking for Ghostface, but we will keep our eye out for him. I'm very happy I found him. I think we're gonna wait to buy him, though. So many zombie babies, and I love them so much. We've got Devil Cherub with his red lighting up eyes. He is always very cool. Uh, I don't know, Revenous Ruby? Yes, Revenous Ruby. We're still trying to remember all their names. Revenous Ruby, we've got Gorious George right there, uh, Flippin' Freddy, Snackin' Stevie? Yes, Snackin' Stevie, man, I'm good. Um, I don't know her name. Chompin' Connie. Chomp and Connie. Okay, we'll remember that. Chomp and Connie. And we do have Spider Biter Billy. Yes, so awesome. And of course, Mothy Max. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween and Selena. This store was awesome. They had a ton of cool stuff. They are fully stocked, and we even got to see some new sidesteppers. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.
like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. What's up guys, we're out here at Spare Halloween in Springfield, Illinois. Let's go inside and see what awesome Halloween stuff they have. All right, Leatherface and Stilts here to greet us as always. Come on, Leatherface. Love that yellow chainsaw. I still have to paint mine. I'd love to get him and dress him up as different versions of Leatherface from different movies. Stilts right here with his bloody bowling pins will now juggle for us. I do love his face. He is awesome. Those purple eyes and all the great bright colors on him. $350 for him. Right over here, we have the Martian Warrior. No mist, though. Oh my gosh, and his shirt is coming down right here. Weird. Good to see you, Mr. Martian Warrior, with your ginormous brain. On this side over here, they've got poor George, I see. All right, we haven't seen poor George in a few stores. those bloody teeth. Oh look, it's not bloody on that side, but this side it is. Good to see you, poor George. We'll go on inside here. The sitting scarecrow and I believe Dagger Mike. No, maybe not. Little Skelly Bones. All right. Good to see you, little Skelly Bones. I like when they do different things. There he goes. He jumped up super quick that time. Got to love little Scully Bones. $170 for him. And on the other side, the widow. Look at her, she's leaning back. Very cool, one of my favorites. All right, Slim is over here. Let's go pay our homage to Slim. great and i've never seen a broken version of slim because all he does is move his jaw and open up his bag of popcorn i see a few animatronics over here and they do have the back area set up we'll go look at that in just a moment let's see what we got here on the floor Leatherface, mars attacks martian right there we have a slim an eternal rest and a darling dolly right there for sale and right behind that, we have a Gordo. He is hard to find on the floor for sale. Man's Possessed Friend, a couple of the Straw Man, and Lil' Jack Carver. We did get to see him working finally. I am so happy, and he is very cool. Oh, look at this. That's funny. They have a Deadly Creeper back here. I saw a bunch of these at the beginning of the year, but lately I haven't seen a bunch of him. Darling Dolly, another one of her. Let's go see all the people back here. Knock, knock. Who is in the door? The spider. I do love him. He is great. And I'm glad he is working. We find a lot of broken ones. All right, we've got the Grave Watcher whispering at us. Why, thank you very much. And we also have the Howling Spirit. Oh, he's on motion. He is great. I want to make a... Uh, harness and put him on the back of my truck and see if he'll survive at 60 miles per hour. All right, we've got the Riz Reaper right here. Show me your girlfriend, buddy. He's already kind of showing her. <laughs> His arm might be broken. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Blackheart. We'll go over here and see what kind of inflatables they have. They have plenty of them, ghosts, the jack-o'-lantern archway, wolves, rats, jack-o'-lanterns, reapers, and the scarecrow, and one snake. I wonder if they will have any of the masks that we don't get to see very often, like the scary corn mask. So far, I do not see him. Ooh, they have the uh, Purge Abe Lincoln right there. That is awesome. You do not see that one every day. Did you say Abe Lincoln? And what else do they have here? I do not see 
get any of the rare ones. I wonder why more stores do not order the rare masks. Maybe just to keep them rare so they're super exciting whenever we do find them. They do have plenty more purge masks over here though. We've got this one that says kiss me right there. That is a freaky one. Here's the one that says God. The white one with the cross on his head. Run. And that looks to possibly be it. Look at this. A monkey mask. That's a cool one for $13. I've never seen that before. The animated faceless specter. This is a great one and she uses audio that has been used many times before on different props. None of these are unwrapped so that I can press the button, but she is super cool and rattles her chains and her eyes light up. I don't know why I automatically assume it's a girl though. These are some cool, really cheap and affordable hanging props here. There's the zombie. That one is my favorite for $14, $15 actually. And here's the reaper. They usually have a few more of these. And I suppose that this girl kind of goes along with that. She is $22 though, a little more pricey because she has arms. And what is this a doll? What? Have I not seen that before? That is freaky. This is $22. And we have another Reaper right down here. That's a different one. I've probably seen this one before though. That one's $22 as well. And they have my party hanging ghost here, but he is not working. Ooh, this one does. Let's move this guy over here so we can see the beautiful colors. I love it. Those colors rock. They have live wires here. I do love these and I'm going to get some at the end of the year. Look at that. That is so cool. These were in the setup for last year, 2022, $50 a piece for these. And look at this. They have two black hearts here. I did not see those a moment ago. And another sitting scarecrow. We have sidesteppers. I love them so much. And here's Spikey. We haven't seen Spikey very often lately and he's working. Now that is a treat. We have not seen him in quite a while. Same with Billy Butcherson here. Awesome. I do love Hocus Pocus and I'm totally going to watch it one of these days. I wish I had cable so I could watch Freeform's 31 Days of Halloween. Here's Leatherface. And of course, another one of my favorites that they have right down here is Ghostface. He is a great one. I love the blood. Oh my goodness, his arm is broken, but he still works. I wonder if they would give you a deal on him because his arm is broken. That would be cool. And right here, we also have Pennywise. Let's see if he works. Uh, sort of. Let's see if we can... No, oh, I guess not. Sometimes you come across these broken ones, and I wonder if you took him out of the package and tried to play with him a little bit, if you could get it to where he would actually work. Ooh, look at this. $16. Reduced price on the Camp Crystal Lake sign. I wonder why it is $16. Hmm, originally $19.99. It says, missing the hanging hook. Well, that would be pretty easy to replace yourself. So that's a good deal right there. Here's some ghost face and play dolls right there. Awesome. And what is this? Have I never seen this before? That is crazy. It's like a statue that we've never seen before. Let's set him up here and try to press the button. I see those lights lit up when we moved him, but I guess he is not going to work if we don't have a button hmm i don't know how to get him to work but he did light up a moment ago here's another reduced price thing right here for twenty dollars and 99 cents you save four dollars missing the hanger again and look it has one of them that would be pretty easy to replace and then you get a good deal on an awesome freddy sign right there and they have plenty of the other signs that's my favorite camp crystal lake sign right there they do have the changing chucky sign that is a very cool one look at this wall decor right here from pennywise I don't think I've seen that one before. I love that blue on there. That is super freaky. And this is $23. I do love the wall decor and door covers here. They have plenty of them. Here's another one of my favorites right here. Ghostface breaking through the glass with his bloody knife. That one is awesome. My favorite though is the Leatherface one and I do not see it here. Ooh, lots and lots of zombie babies. Let's name them all. Snackin' Stevie, Spider Biter Billy, Revenant ruby devil cherub right there Ooh, his eyes flashed when i touched him weird he is buggy sleigh time and wretched ralphie right there plenty and plenty of beetlejuice things and it is on sale mix and match buy one get one 50 off not bad we have the awesome light up beetlejuice tombstone right there that one is very cool i wonder how much that is let's see if we can pull it down and see how much he is that is 60 dollars I like this right here, the Beetlejuice statue. 
Nice, his eyes light up. I don't think I've ever seen that before, actually. How much is he? $45, not bad. Here's a smaller version of the tombstone right there, and that is $17, but he doesn't do anything. It just kind of sits somewhere on your mantle or something. And of course, they have the plush Lydia right there and Adam. I don't see his wife anywhere, though. Oh, wait, right here, buried beneath all the other plush. She's kind of stuck in there. Oh, look. The hook was keeping us from getting to her, and she has the eyes in her mouth. This is another cool Beetlejuice sign right there. It's not going to work, but it lights up really nice. And look at this sign. I don't know if I've seen this before. Beetlejuice the Bio Exorcist. Troubled by the living. Is death a problem and not the solution? Unhappy with eternity. Having difficulty adjusting. Call residential industrial commercial Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That is pretty cool. They also have the Beetlejuice Monopoly. I might have to get that and the Oogie Boogie board game and add that to my collection of scary board games. They have some awesome plush here. Lately, they have been super stocked at every store that I go to. We've got Little Skelly Bones, Michael Myers. They have like three of him. Awesome. Crouchy right there and the Nightmare Harvester. We're starting to see him a lot more often with his awesome jack-o'-lantern. I like that they have the mugs in the middle area. They usually have them all the way up front. The mugs are great. I definitely want to start a mug collection. One of the ones that I like is this one right here. Jason, that's a great mug right there. How much is that? $17. Here's Freddy for $17 as well. This one isn't scary, but Back to the Future 2 is awesome. I do love Back to the Future, and that one's also $17. That must be how much all of them cost. Here's the Killer Clowns from Outer Space mug. I do like that one a lot too for $13. So some of them are different. And there's an awesome Crouchy mug right there. Do they have the bobblehead costume? I am not seeing him. I cannot believe it. Last year we saw him maybe once or twice and it is an awesome costume it's a pumpkin head but he is giant and looks like a bobblehead we'll have to keep our eye out maybe we will find him by the end of the year they do have the harvester that is an awesome pumpkin one the bog zombie i never see the bog zombie how cool that is based off of an animatronic from last year 2022 and this is 50 dollars. how cool that we found him they also have the pig butcher we always point out the pig butcher because he is a popular one this is cool they have Transformers costumes. I did not know they had these. That is awesome. There's Bumblebee includes muscles. That is hilarious for $40. And there's another one right up here, Optimus Prime. I see a lot of the Mandalorian and Darth Vader costumes, but I hardly ever see this. The regular white Stormtrooper. I like that. And he is, let's unfold this, $37. And also this one I've never seen before. What is his name? Bad Batch for $37. The Wrecker, that's what his name is. That is pretty cool. Always nice to find things that we've never seen before. They do have the Inflatable Circus Clown for $50 and Cerberus. Cerberus is such a cool costume for $50 as well. Ninjas must be pretty popular because they have a ton of ninja costumes here and a ton of ninja extras. Like this Ninja Morph Star. What does he do? It says try me, but... Oh wait, you spin this. Watch this. Hold on. I already know what it does. Yes, that is very cool. I have never seen that one before, and that is $8. And then they've got some nunchucks right there, ninja size, and all kinds of swords. And here's a pack right here that comes with a sword, a sai, a couple of throwing things there, and nunchucks for $17. Let's compare that to some of the other prices here. This one with two swords is $13. That's not a bad price. How much for the size? Let's check that. $7 for the size, not too bad. And this has a pull tab. So let's pull that and see what he does. Oh, there's the button. He's gonna light up, I know it. Was that not the button? There it is. Whoa. That is cool. I always love the stuff that lights up and makes sounds. And that is $9. They have a lot of the Fall Guys costumes here. I don't see any of the blue ones with the tail, but they do have Spooky Doodles right there. I don't see him a whole lot, but we do see the book bags a lot. I am seriously considering getting a Ghostbusters costume this year. These are awesome. These ones are the kid size though. $40 a piece for the kid size ones. They even have the jackets for $35. And they have the badges. I would definitely have to get a badge. And that one is $7. I love the Ghostbusters badge. 
And of course they had the proton packs. I would definitely get one of the proton packs and I would even get a PKE meter, but I don't see one here. Hey, they have a couple of the plush knives. I do love the plush knives and these are $7 stab. Oh wait, this one's an ax. I don't know if I've ever seen the ax and if I have, I haven't seen it often. $7 for that as well. Shing. This is too funny. I'm not up to date on all the kids shows and stuff, but D from Melodies, that is funny. That's kind of a cute costume right there for $50. And there's another one right down here from Melodies, Mini Marshmallow for $40. Here's a cute one from Where the Wild Things Are. That is $37. How cute. Hey, look at this. They have some Paw Patrol book bags. I've never seen these before. How awesome. Some people keep asking me about the Paw Patrol stuff. They always ask me to look at them during the lives. These are... $15, so if you've never seen them before, they do have them here. This is an awesome costume, the Lightning McQueen Pit Crew, how cool, for $35. And also they have Lightning McQueen, so you and your brother or sister can be Lightning McQueen and the Pit Crew. They have just about every single figural bag clip you could think of. Series 2 right there with the animatronics including Cerberus, that is the one that I would want, but they have all kinds of these. Ooh, and they have the pumpkin carving kits. I do love these books. Gremlins right there, that is a great one. Ooh, Halloween 2 behind the Gremlins one. Friday the 13th, that's a favorite of mine. And they have the ghost face one right behind it. These are so awesome. I think they're like six bucks a piece. Yes, yeah, $6, not bad at all for a bunch of awesome pumpkin carving stencils. Here is a very cute Gremlins magnet right there. Look at that gizmo for $5. And I see right here, the Friday the 13th magnet. I think I've seen this before, but he is very cool. I love that sign for $5 as well. Here's a spirit Halloween magnet. Awesome. I do want that. I've never seen that one before for $5. And here's the Leatherface mug. This one is my favorite mug of all time right now for $17. They have plenty of the toy rats. And somebody was asking me about snakes. Finally, we found some snakes. These kind of are hard to find. They're not at every store. And there's only one yellow one here. I guess he's kind of rare. We also have some little rubber mice. Oh, he squeaks. How funny is that? I like this one right here though. My daughter would love this. That is absolutely hilarious. And he is $6. And they have all kinds of colors of the mice. White and black and gray. They have some great treat bags here too. This one might be one of my favorites, the cat. I love that one. You can see the candy in his mouth as you're collecting it. $10 for that. An awesome colorful skull. The jack-o'-lantern, you can also see the candy in his mouth. And the bloody hand cinch treat bag right there. You can cinch it up so no one steals your candy. That is $10. And this is an awesome E.T. bag right here. Look at that. I love E.T. And that is a great picture of E.T. standing in the woods with the ship behind him. Okay, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Springfield, Illinois. And I've got a surprise free t-shirt here that I will hide right underneath this giant sign that says Spirit Halloween up there. Let's go right over here and we're going to hide it somewhere where somebody can easily find it. In fact, we're going to put it right down here on the ground in that little hole. Come and find the shirt, guys. And if you find it, post a picture of it on the Facebook page, either my dad's page, that Nate guys and gals, or my page, that other Nate guy on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween in Springfield, Massachusetts. I'm gonna go inside and see if I can find some more of the Spirit Halloween Monopoly board games. Let's go inside and see if they got them. Okay, we are greeted by Leatherface. PTT Squad wanted me to shout him out whenever we saw Leatherface next because he made an awesome donation the other day. There is Leatherface. I love Leatherface. This one and the one at Halloween City are a tie for me because they are both so awesome. He has the moving chainsaw blades. The other one doesn't have that, but he is much more scary and shakes whenever he is revving his chainsaw. Of course, right next to him is Stilts juggling his pins. Let's go, Stilts. <laughs> he 
You can hear his neck cracking whenever his head's spinning. That is so funny. I don't know if I ever noticed that. Okay, Stilts, we'll move on over here. We have the Martian Warrior. I love seeing the Martian Warrior. He usually has mist. Yes. The spooky mist. That is so awesome. I love when they have the mist in there. He is so awesome. That mist smells funky. <laughs> All right, Martian Warrior, we'll go around the corner here. We should have the Widow. Yes, we do. Look at her hands. Super spooky, long fingernails. I love it. I love when she breaks her neck. Thank you, Miss Widow. They have Slim set up over here. Mr. Slim, I love you and your popcorn bag. Let's get him going. <laughs> I love Slim. Honk. He is awesome. I'd love to have him and Shorty over here. They have, is it Gordo? No, it is poor George. Somebody keeps calling him bottomless George. He is very cool. I love his striped sweater. Thank you, poor George. We'll go on inside here and we have the scary sitting scarecrow and Dagger Mike sitting there. Come on, scarecrow. Give me a fright. There he is. I love that face. He is such a classic. Dagger Mike over here, ready to jump at us. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> he hit the fire when he jumped. He is so awesome. This is kind of odd. They do not have the area set up over here. This is like the third or fourth store in a row that they don't have it set up. And they have all this space to set it up. So I wonder if they are waiting for it to come in the mail, but they do have a ton of animatronics. Let's check them out. They've got Lil Jack Carver, a couple of him. Gordo guys, they have a Gordo here. He is hard to find for sale. Everybody keeps buying him up. Desmodus, poor George, Sitting Scarecrow, The Riz Reaper, Howling Spirit, Stilts. They have two Gordos here. That is awesome. Little Skelly Bones, Desmodus. Do they? Yes, they do have two Desmodus. This is awesome. Emmeline, Eternal Rest, Stilts, Young Crouchy. We don't see him all too much anymore. They have a bunch of Eternal Rest and Man's Possessed Friend. And look, they have a Widow here. They have so many. They have another Gordo. That's three Gordos they have here. Leatherface. I love him so much. Dagger Mike. I never see Dagger Mike for sale. Maybe a couple times here and there. Mars Attacks Martian. He is so awesome. And another Lil Jack Carver for $170. I have yet to see him set up in the store and activating yet. Lots and lots of the zombie babies, including Devil Cherub right there on Motion Activision. He is so cool. Mothy Max. What is his name right here? Revenous Ruby. And we have Spider Biter Billy. Yes, that's his name. I'm trying to get everyone's names right. We have Gutsy Gwen right there. Oh, none of them are working. That's the first time I've never seen them working. And we also have Snackin' Stevie with his hand. I see horror babies and I want them so bad, but I'm gonna wait to buy them. We do have Leatherface down here. How awesome is he? And we have Pennywise, Sam, and Ghostface. Ghostface is another favorite of mine. They have the wreaths, including this one, my favorite, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre with the family photos. Those are so awesome. And they have Killer Clowns, Ghostface, and Sam. They have the snow globes, Leatherface, Michael Myers, Pennywise, and this one is selling out lately. The Mars Attacks Martian. He is super awesome. I can tell why he is selling out. They have the light up mask that we love so much and we are seeing less and less of him. I wonder if he is also selling out because he is awesome. And look at this. I did not notice this before. Freestanding and wall mountable. So you can mount that on the wall. They have the ghost face statues here with the sad pumpkin. This is so 
awesome. One of my favorite statues from Spirit Halloween. Look at what we have here, guys. We have the Glenn doll. He is hard to find. People are buying him up. $70. I've seen people resell him for like 150 bucks online. Kind of unfair, but I understand it. And here is Chucky. They have a couple of him, and I don't see his girlfriend anywhere. But they do have Rudy statues here. Let's see if we can press the button and get him lighting up. Yes, very cool. I love those lights. Rudy is awesome with the popcorn gun. Below Rudy, we do have a bank statue and we have the killer clown statue, but I do not see the Leatherface statue. He might be hard to find this year. I see a sign I've never seen before. Look at this Michael Myers sign. Whoa, that is awesome. I love it. He turns into the kid version of him and the adult version of him. Time to slay and time to play. That is very cool. Let's see how much that is. This is so awesome. I love the signs. $20. They have some inflatables, but they are still unpacking. I must be super early. They must have just opened up. Look at all of these ghosts and rats. That is so funny. They're all stacked up here. They're going to be nice and organized on the wall very soon. They have the prowling cats, the secret keeping cats, my dad calls him, and they have the gnarly bunny. I haven't been seeing him very much lately. Maybe he's selling out. He must be super popular. I love him. Here is the pumpkin sky. Skeleton. This one is a cool one. 27 doll hairs, though. That is crazy. They are still setting up, so there is not a whole lot of costumes here, but they do have the pig butcher down here. He is popular. A lot of people ask me about him, and he is $40. They also have one of my favorites, the Harvester. That is a very cool costume. He does not come with the axe. You'd have to get your own. And you have plenty of options over here. I love them all, but this one is the one you would want for the Harvester because it looks nice and old like it was sitting in a barn forever. We have seen these guys quite a few times, but look at this on the paper. You can see like a clown pumpkin there that we have not seen yet. We will keep an eye out for him. I do not see the super rare blanket with the Spirit Halloween characters on it, but we do have the reversible Spirit Halloween throw right there. That one is awesome. They also have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre right there. And we have the Scooby-Doo blanket. That one I love. Look at the ghost up there in the corner. They also have my favorite pillows here. This is a ginormous skeleton pillow and he rocks. You can unravel this and he has his whole body lots of book bags here guys these are awesome we have chucky right there ghost face sam killer clowns from outer space that is a great one this one is probably my favorite though the ghostbusters backpack with the green slime straps we have plenty of sam plush but look at this we have a little skelly bones he is hard to find anymore come and get him i've looked at these doggy costumes a couple times before but look at this it's a fire truck that is hilarious Always plenty of bobbleheads, guys. These are so awesome. They have the killer clown in the toilet. He is my favorite. And also, this one is my favorite, Ghostface. They do have an entire box of the Figural Bag Clips Series 2. Come and get them, guys. These are kind of hard to find, but I'm seeing a lot of them lately. Oh my gosh, guys. They have two popcorn guns here. That is crazy. I have been seeing a lot of these lately, so they are not as rare as they used to be, which is very cool because I want one so bad and i'm glad that it's not going to be hard to find of course they also have the cotton candy gun do they have full face masks though no they do not and they only have a couple of shorty costumes but they are still unpacking so i'm sure this will be full very soon william allen wanted me to look at the collector's boxes these are awesome they look like a vhx box they don't have the movie in it but they do have lanyards patches decals and buttons i love these halloween 2 here's a trick-or-treat one that one is awesome. They have six items in it. That is so cool. They also have Pennywise It right there. Very, very cool. And Killer Clowns would have to be my favorite. Maybe I'll have to get one of these and do an unboxing at some point. Patch, button, decal, lanyard. I really wonder what all is actually in there and what they look like. Corpse Bride and they have Harry Potter. And these are $15 each, which is not bad at all for all the things that come in them. Two FNAF nerds wanted to see the inflatable Squidward costumes. They do have have him almost everywhere that we look he is $50 and he is hilarious I love that if you got that you would have to get one of the hats but I do not see any hats here right now we'll keep our eyes peeled they also have Spongebob inflatable for $50 and Patrick Star for $50 and they also have Doodle Bob I think that one is hilarious it has the foam pullover and an inflatable pencil Sans Dark wanted to see anything that they can use as robes for the dark side I don't see any robes except 
except for like the ghost face robes they have over there but they do have darth vader right here and they also have a guy from the Mandalorian. he is 40 dollars, and he is also 40 dollars. i'll keep my eye out for some more star wars stuff though they do have some of the plush dolls here guys decrepit haunted doll eerie emma devilish desmond they do have the butcher everybody loves the butcher monkey chimes is my personal favorite if you shake him right he will chime his little chimes i do not see hugs the clown or any of the other ones that are hard to find so we will keep our eye out okay guys that's it for spirit halloween in springfield massachusetts i don't have my hat i left it in the car this store is still setting up keep that in mind they have plenty of boxes right back here in this little room right there they're still setting up so they will have lots more stuff pretty soon here i am very early thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one